Well, you've got a lot of different images there. Um, there so they're jam-packed. Item number is 085202. We are now over 20% of the restocked stock gone. Oh, what? Sorry. I've... Oh, over 20 stamps. Apologies. Uh, the stock update is approaching a third. Come on, Alex, get with the programme. Right, <laughs> over to you, Lottie. I am feeling very much the same today. <laughs> it's been an interesting show. Um, so I've just got a little sticker here that I'm going to put in this, which says life. You know, journaling, art journaling is life. I would cut this off here and here if I could find my guillotine and have that in a journal. But I quite yeah. like that rainbow effect. Yeah. And I love this, this detail here, which the, the guys that cut the stencils for me are amazing. This detail that they've managed to get is incredible. Uh -huh. And it comes across really well with the brushes here. You've got your sprays at home. You can do something amazing. I've given it a go. There you go. <laughs> oh bless you, lovely stuff. Are you happy to do another one? I can, I can use stamp description, we'll do some colouring. Okay, that colouring sounds... Colouring can't, <laughs> can't do me wrong. Cool. <laughs> so All good. Do you need a sec? You're right. Yes. Okie dokie. Yeah. All right then, so uh, details coming onto the screen again for our uh, July stamp description. You can only get this here at the moment at thecraftstore.com and I love this packaging and of course I adore the stamps. All, all wonderfully garden themed. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people out in the garden today or even at the seaside. Um, $14.99 then if you want to go from this. Remember it's on extended delivery. Uh, dispatched from the 2nd of August. Item number is 085202. Do you want to see a picture Lottie? Let's do it. Let's do it. Who's this from? Susie, hello, good afternoon, Susie. So she's used the previous stamp scription yes. kit um, to create this card. Oh, and she's just bought, oh no, yeah, she's just bought the July stamp scription as well. Oh, fabulous. Yeah, she can't wait to play with it. Um, and she says, um, thank you for the gorgeous stamps that you've brought. Ah, oh, thank you very much, as you can tell. I'm a designer and not a crafter much. Yes, um, you are. <laughs> so, yes, but thank you. It means a lot sending in the pictures. Yeah, I love that. Yes. Wonderful. All right, back to you, Lottie. Lovely. Let's create a little scene with these stamp scription. Um, this is the only piece of card I've got left. So I'm sorry it's got some mucky marks on it, but it'll be fine. Don't worry. <laughs> it'll be fine. Hey, look, if Leone was here, it would be covered. <laughs> this is true. This is true. So I've got Colour Fusion, I've got my Salvage Patina, and we're just going to do a little sky with our cloud stencil. Uh, so I'm just going to, again, go against this edge, and it's just such a lovely yeah. kind of... I'm going to move this It's more. dreamy, isn't it? It is, yeah, yeah definitely. We've got that lovely yeah. kind of billowing clouds, which is really beautiful. And then I thought with a torn paper, yeah. it might be quite a nice uh, kind of grassy, hilly landscape as well. So I'm just going to put this here. Oh, I've been gifted card. <laughs> <laughs> So I've just got one of my misters here because I don't have a green ink pad on me right now. Okay. Um, and I've just got this onto my glass mat, or I could have done it on my Maker's Mate. And I'm just going to use a water brush to kind of go against this edge and give a bit of a grassy look. Cool. Nice little scene. Which is lovely. Yeah, back in the day, normally, Caroline would demo for me, but she's um, still not well, bless her. Oh. So get well soon, Caroline. Will she be watching? Uh, maybe. Yeah. yeah Hi, bless Caroline. Her. She has made some beautiful samples, though, she so has. she's still crafting, Good. which is fabulous. Good for the soul. Yes, absolutely. So oh, that looks really effective. Fill this in. We've got a little grassy hill. Yeah. So it's really multi-purpose, actually, the, the uh, stencil. Yes. The, the torn paper one definitely has got a lot of potential for a lot of cool techniques. Uh -huh. So that is my grassy little hill. Let's stamp from the July stamp description then. What should we get here? We've got our watering can and our pots. Let's go for this big pot here. It'll fit on my block. Yep. Yeah. I'm just going to dry this off actually quickly just so I'm not stamping on to wet. Okie dokie. And of course you're going to use the Maker's Mate? Yes, absolutely, for all my stamping. Yep. 
lovely stuff uh, we've popped that at the bottom of the screen you're getting two of them the different sizes for 24 pounds and 98 pence 241085 is your item number um, and at the side of the screen you've got the July stamp description. Remember it's going to be dispatched on the 2nd of August because it did sell out a little bit earlier. Right then, I'm going to use my Onyx Black here so we can see it nice and clearly. This is my Versafine. And I'm going to stamp out these gorgeous flowers. Yep. Vic has done a great job with these, they're really beautiful. Don't know what plants they are, I am not a gardener. Oh, I'm terrible. We need Janice. <laughs> yes, she would know. She would know. She'd know all the birds, all the flowers, all the plants. Mm. She would know. Stamp this here. Just give that a good press. Lovely. And then I've got my ink tense pencils here. And we're just going to scribble down some colour and watercolour them in. I love that soft watercolour look, uh -huh. actually. Use this piece of card. I'm just going to scribble down, pick it up with my water brush, and just give these a little paint. Which will be lovely. You can take your time here. I know I haven't got much time left here. Um, let me grab an orange. Um, what other launches have we got coming soon, Lottie? We've got Christmas coming soon, ah, which is okay. fabulous. Um, we're doing ours a little bit later this year. Um, a fabulous new designer on board during Christmas, actually, which is going to be lovely, and it's all based around family. Yeah. Um, so that's going to be lovely. When's that coming out? Do you know? Uh, I would say probably September's show, because right. I do one a month. Yes. So I'd say September's show it'll be ready for. Um, so that's fabulous. New stencils, new tools. Ooh, which yeah, yeah uh, which my husband's working on, which is fabulous. Um, but yeah, we've done a few, a fair few stencils this year, which is really nice to to branch out from the stamps and do more stencils. Yeah, and then obviously stamp scription is uh, we're always doing new things with stamp scription. It's a lovely idea. Yeah, because people was, collect um, them, don't they? Each month. Absolutely, yeah. Um, they come in a lovely box with lovely wrapped in lovely vellum yeah so it feels like a gift to yourself every month which, which is really i nice. love <laughs> just painting this pot orange you'd probably mask it off so it didn't look like the grass was just merging in see i know what i meant to do but i don't do it <laughs> <laughs> leone says the same all the time <laughs> So yeah, and then you would build a scene. I'd probably put the wellies next to it or something oh, like I that. Oh, I think so. That would Fabulous. look lovely. Gorgeous. Thank you very much, Lottie. Let's look at loads of samples. Here we go. So this one is by Alison. Um, I love that. Festival vibes. Yes. So this <laughs> is from Jolly Holidays, I believe. Ah. Uh, there's a lot of sentiments to do with um, like memory making in the sun and, and having a lovely summer holiday. So yeah, Jolly Holidays, is that's where that's from. Yeah, love that. We want to all go back to Glastonbury. <laughs> yes, I would love to go. Have you never, never been? been? Never been. I would love to go. And then this one is by Alison as well. Lovely stacked pots. And aren't these little ladybirds so cute? I love so those adorable. little extras. Yeah. And the um, little snail here. That's really sweet. And <laughs> Meg's just said Catherine would love that. You know the snail story. Yep. She would. <laughs> if Catherine was here, she'd be going upstairs, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> love that. Um, and then this one. Who's this one by? Oh, also by Alison. I think I've picked up a, a bunch from Alison. Um, just so... That, isn't that just so clean and effective? Yeah, absolutely. Really Beautiful. like this. And then our fabulous gnomes, all in a row. Gorgeous colours. It's rainbow. Good for pride as well. Yes, uh -huh. really great. And then this one. Um, Again by Alison. She's she's been loving these stamps. Alison does a lot of samples. She recently, so she was on my design team right at the start, and she recently came back. Yeah. And my husband knew she'd come back because there was a lot of samples oh, <laughs> for what she'd worked on. <laughs> that's fab. But she's um, she's just layered all of these up there. But like we were mentioning earlier, these stamps not too difficult to uh, fussy cut at all. Um, you can make them Christmassy. See, totally different look. You can make gnomes Christmassy, you can make them Absolutely, whatever. Absolutely, yeah. Do you know what? L little travelling gnomes. You know there used to be that thing about 
but you know, gnomes would go on holiday and all of yeah. that, and people would take photos. There you go. Put and them just, on your scrapbooking pages. That's They're it. with you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you've got some more gnomes here. Oh, hang on. Let's pop this the right way around. I love that. That's just a genius idea. Oh, here's that one again with the uh, little snails in a row. Just brilliant. It's like an army of snails. Super cute. It yeah, is. Love that. So beautiful. Um, and this folds flat, obviously, to go through the post. That's a really clever design, I think. Who's yeah, done that's this really one? Lovely. Is that one of Zoe's? Don't she know. She likes a lot of construction cards, so ah, I think it's hers. But yeah, yeah, beautiful. I think that is absolutely fabulous. Now, 40% uh, of our extended stock has now gone. It's going to be dispatched from the 2nd of August. It's 14.99. Item number is 085202. And this is uh, currently exclusive to us here at the craft store. When are you back next, you know? I am back sometime in August. Sometime in August, no <laughs> worries. Um, thank you very much, thank Lottie. You. Uh, right, coming up after the break, we are back with the gorgeous Trisha. Stay tuned. And, of course, she's with Fiona for this hour. Uh, then after that, we're back with Julia for Fairy Hugs Christmas One Day Special and then Sewing with White Gecko. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on Flexibuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your Flexibuy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier. Hiya, I'm Hazel Eaton from Pink Frog. Pink Frog is an established company. You may have seen us in shows up and down the country. We have a wide range of designs and we're particularly known for our flower dyes and flower stamps. On our shows, I hope to bring you many hints and tips and techniques to inspire you, the crafter, at home. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, the Craft Store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 The Craft Store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hello everyone, we're the Pink Ink Ladies. I'm Cathy. And I'm Mel, and we've been crafting for 30 years. We're passionate about fabric, so our main thing is to stamp on fabric or stencil on fabric. We can't wait to show you all our new hand-illustrated stamp and stencil designs, whether you're using them on cards or soft furnishings. On our shows, we're excited to share all our hints, tips and techniques for you to get the most out of our products. Hello, very good morning to you. I'm very happy to be back with the lovely Trisha. Good morning, my darling. Hello, Fiona. We had a very busy seven o'clock hour, didn't, didn't we? Didn't we just? So busy. Everybody must have been up because of the heat. They, they, they were, but no, they were up to watch you, my darling, oh, right. and your gorgeous products. <laughs> we, I've got to warn everybody, we had so many sellouts. We have got some back on extended. So if you'll we indulge have. me, I'll have a quick run through where we're at. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to come back to a project, which was this one, actually, the box pouches, the festive pouches, simply because I know Trisha just wants to touch on that. Yes. We didn't get just to that get uh, it at the end of the show. Like. So, but this, this is a nice segue into what I'm showing you now. These are actually sold out in the grey. 
But obviously, talking to Trisha in the interval, we've managed to get them back on extended. And you're making all three of these. And uh, this is the Magawa. Uh, Magawa. Magawa, yes. yeah, fa fabric, isn't it? it and is. what are we getting in the kit, Trisha? You're getting this morning? everything you need to make all of those three um, pouches. All cut to size. Um, all you need is your sewing machine or hand sewing if you like. I've got a lovely lady who makes all of hers by hand, bags and everything. But yes, so. That is all, um, everything you need to make all of those three. So you'll get two pieces of the outer fabric, two pieces of the lining fabric, yeah. the zip, two pieces of wadding, um, yes, and the zip and the tabs. So there's yes. tabs in a couple of them or ribbon in another one. And it, they literally, as you can see, make these adorable three size pouches. And we were talking about, you know, what, 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 you were talking about the journey of actually the making of them and, and being a bit more eco-friendly with our footprint. That's you, right, yes. Um, this year, well, I even started the same sort of thinking a couple of years back when we first started. And it's more about forget the wrapping paper and how about using something that we can use again and again yeah. or have a second use for um, and that is using fabric or fabric um, projects to put your Christmas gifts your birthday gifts because of course all of these can be done in everyday fabric yeah um, for whatever occasion there, yes yeah. you have um, and and so much nicer and you get the pleasure of making it That's and it. The giving it and the person that receives it is just Wow. Wow. Absolutely. Mm. And wouldn't you be? And then they're so usable and beautiful to use afterwards. It's like, yes. a, it's like yes. a double whammy gift, it isn't is. it? It is. Aren't they gorgeous? So Trisha took us through the making of this uh, in this morning's 7 a.m. show. But of course, with Trisha, you always get the brilliant full color instructions step by step. And she really takes you through bit by bit. Uh, this is back on extended because the gray was the most popular. 24.99, We also have the red option. This is what... Um, Trisha was demonstrating with. Now the tabs here are the ribbon, the lovely gold ribbon. The red, the red is beautiful, but of course it's what you, it's like the Scandi red you were saying. Mm, isn't it? It's exactly mm. the same as the grey, but in the red segue. Uh, so again, that's your red option. Now that is immediate delivery. And then we've got the traditional, which is a bit of everything, really. You've got your traditional hollies and your swirls in the red, and you've got a beautiful sort of gold metallic yes, threads in yes. there. It's just beautiful. They, they've all got gold on. Uh, Macau have really excelled themselves uh, yeah. this year because all of their Christmas fabric has gold on, and it really oh, gives it that touch of luxury. That yeah, elegance. Mm. And your design is so stylish and elegant as well. Um, so it's only the extended is, is the grey, but you can have the red and the green for immediate dispatch, 545900. I should also mention... The rectangular ones just behind us. Now, the pattern for these are on the website simply because when you had these on before, you can see the difference. That's these right. are more rectangular as opposed to your boxy yes. festives. Yeah, so exactly the same technique. It's just the sizing's different, yeah. which gives you the different um, shapes. Which, and I mention it because the pattern's on the website, and I know that uh, sold out the last time Trish was with us, so she's brought the pattern back. I should mention, actually, you can get all the patterns for these as an individual without the pattern uh, sets. I didn't realise that this morning, so oh, all sorry, your yes. patterns are on the website. That's right, they? they are. Uh, this also sold out, so I just want to flag this up if you're watching and you want to get some more. Now, in the kit, you are getting enough to make a bag, but the, but the pattern is for three sizes. Is that That's right, right, Trish? Yes, yes. You get the middle size. Yeah. Um, there's a smaller one and a larger one. So the smaller one is about 8 by 10 and yeah. the larger one uh, 12 by 14. Um, and you get everything in there that you need to make up your carry it bag. So a different shape for your Christmas gift or, you know, say you're going to a birthday party, pop yeah. a little gift in children's ones as oh, well. Yeah. In your own fabrics, um, birth congratulations, weddings all sorts but it's just a lovely different technique if we get a chance towards the end of the show i'll show you how to do that yeah because we were intrigued about the turning through with those yes, lovely handles yes. so this is the medium size yes. can you take me through is it eight by ten yes ten by twelve, 12 and twelve and by fourteen twelve by fourteen so this is my this is me and me guesstimates so this is the medium so that would be the big one so you, so in the kit you get enough to make one yes it's you the give middle. us three sizes that's right yes, there we go yes. lovely and it is beautiful so if we get a chance trish is going to talk more about that later but it's sold out so it's back on extended 23rd of july 12.99 it's already flying out trish again oh, please shop ahead on the web because Trish is going to be using her wool mats as well and I've got another sell out earlier to talk about these are delightful I think we're going to demonstrate these at some point yes which are oh, they? the lovely yes. festive zip pouches there they're so beautiful so you've got the it makes you've got enough in the kit to make two pouches so you've got the lovely flat you can make two of the same yes if you want. two of the same or um, whichever so one, one of each but, uh, yes so both of them have got 
the same steps um, to a certain point, and then the three-dimensional one, just additional steps. And we were saying, you know, because you, you've got your other pouches on the show, um, y y there's no reason why you can't adapt these into different materials um, mm. as on a key ring or for, for, we were talking about walking the animals with the treats or the bags. Yes, and, yes. You know, they're just really useful. For That's keys, right. You could use them for what, if you pouches. need a receptacle for something yes. with a zip, yeah. there's your, there's your project. They're just gorgeous. They can hang on the tree. Uh, so this is your gorgeous festive uh, single zip pouch kit mixed to, and you can see it's in that, again, that beautiful material with that gorgeous gold metallic thread and you know that as always with Trisha superb superb instructions 12.99 now this sold out earlier as well a lovely quality flower fabric scrap box so I'm going to show you, you get so much in here Trisha talk to me you get your Frenchies which is your, your Frenchies your Frenchies yes so the first thing you get is your a pack of white on white Frenchies oh, uh, which are four inch squares and they in themselves are worth five pounds I'm not I'm so, hold it like this so you can see that because they're different yeah, aren't they Trisha they are um, there's more than likely five different designs and four of each ah oh, I'm trying to hold it up to the camera so everyone can see you know you can see the different designs there lovelies so I mean them in themselves five pounds of white on what I mean it's just beautiful yes. just that is plain one it does. Gorgeous. It just adds a little bit extra to rather than plain white fabric. Yeah. Um, and you know you can make something. Plain fabrics are great in their own rights, but I just like that extra touch to it. Yeah. Got that little bit more interest. So then, mm. so you get those, and then, and then, whoa, let's get all, all of this flowers. out of here. Look at that, what your gorgeousness, eh? Oh, it took me, well, I was trying to whip through it earlier, but my goodness, they sold up before I got to the end of the pile, didn't it, Trish? I know, I know. Oh, and these are big, these aren't scraps, these are big. They are, they're mostly um, eight by six, they may, may be just a few smaller size pieces, but they are nearly all around eight by six, they're yeah, not majority actually, are, they? yes, yeah. So and so, some you get two of, which is nice. So if you're going for a, right. a double whammy project to any of these or you want to make more, I mean, it's just beautiful. There's so many oh, moments, weren't they? Yeah. Just gorgeous. So it's basically all Moda, Macawa, um, that's a bit of Moda there, um, and Rose and Hubble, which are all absolute quality fabrics. Oh, look, at this. look at this. Just, I mean, it's just gorgeous. Don't know about scraps. See, there's yeah. another one. There's two the same there, but that's that's the plus for me because it might think, oh, I've only got one of those. Trisha, no, you have a rummage. <laughs> There'll be another one in there somewhere. They're just, and obviously the flower theme is where you're going with this. And you handpick yes. this. You do all this for yeah. us. We're coming up to a doozy. You ready for this, folks? Are you ready? Pada! Yeah. How beautiful! Yeah. Yeah. Happiness and sunshine in a in a in a in a piece of material. You see, there's our lovely tulips. Hold on a sec. Now, it just just when you think you've seen all the gorgeousness. I know, look, there's two of those, two of those. I'm not even unfolding this. Two of those, folks. And uh, there's our lovely blue roses again. I think we've seen the little ditzy pinks with the blues. See, there's two of those. There's so much in this pack. And you're just going to have a lovely time. And uh, just un unpack summer garden blossom there. My daisies I love. Oh, look, here's one we haven't seen. Uh, there's two of these, so I won't even bother separating this. Look at this. Look at these colours. Oh, it's confetti of flower. Oh, my goodness. I don't know why I'm surprised. I've looked at this once before, and I'm still gushing over it. Just look at the ditzy daisies. I, I love daisies. Two of those. Look at this bouquet. How realistic is that bouquet? Oh, stop with the gorgeousness, Fiona. Let's end on a doozy. Oh, hello. See, there's only... It's just, look. It's too, oh, I know. All of that. All of that in your fabric. Fourteen ninety nine. No wonder it sold out earlier, but it's back on extended. 23rd of July, 1499 Really busy. Uh, I'm just going to mention, and there is more on the counter here, so shop ahead, including these amazing wall mats. We went into great detail about those in the 7 o'clock, so, and, and Trisha's got this amazing price point, four different ones, four different sizes, smallest being 9 99 it's just superb. She'll talk more about it, she does a demonstration, but this is our gorgeous clear pouch pocket holder, and uh, this is, you were thinking sewing, weren't you, initially? Just I was. Were sewing. I was thinking sewing, um, but you can use it for whatever you like. Um, and my basic idea behind here, I've done... Uh, uh, different project um, folding uh, pouches, whatever you'd like to call them, um, <laughs> with clear vinyl. Yeah. Um, and with clear vinyl, um, it's easy to work with, yeah. but you do need to bind edges and add zips. Um, so I had a thought, um, I like using these uh, plastic pockets with a slider on them, and I thought, I wonder if I could make up 
um, an accessory holder using them. So, bit of fabric, lay a few out, do it this way, do it that way, and that's what we came up with. So it's great that it can, you can open it and lay it in front of you yes. and nothing will fall out, but it's easily accessible. And I mean, behind, when we can go away, Jimmy just said, great for airports, and that's true. Yes. Yeah, it's just sitting in your little airplane seat or train, yes, you just think you've just got to get, you've got that tight little tiny table and you yes. just want to get a few bits. Yeah. But and face you can see through the air cons run your face out. And... Yeah, you can see exactly what's in there, can't yeah. you? Brilliant. You're trying to rummage around for your air mask, and it, of course it rolls. You know, yeah, eye mask. It rolls. Everything rolls underneath, and yeah. the socks roll in underneath to the man behind. And it's, yeah, so you can see it all in there. It's fantastic. Or, or there's always you're always looking for a pen for a child or some paper or something for them to do, aren't you? So anything really, knickknacks, just gorgeous. So you get the three pockets, the Ziploc pockets. We love, love, love these. Um, you're getting the, all the material cut size for That's us. That's right. That's right. So you're good to go as soon as it arrives with you. And you've got is that what do you call that? The inter, inter, no. Uh, yes, that's wadding in there, wadding, isn't sorry, it? Yes, yeah, yes. Like yeah. I, so I don't that's, want to use the wrong names. That's your Michael Miller fabric as well. Michael Miller. Also a beautiful quality. Beautiful. Uh, um, 1699 There is another option on the web, and it is the pattern with four of the Ziploc pockets. Trisha? Yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving you an extra one to play with. There we go. We don't mind. I'd rather have the extra no. one. That's been very popular as well, because then you can just do it in your own Good. fabric. I Look. thought there was there was no point in having an instruction pack without the specific pockets. Yes, they're you know. quite um, in... in What's the word? Intrinsic to the they design. Are. They yeah. are, yes. Eleven ninety nine. Get limited now. They're limited now, Trish. Eight oh. eight nine zero one seven. Let's go to Trisha. You'll see the wall mats in action. Trisha can explain why they're brilliant because uh, you want to finish that lovely Christmas festive yes. pouch. I'll d yes, because it doesn't need any pressing at the moment, but as soon as we start the next one, the festive gift box, um, we'll use that. So how we, we were doing the festive boxy pouch and it came to this sort of stage where it does look a bit of a mess. <laughs> so as you probably remember if you saw the 7 o'clock show, I inadvertently forgot to leave a gap in the lining fabric, which you nearly always have to do, so to please don't forget. Yeah. Yes, But very easily rectified by just um, using the seam ripper and opening a little gap. So there is my little gap. So all I'm going to do now is push my fabrics through, and you'll do it twice basically. You'll push that interfacing part and then push the pouch out. And at this point, you pop your fingers into those corners. Just make sure that you've caught all the fabric because sometimes when you're sewing, it can slip. That's why I use the pins on this occasion, just to hold it in place um, so that that fabric didn't slip out of the way and leave a gap. If it had left a gap, quite easy. You just turn it back through that gap in the middle and just re-sew that seam. Don't unpick it to re-sew. Just sew over the top um, and uh, close that that little hole that there might be and then all we need to do having found that that looks fine and I won't actually do it but um, we're just going to close the gap in the lining so just pull that lining fabric out I will do it actually and because what I like to do here if you pull that opening and then put your fingers in to those edges where it goes to roll your fingers along you could use your iron, but this is just a lazy way of doing it, but it works. Just tuck the raw edges in and roll your finger or your nail along that opening. Tuck those frayed bits and then we'll use a little pin here just to hold that together. And then all I'm going to do, I can either cut those frayed bits or those bits of thread away. And then I'm just going to stitch right along that outer edge. So. I shall pop it under the machine and I start a little bit further back than the opening so you're stitching along a piece where um, it is already stitched together mm -hmm. but it really doesn't matter because it's just giving extra strength along there. So I'll take that pin back out, just pull those edges and I like to have them nice and close together and stitch along and again just a little bit further than the opening was and a little reverse and then just pull it apart just to make sure no I haven't finished <clears throat> you see I thought I'd finished to that point but I hadn't so we will just carry on so back under the machine we'll trim those threads off in a second but just carry on along had I put pins the whole way along I would have seen where I needed to stitch to a little reverse there and trim 
Okay, so I'll clip that bit off, take all the messiness away, and we can see, give it a little pull just to make sure, and that's how I knew that I got a, a gap there. So go back in, pop those corners out again. Because we did it once, it just pokes back out quite nice and easily. And there's your tab. And there is Et voila. your beautiful boxy pouch. And repeat with two different sizes. Mm -hmm. Job done. Gorgeous, Tricia. Gorgeous, okay. Tricia. All you've got to do is choose your colour. The grey is back on extended, just to highlight that, because it sold out this morning at 7 o'clock. But you've also got the lovely traditional red and, of course, well, it's, it's just called the red, and then you have the traditional, which is cream, red, and green. Twenty-four ninety-nine, five one five nine zero zero. If you just want the uh, the pattern, then obviously that's available on the web as well. I want to mention these just because they are such a fantastic price point, and I learned all about them this morning with Tricia. The smallest nine ninety-nine, and this is a six inch. And uh, this is pure wool, basically, wool fibre, and it is your pressing mat. Um, now, Tricia will explain, why are they so good, my darling? They, well, they are made um, especially for me um, with using natural fibres. So it's natural wool fibres which have been felted mm. um, in an industrial way yeah. um, with, you know, whatever machines is necessary but it gives a solid um, about half just over half an inch of um, solid wool felt and the reason that these are so good especially for your patchwork or any sort of um, sewing where you need to press a seam but patchwork in particular um, the heat is um, collected inside or basically it retains the heat so that when you're ironing from the top which is what we normally do yeah. the heat stays in the mat and comes back up to your fabric so yes. it's heating it and pressing it from both sides at the same time and it does a, such a super job i don't know if you've got it a bit does. to iron have you there, i have uh, got a jam. couple of bits here which were we put the iron on now i would say use the iron on a, a hot setting yeah. not the absolute hottest because you could scorch the mat I haven't as yet, but you never know. I have with previous mats I've had. Whether that was uh, the content of the mat, I don't know. Um, but a hot heat is hot enough. Yeah. Now, you're using the large one. That is our, our lovely 12 by 18. The That's one we've got the screen now, I'm just going to highlight, is our 8 inch. Because, Tricia, you, you wanted to bring us different could... sizes for different reasons, yes. didn't you, darling? Well, in actual fact, the 8 inch goes beautifully with my Frinches. You see, probably um, that will work well. This is my, well, my fringes. I have eight inch strips that I usually do. Just, um, yeah. So it fits perfectly on there, but sometimes we want a little bit bigger. So that's where I probably use the eight on the 12. So we're in the 12. We're just going to get those details up on the screen, Trish. So this is the 12 inch now. This is the 12 inch square. That's 31.99, 653, And sometimes people collect the family, and the one you started yes. with is our large one, which is my favorite. I don't know why, but it is. Uh, I think I'd go for this in my little handbag, 9.99. 12 by 18, 36.99, 208, I think because that's you just have it beside you and you, you're covering that's you, you right. know, your handbag handles and things you were saying yes, to me, yes, just for yeah. your projects. Well, the, the, there's no need to have your big bulky ironing board that you have to get up and walk to. These are at your side and you can just start ironing. Also, with things getting a little bit better, there may be workshops that you'll be going to yes. in the future. Now, you'll probably still have to take your own iron. Uh, they may have ironing boards sitting up in a hall or, where, yeah. or a shop and you've got to still get up to that. But if you've got your pressing mat by the side of you exactly. with your iron, you're set up. Yeah. And that's why I love the dinky do one because that could just be in your handbag for that moment when you're just like, oh, well, yes. I haven't got it with me or yes. and then the baby goes permanently at home next to yes. the It's whatever's going to suit the space and your life and whatever it is you that's need right. to and de work with. Depending on the project you're working on, you know, if you've got a couple of them, you can think, well, I only need to take this one. That's right. Or obviously the biggest one gives you the maximum choice. Yeah. Yeah. But sometimes, sometimes if you're working want... on miniature projects, yeah. you don't need that. Your fridges, you know, yeah. yeah. An eight inch would be, you know, big enough and more, but a six inch could do you very well, yeah. especially if you're using Frinches, yes. And you don't need to use... What did you say about the steam? Sorry, the steam, I yes. what you're saying no, there. You um, don't need to use steam. You can if you want to. Um, what I would say, it possibly because we've got natural walls here, you possibly would get some sort... When you say odour, people think nasty smell. Yeah. To me, no, it's, it's probably wall. not. It's just, it's just a, it's a wall smell, fiber. that's yeah. right. So... You don't actually need steam, you can use steam, yeah. but you would need to, if you use it um, for a long while, it would probably dampen the, yeah, the wool mat, so you need to dry it out. Yeah. But because of the way it retains the heat, 
a dry it iron is so enough. Well with a dry iron, yes. yes. Go yes. on then, give us, give us, a, give us a go. We'll have a little so look. we've got wrinkles in there, haven't we? Yeah. So I'm but just going to. But it was so to... quick. I mean, just. That's it. Let the, me the, let the me, impact was phenomenal. Let me change to this one, so I've got a little bit more space, and yeah. the uh, the um, cord is not pulling it up. I mean, look at that. That's why you don't yes. do the seam. I mean, you you yes. were getting such flat um, pressing of your seams this morning yes. with your festive pouches. There we are. And I've done that slowly. Yeah. But you can see that it's perfectly smooth. Beautiful, yeah. Um, I've got another little bit here that has seams in it. Not, you know, bad, but we do need to still... It's mm. nice when it's absolutely flat. And I'm not putting a load of pressure on. I'm letting the heat do what it needs to do. Isn't that beautiful? And that I one recognize also. Those, those flowers from yes. the, the flower fabric scrap box. And then we have another one here. If you like the look of these, I shall have these on the 29th oh. shows. So these are all to do with the Frenchy. But there Beautiful. we go. So again, that is perfectly flat as well. Gorgeous. Seams and all. And it also, it just, by being pressed like that, that's got, um, I don't know, a little bit of, it, it, it's stable, it's yeah. absolutely flat. And then, of course, when you're working, when you're stitching it together with something else, <laughs> it just all goes together so much better yeah. when it's pressed and smooth. Lovely. Thank you, Trish. Yeah, okay. four different choices there, so do shop ahead for the wool mats. Uh, let's have a look at the website because I'm going to bob to another set of projects as well. So there they all are and a great price point. If you want to do any comparisons out there with the, those kind of type of pressing mat, I promise you Trisha's coming up trumps with their price points. Um, <laughs> everything on the show is very, very busy. Our fabric, flower, scrap box flying out once again. There's so much in that box at $14.99. Uh, we're limited on the clear pocket and just the... Uh, Pattern, thank you, 11 99 there as well. The single zip pouch kit makes two, don't forget, for your, your, your little um, pouch instruction pack there. Yeah, all the five-star reviews because we love Tricia. And she's been nominated on the Sewing Awards. Mm -hmm. And we can vote for I've done it. I've done it when I was off thank any break. You. Uh, tell us about that because she hides a light under a bushel and I can tell everybody. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is me. Um, yes, Sewing Social Star. Sewing Social Star. We've got to uh, vote for her. Absolutely incredible. I am I am humbled because I am really, um, you know, there's five people in the whole of the country. Yeah, that's big have, names. Yes, some big names yeah. in there. And good luck to everybody of because, course. you know. Um, but Trisha's but I, is the best. <laughs> you're very kind, Fiona. <laughs> She I hasn't paid me to say that. No, I haven't. Not yet. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, no, it, it is just wonderful. Um, is I great. love doing what I do. I love doing the, um, the Facebook Lives and talking to all the people, chatting with them, showing them techniques, fabric projects and everything we do. Even, let me give a little plug, we've got a swap group and we're making oh. um, mug rugs on a monthly basis. Oh. And well, let's put that straight. So this was the first one we did, Gorgeous. and there'd just be a new technique. You don't have to take part all the time, but no. um, we do all the little things like this, and and all for free because it's all about giving and sharing. And sharing. Yep, Lovely. yep. And people love it. And we can find that link to vote for Trisha on her So Totally Trisha Facebook page. Now, let's mention these fe festive wallet pouch kit because this is what Trisha's going to demonstrate next. So you can make three of these. How gorgeous are they? You've got the keyring pulls if you want to hang them from the tree, if you want to hang them from, uh, you know, there's a little treats for the doggy or that you were saying about the back. Because once you've got these designs, we yes. can use this with other material. But you are getting the material in there uh, to make these beautiful, beautiful zip pouch kits they're gorgeous Trisha they are they're a little bit different oh, they're lovely. Um, and a different way of similarly putting in a zip but then it's the way we fold it and put it together and always um, with all the raw edges enclosed you see you can put that 50 pound note in there and I said <laughs> that'd be lovely for the diamond bracelet and I'll have the uh, you know the, the tickets to Bermuda in that one please yeah. Uh, yeah. so you get everything in the kit that you need Fourteen ninety nine. This is the spotty one in terms of the colourway. Three four five eight one eight. But then we've also got the swirls. This is adorable. Your middle one is that those beautiful red swirls with that gold, the gold in there. And then you've got the lovely holly, holly. Isn't that pretty? And then look at my favourite, the little robin case. Isn't that beautiful? So that is your your second choice. Uh, Fourteen ninety nine. Three four five eight one 
eight. Right, we're gonna we're gonna look yeah. at these now, aren't we? Trish? I thought we were gonna look at the festive gift box. Oh, the, the festive gift one. box that yes. is also here, <laughs> and that is one of the best sellers. Okay. This is, Trisha sold hundreds of these, um, very popular. She, she's doing this because I was going on about this. We're limited <laughs> on this, that's will be a quick one, All right. Trish. Um, it doesn't surprise me, it always sells out, but look how beautiful it is. You've got the two bows. She's going to show us a little bit on this. Absolutely gorgeous. You get everything in the kit that you need to make this. You do. Oh, and Shana's done a lovely look at all of those lovely. Yes, Shana, lovely. Oh, Thank beautiful. you. Beautiful. All that, and they're all cut for us. They are. So yeah. again, it's all good to go as soon as it drops through. Isn't that and pretty? even as a beginner, I think you could make this in a couple of hours. Wow. Mm. And how, how good is that to receive a little gift like this and then reuse it or re-gift it? It's just beautiful. Nineteen ninety nine. Everything in the kit to get started. You just need a, your yes. pair of hands. Uh, a needle and some thread yes, or your you sewing do. machine. You do. Just pop them, make a lot of these, and pop them around the Christmas tree at the bottom oh, instead of actual gosh, presents. Oh, how gorgeous. Imagine all of these around the Christmas tree. Oh, just delightful. There's just something about undoing a bow and unwrapping something so beautiful. Isn't that yeah. gorgeous? Anyway, I'll shush so okay. you can show us because it's limited. Okay. It's limited. It's limited, right. Trish. Okay, let's do a quick little iron then just to show. Um, what you're going to get in the kit is four pieces of the wadding which is going to be your base so it's basically a quilt as you go um, technique and project so you will have eight strips like I've just ironed there um, you will have four strips of lining fabric so let's just give those a little press as well and you see I haven't moved from anywhere have I I've just sat here and uh, picked a mat up or kept my mat there because uh, even at home when I'm sewing, I always have mine by the side of me. It's just my go-to. And you'll get four pieces of ribbon. And you'll get a little pack of all these uh, strips, all cut to size. And I have already made three of them so that we can get through this quickly. So this is what we are going to make. And this it will, is what it will turn out to be. Now, how that gets into a diagonal line across your mm. uh, gift box is the... Uh, the magic. That is the magic. So, the first thing we need to do is to, on your wadding, which is cut size, you need to mark a line down each side. That's your guideline for placing your fabrics. Let's just pop that there. Now, Trisha, so sorry, we have actually just sold out, so I'm just going to reassure everybody uh, we can get it on extended because obviously we've we suspected this was going to happen because mm. they always sell out, don't they, Trish? So 23rd yeah. of July, back on extended if you want this now. Uh, so please check out your baskets if you manage to get that for immediate dispatch. But it is back on extended. But there you, are Trish. a few months till Christmas, so you'll be fine. Yeah, we've got some time. <laughs> got some time <laughs> okay, so with you've got eight different fabrics um, and there's eight slots that need to be filled, if you like. So you can choose to do a different um, combination mm -hmm. to me. You could put all the same down one, why would you, I don't know. But Or you could alternate two fabrics on each one. The choice is yours. I am choosing to do the same on each one. So the first piece, what you do is you lay down at the top of your wadding in between those two lines and face up so that you can see that piece. Then you, we do need a quarter of an inch seam while I think about it. That's it. Um, you then take your next fabric. This fabric you lay right side down. So your right sides together, line those raw edges up, and we're going to stitch from one line to the other. So one side to the other, only in that, that area. So you can stop when you get to the line at the other side. The next, so all we do is open this out, Ooh. open that out to reveal the right side. Now you could press this each time if you want to, but it's quite easy just to finger press that seam open and then you pick your next piece of fabric up, okay. right sides together again, yeah. lay that down, raw edges together and just make sure these, the side pieces are in line with so, your yeah. with your drawn line there. So again, quite repetitive, open it out. And as long as you're doing your quarter of an inch seam, mm -hmm. this should cover the wadding perfectly at the bottom. Um, when I was doing these bits, I think yesterday, yeah. I did have a couple of times when, or one time, when actually it didn't quite cover. So I just unpicked um, and did a smaller seam. Um, with the bottom one so it doesn't notice. Um, so here's your next piece again right sides together line up those raw edges 
and so that they're between the two lines. Stitch across. Yeah, and there's eight of those, isn't there, on that strip? There is what, sorry? Eight of those. There is eight, yes. So the, um, the patchwork formulae or the way we would work out it should with with an accurate quarter of an inch seam fit quite to the bottom right to the bottom if there's a minimal bit of wadding showing yeah um it really doesn't matter because our, it would be taken into our seams if there's a big bit showing mm -hmm. because if you were to stitch a quarter of an inch I mean more than a quarter of an inch yeah. each time obviously that accumulation will grow yeah. um, so that it won't cover by perhaps half an inch and then you will just need to unpick and let's just push there this one back yeah. and I think on this occasion it looks as though you can always test so for the very last piece just pop that down and then just think that's about a quarter and that does actually fit perfectly. If it wasn't quite long enough, what I would do, line those edges up and stitch probably an eighth of an inch. That will give you a larger piece here ah, to cover up the wadding at the that. bottom. Yeah. If, on the other hand, you've got an excess of fabric, you can always trim it off so that, it, so that your fabric lines up with your, um, with your wadding because that is the size. So yeah, so that's just, I've done slightly by probably an eighth of an inch. So I will trim that off in a moment. So from there, as you can see now, we've got raw edges at the side. So mm. this is where we cover those raw edges by doing a similar thing with our um, strips, which okay. have been cut to size. So just have a look at the previous one that I've done. And the same with you, if you want them all to be um, the same. So I've got a red on one side, an ivory on the other. Mm -hmm. You could put, decide to put two reds on one, yeah. two ivories on another, so you've got two of each, entirely up to you. But I, as I say, I've chosen just to do the same on every one. So as soon as you've done your first one, you can have that there as a guide mm -hmm. and watch or have a look to see which order they go. Okay. So I'm now laying the strip right sides together and sometimes if you haven't put these rectangular pieces exactly between the lines um, it will overlap a little bit or over the line but just have a look to see where the line is and is a tiny bit and line up the edge of your strip with the line so that's just a tiny bit over but I'm just going to line that and then stitch down to the end now you might find I'm just pulling that a little bit. When you're doing what is basically quilting, it can just um, shrink your wadding just a little bit, purely because of the, the wadding thickness, um, and it just shrinks it a little bit. So like I can see here, my strip is just slightly longer, but as I say, we will just trim that off. Um, the thing is, they will all be the same, so it's nothing to actually worry about. So flip that around. And you can see here, I can see my line better. Mm -hmm. So it means that I have shifted my green one there over to the other side. So if you can see a little bit of fabric um, on one side, it doesn't matter at all. But just follow your strip with the line that you drew in the first place. Josie's emailed in. She says, hi, Tricia and Fiona. What a wonderful lady you are, Tricia. She oh. learned so much on your Facebook Lives. Oh, And she's this? been watching since your very first one. Your first one. Yeah, oh, she loves it. Don't is... ever stop, she says. Oh, I won't. Isn't that lovely? Uh, it is lovely. Thank you. What's that, Chris, did you say? Josie. 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 Oh, thank you, Josie. Yes, I know. I know all these names. Now, you do them... When do you do them? Thursday, Fridays and... Uh, f Wednesdays, Thursdays and Fridays. Lovely. What yes. time? 4.30. Right. On the So Totally Trisha page. There we go. We so, need to join in. Totally free. Yes. Just go on totally like free. Vote yes. for her. You haven't got to. But we have don't. a little chat to begin <laughs> with just to make sure everybody's okay. Yeah. Ask any questions they would Aww. like to and, um, and then we drop into a technique or just uh, questions and answer yeah. time, you know, what a lovely, it's just, lovely thing to yes. do. What a lovely community. It is, it is. And I tell you what, they, those ladies are the best. Ah, oh, there we really, go. Really, really are. out the big love there. Yes. Lots of love. So, having done that, I'm going to, I don't always do this, but I'm actually going to quilt down the side here because I did on, on this particular one. So, I am going to turn my stitch length up to um, just over three and I'm just going to stitch down here so it's got um, the quilted effect as well I see. so 
So if you also wanted to, depends on your time, perhaps your first one, you just do it straight forward. Um, but you could quilt on these as well. Mm -hmm. It is quilted to a degree because we've done this, the technique of quilt as you go. Yeah. Um, but quilting can look lovely. You could, if you wanted to, put um, decorative stitches um, in there as well. And one thing you could do, which would look even nicer, is where I just quilted down these sides, if you stitch with gold metallic thread. Ooh, nice. Um, I didn't because I was in a hurry, because you do need to slow your machine down a little bit for metallic, uh, for metallic yeah. thread, so that it doesn't, I would say, buy a good quality mm -hmm. metallic thread. Um, just go a little bit slower than you normally would. Um, use a me metallic needle if you have one. And also with your metallic thread, I would see if I could put either one of those little nets that you quite often get with your sewing machine. Um, it looks like a net that your satsumas or oranges come in oh. when it's all close, when it's all round a lemon. Yeah. You know when it's a net's round a lemon yeah. and it all goes together. One of those, slip it over your metallic thread. Oh. It stops the thread spinning off quickly because oh, that's wow. what it tends to do. Oh, and that day. will be the reason for your thread breaking because it twists around your spool and then it's tight and then it breaks the thread wow so just what those few things mm, but they will they will help the metallic threads look beautiful yeah okay so now i have four and then there were four <laughs> so you can see that was quite quick and easy wasn't it yeah it was. um it now quick. the diagonal formation of um the gift box is how you now sew it together so there are pictures in the instructions but think of a windmill so i'm putting them all and if you look at the center here make sure the that's it, the red is there so you've got a vertical north south east and west or ne north east south and west and in the middle they form a square oh, okay yes. So now what we do is we, we're going to stitch this line and this line. So if I first of all flip that over, mm -hmm. and if it helps, put a pin in there, mm -hmm. just so that you know which part you are sewing. And then similarly on this side, we're going to stitch down here. So we'll lay that over, line those raw edges up, and we'll put a pin in there. And what I like to do similarly with patchwork, is if I pick a piece up to sew, I put it back in the place it came from. And then you don't get confused, muddled, or stitch it to the wrong side. So all I'm doing is stitching down to that end, and I'll just reverse there, cut that off, and then we'll open it back out, and that came from there. And then this piece, we will stitch from this end, but it's just that short seam where I put my pin mm -hmm. and we'll stitch that. So, as I, as I said each time, pin as much as you like or use binding clips um, to hold it together. I've just got used to um, not using as many pins or I don't pin, there we go, um, as much because you've still got to take the pins out and you can line it up as you go. So again, we've still got these creams in the middle. Look for your strips. Yes. Okay, now we need to put uh, that piece together. to that piece. I should mention as well, everybody, the, uh, the flower fabric scrap box is proving very popular. It's back on extended 23rd of July. You are getting loads in there. So please don't miss out. I'm sorry to interrupt you, Trish. No, I just want right. to mention that. Uh, 076-412-1499, proven very, very popular, even back on extended, sold out earlier. And also the Christmas uh, carry it, uh, the festive carry it case as well. So that's back on extended as well, because that was very busy. But we are looking at our beautiful festive gift box. Yes. So I'm now going to stitch across here. So the first thing I look at is where these seams come together. Mm -hmm. And I want them to line up. So I'm pushing one seam together in one direction and then the other seam the top one in one direction so the opposite. End up with a big lump. that's right so we have um, set it off yes we've nested the seams and we have um, what is the word I've not displayed really we have distributed the the uh, the bulk of fabric because we have got a little bit of wadding there yeah. but it isn't it isn't extremely 
So it's all I'm, in the kit. It is. In the kit. So, as I say again, we just stitch. And you just stitch to where. You don't stitch any further because we've still got fabric coming up here. Yeah. But it's just those pieces where they come together. Gotcha. So, again, there we go. Beautiful. Next step is how do we get it into a box shape? Yeah. So, we'll take two adjacent. Go back to school. We know what adjacent. Yeah. <laughs> I always think I'm talking sort of maths. Um, and we bring those two sides together. Ah. Now, the art in this is to put your finger at the base part because your two edges do not, um, they meet, but there's an extension, there's excess fabric there. Mm. So if you put your finger into the bottom mm. and just line that up, mm. um, we'll put a pin um, just to hold that there, and then take your fingers, pin if you like, and we're just going up to that top piece there. So we're just going to stitch down there, Okay. from where there are two layers of fabric okay. and this is absolutely right because I think I put it in the pattern um, don't worry this is how it should be yeah. because there's nothing worse than thinking oh my goodness it should match up yeah. but it doesn't need to match up at the bottom I will reverse just to give that extra strength and as you can see we have a weird we have as I say, one long bit, one short bit. This is what creates Your lid. the lid. Yeah. That. So we then take the next side. So again, extra long and a short. Finger into that base part. Hold it together. I'm just keeping that together with my finger and thumb and reversing at the top and stitching straight down there. Just hold that. To, if, you, if you haven't pinned like I haven't, mm -hmm. Just keep the rest of the fabric to the side so that it doesn't pull those two fabrics apart because they need to be lined up all the time, otherwise we'll have a gap. We've got 15 so minutes. 15 15 minutes. Oh, yes. know where we are, we'll be sure. fine, we'll be fine. Perhaps we can have the next hour as well. There we are, another one there. Um, so I've done exactly the same again. And I'm keeping my eye on those fabrics lining up straight to the bottom, reverse on that little, that's a little bulky bit, but it's right in the base, you won't notice that at all. And then the last side, can you see how it's coming together? The last piece here, finger at the bottom, pull that up so it lines up, and finger and thumb to hold it, or pin, or binding clip. But I should just hold it together, put the reverse at the top as well, and then here, this last one does need a little more, I should pin it, but we do need to hold those edges together because they will form a part. But you can scrunch that other part because it will all come back into shape without a problem. There we are. So, the big reveal. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da -da. Push it through. Oh. Poke those corners out at the bottom, mm -hmm. just to make sure that we have got no holes in there. How good is a few this? little bits of thread. Yes. So there's our base, and Fabulous. when we pop it up, that looks so and how good. from those quite narrow strips of fabric, we've got yeah, quite a big. Um, yeah. It's so beautiful. So, I can't believe that's how it comes together. Well, we're not finished does. yet. No, we're not finished yet. So the next thing, all I need to do now is my lining. So. I'm going to, if I lay this out, what um, you'll realise is it done exactly the same way ah, as I did with the outers. Yeah. So I'll just lay these out, and it is best to lay it out so that you know exactly where you're putting. So I'm going to put right sides together with this one. I'll do one at a time because when, um, when I lay this back together, we'll be able to see exactly which one we need to do. So again, let's take that stitch length down and I will do the reversing at the beginning as well. Okay, so we'll lay that back out and then this side to this side just like we did before. Align those raw edges and you will do it perfectly with a, a little bit more time or in your own time to get it absolutely perfectly. Because obviously, the more more precise we are at the time, it really is true that the easier it will go, the better it will go together first time. 
So we have those two pieces, now we're going to put these together and we're forming that windmill effect again. Am I right, just to quickly, just while yes. you're, because I know we're going to get to the bit that I want to see, yes. and everybody will want to see. Okay. Um, I just want to mention the flower fabric scrap box. Here it is. Um, it's been so popular. Back on extended because it sold out this morning, $14.99. You are getting all of the beautiful Frinchies, the four-inch squares, and that white-on-white -white fabric. You've got four different designs in there. Beautiful quality. Um, that in itself is, is worth £5. And then all the lovely material in there. Um, I mean, they're not scraps. I think that's... The, the, They've, they tend to be this size, yeah? I mean, just look at some of these colours. They're just beautiful. There's a couple of smaller ones in there, but the majority, I mean, there's only two in this. Uh, the, that's Moda. The majority, as you can see, are these huge, I mean, just look at this. this these beautiful flowers being a the theme. They're just gorgeous. I mean, yeah, it's a, it's a wonderful bouquet. It's like looking at a gorgeous garden, isn't it? My favourite, my daisies. So $14.99, just wanted to flag that up for you. Um, it is back on extended from the 23rd. You've got doubles or doubles of some as well. So if you if, you know if you see a favourite in there, zero seven six four one two. Then we have got our just a quick mention our beautiful um, festive zip pouches. It makes two. You can do two the same or two separates. Beautiful. You can hang them from the tree. You can you can then use that design for the doggy pouches or treats or keys or a little collection of. Whatever it is, sometimes safety bits. Twelve ninety nine eight five five six four six. Back on extended is our lovely carry kit festive kit case. This is so popular. Now you get the pant to make three. This is the medium size. Your small eight by ten, your ten by twelve, and your twelve by something. Uh, Fourteen is it? Yes, there we go. Yeah. And uh, yeah, love it. I love this. You get everything in there. So it makes one, but you get uh, the patterns to make three, you see. And that is twelve ninety nine. back on extended, 23rd of July, 725988. It's just gorgeous, just gorgeous. Don't forget the festive pouch kits as well. Um, the grey's back on extended. Back to you, Trish. So I've just done exactly the same where I pulled the sides up that are uneven and I've done two sides now on this we must remember we've got four sides to join together one side I must leave a gap so I'm, I've done two on the third I usually try to do it on the second or the third because then I've got um, a little bit of space haven't I if I forget I've got another side that I can oh, leave the idea. gap on. Yes. yes. So do the second so, or the third, and then yes. if you forget, there's always one left yes. as an emergency. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Because it happens. Oh, it so, happened this morning, didn't it? <laughs> it did. It did. <laughs> so I've stitched down probably an inch to an inch and a half, and now I'm going closer to the bottom, as I say, about an inch, inch and a half away from there, because we do need to turn that the whole way through yeah. that gap. So that was my third side with my gap in, so I know I'm fine. And then we'll just go to the last side and pop the finger at the bottom and just pull those sides together and pop it under the machine. Pin if you like. I say that because I feel I feel bad that I don't pin. Um, <laughs> But you're just used to doing it though, and these are your designs, so yeah. you're just comfortable with it. Yes. I should mention the, uh, the festive gift box that Trisha's doing. She has so much hundreds of, and it's just such a beautiful template then for any material gift box. Mm -hmm. um, it's back on extended, 23rd of July. Okay, so there we have a very wobbly lining piece, but it's bound to be. So, same shape. So, what we do now is we take our outer and pop it into our lining piece so we're going to line the points up so when you pop it in here you just pull it around so that we in will position. yes that's right so roughly in a position to start with purely yeah. because before we pin it in place and we do pin it this time yeah. I'm going to put my ribbon oh. on here right. so you've got some pieces of ribbon and where we're going to put them is on a point, mm -hmm. like here. And if you just line that up with um, that, that almost leave a triangle at the top. And I'm going to put a pin on each side. The reason I put a pin on each side is so that the ribbon doesn't um, slip. Because it is um, a satin ribbon and it will... It will move. If you just put it in the middle, 
it could go like that and then you've got half of it in your seam because it is going to be stitched into yes, the seam yeah. and half of it will be in, half of it out Ooh. and you'll end up having to unpick and... Nobody wants that. No, we don't really. I mean, we have to make friends with our unpicker just in case, but there we go. So two pins is best on these occasions. A little bit like when you're putting your bag handles on bags. Oh. I like two pins because otherwise, as I say, when it slips, you've then got um, a skew, an angled um, handle or ribbon, and it doesn't, doesn't look good. Yeah. So now we're going to tuck them into the inside make sure they're out of the way and I'll just take one of the pins out and replace it to hold it together hold the lining and the outer together so line those triangular points up tuck our ribbon in mm. lining up pin out pin back in ribbon in triangle line up and pin in again so we we'll just push our hand down in each of those mm -hmm. and I do also I do like to at the point here mm -hmm. I do like to line that up and put a pin in there okay so nice and crisp in the valley there, that's yeah. right and we will in when we've um, when I've stitched around this top edge yeah um, we do do a little bit of clipping so that we get those nice points and in the valleys, as you say, we don't want that to be um, puckery or wibbly no. wobbly. We want it's it to be a nice, fairly sharp angle. We've got okay. five minutes, Trisha. I was just thinking it's a perfect Christmas pudding size, isn't it? It is. Somebody made a pudding. Yes. A lovely Christmas pudding there, wouldn't you? Yes, you could. You mm. could. Right, all I'm going to do now, we've got our gap in the side here. So I'm just going to stitch the whole way around the top edges. Okay. Um, Yes, I am going to go the whole way all round. All the way round, all Yes. Those. So this is the, because yeah. uh, I know with this, the last five minutes with our lovely dress, yes. which is back with us on the 29th. Um, so this is the gorgeous festive gift box kit. It's sold out. It's back on extended on the 23rd of July. It's second show and already it's limited. This is the first time we've concentrated on it. But I know this is a very popular design originated by our beautiful Trish. And you can see why, because it's, it's just glorious. What's not to love and the whole untying of the ribbons is just a glorious affair. Yeah, it just makes it very special and a real sense of occasion. And then, you know, you're like, oh, what's inside? So much, and then reusable, you know. Imagine all the bottom, bottom of your tree, um, or dotted around, you know, or around the fire, fireplace, you know, with, with the, not too near to the fire, obviously. Uh, but yeah, wouldn't that be beautiful? Just so, so adorable, so pretty. Uh, back on Extended Limited, check out your baskets, everybody. Uh, look, quickly go, we'll quickly go to the web whilst Trisha's just shown her lining. Um, we've got the lovely, uh, fantastic flower fabric scrap box, again, proven very popular. You've got the Trisha Clear Pocket Accessory Holder Kit. I know the pattern for that with the four uh, um, pocket refill set, sets there, very popular, was getting limited there, 11 99 You've got the festive single zip pouch kit there as well, which uh, is, is gorgeous, makes two actually. You've got all the patterns there, that's Trish sells individually as well, and uh, we're doing the gift box at the moment. And we've got the lovely wool mats as well, and the Carry It gift bag kit is back on extended. So, so busy. So how many minutes we've got, Jimmy? Oh. Three minutes, Trisha. Three, Three minutes. minutes. Oh, we'll darling. get there. We're nearly the whole way round. Super duper. Okay. So when, not that I just did that, because I had to go back again. When, um, do, 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 do. when we get to the top where yeah. the ribbon is, yeah. what I do is I go and I cut across. So it is where the ribbon comes to. We just want to cut across there. So we're like... Yes, if I show everybody on the, the box, triangle. you can see it here, actually, Tricia. I know exactly what you mean. It's there. Right. So it creates a lovely sort of, takes the point off, but it's where the ribbon meets. Yes. So I'm going to trim that part off so it's truncated. Into the valleys, I'm going to clip up to that. Now, this is what gives us our lovely um, valley there. So I'm going to clip into just to the stitching, make sure I don't cut the stitching. And this is just to so there. Watch, Trisha, just get a nice... Just get a nice precise, valley, nice, yeah, yes. Yeah. So I've pulled off, clipped off um, those, that's yeah. right. So the triangles are truncated and then clipping into those valleys, you can see there. And yes, just mind your stitching. 
and there. So I think I've got all of them done there. Okay. Wow, that came so, together so quickly. Just, this is the so big now, reveal, everybody. Through our lining. And now you can pull. This is where you find out if you've caught your ribbon sufficiently. <laughs> that like... pulls it through nicely. Yeah. Um, so that there's no poking out because your ribbon is helping it do that. Oh, okay. Just beautiful. And then push, push the lining in. In your where we've clipped into the valleys, yeah. give it a tweak. Yeah. Give it a, yeah. a, a wiggling tweak. Aye. And this is where your iron comes in well as well. Just to give it an iron around the edges and tweak there a little bit of thread and tweak here and I would push out all those edges the mm. lining to that and then give it a press as I say and then you can just top stitch all around this outer edge but basically it shows you just hand sew that little gap Holy or machine so yes. yes. You can pull yes. it out, can't you? Yeah. You can. Look yeah, so that. exactly the same as I did with Perfect the boxy timing. pouches. Tuck your raw edges in and just stitch up that side seam there. 30 seconds That's to go. Thank you, Trisha. Seconds. Look at that. Completed. I You're can't welcome. wait to see all your lovely festive gift boxes. Trisha, that's gorgeous. We'll join you on yeah. your so, so Totally Trisha Facebooks on your Wednesday, Thursdays and Fridays. Uh, thank, thank you. Thank you so much, my darling. It's been such a lovely morning with you. Yes, you too, um, Fiona. And uh, Trisha will be back with us on the 29th with gorgeousness. I will, you? yes. Absolute gorgeousness. Moda. Moda. At 10 and so totally Fringies. Trisha. Yes, and Frinchies, lots of them on Yay. the one o'clock. Thank mm. you, darling. Thank uh, you. Don't forget to check out your baskets. Don't want you to miss out on those. There's so many sellouts. If you love your sewing, don't forget, we'll have White Gecko with me later. Julia's here, ready for the Fairy Hugs Christmas One Day Special, and as I said, more sewn with lovely white gecko, a different setup from this morning, and then we've got Pink Frog Crafts. Hi, I'm Leslie from Chocolate Baroque and we design and manufacture our own rubber stamps right here in the northeast of England. We have a wonderful in-house designer called Sue who hand draws all the images which we then transfer into rubber stamps. We have very, very elaborate designs. We have everything from steampunk right through to beautiful florals and then we have scenic and we have words. Our stamps are beautifully elaborate, very, very detailed, exquisitely etched, and the quality is next to none. So good that if you look after your stamps, we guarantee them for a lifetime. Whether it's stamping, mixed media, or art journey, join us for our journey into everything creative and messy and see what you can create with our stamps. Hi, I'm Ali Reeve. I'm from the company Stamps Away. Stamps Away is a family-run company with my husband and I. We create all things crafty, especially with a passion for mixed media. So I hope you won't miss the shows with Stamps Away. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter all work in the company and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have, so we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line and we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion and we hope to transfer that passion to you. Hello 
good morning. Right then, this is the penultimate live hour of your fantastic one day special. And we've got some absolutely beautiful stamps on the show that we've got a whole counter's worth. Uh, they're all brand new, aren't they, Yeah, Julia? they were brand new. Yeah, they've been launched this weekend by Fairy Hugs. Yeah. So, um, and in the UK at the moment, you can't get them anywhere else. Lovely. And what we need to point out is that after this one day special show has, well, no, not this one, but the four o'clock one has finished and then it'll end up coming off the website so you need it to will so it. certainly by midnight tonight it won't yeah. be available because they'll be packing tomorrow uh, so that you guys get them nice and quick absolutely right then let's take a more detailed look at our fairy hugs so now this is by the way a why not deal so you might as well become a freedom member uh, because then you're still saving and your postage is covered. So there you go. Because you've got an extra 10% off as a Freedom member. You've already got a discount anyway, but there's an extra 10% off. Right then. So should we have a lovely look at all of these stamps? Mm -hmm. So we've got our fabulous deer. We've I got, love the antlers. Yeah, the leap, leap, leaping reindeer. So he's got um, kind of little kind of almost like little gems or sparkly bits around his reindeer. Yeah. Or as you said earlier, you could actually hang some of the decorating tree ornaments off of it if you wanted to yeah um, and then we've got the beautiful poinsettia mm. and uh, it's, I've not seen a poinsettia like that before it's got like cross hatch detail on the, yeah. the uh, bracts and um, so that means uh, it looks like you've shading something even if you haven't uh -huh. so that's a win-win <laughs> yeah uh, then we've got the pine cone branches which are great for creating a, a wreath if you want them mm. to or just some extra foliage have a fairy Christmas I is our that. sentiment in this bundle. Yep. And uh, then we've got Arabella, who is our skating fairy, which nice. you can have kind of on the ground or you can have her flying, skating through the air. Uh, we've got our hanging uh, snowflakes, two yep. different sizes, and there is really fine pinpoint detail in the mm. centre of each of the, uh, the, the snowflakes, which yep. are absolutely beautiful. Use those any time. Uh, you've got your wooden sled which uh, is obviously made for Jada, who come, is, is our stripy, tighted um, fairy um, who's uh, sat down there next to it. So it can, she can sit on uh -huh. the sled. She can also sit on the reindeer. Yeah. That's what she's made for. But you can sit her on, you could sit her on the poinsettia if you want to. She, yeah. She'll sit on a wall. She'll sit on whatever you want her to sit on. So, I mean, I think this is an excellent bundle. Yeah, and uh, the store especially if you're a freedom member it's a really good price it is isn't it yeah. lovely jubbly right then we've got some wonderful samples this one is by ronnie and she's added a touch of sparkle i just love that here she is taking center stage mm, she is our beautiful fairy i don't think i saw that sample before no and you've got the point set here in the background that's a that looks like a little oh, yeah. bit of um uh just the watermark technique you know when you stamp on card with first the mark yes. it, it leaves like a watermark when it dries that's wow. a really beautiful background isn't it it's quite dramatic as well i yeah. like that and then this one is by steph so this is arabella and she's skating on the pond which is another fairy hugs uh stamp from that we've bought to the craft store before nice oh just a little one that's a dinky little one that i did on a facebook live so it you don't have to do big big projects yeah so that could be a gift card or just a little card that you you know you want to send to somebody nice and then here she is she's on that sledge mm -hmm. and you've got the hanging snowflakes there as well quite a few of the design team of it you can see they put gems in the center of the snowflake uh, so you can't actually see that detail but um if we get to stamping it out this this hour you'll be able to see that pinpoint detail in the center wonderful and then this one is by oh that was by bonnie by the way and uh, this one is by Steph, there we go. Let's open this up. Ah, oh, yes. See that sentiment really takes. Steps, yeah, love it. Christmas. Yeah. Beautiful. There we go. Right. So as we said, this is a why not deal. Uh, it's um, you can spread the cost as well. Two payments of nineteen pounds and thirty-five pence. Really good price for all of those stamps. Five nine four two one seven is your item number. Then we've got the fireplace. This is one of my favourites. Mm, I really it, like it's this. It's really usable, isn't it? So you've got the stone fireplace and in the, in the centre of the arch, there's like a hidden um, um, heart, stone yeah. heart. You've got a separate fire, which you can obviously use 
within the fireplace or just use separately. If you just use the top of the fireplace, you've got rooftops in my eyes. Yeah. Uh, if you remove the uh, top section, you've got an archway. Uh, you can actually um, use it with the stone wall that we've got. Yes. We've got a wooden walkway and a stone walkway, which will work really well with it going through the archway. Um, so, um, I mean, in, if you really thought about it, you could make it into a house as well. So there's lots of things you can do with you that. You could put the condo fairies in. You can put definitely yeah. the condo fairies will work with 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 all of this. Yeah, they work. They're, they're just so dinky. They're lovely. You got a decorating tree, and that that automatically has your your kind of beaded swags and your stars on it. But then you've got three extra ornaments that you can pop on there as well. Yep. And then you've got uh, Lara who is the little fairy there who is poised to decorate the tree so she could be holding some of those little decorations to um to, to pop on the tree has she got a santa hat on she's got she's got a santa hat and she's got a uh, look you can see she's got a ruffle um yeah. a furry ruffle at the bottom of her, uh, her her dress or her coat and i've only just spotted her shoes i love yeah. the curly toe shoes yeah a lot of them have curly toe shoes love yeah that. i think jar no jar just got her she's got stripy legs <laughs> <laughs> beautiful Here, right sample so this one is by steph these squirrels are coming up yes, very shortly as well and um, this one's been really nicely coloured. This one is by Bonnie. I like that. Some different colours. Yes, yes. And, and it's, we've got the ski tree there. And I think it's Pixie. Yeah. Uh, one of the, the fairies that we had last month. But you can see the bunny looking on and the fairy Christmas from the one day special. Love that. Oh, and here she is. She's decorating that Christmas tree. That's yeah. That's so, yeah, so beautiful. She's got a little bauble in her hand. Nice. And then we'll do one more. There we go. And this sentiment's coming up in a little bit as well. And you've got, see, you've got the leaping reindeer just coming into oh, the yes. edge there from the one day special. Love that. Uh, £21.49, pounds and 49 mm. pence, 450508. And next then, which one have we got here? This is the uh, one oh, with the, the bunnies, word tree. the bunnies, and that yeah. sentiment that you just saw, because they all mix and match fantastically. Yes. And yes. I love the holly. Yeah, the holly's really useful, obviously. So you can stand things on it and make backgrounds with it. Um, it it's just a great foliage stamp. Mm. Uh, you've got your word tree, your holiday word tree, uh, which just makes a, a card on its own. Yeah. Um, and the bunnies are just cute. They are so cute. And the detail that you've got in the fur, you, you, I mean, the packaging is pretty good. Yeah. The acetate is pretty good. But um, when you stamp them out, you really do see that detail of the fur. You can indeed. Do you know what Lewis has just said? I think this is a genius. The holly, you could turn them into bats. You could. <laughs> I like that. That's fabulous. <laughs> This is such a good idea. Yeah, you're not just a pretty face, are you? <laughs> he, he, he has got a lovely face. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that, that's an example of, of what I meant by you doing it really simple. We yeah. demoed that, that last night. We're going to do a variation of that in a minute, but we're going to add some things to it. Yes. Um, but that's great for batch making. You know, I mean, the stamps yeah. will stand on their own as singles, Absolutely. as well as building them up to an all singing, all dancing affair. Yeah. You know, whatever you want. Nice. Um, I'm not sure who this one's by. Oh, it's you. Oh, yeah. there you go. This is by Julia. <laughs> <laughs> if there's no name on it, it's me. Right, okie dokie. <laughs> um, and this one's by Steph. I love what she's done there. Yeah. And it's just the bunny looking up into all that holly is yeah, gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. I think he's thinking... I wonder if that bird's going to come down and meet me, or is it going to attack me, or what is it going to do? I don't Absolutely. know. Uh, this one is also by Steph, so again, just so effective. There. Yeah, but I mean, I, I really like the idea of making dinky cards with yeah. these, because some, they're so cute, aren't they, they dinky are. little cards? I do agree. I love that. Okay, £20.49, pence. item number is 856833. Then next one, we've got the Wreath Builder. This is a really handy stamp set. Mm. Look, because you, you can do so much with yeah, these. Yeah, I'm hoping to get a demo with that done in this hour. It's, oh, cool. it's just... To this, the time just disappears, doesn't it? It's amazing, but yeah, really useful. You've obviously got um, your solid stamps there, and then you've got your foliage as well. But you, you think it is foliage, so you can use it at any time of year. But great for borders, um, just as one statement piece. So that holly there with the berries, yep. that's going to be a really nice statement mm. piece. But you can, you know, you can have it. Um, uh, Bonnie's made like uh, branches with the, you know, the, the sort of spiky foliage. Yeah. 
Yes. You can do all sorts of things with it, really useful. And then we've got fancy birds. Yeah, we've got fancy birds, um, the cardinal, and then the other two birds, whatever you want them to be. Again, lovely, lovely detail in those wings. Mm. Um, and you can mm. see the eyes and the beaks, really, really great stamp. And then you've got my favourite sentiment, which yep. is the With Love at Christmas, which is a real statement sentiment. It's an excellent size sentiment. So you can use it just as a focal point. You can use it on the inside of your card. You can use it on your gift tags. Uh, you know, that would be, that's definitely my go-to sentiment yep. uh, from the collection oh, today. Nice. It, uh, yeah, it's just, it's all warm and fuzzy, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. it is. Uh, so I like, I like that, so that, that a lot. That's the, I think that's, I'm sure that's Bonnie that's done that uh, is it ronnie 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 okay sorry ronnie uh yes yeah, so uh, you can see the birds sitting in the branches there yeah love that and then little dinky card again yeah that's, that, 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 that's one of mine again but that's that, that could be um that has got with love at christmas inside yeah. um but you can you, that can be a little uh, gift tag you know yeah i like a gift tag um and then this one is by Steph. That's the, a fabulous. Don't the birds group. look fantastic just just on the edge of the reef like yeah. that? The, the reef like that. Yeah. Love that. Right. Twenty pounds and ninety nine pence. Zero six seven zero four eight is the item number. Uh, next, then we've got the deer. Our fabulous deer, and there's also a big statement sentiment in this as well. Yes, so it's the doe, <laughs> yeah. the deer. Uh, so you've got your, your fawn and doe, uh, and then you've got your meadow grass and your um, possible uh, sentiment. Yeah. So, so this doesn't scream Christmas. This no. is kind of every day, uh, just lovely scene building, yes. great additions to your stash. And um, also, this, um, the grass, the meadow grass, like you're saying, you can have it upside down yes. as well. Yes. No problemo. And then we've got a few samples. This sample is by Steph. See, that doesn't, see, that's not, you know, doesn't, like you said, scream Christmas. No, it, it's almost like a, a thinking of you kind of card. Yes. Because it's, it's, it's a positive message that you're sending yeah. out, isn't it? Yeah. And it's just something quite serene about and it. And great as well. for your journal, that sentiment as well, yeah. you know, you, and you have your planners and things because it is, um, you know, uplifting. Absolutely. Love that. Let's do one more. Bring this in. Beautiful. £23.99, 753 is your item number. Then we've got our fabulous choir fairies, all in different poses. Mm. I just love the poses mm. that fairy hugs do. You've got Harmony Melody and Viola, and you've got your um, musical dandelions there as well. Gorgeous. Got to get a bit of glitter on those wings. Well, well you haven't got to, but... <laughs> yeah, well, it's just my... Uh, you know what I'm like. <laughs> Alex has got to. Yeah, Alex has got to. Got to. <laughs> and then, yeah, the musical notes. It's, it's lovely. very clever. Yeah, there's a lot of movement in that yes. stamp. Yeah. Nice. And uh, we're going to use it to edge um, a, a piece uh, if we get round to it. <laughs> uh, so this one is a by Anne. And... Uh, all three of them there. Yeah. Oh, oh, no, that's using that's the That's Jarda. Yeah, that's yeah, so, it. So we've got a couple of the fairies, then we've got the word tree and Jarda and the yeah. sled. Perfect. We can see that all the collection oh, yeah. works yeah. together, it doesn't does. it? Um, there that was a beautiful one. It is, isn't it? Look. That's one of my demos from oh, it? last night. Okie okay, doke. Catch up on Rewind if you can. Lovely. £26.99. Item number is 923831. Oh, and then we're coming on to our dragon. Mm. Zuli. Zuli. That's yes. it, that's it. There you go. And he's a nice, sizable stamp. Yeah, yeah. I was looking it up. I mean, I said it was it's nearly four inches, but they've yeah. actually marked it down uh, by Fairy Hugs at 3.7 inches. Okay. Uh, so it, it is a really good size. But he is, he is actually a happy, friendly dragon. Yes. He's not a scary dragon. I love and I love that he's holding his hands. Yeah, he's out. got his hands. So, yeah. so um, the, the, I think I was reading as well. So, um, um, Lara, who's got the decorating tree with her, yeah. uh, the dragon was designed to actually for him to actually hold her oh. to decorate the top of the tree. Oh, lifting her up. Yes, yeah, so that's how he's designed. But obviously, in the previous hour, I put a squirrel yes. in his hands. That was he, requested he, by her producer. Emily. Yeah, um, you can also have like stars coming out of his hands if yeah. you want to so oh, you could he could have a bird in his hand yeah bird in his hand. <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> so i mean you can do lots of things with him he can be holding the staff yes uh which some of the samples show you uh and then also in this collection we've got the phoenix and there is only one phoenix phoenix currently in the uh collection so right. he's just called phoenix uh, and there's a lot of detail to him as well yes. 
So this is the one that you fin you did this morning, isn't That's it? That's the one I did this morning, yeah. There you go. Isn't this a holding a squirrel? They're How gonna, cute is they're that? They're going to have a little kiss. <laughs> That's beautiful. And it won't be a fire kiss because he's been to the dragon doctor. <laughs> I love that. I love the stories. And that is, it definitely is very, very magical. Oh, here he is. Um, here's the dragon holding a staff. Yeah, and he's got some of the uh, little ornaments from oh, yeah. the decorating tree hanging off the staff. Excellent. And again, one more. Let's it is wonderful to see all the inspiration from the design team because yeah. everybody thinks about using them differently. Definitely. Um, £22.99. and pence. Item number is 576758. And then last but not least, um, we've got the pine cone um, collection next. It's, that, it's a lovely little pine cone house. How pine clever is that? Pine cone house, yeah, really clever. And we've got quite a few different condos and, and houses within the collection. Yeah. Um, and it, obviously this is the first Christmas collection that Prairie Hugs have done because they're less than a year old. Um, and um, this is just a wonderful addition to the houses. Mm. We've also got the sentiment a long way. Yep. And we've got the squirrels. And we've got your lamppost cane as well. Excellent. And the lamppost cane will work, you can slot it behind. Yep. So, if you, so if you stamp it first and then stamp, stamp the pine cone house on top, then it will hide, you know, any kind of overlap. Uh, and it's nice to sort of light up the pine cone area. Oh, this one. That's the staff oh, no, there the on that one, but you can see that works really well and the squirrel's sitting on top. Aww, <laughs> I love that. that. That's one, I think that's one of Bonnie's. Yeah, it, uh, yes, I think it yeah, is. Yeah, the ones that matching onto black are yeah. generally Bonnie's. Amazing. This one's by Ronnie. Yeah, so that's so Annie's tree that the squirrels are sitting in, but you can see the pine cone house has been used either side, just coming in, just popping yeah. in. And then one more then. This one is by uh, Ronnie. I love the colouring that she's mm, done here. Yeah, yeah. That's a real kind of forest house, isn't it? Yeah, love that. 24.99 is your item number. Right, so I'm going to show you even more of finished samples and then we'll crack on with the demos. demo with first then, right Julia. okay so we're going to do a variation of a simple card so we're going to change a simple card into something a little bit more complicated so we're going to combine um, things I've already shown you so this is a Marion De Marion designs colorful silhouettes basic rectangles that I bought off you guys when Leone did the Marion designs one day special uh, I got in quick so I managed to get it that's good I know <laughs> it, I couldn't dither because it was sold out so quickly. Mm -hmm. um, so we're just going to, this is like a, um, a block stamp, if you like. So we're just going to pop that in the centre of an A6 card. Okay. Pop it on the stamp press. And you, so this you, this is good for just, uh, batch making because mm. you can just do loads of these yes. and then add all the other bits afterwards. <clears throat> and I'm, I'm going to use a green. I used red last night. I'm going to use a green. This is Rustic Wilderness, which is uh, the newer green from um, our man Tim Holtz. And we're going to use a brayer, just, just like we would with a, a, a gel plate. Yeah. You can see how much is coming off there, all the glitter that's on here as well. Uh, just so we can get a really good coverage and it's not kind of blotchy. I'll clean that later. And then we're going to stamp. It's in the stamp press just in case I didn't put enough ink on, but you can see I've got plenty of ink on there. Yeah. In fact, that's a little bit blotchy, but it's fine. We're going to actually stamp on top. So I'll clean that in a little while. Okay. So, so, that, so you do loads and loads and loads of those in your batch making. Then we're going to use the holiday word tree. And we're going to pop it in the middle. So that it's the Christmas is just coming out either side. And we're going to stamp it in black. 
So it's going to, we're going to go for our Nocturne Versifying Claire. Cool. And I do prefer to go on to uh, Distress Ink rather than Distress Oxide because sometimes when you go, when you go off of an inked area, um, the colour will change and it will look slightly different. Whereas what, if you oxides? get on the oxides, oh. but if you actually stamp onto distress, it doesn't kind of interfere. The colours stay the same. Cool. So there's our tree. So that could be your card finished. Right. But we're going to take it one step further because we can. <laughs> so it depends on how much time you've got as to what you actually do. So we're going to use the point set here. So this is the point set here that I stamped last mm. night just to check at yes. how it was. And you can see we've got a lovely cross hatch detail in there and it looks great just like that. And we are going to do it in red, but we're going to do a smaller border than the one that I did that last night. Let's do it on this side. We're just going to take the tips, just the edges to do to do a frame around this. And hope it looks all right. Oh, of course it will. So I need a, I've only got a really big block <laughs> or a really small block. Never one that's in between. Never. Well, I have, but, you know, <laughs> trying to find things in my craft room is, is, is a little bit challenging at the moment. My craft room needs a big dust. Oh, I gave away loads of homework last week, you know, oh, yeah. part finish. I'm just going to check it on here because obviously the first time I'm using it today, I want to make sure that it's nice and lubricated. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Um, yes, yeah, so, yeah. I had I had so many part finished demonstrations and like where I've stamped things and haven't coloured them in or haven't matted and layered them and whatever. So I just gave it all away. Oh. Yeah, various different companies and yeah. It's better to have it used than sat oh, there yeah. not Absolutely. being used. So we're just going to give ourselves a, a little frame all the way around the edge just with this. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Yeah, I just thought it might be just a, something a little bit different. So if you were batch making, what you could do is on some of them go around the edge and some of them not. Uh -huh. Or you could have some of them where you went down both sides yeah. and some of them not. But we're going to go all the way around. Cool. This is glamorous, which is a nice red burst fine clear. Mm. It's, it's a lovely rich red, isn't it? It is a rich red. There yeah. is a, another one, what's it called? Tulip red, which isn't such a deep red. I think it's more of an orangey red. Right. I haven't got that one yet. <laughs> yet, I like the word yet. Well, I don't actually ha grab them until I actually need them. Yep. Uh, so don't forget your one day special it is a why not deal you might as well become a freedom member and you'll get the postage covered and an extra lovely 10 percent off an already really nice saving there and of course if you're buying from um uh, if you are buying from the the, the states i know this is an american company yeah but um um if you, it, it, normally, if you buy anything from uh, the, the, the States, you, it, when it comes in, it, you have to pay import duties, you have to pay uh, VAT, mm. and you have to pay a Royal Mail handling fee as well. So, um, you guys cover all that. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh. You're right. Yeah, I did it off of the card, which Phew. is good. Yeah. So, there's my frame. Cool. And there's my... Christmas on the inside. Nice, what a lovely little card. Especially I think that's that really, really It's adorable. just a variation on a the theme because yeah. we've done a couple now with the poinsettia and it's thinking how can we use that poinsettia in a different way. Nice. Thank the green is, is a little bit darker in real life than it is on the screen. Yeah, I know, it's funny isn't it, with the screens, <laughs> with the monitors. Okay, doke, let me show you some more samples from the one day special then. Because um, we've got the, the design team are fab and you're, they're all different. It is, as Julie was saying, you know, they've all got different um, ways of their uh, styles, that's the word. Um, so this one is by Ronnie. Love that. So that's using those snowflakes. They can be lights, couldn't they? I love that. And then we've got this one by Bonnie, leaping through the air, our fabulous reindeer and our lovely little fairy with her stripy tights. We like her stripy tights. And that's actually the gnome oh, mansion sorry. that is at the bottom of that. Oh, I, oh, I've not seen that one. That, that was, uh, Leone did that one in a one day special back in January. Oh, okay. I must have missed it. Mm. Uh, then this one is by Steph. Lovely little DL card there. It's so magical, isn't it? 
Ah, here's one very similar to the one that you've just so that, done. Yes, so that's the one that I did last night. Right. Um, so that's using more of the point set here mm. on that one. Beautiful. And then here's another one. Fantastic. So see, this is the fireplace used as rooftops, which is a great idea. And then there she is. She's on that sleigh. It's like fairy Santa. You mm, see. She is, she is, she's, she's reclining. <laughs> and then this one, um, this one is by Bonnie. That's a lovely sort of rustic effect, actually. And um, as Julie was saying, love the, all that cross hatching to the poinsettias. This one is by Steph. OK, £38 and some change there. Uh, now, you do get um, 10 stamps in total. And here they are. And they're all clear photopolymer, really, really good quality. Item number is 594217. Uh, go to the craft store if you want to check out that way, or you can call us on the usual number on screen. Mara, to come back to you, Julie. Yes, yes, I'm good. I'm all good. good. I've got all my piles of stamps here. Right, so uh, we're going to create kind of a journal page now so we're going to go for more of a, a scene type of thing but we're not doing a Christmas thing one we're going to do a, cool. an everyday kind of one so this is just a mopped up background here I think it's mowed lawn that I've got in the background here uh, distress ink and I've just uh, put some kind of hilly kind of ground sort of stuff going on as it was when I mopped it up I've got kind of a ground anyway and we're going to use the meadow grass yep and we've got uh, this is um, Shady Lane, Versa Vine Claire, which I just managed to dab on there, which is a bit daft of me, but never mind. Right, so this is going over here. Really good piece of meadow. Mm -hmm. Real scene builder, this Real one. Real scene yeah. builder. And then I just want a little bit more here, but because of the way the stamp is, I'm going to just ink up the top there. Bring in my scrappy piece of paper, which is also always useful, and I'm just going to add a little bit down here, like that. So it's extended it, but I haven't got the height. Yeah. Right, so that's that out of the way. And then we're going to bring in our stamping platform that needs some WD-40 or something on it. <laughs> Love that. Sounds um, like my knees. <laughs> <laughs> My other half's got some in his car when he picks me up. <laughs> <laughs> I've got some at home, but I only remember when I'm here. Uh, then we're going to use our, um, let's see, because let, let's look at the plan. So the plan is that we're going to use this today's full of possible. We're also going to uh, bring in, I'm thinking of bringing in these, but I might not be able to fit them in. So wherever I can fit in. So I'm thinking I'll bring in the, the deer and the doe, the doe and the fawn rather. And then um, we're going to bring in the phoenix as well. Okay. That's going to, but what we can also do is pop one of the fancy birds on the tee of today sitting there. I know it's a bit messy, but you get the idea. Yeah, That's yeah, going to sit good. on there like that. So we can do that, or what we can do yeah. is bring in a bunny at the bottom here and drop that just a tad, okay? And we can bring in a squirrel as well. I don't know why I keep on saying squirrel. I just do. You know, you know when you do these bad habit things <laughs> that you constantly say. So we could bring in a squirrel as well. The squirrel and the bunnies, they're all having a party. Uh, yeah, yeah, they are. <clears throat> so it's, it's whatever we decide we're going to... I think what we might do... Actually, what we could do is bring in him without his mummy. So let's do that. So we have this a bit lower so that there's enough room for the phoenix and the bird. Yeah. And it will go over the meadow grass a tad. Make sure I've got... Yes. I think that's about right. Let's get this stamped and then we can put all our other bits and pieces on. We can use the lines to get make sure we're pretty straight. And as, as I said, this is good, like a journal page, but it doesn't have to be a journal page if you don't want it to be. Let's go black for this because then it's going to hide the fact that I'm going over green. Right. This is my nocturne. Okay. 
good old Today press. Today is full of possible. Yeah, it could, we, no, we're normally we, we say possibilities, don't we, in this country, but I think possible really works, mm -hmm. actually. Yeah. Because uh, is it possible to do that today? Yes, it's possible. Yeah. You know, it's that sort yeah. of thing, isn't it? <clears throat> so, I mean, I've got a bit of a frog. Right, so that's that. That's my sentiment. Sort that out in a minute. So then we can bring in some of our other other pieces. So we're going to have this big bunny because it's a big it's a big um, um, set of words. So we're going to bring in the big bunny down here, and then we're going to bring in. Where's our squirrel? Oh no, we're going to bring in the, the, the little fawn without his mummy. He's going to go... Uh, yeah, let's bring him in here. I wonder if... Yeah. What are you thinking? What are you thinking? What am I thinking? What am I thinking? I'm wondering <laughs> if... No, the phoenix is going to be in the way. I was wondering... Because you, you could pop the squirrel just on the two I, two L's there, or he could go on the top. Let's put him on there, let's do that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I like the squirrel on there, he really works. The poor birdies, I keep on just, just, just not using the birdies, and I feel like I ought to, we might use them in a minute. Right, so we can stamp a load of stuff all in one go here. Yes. Should we do, no, let's not do the phoenix, because I want to do the phoenix in a different way. Okay. So. We do all these in brown, so we're going to go to our pine cone. Look at the mess, the mess. This is what I'm like at home, I make such a mess. <laughs> and this is what you'll do if you, certainly I know that there's, there are some um, viewers who bought the whole collection mm. and you will have a lot of fun, yeah. you know, placing them all together, working out where your scenes are going to go. And... Um, it's it's just joyful, you know, uh -huh. it is a real, um, it's an absolute pleasure. Now, I need to go darker because obviously the green's showing through. Okay. But you can see we've got all those fur lines, we've got all the dots on the deer. Yeah. Um, they're, just they're just superb quality stamps. Absolutely. Yeah. And they're not just superb quality stamps in the fact of the photopolymer, they're actually superb quality in the way that they've been drawn uh, as well. Yes. You know? Yeah, 100%. That's better, uh, isn't it? So it that's not... lovely fur. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and I love just... the squirrel he's sat on, there. He's on the tea. Yeah. It's just so cool, isn't it? It makes me happy. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't you know, take a lot, but uh, that does make me really happy. So let's fetch these off. Do be careful with them that you don't tear them. Yeah. I've only ever torn one, which is a really, really big stamp. So it's not something that happens every day, but just be careful because they just, they do stick really, really well. Now the Phoenix, my stamp is a little bit grubby. Um, so this might work better because than it did last time because I've almost, it's, almost, it's a lot cleaner than it was last time. So the idea is to bring in the Phoenix just here. Let's put that magnet over this corner. And because I suppose traditionally we think about them being kind of reds and yellows and uh, oranges, don't we? We think about them being bright colours. Yeah. So... Um, where is it? It's over. I'm looking for it there and it's over here. <laughs> um, so I think what we'll do is we'll go for, let's see, this might turn out brown. It might turn out brown all over. We're going to put some, a bit of yellow on. Is that yellow? This is yellow. It looks green from here. Yeah, it definitely is yellow. See, yellow. So we're going to put a bit of that on and then we're going to put a bit of orange on. And then we're just going to touch the tips with a bit of red. Oh, just making quite a mess, as you do. And then we're going to clean up. And let's see what this looks like. This could just ruin the whole thing or it could work. It'd be one or the other. But, you know, if you make a mess, all you need to do is go over the top with black. Yep. Not a problem. I will probably need to stamp it a second time. It's not really dark enough, is it? So what we'll do is we're coming with a brown as well. Okay. Just make him stand out a bit more. Just make him stand out a bit. It's not, I didn't think it was going to stand out very well. But what we'll do is just take... I want to keep those red tips. I like the red tips. 
So we just bring that red in. Mm. It's all experiment, yeah. and this is this is how you learn, you know, by by your mistakes and what do, you know. If you do everything perfect every all the time, you're never going to learn anything. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, it's too light for the background. Let's see how this goes. That's better. Yeah, that's better. That works. A little bit there. And that detail in it. It's cool, isn't it? Tail. Really cool, really cool. So that's I think that's all my, my stamping, okay. I think, unless we could bring I want to use a bird. I'm desperate to use <laughs> one of these little birdies. Fetch him off. I wonder if which way are they facing? That's not gonna work. I'm thinking of putting it on the back of the that's oh, this right facing, the deer. It's facing the wrong way though. It's a bit going to be a bit heavy, isn't he, for the deer? Is that a bit sinister having him riding on the back like that? No, um, Baker's, Baker keeps repeating, put him on the P. Put him on the P? Yeah. Yeah, but he's, oh, well, that way, that one could go. Let's have a look. Yeah, let's do that. Well done, Baker. <laughs> that is the first compliment he's had. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> or, or just from me. <laughs> no, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> right, so all, all the animals are, are brown, so this one's going brown as well. Okay. It's great that all the animals can work together. They do. So They're you know, all it, scaled it, perfectly. And it, and it is possible for all animals. See, today is full of possible. Today is full of possible that all the animals are going to get on today. <laughs> you know, well, there's going to be there's going to be no kind of uh, one-upmanship across the animal kingdom. They're all going to be getting on really, really well. Well, they're all having a barbecue. They are. Yeah, they are because it's hot, isn't it? So e e even in the animal kingdom, they need to have barbies, just like Christmas. Yeah. Right. So we just let's just edge this with one of the stamps. So um, we're going to use the um, dandelion, the musical dandelion. And all my stamps are all over the place because you can do this. You can just yeah. pick out uh, sections of it, and you could edge with um, elements of the uh, wreath if you wanted to, the builder wreath. Let's find uh, Shady Lane. And we're just going to pick up the tips or the edges of it just to give ourselves some edging. But like we were saying earlier, I've never seen a stamp like this. The no. musical notes combined with the dandelion. No, I've never seen yeah. a stamp like this. It's a really clever idea. And they're really finely drawn. Really. They're beautifully drawn, yeah. absolutely beautifully drawn. So we're going to have one going down here as well to meet the meadow grass. And then one coming up the other side. And then we can, I'll show you how you can fill in the gaps. Look at the mess I'm making. <gasps> Such a mess. So, there is my saves you clearing up if you have a little bit of card yeah. on the side or paper. I tend to have it so it's totally unusable. So it's just filling in around the edges. Now if you want to fill in some of the gaps what you can do is okay. just take this edge section here, this ruddy edge bit, and just touch it ever so lightly. Ah, yeah. Just with the tip of it. Just with the tip it, of again, it. Again I like the way that it sort of wisps out, you know what I mean? Yeah. Obviously, we're not doing second generation stamping here, so you need to ink up every single time. Okay. But it just fills in the gap so that you haven't got that gap. Because you have to be quite careful of things touching. You know, if you went all the way over here, you might touch back here as well. So yeah. you, could, you could mask off. But if I pop that in against my black... Oh, I love your journal. Journal. Yes. So you can see what it would look like on black card. Excellent. Oh, that looks really good. That absolutely finishes it off there. Is that going to go in your journal? It's going to go in my journal, yes. Cool. Excellent. Thank you very much, Julia. You're very welcome. Such beautiful stamps, aren't they? So that was using a combination of lots and lots of different stamp sets that we've got on the show. So you can see how well they all work together. As Julia was saying, a lot of you have been going for literally the whole counter that we're showing you. These are brand new and um, exclusive to us here at the craft store at the mo. Is that right? Yeah, I got that wrong. In the UK, in the UK that's it. Yeah. 
Okay, yeah, uh, there's nobody else selling them at the moment. There you go. Uh, so you can go for the doe and the fawn. All three of these uh, were on this card. You've got the meadow grass and you've got that fabulous sentiment that's just so uplifting. I've got to show you some of these samples. They're just beautiful. So this one is by Ronnie and it really stands out. And once more, it's just so magical, isn't it? And this next one is by Bonnie. Uh, don't forget, you can find them on Facebook as well, Fairy Hugs. Fairy um, Hugs store it is. Thank you, yes. Um, and then you can uh, see even more inspiration. This one is by Steph. Uh, I just love that. They're in that grassy meadow. It's so serene. It's so peaceful. And they are any time of year. Could be autumn, winter, spring, whichever. It just depends what colours and things that you use. Uh, this one is by Ronnie. And yes, you can have the grasses hanging downwards. This one is also by Ronnie. Lovely and rustic. That, see, that to me is quite autumnal. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. And this one... Uh, oh, yes, this one Julia did. That's right. £23.99. 753 nine is your item number. Uh, more samples coming up right now. please do check out your baskets if you've got anything in your basket because you might be new to us and the thing is with the website what it will do to make it fair for everybody is um, if you don't check out within 10 minutes it will kick your stamps out of your basket we don't want you to lose out on any of these gorgeous stamps that we've got on the show so do make sure you're checking out um, on the website are you happy Julia? <laughs> you happy? Yeah, of course. <laughs> good, good, good. Right, so I've got another A6 card here, and I'm just putting some of the Scotch Low Tap tape on here. So I, I, I don't know, Pink Frog normally bring it, don't they? And they're on later, yes. so you might get it. And uh, I'm just going to add some ink into this kind of unmarked area here. I know you can't really see it, but I can, and you'll see it in a minute. So I, I'm going to use that Rustic Wilderness again, uh, Distress the Ink. Uh, and then I'm, but I'm just going to bring it in with one of the Crafts 2 blending brushes. Yes. The craft Artist ones. Which I'm very, when I'm on air, I'm very impatient about it because the colour doesn't build up as quick as it does with the sponges. Uh -huh. But um, I just have to be patient. And this is quite a really deep green, this one. Right. I'm quite liking this one for um, Christmas makes. Okay, so that should be enough. Lovely. It will be look quite pale probably to you guys. Remember to clean, clean your brushes if you uh, are using the same one all the time. Okay. Then we're, we're just going to use the wreath builder. So we are going to take... Uh, da, 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 dither, dither, dither. Let's take this one. And I'll use my circle block. And we'll go for our... Shady Lane again, which I put back. I do love that. I do love that name, <laughs> Shady Lane. I know. I think Janice said it to me yesterday, and I just ignored it. And I think she was being Janice, you know. Well, what did she do? <laughs> I don't know. I think she was inferring something. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> so what she was. <laughs> yeah. So we're going off of the page a little bit. Let's just do it this way because it's slightly quicker. And. This is this is where my tape is here. My yeah. tape starts there. Okay. okay. So we're going to have some that way. And we're going to lift this up and bring bring it this way as well. Uh -huh. And I'm going over the fold, but that's fine. My tape's on the fold. And you'd, every time you do this, you'll probably do it different. So that's that one, like that. 
and then we're going to bring in our holly leaf and where's my little block little block little block this little block oh, my diddy one my diddy one yeah i'm using the acrylic circles from uh, sentiment to yours yes they work really well then we're going up to rainforest which is a darker green and we're going to just stamp these it kind of in between but two at a time it's going to go that way and we're overlapping what we've stamped before yeah building ourselves a border up mm. they're so lovely and useful and, and this is quite therapeutic doing this because it's, it's yeah. almost like a bit of pattern building but you're not thinking about necessarily a pattern absolutely oh. this actually this would this sort of um pattern would make really nice wrapping paper yeah as well. yeah they, the, these stamps are fantastic for wrapping paper so that's that one let's just clean that off turn it around and do the same down the other side oh. Oh, I'm gonna the 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 fabulous bit is always as well when you the take reveal. This, yeah, yeah, it, look, it looks the right mess until you do your reveal. But it's very satisfying. Yeah, it really is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Unless your low tap tape rips the card, which is a little bit frustrating. It, oh. This this is pretty good stuff actually. Yeah. Um, I've been using the Scotch one for years. Yeah. We, it's the one that we use for the die cutting as well. Okay, so there's there's all my holly leaves. Cool. And we're just going to have one more stamp. I want my glamorous. We're going to do some berries. Now, I think really the berries that are in the kit are more like um, mistletoe berries. But, you know, oh. in the world of stamping, you can stamp things in whatever colour you want. Um, I mean, the, the real white uh, ink that we've got is really picket fence distress. Or yeah. you've got, uh, there's, there is a white stays on as well. Uh, but we're going to go oh, for red berries. Yeah, there's a the white stays okay. on. So this is my glamorous. Glamorous. Glamorous, that's me. Something I'm definitely not. I don't think I've ever been glamorous. So oh, we're going to just pop, let's see, let's pop them uh, in there. Just over the top of our kind of scraggy bits, if you like. And we turn that round and we bring in just a few. Um, That's lovely, that really pops now. Yeah. Dither, 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 dither. Commit. Let's commit, <laughs> I know, I know. Let's have them right in the middle together, like that. Oh, this is, this is lovely. And then we can do our reveal. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. And then we need a sentiment. Yes. Don't make the mistake of touching your tape with your fingers. I haven't got a bin. Um, Why haven't we got you a bin? I don't know. I just keep on forgetting that I need one. I haven't made a lot of rubbish. Because I haven't no. been really sticking things together. I haven't had a lot of rubbish. Let's just put it on there. That's safe. So there's our border. All done nicely. Nice and rich. And oh. then let's put our sending a little holiday sparkle as a sentiment on there. Now, because I've spent quite a lot of time stamping, I'm not going to mess this up by not using my stamping platform for my sentiment. It's, it's always the thing that the last thing that you do is the thing that you mess up. And you also need to make sure you've not got dirty fingers, which I probably have. So, sending a little holiday sparkle. I can't remember what this which set this comes in. Uh, uh, Katie's just looking for us. But it does fit really nicely in that border gap that we've got there. So we're going to stamp that in black so it stands out nicely. Yes. It's going oh, to take me sure ages to tidy got... up. We have got Holiday Sparkle. It's have definitely we? in one of the bundles. Oh. Mm -hmm. We definitely have it. Okay. I'm sure we have it. I've seen it. <laughs> Maybe we've just not got it out on the counter. You must have. It must be in there. Have you not got it? You 
course. Don't no. worry. <laughs> Maybe it's end of call. Ah, good, good thought. Because it is a new, brand new stamp. Yeah. And it, it, you will, it is on some of the samples. So maybe it's on end of course. So I do apologise. No, 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 not at all. But um, there's our kind of... I love that. I love how... Because it really pops and then you've got that white space. The white, white space is very important. White space is quite scary. Yeah, I hardly do it. Yeah, but it's very... It, yeah, I've been doing it... Because I've been doing lots of dinky cards. I've been using yeah. lots of white space. Because sometimes um, it's easier to start a project if you've even just got mopped up ink background. You've got some colour in there. But sometimes white is, is really kind of... Yeah. It makes everything pop. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Thank you, Julia. Okay, so here we are. Uh, we have got the Builder Wreath and we've got the Fancy Birds. Love the Fancy Birds. And then With Love at Christmas. And that's so, that's, yeah, just, just that is perfect. It's cute, isn't it? Nice. Um, and we've got time for a quickie. Okay, <laughs> I can do a quickie with the, with, with the decorating tree then. Marvellous. I just want to show a few more of these. So there you go, that is the sentiment. That is by Anne. Really love that. And then we've got another one here, again by Anne, just creating that lovely wreath there. Oh, right, this one. There you go, that's another version of the one Julia's just done. And then let's bring this one in. Uh, this one is by Ronnie. 20 pounds and 99 pence. 067048 is your item number. Over to you, sorry, Julia. <laughs> right, okay. So we've got here, this is a Distress Oxide spray background that I've got. And we're going to bring in the tree that I've just, there it is. Uh, one gonna... special tree, is it? No, no, this is the uh, Holiday Sparkle oh, one, it. and we've got Lara. Uh, sorry, uh, not Holiday Sparkle, sorry, Decorating Tree, and that's we've it. got Lara. Yeah. So um, this is going to go here. Let's see if I can pop that down. That's just going to go there like that, and then she's going to come in and she's going to decorate the tree. So let's get this stamp first of all. And so let's go for... What should we go for? Du -du 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 -du. Let's go for Fallen Leaves, which is another brown. So you can choose to colour this in or not. Um, add a little bit of... Uh, I tend to use a little bit of the um, Sakura Stardust pens on there because it's nice to bring in some colour to the, yeah. um, um, the stars. You know, a little bit of sparkle on the stars. Oh, yeah, they hang from the tree. It's one of them... You've got to really look at the stamps, mm, haven't you? Because yeah, there's you, a lot of detail. There's a lot them. of detail on these. That lovely kind of fir tree. I'm going to just go a little bit darker. Beautiful detail. That's that one. Then we'll fetch that off. Try not to get inky fingers. And throw it onto the pile. <laughs> I love this. Uh, I'm not going to add any more just for yet. We'll see how much time we get left over. But I do want to add some of the other baubles in a minute. But okay. it's easier to add them when they're not on the stamping platform because it's such a tiny stamp. Yeah. Um, so we're actually going to have her stood Yay, rather than in uh, Zuli's hands. Let's see if we can get that in there. Move over a bit. That's it. And like you rightly said, uh, she's got um, like a um, uh, Santa hat and she's also got like a Santa coat as well, I suppose. So she's going to have that there like that. Let's see if I need to do her twice. Oh, just... Why did... How did we ever cope without a stamping platform? I don't know. I do I know mine. that I... I was scared of silhouette stamps because of the fact that um, you you know if you didn't ink it very well yeah. you know you were you were scuppered weren't you there's yeah. nothing you could do uh, and in those days we didn't actually have Versify and Claire um, which is a wonderful wonderful uh, ink pad so we're gonna have a fairy Christmas uh, there yeah which is in the one day special Cracks me up every time you close it because it's. I know, I know, I know. You're going to miss it when it doesn't squeeze. Yeah, aren't that's you? true. I agree. <laughs> so the little tiny stance that we've got in the decorating tree. Where's my bit of? I'll show you what they look like. Where's my little block? 
goodness how long it's going to sort, take me to sort my stamps out. So these are dinky little baubles that yeah. you've got. They are really dinky. So the best thing to do is to test it on a piece of card for, uh, paper or card first so you know your pressure because you don't need much pressure. That's tiny. It's, it's tiny. tiny. It's tiny, 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 tiny. So she could be, uh, little Lara could be holding one of those. You want to hover over the, her hand. And so she's holding that one. Nice. And then if you want to add them in, you can add them into the ed ends. And decorate your tree further like that. Yep. And then how are we doing? Two minutes. Two minutes. Right, so another one is like this with the block. So another one is like that. Okay. Yeah. So again, if you wanted to add some on here, you can do that. I would recommend you just check your pressure, you know, so you're not actually doing it too hard. Yeah, so you're not squidging it. Squidging it. And then the last one. is not on there Julia on your block <laughs> for heaven's sake is that one so it, again yeah. it, it's it's like the old-fashioned ones my mum and dad used to have them like this so they just add to the tree 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 do the do the do the just commit in you go there okay so so there there's there's the tree Ooh. and so all we do is mat and layer it onto a piece of card though i don't know where it's gone um so i'll just show you that i don't know right. either <laughs> <There you go>. <laughs> <laughs> it's here somewhere look at the nest <laughs> um, oh, so, that's so pretty yeah yeah and it's and that but that's on a bright background but you could yeah. do that just on white card if you weren't confident confident with your inking absolutely Thank you, Julia. You're welcome. Right then, £21.49 for this collection with our tree. You've got the stone fireplace and you've got our gorgeous little fairy. £21.49 for 50508 is your item number. Um, so we will see you at four o'clock. Four o'clock, yes, last chance. Excellent, lovely stuff. Uh, please do check out your baskets. Um, don't forget going for the one day special because you've got a fantastic discount on that. Uh, grab yourself a quick cup of tea or coffee or maybe something cool for the heat. <laughs>
If it's not already connected, use your remote control and select network settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember, you will need your router's password at hand whether you are on a wired or a wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the centre of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type the craftstore.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcasts and access to previous shows. Now you can watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite TV shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hello and a very good afternoon to you and welcome to the second of our shows today uh, with White Gecko and the lovely Sarah. Good morning, my hello, darling. Well, good afternoon hello. now, good isn't afternoon, it? Good afternoon, yes. I know, we started so Time early though, didn't we? We had a very busy show earlier, didn't we? Lots of sellouts. Very much so, yes. There yes. wasn't lots to bring back with us. There wasn't. There wasn't. But the good news is we've got, a, we've got even more on the counter. We'll try and remind everybody of what they missed this morning as well. So do shop ahead on the web by brand. Um, now I'm going to start with some lovely fat quarters and these are Moda and uh, I love these. These are beautiful brights. There is a very um, uh, very subtle pattern on there, isn't there? There is. Um, it's called thatched, but um, we in the shop call it birds on a wire because if you oh. look, it looks like there's lots of little tiny birds sitting so on, the, so, uh, on the wire. So um, I just think these colour palette is beautiful. You can use it just f for anything. Oh, it, re it really is beautiful and you've got some... Uh, Lovely little squares coming up. That, that this, I think, that they go beautifully with. And again, I mean, just look, feast your eyes on this price point because we're getting five of these, uh, and they are Moda, superb quality, and you're getting five fat quarters. I mean, just one alone is a cushion back, isn't it? Um, that's just just beautiful for twelve ninety nine. I know. I love those colours. They really pop. <gasps> Yeah, they really do. I mean, I've got the orange on today. I went straight for that one. Um, and then what, what I can see what's coming up. So that they're just beautiful, beautiful fabrics to have in your stash there. Uh, absolutely gorgeous, whether you keep them as a whole or, or, you know, to cut up into your squares and what have you. Just just beautiful. So all five of those birds on the wire. I love that description. 1299-081-537. Now, we're going to move across. I, I love the feeling of these. We talked about these this morning, didn't we, with our Celtic cross. Um, you had to find it then, didn't you? Yeah, I did. I was thinking it was behind you, wasn't it, earlier? Where's it gone? Who's moved it? Uh, that, that lovely pattern here. This is our Celtic twist, I should say, uh, quilt that's beside me. This is already limited, and I love the look of that material. It almost looks like it's a, like it's a tweed, but it's not. Does that make sense? It's, it's um, the, the same as the flannels that we did this, uh, this morning. Yeah. It's the same as those, but they're um, in 100% cotton. So you get the look of the wool. Yes, that's Winter it. Winter wool, it's called. But with a much lighter... With a lighter, a easier way to... Yes. You know. No, it's not easier. Like a, it's more familiar. More familiar. And with the weight of uh, perhaps the, 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 the cotton that's with it, that it's set in, it just um, aligns beautifully and matches up beautifully and like yeah. sort of a lovely light. Uh, so you could do that on the front and yeah. then you could patchwork the back, you know, Ooh. just sew all those squares together yeah. from the flannels this, this, this morning yes, we and then put that on the back. Cake. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we had some lovely... F so do shop ahead and have a look at those uh, flannels we had this morning. There was a, there was a lovely raggy rug um, a pattern with it as well. So we're getting all of these. This is the jelly roll. Uh, I hasten to add as well, we sold out of the lovely um, ladybird jelly roll we had this morning so we are we are getting limited now two flexi by payments of 20 pounds and you're getting that lovely pattern twist uh, quilt there as well nine zero nine zero three one um, I'm gonna jump ahead to our lovely Lily cushion yeah the Moda Mini Charms. Now, these are the ones I was thinking of when I was thinking of your fat quarters. These are beautiful. So these are the blues, aren't they? That's blues. It's by Janet Clare, which is what that cushion is made out ah. of. Um, and they're all in blues. And they've got music notes in oh, there. Yes, because I went it's for the blues. Mm. I'm going to See show what you they those. Did there? <laughs> there they go. I mean, look at those. They're beautiful. I was having, I was having a rummage and I, and I love the music notes. So, 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 so pretty. She always makes such a, um, a subtle, subtle colourways, um, nearly always in blues and neutrals. 
Um, so it will go with anything that you would have at home. Aren't they pretty? So, so, so pretty. So they're the blues. Uh, messing that up for uh, Shana. I'd like to give her something to do. Uh, and then I'm going to drag these over because I just think these colours, these colours go with the brights. Look at those, this little mini charm pack. Isn't that gorgeous? I love these brights. We're very birds of a feather, Sarah and I, because I know she loves her brights as well. Look at these. They're just, just beautiful, aren't they? I mean, oh, these are gorgeous. Yeah, they take you back to school days, don't they? Don't they? Oh, they're so pretty. Just gorgeous. Very these, bold colours. Aren't they just but so pretty? Oh, I love these. Love these. That's just the one I haven't got over to the other side. Uh, so over half the stock has gone of our Moda Mini Charm uh, packs there as well. And we are getting the pattern to make this gorgeous, gorgeous um, cushion. Lily block, yes. Lily rock, yes. Which you could use as a cushion or you could take it on and make a whole quilt. From yes. It. Oh, yes, because it's a block, isn't it? Yes. Essentially, isn't yeah. it? Isn't that beautiful? I love that. Absolutely gorgeous. Amazing price point, eleven ninety nine. There's the pattern there. Beautiful, colourful instructions, really simple instructions. Again, very concise and, um, yeah, just stunning. 636239, very easy to follow and accessible. Let's have a look at the web. There's a lot sold out, so there's a few that I can see that have sold out. I think we've still got some of the box pouch kit in the Alien and the um, the wool, so do shop ahead for that. There's those um, brush cotton applique rug quilt pattern with the um, layer cake. And we've got some fat quarters there on the white, white um, on the white gecko. So shop ahead. We've got our Peggy bag kit coming up as well, and our lovely Liberty Deco Dance cushion kit. Look, twelve ninety nine. She's giving it. She's giving it away. Uh, very busy. So please shop ahead. Over to you, Sarah. What are we looking at first, my dear? We're going to look at the Lily Block. Oh, since, lovely. Since we're limited stock. Yeah. But this can be done with any any fabric. So um, I'm actually going to use the thatched because we wanted to keep um, the the mini chance that we've got there we wanted to keep it ready for you to be able to buy it so I've used parts of the thatched um, fat quarters so it's mostly if you have a look at it it's mostly built up with half square triangles it's only this one that might give you uh, a little bit of problem so I'm going to show you start with the half square triangles because that's the easy bit so you're going to take one of your two and a half inch squares mm -hmm. and uh, of your background so this is part of my leaf and then you're going to take your uh, background fabric um, because I'm using a mode of grunge I can't see which is the right way but if I can't see it you're not going to be able to either are you and I've drawn a diagonal line going from one corner to the other all right so let's hope that this is going to work today <laughs> or this afternoon. So I'm going to sew a quarter of an inch down each side of the lines. It's amazing how easy sewing is when you take it down into your different uh, elements. Rather than looking at it as a whole, most sewing is easy. Um, if you just take it a little bit at a time and then put them all together. And we are limited, so I encourage you to check out your baskets because I can't see this lasting long. So there you have your um, half square triangle. So down the line, like we did before, just chop it down that line. And then when you fold it out, you'll have your triangle, uh, your square. Hmm. So then you have to cut it down to a two inch square. So when you're um, trimming it down yeah you have a 45 degree angle with your um, diagonal yeah it's actually 45 and on most of your rulers you will have a 45 degree as well so line your 45 degree line okay uh, with the bit that's going down the middle I see and as long as it sits within that two inch then you're going to chop it off and that's where you can trim so you're going to go up the one side and across there and then you now have you know you have a perfect corner there mm -hmm. so you're going to line that up again so you're going to take your corner to the uh, where your twos meet and then just going to trim off that sliver and doggy it there so now you have 
Oh, a perfect half square triangle. I'm so, so we... sorry to interrupt you, Sarah. That's all right. You, can, you know what? Guess what's happened? Oh, we sold out. We have, darling. I'm so sorry to stop your lovely That's demonstration, okay. but we have to we have to conclude and tell everybody that that has now officially sold out. Please make sure you've checked out there for the Lily Block cushion, and uh, whichever colourway you chose there, six three six two three nine, the blues and the elementary. Yeah. Uh, sorry, beg your pardon. Uh, Yes, shop ahead. Yes, absolutely. Forgive me. Um, shop ahead on the web. Yes, because we're going to look at the peck bag now, and uh, which I, I absolutely love. Um, because the thing is, I've got like a box of my pegs, and it, they're always somewhere else. Whereas this, you leave on the line, and that's where the pegs are, where you want them, isn't it? This is absolutely gorgeous. So you've got your big button there, which is included in the kit. You've got your wadding, and you've got this gorgeous, gorgeous lining, and the and, and the, um, the the feature material. And uh, this is your your peacocks there, isn't that? I don't know what the official name. That's called green, but I'm naming it peacocks. There we go, just to confuse everybody. And then I've got the grey. I can follow that. That's an easy one for me. This is gorgeous. So it's there where you need it. Whereas I'm got, I'm hunting downstairs. I'm hunting in the kitchen. Someone's left it under the, the bench or it's outside in the garden. I'm thinking, where are my pegs? You know where they are. They're on the peggy bag. Um, this is called the Margaret pattern, apparently, because Margaret Peggy is short for Margaret, uh, as well as Maggie. Uh, so there we go. We've got the lovely grey option as well. Very stylish. Love it. Or maybe, maybe actually it's not your peggy bag. Maybe, you know how people cover your plastic bags? Your plastic bags, and if they want to, because they are, they're always roaming around everywhere, aren't they? You could, you could use it as an alternative. This is the Brights. I'm, I'm guessing this is possibly one of Sarah's favourites. because it, it is. It is. It's the bright colours. Isn't that beautiful? That's lovely. I love That's a stylish Peggy bag. There's nothing old-fashioned about that, is there? That's bang up to date and gorgeous. Have that on your washing line. Absolutely. I want, I want clothes made out of that. That's stunning. Um, and then pink. There we go. Beautiful roses, very fresh, very modern, uh, just gorgeous. So four different options. You're getting all of your material. You're getting your beautiful, beautiful pattern as well, obviously, in full colour instructions in there. And your wad in, yeah. Um, are you okay, Sarah? If we, is this what you want to tell me about these and what we can do? The button on the back yep. is so that you can hang it over the line. Absolutely. And button it on. So it's not going to come off in the wind. Like That's a, it. If you had a... Which, which is a coat hangery one coat does, hanger, doesn't it? Yeah. Always. Mine always pedoins off. Yeah. So that won't pedoin. Yeah. Whichever, and you get, you, you get your buttons in there as well, so um, whichever style you're going for. So, yeah, gorgeous. That's a, that's a, that's a lovely feature, because that's what always happens to those hangy ones. They, they, they do. They can fly um, off. The uh, peacock one is yep. a Liberty. Oh, lovely. Stylish. So that's a very posh bag. Is, that's very posh. It's a bit too posh for your line, but we can be posh. You can be posh, on yeah. Our washing. You, might, you might want to bring that one in. Yeah. <laughs> It's just a bit of gorgeousness, that one, isn't it? Um, yeah, that's, so that's lovely Liberty fabric. Gorgeous. Stunning. I love that yellow on the inside. just pops beautifully. It Gorgeous. Is. Bright and sunny. Oh, the rainbow, your favourite, Sarah. Yeah. It's already limited, so we best get on Ooh. with this demo. Ooh. Otherwise, there won't be anything left. No, this is true, and I, I don't know where... We're having to uh, build a demo as we go. Yes. Okay. It's just because we've been so busy, darling. Everything it you is. keep is selling out. All my demos that They've I've all sold out. Yes. I spent all yesterday afternoon, so instead sorry. of sitting in the sun, doing demos. And now here They've we are. They've all sold it's out. It's like, an, like a, a normal one o'clock, this is. <laughs> right. So, demo. Are we all right for that now? Yes, do it. Let's do it, my darling. So, I've cut out the pieces out of my um, peg bag. We're winging this, okay? So, these might be things that you already know. So we're cutting this out, and on the dotted line on one side, that's where you're going to put it on the fold. So I thought I'd show you how uh, I worked it out. So we're going to pin... Let's have a look. We're going to have a pin our top first, OK? Now, when you cut it out, it's going to overlap. The front is going to overlap by here, where it says overlap mark, surprisingly. And we're going to put your bottom piece. You want it so that it's not quite overlapping because you don't want it to overlap just yet. And you're going to leave this bit at the bottom. Um, an A4 piece of paper is only so big, so we've done that. And you're going to leave this and make your bag as long as you want it. Okay. Okay. So you're going to just pin it like that. And then you're going to cut it out. 
Um, so you're just going to quickly cut it out. The back piece, now I don't have the wadding with me, so I'm just going to talk you through that. So the back piece, you would um, layer up your two pieces. You get half a metre of fabric and the wadding in your, um, in your pack. So you would just um, sandwich the wadding and um, baste them together with your, with your two fabrics. So you're going to put them wrong sides together with the wadding in between and you're going to then quilt it, which gives it that little bit of stability when it's on the line, keeps it straight. Um, but if you, you don't necessarily have to put the wadding in if mm -hmm. you're going to make lots of them. Right. So. I think it just gives it a nice bit of structure and it does. I don't you don't need to protect your pegs, but it just just keeps them all in there and stable, like you said. Yeah, and it keeps it so that it's it's quite upright. Yeah. On your on your, on your so line, it's falling out and flying about everywhere. <laughs> so right. you do your Facebooks as well, don't you, um, Sarah? You well, do this, your face yeah, this started off as a Facebook Did live. It? Yes, um, I wanted to make a peg bag. Yeah, and sat down and played with a load of things and this became one of them and what time do you do those darling so we do them monday to thursday at one o'clock yeah on facebook Lovely. so you go to the white gecko page great and we um we d we do different tutorials um we'll do crochet some days and um, there's always a block of the week um so we choose a block and we just go through it's not always our own stuff we'll Bring in other people's stuff, but we always let them know that we're, you know, using that. Yeah. Use that um, link. We send the links, but it just interacts with people. We started it in lockdown, so that we were able to keep in touch with people, and it's just grown through the craft store and um, and the Facebook. Look. Our people, we. We're international now. Yeah, the family has grown. And you can yeah. vote for her. She's in the Sewing Awards as well. We are in the Sewing well. Awards. Go, go and vote, go and vote. for us. I've done, I've done my duty this afternoon. I've done it. Right, so starting with this top, how far do you want me to go with these well, demos? Well, I shall do as my producer tells me. So okay. she'll tell me and I'll tell you. Right, on the, on the top, you've got your two pieces right sides together. If you actually put them right sides together before you cut them out, you don't need to move them again. Okay. I've learnt that over, over time. So we're just going to put your quarter of an inch seam allowance all the way around the curve. Now you could put an interfacing in here if you want it to be stiffer. Yeah. But with it being quilted on the back, there's there's no need. Okay. And we just go right round the curve and that way. So you're going to want to snip into the curve, which then, as as you place in it, turn it you know, turn it round the right way. Okay. Um, they all sort of nest into each other. Yeah. Which means that uh, your curve is quite often better. You could stick your pinking scissors on it, mm -hmm. which would be uh, quite good. Um, I can see them moving stuff around. You're buying really well today. So we're going along here, just snipping all this. And then you're going to put, turn it right sides and if you finger press and finger roll mm -hmm. before you start got a little corner there so if you cut cut into the corner just snip your corner off that also will help you have sharp corners okay and we're pushing this through on both sides and finger roll and then we're going to top stitch now we're probably going to chop top stitch this time not just pretend top stitch so off we go okay so you would do exactly the same with the top of the the bottom the top of the bottom um it's got a curve on it so you would just top stitch um 
sew along that and then top stitch them together. Okay. So I've got half half a demonstration of a peg bag at home. <laughs> I should have brought it with me. Oh bless you. So I'm just picking a point on my foot. Uh, if you up your stitch, which I haven't done, but if you up the stitch, um, you'll get a nice um, finish. You could do your decorative stitches. We like a bit of decorative stitching in uh, White Gecko. You do, we, yes. We, we do some... do find some uh, some reasons for decorative stitching. Yes. It's all there on the machines. You might as well do it. Well, this is it. Yeah. You never use all, all the, the stitches. decorative stitches. Yeah. You might as well. So, assume that this is your back you? is already sewn. Yeah. Okay. And you've got that like that. So you've sewn this and you've top stitched it. I've got just bits, bits everywhere. And then you're going to layer it. So you want to make sure now you want to make sure that this you've got that extra on yeah. the bottom so that you've got chance to move it around you've got the area to move it around yeah okay so you're going to find out where you want it you need to be able to get your hand in the hole mm. okay now this would be smaller here because you will have sewn it mm -hmm. and you're going to center that and then you're going to pin it if you can find your pins Lovely. Am I all right to just talk through the options yeah, again, no, Sarah, you can so carry I give everybody on. an update? So this is our lovely green, the uh, Liberty fabric, the peacock, as I keep calling it, but stunning yellow interior. Isn't that gorgeous? And then you get the button there, and then that is the bit that you just overlap over your, your, your washing line to keep it nice and sturdy. You get the material, obviously the, the, the wadding as it's the interfacing, and then you've got the pattern as well. So that is the gorgeous Liberty peacock green third gone. Then we've got our beautiful greys. Very stylish. Greys very in vogue, isn't it? 40% gone of the lovely grey as well. There's a lovely bit of quilting going on on the back there. We'll ask Sarah about. The brights, the rainbow brights, limited. Down to the last single figures on that. So, so literally, single figure. The next person just to check out the basket with that one. Uh, so rainbow, very limited. A lovely pink. Beautiful pink with that beautiful sky blue. Isn't that gorgeous? 12 99 Absolutely. So they are your options. I'm just going to mention on the show the lovely um, Liberty Deco dance cushions. Yeah, I've got two different colourways here because we haven't seen these yet. And you're getting everything here to do, well, apart from your cushion pad. Is that right? Apart from yeah. your cushion pad. So tell me about this this fabric here, Sarah. This is a Liberty. Yeah. Um, they brought out the cushion um, the cushion panels. So we've cut those and you get a blue version and a pink version. So uh, all you have to do is baste it and layer it up with your calico and your wadding. And you can then uh, stitch with your machine or hand stitch into it. Beautiful. Yes, I can see that you. What you've done here is with with your machine. You've just sort of gone around the, the, the sort of the make sort of um, They're highlighted. Hand, it's all hand stitched. Yeah, both oh, is of them. It, oh, hand stitch. Oh, my mistake. I do apologize. Wow, that's neat hand stitching. Yeah. Golly gosh, that's neat. I thought that was a machine. I could never do hand stitching like that. Look at that. That is so precise. That is a labour of love there. And then you get the lovely backing fabric there, and obviously the pattern. So you just need. Um, you know, to stuff stuff it and uh, a bit of a bit of your wadding if you want that there. Add that. So yeah, a gorgeous beginner project, isn't that? It's it is. Safe. It's lovely, and and a lot of people like to sit and hand stitch during the, during the evening. Yeah. So it was a nice, just gentle pro pro project. Gorgeous. You get oh. half a meter of the uh, the backing fabric. Yeah. So um, if you don't want an envelope back, you've got quarter of a meter to play with. Gosh, lovely. So that's um, lovely. And that's, that's just as beautiful as your panel, isn't it? I mean, that's yes, so pretty. I think it's such a beautiful colour. Yes. That, I'm, I'm going straight for the blue, as you can see here. I mean, don't get me wrong, the lilac's gorgeous, but I just I love blue. Uh, so, that, yeah, that is, a, that is a beautiful set of fabrics, isn't it? And then, obviously, in your gorgeous... In fact, let's open up the panel here. Let's, let's have a look at a panel, because it is rather special. Um, isn't that beautiful? Look at that. That is gorgeous. I mean, 
I dare say you could use it as something else if you didn't want to make your cushion. I mean, it's crying out for your cushion because that's what it is. But uh, this particular one, I see that the hand sewing's literally gone around the outside of the the shape itself, whereas you just sort of highlighted it on this one further out with more of a frame. But equally, equally beautiful. And again, that lovely, lovely backing as well. Gorgeous, gorgeous fabric. Isn't that stunning? It's twelve ninety nine. Choose from the pink or the blue. The, the, yeah, the lovely Liberty Dance um, cushions there. Seven zero five six zero three. We've had another sellout, Sarah. Oh, our Bernatech layer cake gone. Ah, oh, from this morning. Oh yes, the raggy rug. Ah, oh, I feel like I feel like I've lost a friend there. Uh, but it's gone. It's gone. <laughs> <laughs> it was lovely while I was with while we were together. Um, oh, these are gone as well. These are gorgeous. Well done if you got those. Well, um, I ho I'm hoping that because I had to pull something out of the bag to yeah. make the peg bag. I'm hoping that we were had enough. Otherwise, I've cut one of them. The blues. I've cut somebody's up. Well, have we still got the blues? The fat quarters. Yes. But 70% has gone. 1599 717180. Uh, they are, they're beautiful, aren't they, as well? The Liberty Emporium Fat Quarters. You get six. You get six. I know, it's crazy. Still got me, me, me woolies and me uh, alien pouches as well, if you miss those. But I'm just going to quickly mention, before we go back to Sarah, our lovely bento bag. Uh, it's in the pink, but with, this is just to show you how it makes up. So you've got these beautiful triangular shapes and the carry handle that goes over the top that sort of gathers it together. Uh, isn't, that, isn't that gorgeous? I love the way it's all the, the triangular shapes. Um, so it's such a lovely, unusual shape there. The lined bento bag. So. Uh, Japanese. I was going to say, is it yes. a Japanese? Because it it's reminded based on me of the Japanese a, stuff. That one handle. I don't know. Somebody they, made one once. We we um, we added the handle to it. This, Normally, a bento yeah. bag would be tied. Right. Ah, that so, is beautiful, isn't it? Anyway, sorry, I, 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 I stalled because I was looking at the. <laughs> I was looking at the beauty. Um, so we've got the we've got it in the pink, basically. So these are the fabrics. So how much of this fabric are we getting? Uh, um, I think there's a long quarter of each. Is yes, there? Lots, it just says it. Look, if, just, if I just read it. Oh yeah, yeah long quarter helps. of each. They're all um, liberties. Beautiful. Um, oh. The reason why we haven't got a Jeez. pink one is we sold it accidentally because the bento quite, bag. The, the yeah, one. quite a lot of our um, <laughs> finished <laughs> items will go on on our website for sale yes and i think it was one of those ones that went on the website and somebody oh, bought it not to worry we can see <laughs> the delights and the shape here in our gorgeous greens and blues there beautiful turquoises 17.99 for that bento bag uh, kit and a pattern 449 416 uh, we just popped on the box pouches because i have a couple of these left from this morning you might have missed it and uh, what's so beautiful is you get your 12 inch zip you get your stabilizer there and you've got the alien with the rockets now you get is it half a meter of each so you can you can decide what you you know this could be the outside fat quarter of each i beg your pardon you can decide that that could be your outside and that could be your inside but it's just been made up this way for you today absolutely gorgeous got a little carry handle there as well whether they're putting in the pencil pouch there or a little calculator or or, or bits of to bits of lego um yeah wh whatever you want to, to go to a little toilet bag isn't that gorgeous and Two thirds have gone of, of the lovely alien. It's a lovely project, and our lovely woolly. And again, mix and match it. You don't. You, you could. I mean, that is beautiful. That could be the outside as well. Gorgeous, gorgeous cotton. Um, half the stock has gone. I mean, it might be for your crochet needles, a little bit of wool, um, whatever you need, whatever you're thinking to store in there. Twelve ninety nine plus the gorgeous instructions there. Seven four two three one two. So. They are the ones now remaining. Thank you for indulging me there, Sarah. Back to you, my That's darling. That's okay. Right. Um, like we did with the zips earlier, we're going to look at buttons, okay? Buttons, I mean, half of you have probably seen this bit of kit in your... Um, where's best there? Yeah. Um, this bit of kit in your uh, sewing machines and never used it. This is for making your buttonholes. It looks frightening. Okay. It does. The back piece moves. Okay, and for that, you're going to put the button in. Now, these are just on the edge of how big the button goes. And you're then going to snap it on like you would any other foot. 
all right like that now on here you've got your buttonholes that you can program in if you've got the machines now you need to practice where again on a piece of scrap which way your uh, machine goes some of them um, come towards you and some of them go away from you I can't remember which one this does so we're going to uh, oh you've got a piece here machines like this they tell you when you're getting it wrong and they and <laughs> they make you go you. right so we're gonna move down a bit now the buttonhole will go on you know you um, what did I do with that piece see I'm all of it all of a Twitter this piece here once it's all you the whole bag is sewn together this be piece will fold down to go over the line so you want your buttonhole in there hmm. okay and yeah. remember you're going to go through uh, four pieces of material and the wadding so you're gonna have to take oh, it slow okay. um, so sometimes for that amount of fabric using a jeans needle will help so I've pulled my bit down my my button thing I don't know what that's called and um, I'm going to put my needle down and you just start sewing. So this will do it itself. So this is why you practice, so that you know how big it's going to cut, uh, sew. Now I would suggest that when you put the buttonhole on, you put it so it's horizontal rather than vertical because then it's got nowhere to go. It will stay where it is. And there we're done. See, not scary at all. So we're going to cut the thread. Now, there's no hole in it at the moment, so you're going to find a pin. My poor elephant, he keeps being moved around. <laughs> and you're going to put that on the piece there uh, at the top, because you don't. What we're going to do is we're going to cut it with your your thread cutter. So you don't want it to go too far. This is a tip that I learned after I cut many buttonholes, <laughs> far too big. So you're just going to up there, okay? So it went through, and then you've got your button, ah. which will then fit through the hole because your machine has measured the perfect size. Measured for it, it perfectly. Buttonhole. Brilliant. I'm done. It's a long time since someone did a buttonhole on this show. I was watching intently there because uh, I didn't know how to do me buttonholes. Fantastic. I will just say as well of the Peggy bag, just before we go back to Sarah, the, the uh, rainbow option has now sold out. So that one has gone just to flag that up. So I'm going to pop that away down there. Uh, my other colour options, the green, the lovely peacock with the yellow, the grey, and then I've also got the pink as well. So they are third Colour options there, the pink, the grey, there we go, there's the button bit, so that just undoes as uh, Sarah's explaining and goes over your washing line and then you've got the beautiful Liberty fabric in the peacock, gorgeous, 1299-640-281. Our motor charm pack, I'm just going to quickly mention this because you might have missed it from this morning and I've got the two cushions here, um, this one is the Jungle Paradise and that is the Oxford, um, well, it's the Oxford case, isn't it? What did we say, the Oxford? Yeah, it's an Oxford edge. Edge, that's it. So we get the pattern to make this. It's a good 20-inch pad that you need to pop in there, isn't there, Yes, said. yes. Um, and you have, we were talking about the applique this morning at uh, 7 o'clock. So in the charm pack, which is these beautiful colours, so you'd specifically fussy cut it around the certain areas where you wanted to see the lovely you know, the jungle animals and what have you, but look at those colours, aren't they amazing? So then all you need to do is provide your backing, because that, that, that charm pack will make that with the 40, 42, is it, in the charm pack? There's 42 yeah. in, a, in a charm pack, yes. Yeah, absolutely. So there you go, there are all those beautiful, beautiful brights that you can see there. It'd be amazing for a child's room. Oh, wouldn't it? So, 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 so pretty. Uh, so that is our jungle paradise. Then we've also got equally... Now, this is in the flannel. This is the... Um, Fantasy fall. flannel, fantasy it? flannel, yeah, beautiful and soft. The fall fantasy flannel. I suppose because it's sort of got those 
like the, the autumnal colours of fall with the, with the sort of the beiges and the okras and the gentle greens there. But that, that as you were telling me this morning, Sarah, you know, when you wash that, um, those hearts, they'll just so that goes soft around the edges yeah. and phrase. You'll get like a, the rag quilt yeah. edge. Yeah, Be isn't that, but aren't they beautiful? So that is the, um, the charm pack there in your fantasy flannels, 15.99. And of course you get the lovely, gorgeous pattern for the cushion and the applique hearts uh, pattern in there to, to, to do it, 233715. And use that pattern over again to your heart's content. 15.99, thank you, Sarah. Just in case anybody missed that, we had a few of those left, so that's that's okay if we still got some of the um jelly roll left oh um, no no that's all gone of, of this one yes of uh, the celtic, celtic twist. twist that winter wool one the winter wool. Any yes we're, th we're just gonna check we're just gonna check we can't keep up with it folks we're so busy today with our soft crafting and um every time i turn around something's sold out have we got some of these at uh, the celtic twist because this is my lovely oh she's lost she's lost off oh. Two, literally down to the last handful, two or three, that's it. First, first, first few to uh, come on in and get that of, of the Celtic twist pattern. And uh, with that, that beautiful, beautiful uh, Bernatex jelly roll um, in those gorgeous, what looks like, it's, it's, it's not the flannel, but it's sort of that appearance of it, but it's lighter. Uh, absolutely gorgeous in the cotton there. 39.99 now, very limited. On that one, then. I'm, I'm thinking not. I'm sorry, Sarah. We're throwing you curveballs okay. left, right, and centre here, aren't we? Yeah. We're not helpful, are we? <laughs> <laughs> what, what can you rustle up? Otherwise, it's just you and me having a very nice chat. Well, yeah, we could chat book <laughs> or something. <laughs> we can we could chat about bird song. <laughs> what can you do? Are you? Are we going to look at the cushions? We're going to look at the cushion. So, um, I enjoy hand stitching, but it's not a. Uh, are we ready for that? Yeah. Beautiful. Okay. Yep. So you've got the panel on the front. I think if we, we've still got a couple of those Celtic uh, gorgeous... Still got a few left, so people want... If we come to it, if we come to it, don't yeah? we? Yeah. I, I don't mind which what one do we do. The dance, yeah. Do this one. <laughs> it's, it's like the blind leading the blind here today. Right. Okay. And we've got the blue or the lilac. So I'm using um, a perle. Uh, so it's it's light. It's larger than a, you know a heavier weight than um, a normal machine thread, but it's it's not got as many strands okay. as uh, embroidery thread. It's um, so that's what I'm using today. Okay. Oh. You find a needle that you didn't know you had. Mm -hmm. So to uh, start off, I've put, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to um, start from further away than you want your um, uh, sorry, I'm completely my brain's gone. That's so okay. We're at one o'clock again, girls. So we're going to put it <laughs> A knot in the uh, in the uh, thread, and I'm going to start. And you can decide whether you want to go around, around everything, yeah. or just go around the edge. Create a frame, or yeah. create a frame, yes. And you're just going to do tiny stitches. It doesn't matter what size stitches you use, as tiny it could be a long stitch. And you just, all you're doing is tying the fabrics together. Yeah. Okay. And you just, I mean, this is just one of those things that you just, uh, it's like crochet. Mm. You know, when you show crochet. Yes. Unless you've got it speeded up. <laughs> it's not, um, so you're going to do that all the way around. Like I say, you're t tying the fabrics together. Yeah. So you would do that all the way round, okay? Mm -hmm. And maybe in between, when I did it, I went around all these pieces mm -hmm. like that, which um, ended up tying it together. I'm not sure which one Sarah did. 
So she this one... She would have uh, sewn it slightly different. Right around the outside of the, the actual image itself, the print that's on the Beautiful Liberty fabric on the panel. And then on this one, on the blue, it's kind of created a frame around the, the whole image, as it were. Both equally beautiful. Right, got to stand up for this, sorry. Right, because this was my uh, fill-in demo, we're going to, what we're going to do is we're going to make it into a cushion, okay? So you've done all your sewing and you're just going to trim it away from your, trim it down so that it's straight, okay? Straight as possible. So you pick a point on your ruler and take it down, okay? Oh, maybe smaller than that because it's gone off the ruler. Okay, I know that up there. Didn't bring my long ruler. I didn't bring any of my stuff. I forgot so much this morning. So there we go. So we're just trimming this down. Now, if you don't mind the organic look to something, you could um, just trim it with scissors. There's no reason why you have to. If you follow the white line, you know, the, the line, it should be straight because it's been printed that way. And we're going to show you, I'm going to show you, I don't want to cut it there. We're going to show you how you would put an envelope back on. So you get your half metre in the kit as well. There we go. I love this. I just throw everything behind me. Okay. So with your fabric that I've completely lost, where have I put that now? That is. So anybody that's been watching us on the one o'clock will know that this is normal for me. <laughs> this backing, okay. I mean, I know it's the backing, but it's so pretty, Sarah. I, I oh, just love this. On me. Yeah. So you kind of got a reverse. I know you, you did the envelope back on the, the, these, but you could just have a reversible cushion if you wanted to. And just, I know it would be you could, you forever, could put but... You could, if you wanted to do um, a group of cushions, yeah. you could cut this in half and have two fronts yes. and put calico or something Absolutely, else on the yeah. back. And, and then, then have, have panel that in the to centre. go with it. Yeah. That'd be lovely as well. Yeah. Be thrifty with your, your lovely uh, kit, yeah. So we're going to leave this. Normally you would cut it and hem it, right? We're going to leave this because it says Liberty on it. So um, that'll cut down some of the sewing. So you want to make sure that it's going to come down two thirds of the way. Now I'm notorious for not making it long enough, but you'll see that if you don't make it long enough, it then gapes. So you need to uh, to make sure that you've got enough fabric that it's going to go over. So you want it to be at least two thirds, maybe more. You've got enough to do more. Okay. So we're now going to trim that off in true style, like that. See, I've lost that as well now. Have I put that? Right, so I'm just going to trim that off so yeah. that you've got that piece. And because I want it to be the same, I'm going to cut it. I'm going to use it as a template and cut that there. Okay, like that. Now you're going to measure this, yeah. okay? You will measure this so that it's all right. So you're going to have a hem on the on on your uh, on your sides, mm -hmm. okay? And then you're going to build this. Now we want this one on the top, so we're going to put it right sides together on top of your cushion with the bit that you want on the top. Now, if you've got a directional cushion, you would put this... Oh, it's quite wide now. 
Okay, if you've got a directional, you would put this bit so that your cushion is in the right direction. Right. And this is hemmed. Mm -hmm. It isn't, but you know what I mean. Like that. Right. On the top. And you're just going to sew all the way round. Yeah. Okay. Um, and once you've then... I, I can do that while you go on and... Talk yes, about, no, that, that's yeah. fine. And now that that's really sort of creating our envelope, isn't it's it? It's creating the envelope yeah. of the cushion, which will work for the cottage cushion as well. Yeah. Um, it will work for any any cushion. It's a great technique, isn't it, the envelope? And you don't have to put a zip in there. That's right, yeah, exactly. Well, yeah, the, the thought of putting zips in, I mean, I think the... Oh, it's sold out. Um, so, yes. You showed so us you a, just a very simple so way of doing it this morning, though, with the pouches. Um, but the envelope is just to make sure you've got enough to overlap so that you don't have any gape, don't, you know, when, once you've got your pad. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. If you look at the, um, those. Yeah. Here we go. This is the blue option as well. So there's plenty, as you can see, it goes quite deep in there. So you gosh, yeah, lovely. So there's no chance of that, uh, you know, a, a C in the, the, the cushion pad underneath. It's, it's lovely and deep. goes all the way across to there. So plenty of fabric in this kit. Um, but that's, I, I do like, um, not just by being thrifty, but I'd love Sarah's idea of perhaps uh, just cutting this in half and, uh, and uh, using a different kind of backing. So that, that is a feature and that is a feature. So you could make three cushions out of that $12.99 kit. This is the blue option in the beautiful Liberty Deco dance cushion kit. And this is the pink option as well. Uh, Sarah's using the pink option. Half the stock has gone. Beautiful quality. $12.99, 705603. Had another sellout. Uh, this is why we didn't get to the demo, uh, because we just <laughs> it was just going to go, unfortunately. Uh, £39.99, the Bernatex Jelly Roll with a Celtic twist pattern has now sold out. Well done to you. Please check out your baskets, 909031. But do shop ahead on the web for any of the other white gecko fabulous um, products. Uh, Sarah's still sewing, so we'll just go to a Freedom uh, video about how do you become a Freedom Club member, and then come straight back to Sarah. Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. There we go. Lots on the web there. Uh, have a little look. It's all on the web there if you want to shop by brand with more of your Gecko. Gorgeous products. Um, yeah, so there's lots on the web. Have a little look. And uh, more fat quarters there as well. Now, we're looking at the Peggy bags again um, because we've just been looking at the, the, the Liberty Dance Deco uh, cushion set. Uh, but shop by brand. Yeah, fabulous. Uh, now, this is the bento bag, a, a sort of Japanese design. They've, they've added the twist of the fabric on the handle. It just sort of ties it together. Um, we've got it in the beautiful pink option here. So you get all of these... Um, quarter meter uh, four different fabrics beautiful liberty fabrics as well and that is 17 pounds 99 and you get the pattern there as well to make the ban bento bag four four nine four one six gorgeous uh yeah really really beautiful so it's the tr triangular pattern there which I, uh, intrigues me when you when you're looking at it and then the large triangle underneath really really sweet isn't it it's just just beautiful very stylish lovely if you were taking like a little picnic or something in there as well yeah. yeah, I mean, obviously, you could take your, your valuables or whatever, but just a little picnic would be gorgeous. 449416. Gorgeous. Uh, very popular with our, our beautiful pouches. Yeah, our boxy pouch bags here. We've still got the alien with the rockets. Again, you get a fat quarter of each, so you can mix that up and have that on the outside. That is your inside as well. I love the rockets. They're just gorgeous, aren't they? And I love the aliens, but I think, I think I'd be tempted to do it the other way around. But that's just me. And you get your 12-inch zip and your interface in there, 12 dollars 742312. And you've got your woolly 
there as well. 12.99 for 742312. Um, I wanted to ask a question about the peg bags, if that's all right, the Margaret bag. Um, I was intrigued because I know we were just talking uh, about the layout. So you started to describe, obviously, how we create that framing, which is lovely and stylish. You can see that there and then this bit. But I noticed it, it's kind of quilted on the back. So would we quilt the back first before we added our front? How does it, how does it all, how does that yes, bit work as well? Yes, I would quilt well? the, the, the back first. Yeah. I mean, quilting is um, such a personal thing. I think some of them, they've been done up and down. Right. Some of them have been crisscrossed on the oh, back. Oh, that's a crisscrossy one, yeah. I don't know if we can see that. Can you see that? Crisscrossy, so yeah. So I'll just show you how, how you would prepare it with any... You know, I've got no basting spray. Guess oh, who forgot, lovely. Forgot who's her basting spray we would normally have it it'd be as a an end product on the show but it's um yeah it's with it's with my ironing mat and stuff <laughs> at home you know what it's like right so you would just layer these together and we tend to spray baste but you can um hand baste if you wanted to okay or just put pins in all right so you would normally then, um, you would, proper quilters, use a walking foot for this. Um, I do have one with me, but it takes, you know what it's like putting them on. You've got to take it, take everything off your machine. You've got to unscrew bits and we've already unscrewed it once today. So I'm just going to pin it down and show you. So you can just, Decide how you're going to quilt it. Now, uh, I tend to tend to do a crisscross pattern on these. Um, nobody's going to be looking at your pattern work. Or I like to do a free form. So I'll go straight across and then I'll just turn it and come back at another angle and do that. So you end up with like a crazy pattern on it, which if anybody knows me, is pretty much what I do, is a crazy pattern. Okay, so for this, you want to find, if you want to do it proper like, find a middle. That didn't work, did it, sir? Like this. So where I've crossed over here, I'm just going to go through the, through the middle. Now with quilting, you should always start middle and work your way out right. so that if um, if you were to start here mm. and they do one here as you go your fabric is just going to buckle and you'll end ruffling. up with a, yeah. a pleat in the middle so if you start going out Makes more sense. Um, I'm going to do a two and a half inch because that's the way my rulers round well this is the design like on the back of the pink one the pink option is it uh, yes sort of diagonals I'll show everybody that one Sarah um, if you love the fabric that Sarah is using, incidentally, I think we still have some of those fat quarters uh, remaining. Uh, you get six of them in the blue option, the uh, monochrome yeah, sold out. Yeah, this is the blue uh, yeah. with a bit of uh, mustard in. Now, I'm not a big mustard fan, but I quite like this. This is more gold than mustard. Isn't yes, it? it's, a, it's a happier mustard. It is a happy mustard. See, I like rainbows. I like the... Um, the order of rainbows whenever you've got to think about doing something if you do it in the in a rainbow order then you know you're in the right you're going the right way was Elaine watching earlier I don't know I didn't I didn't get round to my mum oh. it was um, uh, I spoke to the girls oh, right. they were quite happy <laughs> oh. right and then if you wanted to then go in the crisscross you would mark your crisscross mm -hmm. and really it's just simple sewing make sure that your needle is in the middle so that mm -hmm. you know where it's going yeah um like i say normally we would change the walking foot right but you have to unscrew bits and okay everything um i would take your stitch up now i use um a uh eh. where's it going what am i doing Okay, so I would go up to um, three and a half. It will okay. all depend on how big your uh, fat your wadding is yeah. and how your needle's going to work with it. 
and then you're just going to follow your line. And of course, for these kits, you are including your wadding anyway, and your backing, yes. and your lining, I should say, and the beautiful feature material. And the button. And the button, yes, indeed, the lovely I can't square like the buttons. buttons. They're square. They are. They're lovely. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, so taking that straight down the middle, and like I say, how you quilt something is so totally personal yes so totally personal um we tend to um, and basting is different for everybody so we're going uh, and that's that's just about it there's not a lot i can um i can add to that you you're Ironing. If you've used um, one of these erasable pens, you just stick then your iron over it and it will just remove the pen. That can do then for you touch your phone. Beautiful, sir. We've reached the, the end of the show, can you believe, my darling? I know, we threw everything know, at you, just... changed everything. Everything got swapped. Yeah. <laughs> when are you with us again? Do you know? When's White Gecko with um, us again? Sarah's back on Monday, I believe. Guest oh. presenting somebody's show and then she's back with white gecko stuff on the 3rd of august are you allowed the festival. to hint what gorgeousness you've got on the 3rd of august that would require me remembering <laughs> um, I'll you with that then uh yes we've got christmas stuff coming Ooh. um we've got a june taylor hour so <gasps> we're going to bring june taylor back to a, uh we haven't done that for a while fab no so a there's a june taylor hour and then there's our own hour and there'll be a quilt in there somewhere. Gorgeous. And don't forget, of course, we can join Sarah and the gang on uh, White Gecko. The Facebook Lives at uh, 1 o'clock? 1 o'clock on Facebook, um, yes. Is that Monday to Thursdays every day? Monday to Thursday. Yeah. And, um, yep. We play lots of different projects. Could be crocheting, could be knitting, it could be whatever. It's quilting. Uh, lovely. Now, don't forget your options for your beautiful peg bag. You've got the green, which I've renamed the peacock. You've got the gorgeous grey, and you've got those big square buttons that are supplied in there as well as, you know, your wadding and the beautiful lining and feature material. And you've got the pink still in stock here. So, uh, yeah, enjoy making your piggy bags. Thank you so much, Sarah. Been That's a busy okay. couple of hours, my darling. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Lovely to and see you, And we'll see you, you all one o'clock tomorrow. Yes, absolutely. Tune in, tune in. And don't forget to get voting as well for your favourite companies on the Sewing Awards. Good White Gecko are in there. Yes, come on. Uh, so we need to support our lovely little businesses. Uh, or rather, bigger businesses. They're international now. You're international now. We're international, Global. yes. We sent internationally. Fantastic. Uh, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to check out your baskets because we've had so many sellouts as well. So, uh, yeah, don't don't miss out. Well, that uh, concludes the soft furnishings for this morning. Lots more still to see. I can see the guests getting ready. So let's have a rundown of everything we've got coming up on the craft store. We've got a double bubble hour now, Pink Frog Crafts with the lovely Janice. Uh, so, yeah, lots to get your teeth into there. And then we'll return for the final call for the Fairy Hugs Christmas One Day Special with Julia. Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. Hi everyone, I'm Phil Martin. I've been a paper crafter for well over 20 years now and a designer for just over 10 years. Sentimentally Yours is my multi-award winning brand of clear stamps, rubber stamps. I've now also introduced lots of craft dies in there, designer papers. I have my mediums where we've introduced the Flawless Media brand into the Sentimentally Yours family. 
we aim to inspire you to be educational and to teach you how to get the most from the products that we're bringing to you. The Sentimentally Yours family has grown uh, to include my good friend Julia Watts and our new designer Trudy Howard. Hopefully we're all going to bring something different to the show so you're going to be enriched with lots of different ideas and inspiration. Hello, my name's Kay from Indigo Blue and together with my husband Alfie, we design and manufacture our own in-house red rubber stamps. We also have our own range of paints, lushes and stencils. We're so proud that we've now got a reputation for such high quality products and the detail that we can manage to get in our stamps. I've got loads of fantastic ideas buzzing around in my head so I can't wait to get those filtered into our products and out to you at home. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue. A very good afternoon to you. I hope you are well and I hope you're keeping cool. My word, it is very, very warm out there. And of course, when it's warm, we go outside, we chat to our friends, we take photographs and we have those memories, don't we? And then next year we sit there and we think, what did we do this time last year? And do you know what? The older you get, I don't know about you, you kind of try and, well, I think, well, I'm... I'm not quite sure. You need something to jog your memory, don't you? So you need somewhere to put those photographs. You need somewhere to put those tickets to the places that you are now allowed to go back out to. And a nice area to do that would be in the comfort of your own home, making and creating your own memory book. How about that? Well, I'm going to say hello now to the lady that's going to take us through two hours of wonderful demonstrations and lots of advice about how to put together the perfect memory book. It's Dawn. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Dawn. How yes, are you? I'm fine, thank you. Yes. Nice and warm outside, but it's cool in here. It's cool in here. This is the place you need to be. <laughs> Stay indoors, have a cuppa, and tune in to us. What more yes. could you want? Do you know what? That is a lovely idea. It really is. And do you know what's nice as well, Dawn? To talk about memories, but also to remind ourselves to have that book, to place the pictures in, to place the tickets, the pieces of newspaper perhaps that we cut out, to remind ourselves of certain days and certain times. So it's lovely to have these kits together. We've got some great deals for you as well from Pink Frog Crafts. The price you see on the screen, $25.99 for the first bundle of blue and white card, you can actually make four of the memory books and they're really beautiful memory books aren't they they are these are substantial memory books we have bought these to you in the past in black and white yes and they have proved very popular and obviously we've got our new christmas stamps out so blue so we've got now acid and lignin free in the blue yes. and white. So the white one, of course, you can start adding your own papers and your own inks to it. The same with the blue as well. But because it's a nice colour to begin with, you it might wa not want to co uh, cover it up too much. No, no, it is a lovely blue. And this is the nice thing about Pink Frog. The cardstock quality is superb, you know, scoring it working with it. I think anybody out there that's used it already will totally understand this. It and feels luxurious. It does. And do you know what I like about it as well? The colour is very intense, yes. very dense, and it goes all the way through the card. And do you know what I like about that? Is when you look at the memory book here, you're not seeing any fading, you're not seeing any patching. No. It's that true blue all the way yes. over the card, which does make a difference, doesn't it? It does. And the nice thing about it is, in the bundle, you've got your card size. So in that large size there, you've got the um, 20 by 40 yes. as well as your A4 
but they both match perfectly yeah, because this is what pink frog do so well now the deal for you here already busy nine eight nine six seven eight is your item number and that's going to make you your eight by eight memory book you're getting 20 sheets of each now of course when we're making a memory book we're putting precious items into it we are so it's really important that we have the right card stock that's not going to affect those photographs or tickets or memorabilia mm. that we put in there and why can we say that with confidence with the cardstock we've got here, Dawn? We can. I mean, the whole show is just all acid, lignin-free. And this is what you need. This is going to preserve your photographs. This is going to preserve your newspaper cuttings. You know, if you've ever put... Um, photos in one of those albums that's got all the adhesive with the flap over plastic Ooh. get them out because the glue is going to eat into your photographs turn them yellow you won't be able to remove them and you're then going to lose them yeah, they're going to be lost and you know what we do have some older photographs yes we can reprint photos but some of the older original photographs we want to keep them because let's face it they are original maybe we've got them in a drawer somewhere mm. hiding away from daylight and things like that now's the time to get all of those photos out all of those little trinkets and memorabilia and tickets i've got loads in a drawer so now this is going to give me the chance to get them out stick them into a book so i can actually look at them when i'm sitting there with a cup of coffee or with my friends now if you're looking at the card stock and you're looking at the memory books you're thinking well how do i do that i'm not sure whether i i can well do you know what you will because we've got dawn's inspirations here and we've got the full instructions for you where yes. do we find these, Dawn? They're going to come in your kits. Pink Frog have kindly printed them out and yes. they are going to come in your kit. Wow, that's amazing. So we don't need to go online, we don't no. need to have a printer, we don't need to find where these are, they're all no. going to be printed for us. Well, that is absolutely fabulous, isn't it? Now, 10% of the stock has already gone of your 8x8. 10% of the stock already gone. This is a two-hour show. Whether the stock lasts two hours, I'm hoping it does, <laughs> but we're going to have lots of demonstrations we in are, between. We are. Uh, but it's a good idea to get in early. Yes, watch the demonstrations. Yes, please make your mind up when you choose to make your mind up. But my job really is to tell you if we're low on stock, what percentage is gone, just to give you that little nudge if you do need to check out your baskets. But 10% of the stock has gone of that size, 8x8. Let's move on to the 6x6. And what I'll do is I'll take one of the 8x8s with me so you can see the size difference. You might want both sets because, let's face it, you know, we've got a lot of things we need to put in books. Oh, definitely. And if we've not got any memories to put in those books, rest assured we're going to make some memories, aren't we, over we the next are. few years? We are. <laughs> <laughs> we are. Uh, right, your next size is your 6x6. Six six. Just to give you a comparison in size, I'm going to take this one here and show you the 8x8, eight eight, just so you can see these side by side, so you can see the size difference. It's a nice compact size. I say coffee table size. It's nice, the smaller one. Yeah. And also, I think it's very good for children. Good as idea. Well. Good, good idea. for teacher's gifts. Yes. Um, presents. Yes. You know, how about you, you know, we make cards, homemade cards for people yep. for their birthdays. How about making an album, writing a greeting on the cover, and they can fill it with their birthday oh, photographs? Oh, do you know what? That is a wonderful idea, isn't it? Um, what a great idea. You know, sometimes at weddings, uh, when we can, people put instant cameras on the yes. tables. So you get lots of different photographs. That would be really nice. But if you could take some instant photos with some instant cameras that you can get hold of now, can you imagine having one of these books already made and putting the instant pictures in mm -hmm. there? So when people leave the party, when we can have parties again, when people leave, your home maybe they've come round after 18 months you can give them those photographs in the album that you've made ready for them what yeah. a wonderful gift that would be exactly you know there's all occasions these can be used for they can be used for your old photographs but what about your new photographs yes you yeah. know a baby's first year as you say, class class photos. Yeah. Children bring in photos home from school. Yeah, that would be You know, lovely. grandparents. Whenever you know, my, when I've lost my mum and dad, fortunately, but the children when they were little, I'd always make memory books Aww. with photographs and little written notes in them and post them down. And whenever my mum received one, she'd be straight on the phone in tears, saying, "You've done it again, haven't you?" Aww. And I've got them all back now because obviously yeah. I've lost mum, so mm. I have got that big box of yeah. photographs along with all my memory books of yeah. the children's handwriting and pictures they're drawn so don't just think photographs but you know as if I'm one of four 
and of course I'm the creative one so I've been designated as keeping everything archived so at the moment I'm in the process of archiving Aww. all my mum and dad's old photographs and it's strange how we've found lots of photographs mm. we've never seen before yeah because they're lost in drawers so you're yes. one of four the creative one I'm one of seven the forgotten one oh uh, <laughs> it's true. Uh, you know, your, your, school, your school books, for example, yes. your school report, you know, rather than being in a drawer, I got some of my school reports out the other week, uh, well, a few months back now, I did a Facebook Live, but oh, I was in tears of laughter, the things that the teachers were saying <laughs> about me. And also, I've got some diaries from when I was 16, and I was reading those diaries as well, so I could take snippets out of those pages and place yeah. them in a memory book, you know, to make, to make people have a bit of a giggle. Um, and you could have this at hand. And what's nice about these as well, Dawn, and everyone at home, is that you can actually put these on a shelf, and you've got that spine as well. Yes. So they'll fit perfectly on a shelf. They'll look brilliant because you're going to decorate them how you want to, to match your home decor. Yes. And then you can just pull them from the shelf at any time when you just want to go back down memory lane, look at some of your memories, just sit there with your friends, with your family, with your grandchildren, or by yourself. You know, sometimes it's nice to recall those memories just by yourself. When you're feeling a little bit down, when you're feeling a little bit nostalgic, you've got them right there. And, yeah. of course, because you can multi-buy, you can buy as many sets of cardstock as you wish because you might want to keep making and making and making maybe you're already thinking about christmas presents this is a great little bundle it's only 18 pounds and 59 pence 254 239 is your item number and you can make four of those memory books four of those memory books and of course decorate them however you like and they're six by six in size you get the full instructions of course to guide you through step by step and we've got some great um demonstrations coming up as well 10% of the stock of this bundle has now gone wow now uh, one more for you if you want some extra card or maybe you don't want to make memory books you don't have to of course uh, you get the instructions you might want to use the card stock for something else maybe you've got some ideas already in mind now we've got some extra a4 for you so you can pop this into your basket if you wish alongside any of the items by the way if you are multi-buying if your basket comes to 60 pounds or more if you think oh dear i put too much in. you know what it's like mid-month can't afford it well this is what we'll do if your basket comes to 60 pounds or more we'll divide the cost into two months interest-free payment how about that but we'll send everything out at the same time we'll just wait for the money how about that we'll take the first payment and then in a month's time we'll take another payment but you'll have everything there to work with so acid and aluminum free you've got your extra a4 it's only 10.99 you get 20 sheets that's of the white and the blue you know it's my favorite colors blue and white uh, three four seven seven three nine is your item number absolutely fantastic quality cardstock for you uh, but don't miss out let's have a look at the website this is where you can go to, to see all the items that we've got available for you we've got some great stamps oh my days you know the stamps from pink frog crafts are beautiful they really are you know i love them and these are spectacular yes they are to do with christmas we've got some lovely ways of showing you how you can use the stamps and incorporate them with your memory books but you can of course use them for your card making as well have a look at the five star upon five star upon five star upon five star upon five star reviews that we've got for Pink Frog Crafts. My word, there are so many for their glues, for their accessories, for the card stock. It's all there. You can go and have a read. You can go and have a peruse. And if you're still unsure or if you've got any questions, we're here for two hours. Email in. It's studio at thecraftstore.com. If you've got any makes or any uh, folds that you've made from Pink Frog Crafts card stock and you'd mm. like to share that with Dawn. Oh. Oh, yes. I'm sure Dawn would love to see your creativity. Definitely, definitely. Or if you've got a memory book and you want to show it off. Oh, yes. How about Please that? do. Yeah. Please do. We love inspiration. <laughs> uh, right, Dawn, what are we going for first? Right, I thought we're going to go back to basics. Okay. We're going to start right from the beginning because we've got two hours. Okay. We're going to go right from the beginning and make a book. But then I'm also going to show you, so stay tuned or press record because I'm going to show you some extra page fold you could do oh. to just add a little bit of something extra to your How books lovely. plus some extra ways to um, decorate the covers and add some fastenings to them oh, so that. it's taking it that little step more that we haven't always done when we've had the sort of one hour show excellent now remember these shows are available will be available on rewind so you can watch the shows again and they'll be available for 60 days so when you get your cardstock home you can craft along with our door you can indeed and the nice thing is everything in that bundle is to make four 
and a couple of extra sheets of card. Ooh, so that. you've got a couple of sheets extra. But that extra pack, yes. I'd grab that because to do your matting and layering and things like that yeah. is a good add-on. Yeah, it's a so good idea. So just a little top tip. So, so we're going to start off with the cover. So I've got my instructions and my measurement sheet and everything is there. So I've got my cover and I'm going to use A4 to make the cover. Okay. And I'm going to cut two identical. So these need to be 21 centimetres by 26. And I'm cutting this out of the A4 card. So let's go and make our cover straight away and just show you how quick and easy it is. Scoreboards. You're going to need a scoreboard with centimetres which I'm sure is not a problem to a lot of crafters out there. And you're going to go with your, I call this the long side. Okay. Okay, so you're going to go with the long side at the top and you're going to score down at five centimetres. Scoring in blue and white. You see, that's my favourite sentence of all time. Oh. <laughs> Well, we often do the white card mm. um, to show you because it, it comes off better in the camera. But actually, yeah. I think the blue's showing up pretty yeah. well today. You know, in all seriousness, I know I like football. I know I go on about it. But that's something for me that I have lots and lots and lots of memories of. So I'm thinking now, if you've got sons and daughters, husbands and wives that also love football, blue and white is a colour of many, many football teams. And there's lots of memories that happen with football, some very good, some not so good, but they're <laughs> memories. So a memory book like this would be lovely for all different styles of memories and all, all different uh, family members. But this is it. It's not just for people of a certain age. <laughs> you know, youngsters. 21, books. you mean? Well, even little youngsters. No, love. I mean, you do oh, 21, 21 yeah. I wish. <laughs> You know, this is it. Children love, you know, they go to school and they do a show and tell. Yeah. You know, making books, letting them go in after the summer holidays, you know, because hopefully we can get out and do a few more day trips now. Yeah. You know, go back into school with a little book with everything in there that they've done and they can write little notes. You know, what a great way of documenting everything. Oh, isn't that lovely? So I'm going to go in with the EVA to make to cover the spine because okay. this is acid and lignin free. Right, and that's important, isn't it, Dawn? It is, yes. it is. Now, some people may have seen on the other video that I did, I've used straight from the big bottle, okay. and that was because I didn't have the little bottles at the time. Right. But top tip is, if you fill your little bottles, okay, your glue goes a long way. You don't use as much glue, and you don't need to use as much glue with this because it is so strong. It is for book binding. It is strong, and it will stand the test of time. So don't think you've got to lather it all yes. on like you're icing a cake. You yeah. don't have to. <laughs> Do you know what? That is great because sometimes we don't know how much glue to use, and we waste a lot, don't we? And it starts gunking out at the side, and then you try and wipe it off, and then it's just a mess. These well, are invaluable, and the details on the screen right there. 1399 is your item number. Yeah, and if you haven't got any, where have you been? Get them. They're oh, do great. You know what? <laughs> These are so satisfying to watch as well, Dawn. You know, when you put the glue on there, it's so satisfying. Well, the, the thing precision. is, you've got, you've got more control. Yeah. Because so as you say, it's not going to seep out everywhere. I'm going to do a squiggle down the middle. Always remember to wipe your nib. I don't know whether you can see that little blob yeah, of we glue can. just at the end. Yeah. So you need to wipe your nib to you get You need off. to wipe that blob. Because okay. if you don't, and you put your needle back in, yes. what's going to happen? It's going to stick. It's going to stick because this glue is strong. Yeah. Okay. So with that little blob of glue, just wipe it with your fingers. Okay. Make sure that's all clear before you go ahead and put your... Now let's talk about that lid because that pin is on the lid. That pin is on the lid. Yeah, you don't have to go and find a pin. The pin no, is on the lid. So it's it gets on even the better, lids. doesn't it? Yeah. So it's all there ready. And then I'm going to join these two together. So I'm going up to that score line. You can see the ridge with the score line. Yeah. So you're going up to that, push down. Now, everybody that probably knows me by now will see burnish, burnish, burnish. Because this is the foundations, Janice. Yes. You know, we want these books to last. You're not making a book that's going to fall apart next year. No, exactly. These are going to last the test of time. Yes. Unlike memories, sometimes fade, this book won't. It won't, mm. no. And I've been making memory books for eight, nine years now. 
and the first one is still as good wow. as anything I make today. Oh, you should have bought some. So, more. You could have gone oh, I've, got, your I've got too many. I've got too many. If you've got any favourite <laughs> memories at home, why don't you email them in? Because I'm getting very nostalgic now. <laughs> Studio at thecraftstore.com. Those memories that are very special to you, why don't you email them in? Because it'd be nice to hear them. Now, I always say with this book, it is very easy to make. A beginner can make this. You know, some older children can make this along with you as well. It's a great summer project for the kids. Yeah. How satisfying is that? Yeah. Now, we're going to make the spine. We've yep. done the, the um, cover with the spine. Okay. We're going to make the hinge ah. now. So, for the hinge, you're actually going to use one of your card blanks. So, we don't need anything else to make the memory books apart from the cardstock that we're buying in the kits. And some and, adhesive. And some adhesive. Yes. Preferably the glue that we've got on the show. I would because say it works the perfectly. EVA and the red liner tape. Yes. That's all I've used. Brilliant. So, so you're going to use one of your card blanks for the spine. And I've done it like this, so you only have to worry about one measurement. Okay. okay? Because we're going to use the card blanks for our pages. So you're going to have your card blank and you're going to go in and you're going to cut this at nine centimetres, seven and four. And that's as easy as it's going to be. Now, true crafters will know you never throw anything away. So we always keep this because this could be handy, matting and layering anything. So you never throw anything away. Okay. But out of one memory book, to do the actual pages and the cover, that is the only extra you're going to have. But okay. to me, there's extra photo mats there straight yes, away. Definitely. So, yes, there's always ways to use them. We're even giving you, Janice, enough cardstock in the kits to make your photo mats. Are you? Oh, yes. how wonderful. When so, you say photo mats. So if you open up one of the books there. Yep. Is that one got the photo? See, I've done, I've done blue and white there. Can you see what you can do? You can mix and match. I know you can, yeah. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> yes. Yes. You see, that's, what, that's why I'm one it. of seven, the forgotten one, because I have to get it in. But the thing is, with Peter yeah. Frog, we don't want to take away your creativity. No. We're giving you the basics, and we don't want to take away your creativity. You're no. all creative people out there. Yeah. You know, and you've got lots in your craft stash, I know. And this is the nice thing about them. We're giving you the base, yeah. and then you can just run with it. Wow. Do you know what? It's so professional as well. When I'm just looking through the book here, you know the ones that you buy and you pay a lot of money for? It's exactly the same as that. It's so professional, so solid as well. You know, just flicking through the pages here, ready to put the memories in, for example, you can see... The hinging, it is just absolutely perfect. And I could just keep going on like that. It's not going to affect it at all because of no. the quality of the card. And I'm going to share a little trip with you in a minute about the hinging. Yes, Excellent. I am. Excellent, I like I that. I am. So, we're going to start off again and get your scoreboard out. And we're scoring in at one and a half centimetres on the small one and the medium one. Okay. Now, this is a stack the deck hinge system. Okay. Laura Dennison was the first person that I saw do this. However, I had my own little twist. Okay. Because I'm a crafter. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been crafting for, Dor? Oh, I've been scrapbooking about 15, 16 years and mini book creating and designing for about nine. Wow. So, um, yes, it's been a little while. So you know your onions when it comes to crafting. Well, it was a hobby. Books. Yes. It was a hobby that's turned into my profession, which oh, I thoroughly enjoy. Yeah, that's lovely. Now, the last one I'm scoring in at two centimetres. Okay. And this, we're going to make a cantilever hinge. Okay. okay. So this is where it's going to make it more sturdy. Okay. For a start. And also, it's going to just help with your hinge and yeah. the construction of it. Now, I'm going to go in with tape to do my hinges. And I'm using the 12 mil. Red liner, red liner tape. tape. Now this is incredibly strong. You see a lot of our demonstrators using red liner tape to make construction boxes and memory books like this because it adheres very, very well. It's very handy to have. Uh, the details on your screen there, £13.99, 825810 is your item number. You get your 3 mil, your 6 mil, your 9 mil, your 12 mil, and you get 120 metres in total. Why red liner tape now rather than the glue, Dawn? 
This is strong, yeah. and as we construct the pages and put them in, you'll see just how easy it is to do with the red liner tape to start. Got you. So it all comes together, yes. as they say. Mm. But you're only going to put red liner tape on the small one and the medium one. Okay. Okay, and not on the others. Now, red liner tape, some people struggle to get red liner tape off. Okay. So my top tip is definitely, and I know you're all going to shout the screen there, the people that know me well, burnish, burnish, burnish. Burnish, burnish. But what I'm sharing with you now is you'd have seen me make these books before, but I'm, going, I'm sharing with you now how to make it, perhaps cut a couple of seconds off your um, burnishing the scoring. Okay. Okay. Because normally I would have burnished the scores before I put my tape on. Okay. But I haven't. No. Because this show is a bit more about sharing some extra tips with everybody out there. Lovely. So I've just got my tape on there. So now this is where I'm going to fold and then burnish and I'm doing the two in one. Ah. So it's just saving a little bit of time. Yeah, well, it makes sense. A because, very good you know, as, as crafters, we just want to get on to the decoration, don't we? Yeah. So we've got to get on with it. So if you burnish both sides. Now, if I just share with you on this one here, can you see how that red line of tape, it's, it's looking? If I just burnish that end, can you see the difference? Yeah. Um, and this is pushing the oh, glue yeah. of the, the glue. red liner tape yep. into the fibres of your paper. So it's important. So it's very important because this is all again about construction, making it to last. Yes. Okay, so this is just very important to do. And, you know, I know I keep banging on about it and all my ladies out there who come to my classes will be saying burnish 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 but yes I'll, I'm going to be that little voice in your head when you're at <laughs> home with your instructions making this Brilliant. telling you to burnish burnish so this third one we're just going to burnish but this is going to be your counter lever hinge okay. this is what makes your memory books so sturdy and strong Okay, so I'm going to open this one out and we're going to start layering these up. Okay. And that's as simple as it is. Wow. So we're not putting any glue on this at the moment. So this is the one with our wings. And in fact, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mitre these. We've had a picture sent in Ooh. from, is it Lynn? Oh, Kim. Kim sent a picture. Good afternoon, Kim. I hope you're well. Thank you for sending this in. Wow. Oh, wow. That's amazing, Kim. It is. What a lovely memory book. Um, Kim says she's been making albums for years. Yeah, it really does show. That is beautiful. Oh, thank you for sending that in. That is really nice. And do you know what we've just done? We've created a memory for Kim. We have, because yes, we've because shared we've, it. Yes, we've shared it on the television. We and have. And that's a memory now for Kim to tell people that her memory book was shown, shown on, on television. television. You see, we're creating yes. memories. Oh, and this lovely. is it. If anybody's um, had the memory books in the past and they've got any questions, you know, again, feel free. Yes. Let us know. Yeah, email You know, I'm here. I'm here. Yeah. Let me help you if I can. Studio at thecraftstore.com. Right, I'm going back in again with my EVA. Okay. Okay, and I'm just going to go around the edge. But this is the nice thing. I've got the precision. Okay. I love the way that glue goes on with that nib. It, I just feel I'm in control. I'm not wasting glue. It's just so easy to do. And you're going to put this in the middle of this piece. So just take your time. You're going to have, if I fold this over, you're going to have a little gap on each side. Okay, so I'm just going to slide that over a bit. Because I'm not happy with that gap that side. When you're happy with where it is, you know what I'm going to say. Burnish, burnish, burnish. <laughs> so that one's in. Yes. And that's stuck wow. already. That's this glue so is really good. Yeah, that's strong. You know. So again with the last one. Oh, that's, that's not. You can really have fun. Oh, with you glue can. Around, can't and you? I thought it shows that quite nicely on yeah. the blue cardstock. It does. 
I've loved doing them with the blue cardstock, Janice. It I is think a gorgeous been, blue, isn't it? It is, it is. And so many, I mean, I've done this with the blue and white, but other colours go with, well with it as well, you know, like your browns. Yeah, true. And, browns you know, look lovely exactly. with the blue. Exactly, so there's other colours you can put with it. So that is our hinge system. Superb. So, Superb. shall we attach it to our book? Uh, yeah, why not? Let's do it. Let's right, do so it. let's bring our cover in. So this is your cover here. So if you just fold these pieces back here, you'll see that they will fit nicely into your cover. Oh, I see yeah? now. Okay, so it all fits nicely. So just make sure you're happy that it all fits. Yep. Okay. Now, the way to stick this in is you're going to put glue on one piece. So I'm going to put the glue on here. I'm not using red line tape for this. I'm using the glue. Okay, so I've got my glue on. Now you've got, I'm going to fold these back here. So I've got my score line and I'm going right up to this edge. You're going to have a little gap top and bottom okay. because our cardstock is 20 centimeters but our cover is 21. Okay. Okay so when that one is down if you fold it back on itself burnish, burnish, we burnish. can burnish it and then you're quite happy to go in and do exactly the same on the other and then this time I'm just going to fold those two open. Burnish and burnish and that is your cover and your hinges already constructed in a matter of minutes Look really and very calmly done dawn thank you very it calmly is, done it is very satisfying when you can make it yourself I yeah think. do you Definitely. know what it is it is now let's talk gsm with the card stock. Um, yes. It does look a really good uh, thickness to the card. What's it the GSM is, on yes. here? I think that one's 290. 290. Yeah, that is superb to work with. And whilst we're here, can we say hello to Andrew who's watching at home? He is. And can yes. we say thank you for the memory card that we've got on the show? It's absolutely superb. It really, really is. And whilst we're here, can I show you a sample? Uh, because this is bringing the memory books to life. Look at this. Now, this is quite heavy because there are extra pieces of card and extra things in there. But look at that, how the cardstock is holding everything absolutely perfectly together. Uh, so we'll open this up. This could be a professional memory book bought from a store, but you've made it. You've made it, you've created it, and what a wonderful gift this is going to be for your family and your friends. Look at this, absolutely superb. Every page that turns um, is so solid, so perfect, and then you can add your papers, your inks, and you can really decorate up those memory books. Love that one, that is so cool, really, really is. And that's made uh, with the 8x8 cardstock, the white cardstock, and the blue. Now we're over 40% of the stock gone of your 8x8 memory book kit. Remember, with all the kits, you get the instructions as well. You can watch the shows again on Rewind, but we're getting very, very busy now. We're watching the demonstrations, and now we're coming in to buy, which is fabulous, uh, because it means you're checking out your baskets. The instructions will be included. They're printed out as well, so you don't need to go and find those online or anything like that. They will be included for you with each of the kits that you buy. Isn't that fantastic? Your 8x8 will make you four of your memory books so you've got the chance to make two in blue and two in white so that is your eight by eight at 25 pounds and 99 pence making four memory books eight at nine eight six seven eight let's remind you of the eight by eight this has also been very very busy sorry the six by six um i really like this size this could be like a handbag size the size that you take with you Dawn. Mm, yes. And what's nice about that is that when we do go round to see our friends, um, you've got your memory book in your bag and you can take that out and you can just sit there and you can have a look at the memories. And sometimes it's nice to take them with you. You know, we go on holiday. Yes. Just something to open up and just take a look at again. This is beautifully decorated. This is your 8x8. Eight eight. So again, a great size and you have that system to make that spine and the system inside to start mm -hmm. turning the pages absolutely wonderful this has got some mdf on the front and again the more memories you put in here the more bits and bobs the heavier it becomes yes. 
but this is just holding all of those memories so well, so sturdy. And that's the quality of card that you're getting. 254-239 is your item number, your 6x6 memory book kit. And you've got your true blue and your true white. Very important that you know that. And great card stock as well. £18.59. You're more than welcome to multi-buy if you want to. We've had another picture sent in. Uh, this one is from Trisha. Trisha, this is beautiful. Uh, Trisha has made a few for her grandchildren. How wonderful. Oh, that's a lovely idea. And Trisha said she also supports a te football team that play in blue and white. Oh. I, <laughs> I wonder who that could be. I wonder who that could be. <sighs> I'll just stick with my Leicester. But I'm sure there are many other teams out there that play in blue and white as well. So good luck, everyone, for next season. Uh, right, let's head back to Dawn. Let's right. carry on with the demonstration. Thanks for your pictures, everyone. Let's look at the pages now. Now, you're going to make eight pages in total. So you're just going to take your cardstock blank, pop it again at the long side in your scoreboard, and this time you're going to score at six centimetres and 25 and a half. But everything is on your instructions. We've had another email in, Dawn. Right. You'll like this one. This email is from Margaret. Thank you for your email, Margaret. I hope you're well this afternoon and keeping cool. Um, apparently, Margaret's husband has just walked into the room, had a look at the television, seen you, and started shouting, burnish, burnish, burnish. <laughs> <laughs> I think I know what Margaret that might be. <laughs> Do you? I'm glad because if it was just any old <laughs> random person shouting burnish at the screen, I, I was thinking you'd be a know. little bit worried, wouldn't you? <laughs> well, I'd be impressed. <laughs> I'd be impressed that your uh, reputation is out there. Right, you got your pretend I've scored all the pages. I'm not going to score them all for you. I've got two here ready okay. so I can show you how we're going to put them in the book. So what we're doing is making a pocket. So yes, you're going to have a photo mat to put in this pocket, okay. but this pocket could hold so much more. Yeah. So this is the nice thing about it. So before we stick it into our book, I'm going to go along with some more tape. You could use, I'm going to use um, six mil. You could use six mil or three mil, Jan, okay. really, to put in here. Yes. Um, so you could use this. And what you're going to do is you're just going to, is my tape playing up in all this heat? Probably. Right, I'm just going to pop a little bit just on the edge. Now, I like to use tape rather than glue mm -hmm. because sometimes if you lose, use glue and you've got a bit overzealous with the yes, glue, yes. you're going to make your pocket smaller. Yeah, true. So by using the tape, it's going to keep that pocket to the biggest size we can yeah, to get yeah. everything in it. Yeah, you know. important, important. Yes, very important. And that's where it's advantageous to go for your red liner tape because you've got the 3 mil, the 6 mil, 9 mil and 12 mil. So I guess depending on which one you use, the more space you've got inside the yes. pocket. Yes, I mean, for the, what I'm doing now, you could use the 3 mil or the yeah. 6 mil quite easily. Yeah, and that Not extra mil each side could make the difference to the item that you put in, into yeah. the pocket. And the other thing you could do with the spine, um, I use the 12 mil, yes. but you could quite easily again use the nine mil. That's not a problem either. Yeah, you could. Okay, so that's not a problem. So let's now put some pages in our yeah, book. Shall let's we? get started. Let's add the Now memories. this might daunt people mm -hmm. because they're gonna think, oh, okay, well, I've got to get it in and I've got to get it all straight and it's going to be a bit hard. It's not hard. You're going to get your page. You're going to fold that over. So this is going to be your page. Always remember your small pocket is near your spine. Okay. So I'm going to flip that over because this is the outside one. Now, if you lay it all in line with your hinge, which is the same size as your card. Okay. Okay. So you haven't got to. Yes. Worry about it. Right. Okay, I've taken, I've tried to make it as easy as possible. So that is nicely lined up. I can see I've got a gap, top and bottom. And then I'm just going to take my red liner tape off this side. And this is where the red liner tape with the hinge works. So I've got my red liner tape off there. And I'm just going to fold it over. And of course. Burnish. Burnish, burnish. You so, almost shout that yeah, at home. Yeah, so that's your first page in. <laughs> yeah. 
Yes. That's as easy as that is. Wow. Now, what I like to do is to put the first page in all of them first. Okay. But you don't want to sit and watch me put in all the pages. But what I do want to show you is how to put in your second page, which is the back of this. Okay. Okay, because I think that's important as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my red line tape off. Okay. And I'm going to go in with my glue. With the tape? With the tape, because I'm going to glue the rest of this. It's a cocktail of adhesive. It is, but this is what's going to make it last, Janice. It's going to last, you know, I'd like to say forever. But these oh, are keepsakes, nice. aren't they? Yeah, they are. Heirlooms, you know. some of them. Yes, heirlooms, definitely. So, nice big squiggle, okay. In fact, let me pop my lid on that before I go any further, because I don't want any... Uh, Yes, always wipe the lid before you stick the needle in. Yes. Now this time, obviously I said to you, your small pocket goes near your hinge. Yep. Now I haven't stuck these pockets down yet, and I've done that for a reason. Okay. Okay. So this time, I'm going to start by sticking this piece to this side. Now if you lay this out, you can see your score line, and it will feel, you can feel it. I can see that. Yeah. So if you lay this on here, you can get that in alignment and you can fit, I can feel that it's resisting against yep. me. Okay. Just check your straight top and bottom. Yeah. Okay. I I've always got, do before I come to work. I've got my hand under where the red line tape is. Yep. So that's going to be the last thing that's going to go down. All right. So make sure you're happy with it. Then when you are, let your hand go. And then just get this all burnished You had me together. worried then. I didn't think you were going to burnish that door. And I thought oh, you were just rubbing no. your hand on it. No, I no, I had no. a bit of a panic. Well, I suppose with your hand, you are burnishing. Yes, you are. Because what we're, we're, not, we're doing this, we're doing this for a reason. Yeah. We're doing this to disperse the glue. Yeah, of course. So then you're not going to get any bumps and ripples. And, and that is the other nice thing I have really found with this glue. Yes. Is you don't get any bubbling um, warping, yeah. anything like that. Even if you're using really thin patterned papers on yeah. top of this, yeah. you don't. I've I've been very very impressed with this. So yeah, yes. and it's, uh, we do have that available. Remember, that is the ideal glue to use when you're putting your memory books together. Very very important when you're putting your photos in, when you're putting your tickets in. Yes. Um, you've got some examples under the counter of photos I and have, newspaper yes. clippings that have been used with this glue. Shall do you want I, to show shall those? Shall I show you these? Yeah, because it is important yes. to know Let me pop the this right to one glue side to use. For a minute. So this is our photo glue. Okay, let me get mine out here. I like to keep mine stood upright. Okay. Because it is quite runny. Okay. So this is, this is why I prefer to keep it stored this way. Now, with your photo glue, let me bring, let me move these to one side. Okay. Don't just think photos for your photo glue. Now, here's a very old photo of my mum, and Aww. you can see how old and wrinkled. I think she was about 17 then. Washing. Okay, so a very old photo, but wow. I know it's preserved correctly. That's incredible. She's got leather gloves on as well. Oh, very I know, smart. yes. And then this is my nana and granddad. This is a newspaper clipping of their golden wedding. Yeah, and I think really? about the time, it probably says my age on there, um, I think I was about 18 at the wow. time. So this is a really old newspaper clipping. Um, I've got found a couple of these, yeah. but again, I know this is preserved correctly. And if you look again, there's no, it's not bobbling, no, it's no. not warping. Oh, I know that's, that's stored correctly now. Oh. But don't just think that. I found a ticket in all the. Did you? Oh, what was the ticket? You know all the to? bits of bits and pieces that you were, you know you inherit. What so was this it it, for? this is my dad used to do a lot of photography, and he's he obviously did. gone and got one print done. Yes. Okay, and this was in 1961. Wow. Okay, but again, I've five stuck, and eight. Is that how much it cost? Must have been, which must I don't know what that would be. Five and eight. pence, which would probably be about I don't know two p would it something like I that? I don't know. I don't know. But. Again, no warping no. at all. Nothing at all. I haven't got to worry about it. But you can go a bit further. I've actually stuck a piece of vellum. Mm, 
vellum. I just literally put a couple of dots in each corner, and if you let that dry, and it does take a little while to dry, I can't see it. you can't see it. I haven't tried it on parchment paper actually, mm. so I, I'd need to get some parchment paper. I wonder, what, I wonder what vellum on vellum would be like. I don't know actually, oh, and that. that's mulberry paper. But again, I put the dots oh. just in the corners, but you can hardly see them. No. As crafters, not just for many of my books, yes. but card making, sometimes we're looking for the right glue for the yes, right job. Yes, definitely. Mm. Well, there's three that you get for eleven ninety seven. What a fabulous price. Let me show you that way. Yeah, it's better. Uh, it does look like toothpaste, but it's not. Uh, so you are getting three of the glues for £11.97, and, and that's going to go a long way. It's the right glue to use. That's what you want. 272177 is your item number for a set of three. Now, I also would like to show you a seven day saver that we've got if that's okay um, and it's your watercolor card it's a4 in size and you get 50 sheet 80 sheets in total even better 16 pounds and 99 pence saving 15 pounds and it's 280 gsm watercolor card is really important to get right you know if you're new to watercoloring i've got pink frog crafts card um and it's just absolutely perfect and do you know what it builds your confidence up it when you've got the right paper, it builds your confidence mm. up when you're using all of your watercolour techniques. So £16.99, pence, 80 sheets in total. It's a seven-day saver. And that was launched this morning. It was launched this morning at 8 o'clock. Uh, do you know what? I'm, I need to keep doing that. I know it popped affect my mic because it's, it's just keeping me cool like that. <laughs> so you'll probably see me doing this a lot. Oh, oh. <laughs> right. 422157. Now we've got 11 minutes left of this show. We do have another show because it's a two hour special. Um, but I wouldn't wait till the end of the two hours to make your choice. We are getting busier and busier and busier as the demonstrations go on. People are buying. Some people coming in at the end of the demonstrations. We appreciate that. But I don't want anyone missing out on the deals that we've got for you. So you can either go for your 8x8 or your 6x6 memory book project kits. And you get all of the instructions included in each of the kits. Beautiful blue, true blue and true white paper stock. The details on your screen, 25 99 is for your 8x8, 989678. And down the bottom of the screen is the £18.59 price for your 6x6 kit. And that's 254 Two three nine is your item number. Uh, right, Dawn. Let's carry right, on. I just thought I would show you sticking a photograph on. Oh, please. Okay. So now my EVA is acid and lignin free, okay. so I'm not going to waste my photo glue on making a nice mat. No. Okay. So I'm just going to do a nice mat there, black on white. Okay. So just nice, quick, and easy to do. And then again, I've got one of these old photos. Let me get my pin in there. Just when you want it to go in quickly, it doesn't. But again, another very old photo. You can see, oh, you know, like it's just getting damaged, isn't it? Being yeah. in a box. Yeah. Okay. I do always check if there's anything written on the back. Yes. All right, first. But when you get your glue, as I said, it is runnier. Yeah. So don't be shocked and... Uh, don't be surprised when you get it open. So don't go mad squeezing it. So if you take your lid off carefully, and then I'm just going to pop. Just I'm just squeezing very gently. So you do put the lines in rather than a blob at each end? When I'm doing photographs, I like to put the lines in rather than a blob because okay. I want to know it's going to stay down. All of it's stuck down, yeah. Yeah, because these aren't going to go anywhere now, no. are they? These are going to be nicely matted and layered, ready to go into albums. Now, I was thinking if there is any writing on the back, if you have a photocopier, you could always photocopy the back of the picture and put that at the you could. side. So you can see the front and the you back. You could, of it. or the other thing you can do is when we're doing the memory books, you can actually make a slip pocket to go on your photo mats. So if you get the one that's got the MDF word on the front, Janice. Yes. The, that one at the end there, no, yep. the other one. Oh, the other one. This one? Yeah. Yeah. So if you open that up, if, yeah. you, if you take one of those photo mats out. Yes, okay. I'm just going to grab that out and then I'll lift it up. There's a little you. there's a little slip of paper there on the counter. Yes. And that will slide just under the corner. Oh, yeah. 
So again, you don't have to, if you don't want to stick down, if there's something written on the back. You can just slip it and in And especially if it's written in the person's handwriting. Yeah, true. You can slide it in the back. So how, it's still a great way to preserve everything. How about this? How about cutting out, so you've got the framework, so the picture still goes into the pocket, but when you turn it around the other side, you can see you the other could, side. Yes. Cut like a window. This is you it. You cut a window into it. Yes. So that was another way this of is seeing it. both sides to your photo. Yeah. Wasn't that brilliant? What a it great is, idea. It is, yes. There you go. Yes. See, we're coming up with ideas. So, that is just your photo glue. So, yeah. to me, as a memory book maker, it's a big must. Definitely a big yeah. must. Okay. okay. Preserving them all correctly. Well, thank you and for that, showing us that. That will, take a, you will have, that will have a little bit of wiggle room on it for a little bit longer. So, yeah. just bear with that and let that stick down. Okay. But, let's go back to our main book the 8x8 eight eight one. So we've got our first page in. Now what I wanted to share with you, I'm going to bring the 6x6 one in here, Janice, just to share with you. Janice was saying how nice and sturdy they are, which they are, yeah. okay. But when you're posting them, don't be put off that you've got to put it in a big box because you can flatten it. Ah, oh, so you could send it out. Flat. And it doesn't interfere with the spine whatsoever. Brilliant. Okay. The other nice thing about it is when you're looking at it, so when we open it up, it lays flat. So you, the pages are like a waterfall. So even when you're right in the middle of the album, everything lays flat. Okay. So you haven't got to worry about looking at your books. Okay, that's the nice thing about it. Brilliant. Now, okay. we were just showing the 8x8 eight eight there. Can I just show you this one? Because this is lovely. We have got some stamps on the show. And we will be demonstrating some of these yes. in the next hour. But just to give you an idea, Christmas is a wonderful time. But let me ask you this. What did you do last Christmas Day? Can you remember? Oh, it was very quiet, wasn't it? I, do you know something? I actually can't no. remember what I did. Last Christmas Day. I would probably have to go back into my phone to see if I took any pictures or if there's any memories mm. there. But it's, isn't it amazing? It wasn't that long ago. No. But I can't remember. If you've got your memory book, then you open it up and instantly you've got those reminders for you. Whether it be a photo, you could write something in there. It could be a little bit of journaling or something like that. And the stamps that we've got on offer for you, well, they're lovely, aren't they? Because that can be incorporated into your memory book. Um, and the snow globe is pretty. So the stamps that we told you about earlier on in the show are available. You can head to the website and see those. The details are on your screen. 22 stamps in total, £14.90. Uh, and you can see the stamps just there. So you've got your snow globe, you've got your uh, penguins, you've got your stag in there, you've got your deer, you've got your Christmas trees, wishes, year, greetings, seasons, and then you've got uh, on there, Merry Christmas, New and Happy. So Happy New Year. Or oh, Happy New Merry Christmas. Or Happy New Year, yeah, because year's on there. Um, happy New Season. Um, so those are your stamps. They're wonderful stamps. So those are the ones we were chatting about earlier. If you want to get a hold of those, £14.95. Can I just mention also, we've got some pearly winks on the show. Now there's some micra in the pearly winks. And if it's micra, not micra, that's a car. That'd be ridiculous. Won't be able to fit one of those inside your spray. Now, if you are putting that on your card with your scrapbooking, it's not going to keep your card stock acid and lignant free. If you put it on the outside, perfect. Yes. But and on the inside, if you're adding your photos, just bear that in yeah, mind. Yeah, it's the ones that are sparkly or shimmery. Yes. So in the bundle that's got seven, yep. five of those are absolutely fine yes. because they're not sparkly or shimmery. Yeah, but okay. you can put them on the outside. You can put them on the outside. Most definitely. Yes, yeah. you and can they put look, them on the outside. And they, I mean, look at that. That looks fantastic. Pearly wink sprays are just amazing. Uh, you'll see lots of our demonstrators using the pearly wink sprays. They really are fabulous. So absolutely perfect for decorating the outside of your memory books. But just bear in mind, if you're then spraying it on the inside, your photos um, won't remain as protected as they could be. But perfect for the outside. And if you want to go for your Pearly Wink Sprays collaboration, seven sprays in total, 30 mil in each. They are amazing. They're wonderful. £22.97, 588034 is your item number. Uh, back to Dawn. We've got four minutes left before we have a mini Ooh, break. Right. We need to go and get a comfort break and a cup of tea.
Okay. Um, so we've got about four minutes left. Right. So, oh, where should we go? Let me let me look at fastenings for these books. Okay. Let's do that first. Because you can fasten now your books. You can leave them blank. Yes. Like we have. Or we can fasten them in different ways. So with this one, I've just put a very simple ribbon. Okay, so it might seem simple to seasoned crafters, but not perhaps to beginner crafters. So the way you would do your ribbon is, I've got my bag down here with everything in it I need, and it's going to all fall out, I know, but there we go, that is, that's life, as they say. So I've got some, I bought, I've got with me just some wide double-sided tape, yep. but your red line tape would work very well for this as well. Okay. So what I like to do is I like to put it on the outside cover before I do my matte layer. Right. Okay, so I'm just going to pop a little piece there and then I'm going to put a little piece on the other side and I've lost my big ribbon. It's disappeared. I will get it. There we go. Right, I've got some ribbon here. So I'm just going to attach that. Pull that off. Okay, and then go to where you're comfortable. So I've got another demo out here, and I thought we haven't got enough time for that one. Yeah, so we'll do that. Time. We'll do that one in the second half because we've got to show page folds as well, yeah, Janice. Definitely. <gasps> and then if you just fold it over, you can measure it. Yes. But I like to eyeball. I like to keep things simple. Yeah. There's no point in going mad doing, you know, that's why I've tried to keep this as simple as possible for Perfect. you. Perfect. So just by eyeballing that and taking that off, we can attach that. And then I've got some watercolour card, which I would be decorating. Oh, and I'm then you'd the stick that over the top so you've got a nice fastening yeah so if I tie this up now your pearly wink sprays would be beautiful on your watercolor card for creating they would for creating a design to put on that outside that would look absolutely yes. marvelous and they're very quick as well this yes. is the other nice thing about them so if you can imagine that's your nice bow on there and you've got Look at that. You can put your cover on there. Now, thinking about your bow, yeah. how about, like, when my daughter was little, I put ribbons in her hair and that type Aww. of thing. This could be something that belonged to somebody, Aww. like a hair ribbon. Like or a garter. Or, I don't know ooh. why I said garter, but, well, <laughs> I'm just thinking something borrowed, something blue, something well, old, yes, something new. What a great idea for a book. Wouldn't that be a good idea? Yes. Yeah, and it's blue. Yes. yes there you go. Definitely. If you make it now and give it, oh, I don't know, in a year's time, it'll be old as well. It will. It will indeed. It will. So, now, I'm going to... Mm, let's do this one quickly. Okay. So, I might have to come You've back to... We'll, we'll start it. We've got a minute. We've got a minute, We've right. We've got a minute. We've so, got... we'll, we'll start it. We'll tease you. We'll tease you then. then. We will tease Come you. So I'm going to go in with that scrap of blue. Okay. Okay. And I've got my Christmas stamps that you can see are very well loved. <laughs> they are. And my masks. And I'm just going to get a block. And I'm going to use the snowflake. Okay. Okay. Now, the pearly winks, in there you do get the... Um, the cotton white yes which is more like an acrylic white Ooh. so this is okay to use well I'll tell you what you're gonna have to come back in about three minutes time oh. to see the results of that I can't wait to see that as well because I bet that'll look amazing on that true blue card make sure you get the kits that you want check out your baskets join us in the second hour even after checking out your baskets because we've got more demonstrations coming up with the lovely door go and grab yourself a cup of tea we'll see you in a few more bye hi i'm catherine and i'm the guest presenter for zuri designs zuri designs are based in america and they bring to us their exceptional quality silicon molds zuri design molds are used in all areas of crafting not just for your clays and your resins but also their food grade silicon as well so used for your cake decorating designs
Zuri excel on the detail in their moulds and the designs range from animals through to fantasy and much further beyond. If you watch the Zuri shows, I will share with you lots of hints and tips. I will show you how to use different mediums ranging from your clays and your resins through to things like even your hot glue. So make sure you don't miss the Zuri shows. Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan. I've been working with Heartfelt Creations for about nine years now. They are crafters, so they know what you crafters want, and they listen to us crafters too. One of the products that really make Heartfelt unique are their flower shaping molds, where you can make easy, quick, three-dimensional flowers, which are absolutely stunning. Hi, I'm Ali from Alice Stitch Fingers. I've been sewing for most of my life. It's a passion of mine. I really enjoy all aspects of sewing. I'm creative in lots of different ways as well, but sewing is the one I'm most passionate about. Designing is a big part of the journey uh, for me as well. I, I love going out and finding the fabrics to use in the projects and bringing them to you. So make sure you don't miss out. Come and sew with me. Hi, I'm Abs from Orange Create. I've been crafting for over 10 years now and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers, colors, textures and creating depth and dimension. Orange Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world, bringing different designs and products in different styles. We proud ourselves of high quality photopolymer clear stamp sets, dyes, stencils, washi tapes and acrylic blocks, all in different sizes and formats. I hope to bring you inspiration and different ways of using your craft products. Make sure you don't miss the Orange Create shows. afternoon we're back oh you didn't join us for the first hour well welcome uh, don't worry we've still got plenty of demonstrations to come we're talking about memories of course I'm joined by Dawn Burnish Dawn yes I think that's gonna be my new middle name I think it, it is <laughs> I think it is uh, it's great to have your company Dawn and do you know what it's wonderful to have this show because we've been talking about our memories yes. the way we keep our memories the way we look back we've been talking about how we can forget as well what did we do last Christmas Day we've both sat here thinking I can't really remember and it was only a few months ago we're halfway through the year so it's nice to have a memory book to look back on maybe a book that you've got on your coffee table maybe a book that you've just got on your shelf maybe on your bedside table maybe it's a book that you take with you maybe when the grandchildren come round you want to share with them memories and it's really difficult to go into boxes and find photographs and go into drawers and find those tickets that you put away ages ago why don't you have that time to find all those bits and bobs bring them together enjoy looking at them again and then really enjoy putting them together in a memory book memory books that you can make and create and that's what the show is about today so our first set that we have for you is to make an 8 by 8 memory book an 8 by 8 inches memory book now we are 60% of the stock gone my word now these are wonderful and you can decorate the four however you like it could be one for each member of the family uh, this one's for dad so you can open it up the spine and the structure in there with the instructions you get are incredibly sound they really really are this is just like a book that you buy you know that can be very expensive but you're making it instead and you put your own papers in there once it's built up you've got those lovely little pockets as well to add additional memories to whether it be tickets or whether it be uh, brochures whether it be photographs or just little um, items it could be locks of hair for example um, or a little dog tag or something like that which would be really nice or a little snippet of a blanket um, so that is to make 
unique. Your eight by eight inches. You've got white and you've got blue cardstock. You could mix them up if you wanted to. You could make a total blue one as you've got there. You could make a totally white one or you could mix them up if you want to. Let me just open this out for you. Uh, so you could then open it up and you could put some different cardstock inside. So you could have blue in there instead of white if you wish. £25.99, 989678 is your item number. And you get your instructions included. They're printed for you and your instructions will be included and printed in each and every one of those project packs that you're getting. That's the first one, but very, very busy. Don't forget, we've got some fabulous glue as well. Because your papers are acid and lignum free, they have to be for your memory books. We've got the right glue for you. So for your photo glue, to, tap your, to put your photographs in there, you might want to consider going for these. We've got three for you. Um, we were demonstrating these earlier on. Dawn says they're absolutely perfect for you, not just for photos, for other items as well. And it means that you don't get any of those blobs underneath. It smooths out perfectly and it's going to keep all of your memories treasured and kept very well. £11.97. So whether it be photographs, whether it be tickets, whether it be some handmade paper or newspaper cutting, then this is the glue to use for you. 272177 is your item number. Now, we've also got some PVA glue. Uh, sorry, EVA. Uh, this is really important for actually sticking the cardstock together so it remains acid and lignant free. But this is extra special as well. So you get your big bottle of glue, 225 mil, 13 pounds and 99 pence. And you've got the little cap on the top that will keep that protected so you can squeeze that out. Nine, uh, sorry, 538442 is your item number. Now, if you want to go for some dispensing bottles, with some very, very fine nibs on them. Uh, let's just take that off so you can see. Very, very fine nibs. Then we have those available for you as well. Sorry, I'll, I'll screw that one back on. They've both got the same very, very thin nib. And this means you can be very precise with the application of the glue. £13.99, and this is going to get you both of those. And there's a little needle in the end of your cap there, which goes in the top to keep that nice and uh, free from the glue. I've not got my glasses on, so I'm not going to try and pop that back in there. I'll wait till I get my glasses on. Uh, right, so if you want to go for those, £13.99, 603282. We want to help you as much as possible to build those memory books. You, of course, have got your memories to put in there. Now, we also have a 6 by 6 inch size one as well. This is a gorgeous size. I'm thinking Christmas presents, and I'm sure you've got photos and little memory items from the grandchildren, from your sisters, from your brothers, your uncles, or your aunties, um, and you can get those and you can start to make those memory books. Again, you've got the spine in there, which is brilliant for putting the different pages in. You've got your pockets, all designed by Dawn, and you get the instructions to make your memory books. Now, this is going to make you four. You've got the blue and you've got the white, £18.59, pence, two five four. 239 is your item number and uh, you'll get all of the card to make four of your memory books and you're going to have a few pieces of left over as well. Uh, now this size is 15 by 30. Um, you don't have to use it all for your memory books. You could just make two memory books and use it for something else if you want to. Uh, but the idea is to make four from this particular project kit. 254 239 is your item number for that. Great price at £18.59. Now if you want more card stock, whether it be for your memory books or whether it be for your matting and layering or your other projects. We're half the stock gone, though, of our A4 extra card stock. Uh, £10.99, 347739. And did we say it was 290 GSM? 290 yeah. GSM, yeah, perfect, beautiful to work with. And you get 20 sheets of each. That's 20 sheets of the white, 20 sheets of the blue. 347739 is your item number. Perfect. Now, we were showing you some stamps earlier on. And if you go and have a look at the stamps, I've got a book that I'm just going to reach over and grab because I want to talk you through how to use some of these stamps. So the first set is just there. Really like this one. This is your ticket express. So you've got the ticket stamp, which is fabulous. And you've got season's greetings, Merry Christmas. I love that little banner just there. Love the stars. That scene with the train as well. Absolutely beautiful. And you can incorporate these with your memory books as well. We've got one here as a little ticket. 
But how about little tag, Christmas tags, absolutely perfect. Uh, so you can incorporate that into your book if you want to. And then uh, details for that, 1495-143-407. And we also have the snow globe for you, which is this one. And that looks fantastic on your memory book. And your snow globe has your snowflake on. You also have your sentiments on there as well. And it's a great little deal. Look at that. Wishes, year, greetings, season. So you can start to build your own sentiments. You've got Merry Christmas in there. You've also got Happy and you've got New. You've got your stag. You've got your penguins. Always popular at Christmas. Your snowflakes. I love that little swoosh of snowflakes. Uh, and again, a great price. £14.95. 22 stamps. Wow. 636 Three nine four is your item number. Now, in your memory books, you've got pockets, and you might want to put things into the pockets, and you might want to draw, you might want to paint. Um, that would be really nice, actually, doing a little memory book of little um, watercolour photographs, uh, watercolour uh, designs and pictures that you've painted. Right, so what we've got for you here is your A6 watercolour card. It's acid and lignin-free, so great for your memory books. 280 GSM, you get 100 sheets of that in total. 019491. It's a perfect size. I love it. £9.99. pence, And it really is a wonderful size. Because if I just take one of these and turn it that way. It's a postcard size, size, isn't it? So it's wonderful for just painting little pictures on, or maybe you found some flowers in the garden and you want to press them onto the card. Mm. That would be really nice. You could keep them in your memory book. 019491 is your item number. Now, I have been told we've got queues on the phone, so we're very busy. It's great to have your company. Bear with us. We'll get through your call, but the best way to order is on the website. Head to the website. And that is craftstore.com, and that means you'll be able to check out your baskets yourself. Now, we do have some Pearly Wink sprays in collaboration with Pink Frog Crafts. These are lovely. This is your Christmas collaboration. £12.99, 499 is your item number. It's not on extended delivery, uh, so it's an instant dispatch, or as instant as we can be, as we're Sunday today. And I do believe we're going to be taking a look at some of these sprays in our yes. demonstration. We've got the Pearly Mist there that absolutely sends sensational and they're going to make such a difference to the cover of your memory books i wouldn't necessarily put them inside your memory books if you're adding your photographs or your clippings because if you use this it's not going to keep your card acid and lignin free because no. it's the way of the interference of the pearly wink spray but we don't want to sell that as a negative because you can still use these on the front and the back and for other projects as well they're absolutely perfect We've also got some red liner tape being used in our demonstrations. If you want to get a hold of this, 3 mil, 6 mil, 9 mil and 12 mil, 120 metres in total, 13 pounds and 99 pence. 825 810 is your item number. 120 metres in total. 120 metres. Wow. That's equivalent to 120 metres. Six rolls. On a normal, normal roll. So one of those is equivalent to six rolls. So one of those is equivalent to six rolls. Mm. Is there, there's 120 metres in total? In to, uh, is that in total? So normally you get five metres, that's right, but yes, instead you get 30, 30 metres on, on each, each. roll, yes, that's right. six metres, yeah. Wow, it's a lot. It's a lot. That's a lot yes, of memories. it's a lot. That is a lot. It's great value and for And I've made lots well. of memory books and I've only just started to finish... Well, I've just gone on to my second roll Have of you? 12. Wow. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? Mm. Uh, right, Dawn. Right. Um, we started a little demo, didn't we, at the finish of the previous hour. So can we, we continue did. that? Yes, we will. So I've put some of my True Blue mm -hmm. in here, and I've taken the large snowflake stamp from the Snow Globe yes. collection, and I'm using the Pearly Winks Colourpop in the cotton white, okay. but I'm going to use this to stamp with. Okay, because this is more like um, an acrylic. Yes. Okay, so this is okay to use. So I'm just going to pop a little bit there on a block. And I'm going in just with a, a, a blending tool. Okay. And I'm just picking some up. And then if you dab it over your stamp, okay, and then I'm going to press down. And I'm so thankful for this tool. So thank you, Andy, for letting me uh, have this tool because this is absolutely brilliant. What, the stamping press? The stamping press, yeah. yes. Because what I found with this is it doesn't look much, but because it's in the right position, yep. I can go back in and do it again. Yeah, you can start to so build it up. So I can get a second, I can get a nice, intense 
colour on it. It's a really nice snowflake, actually, as you can see there. And the snowflake comes with the globe. You've got the Christmas trees. You've got the sentiments, the penguins, the stag, the fawn. The lovely snowflake flourish. I really, really like that. Uh, not just for Christmas. You can use that um, all year round, really, because it doesn't have to be snowflakes. It could just be a really nice, cool design. Uh, that's a great little set of stamps. 22 stamps in total. The ones we're using at the moment, £14.95. Love that snow globe. You can do a lot with that. A lot with that. 636394 is your item number. And they're top quality as well. Don't forget, we've got the mini little one at the top there. And that's sweet. That's lovely. That actually could be an allium, the top of an allium, a flower. Yeah, because there's several little ones as well. Yeah, there's yeah. Uh, four. Oh, yeah, there's some down the bottom. Four, could, some yeah. down the bottom as yeah, well. They could be, we've got some little ones down the bottom. Mm. Um, they could be little flowers. Yeah, don't have to be snowflakes. Oh, that'd be lovely yeah, to work But don't with. just think snow globes Christmas. No. Either. So. And I'm just thinking about the sentiments in here. You see that happy? You, you could just put happy on a card. You don't have to put happy Christmas. You could, but just like, happy. Yeah, happy, but, happy, happy. But with the ticket one, you see, you don't just think Christmas, put happy birthday. Yes. So use yeah. some of your other pink frog stamps and put yeah. other sentiments in them. Yeah, it's a good idea. Yeah. Very, very good idea. Go and check those stamps out. Excellent value for money. Yeah. So what I've done is I've... I've done a bit of a blue pleat a moment here. So I've stamped it and then I've stamped it again and cut it out. So what you're going to do is you're going to just roughly cut one of these. We're going to use these as embellishments. Okay. All right. So don't just always think you've got to sort of purchase um, expensive embellishments for things because you don't have to. Okay. All right. I'm just using these stamps. Like I have here, I've just used the butterflies. So yeah. this is what we're creating. But what I've done is I've gone two and I've put them together a bit like you would in dressmaking. Okay, because I'm going to fussy cut round. Okay. So I'm just keeping them very together. And by having them like dressmaking, when I go to then stick them together, they will be the right, the right shape, if you like. Now, the butterflies obviously was easier to cut, but I had to make it hard myself. And I thought, well, no, I've got to do a snowflake. So... Just very easy to do, all right? And just using tiny scissors as well. I'm using small scissors. Now, when you're fussy cutting, anybody new to it, the best thing is to turn your card and not your scissors, which is probably a little bit harder because I'm holding two together. <laughs> <laughs> as, I very said, well as I said, I didn't make it easy for myself, did I? But there we go. So, yes, so don't be frightened of fussy cutting. This is the thing. You know, and this is, a, is quite, I find this quite therapeutic. This is the sort of thing I would stamp lots out and sit in front of the telly at night because I yeah. cannot keep my hands still at night. I've got to be busy. I know that sounds terribly <laughs> wrong. I've got to be crafting of some sort. People out there Sorry. will know what I mean. <laughs> I can't keep my hands to myself. I mean, still at night either. <laughs> I like to be busy. My mind's on the go all the time. I like to be busy. So I've got two there. Okay. So I've got myself some nice thin cord. So what I'm going to do is get my red line tape. When I find the end, yes. I'm just going to cut a little piece off. Now obviously the backing of your red line tape isn't acid free. Okay. But the glue is. Perfect. So everything is covered. So that's going to be stuck down on there. I'm going to peel that back in away. And then I'm also going to go in with my EVA. And you're using one of the uh, dispensers that we've got. I am. I mean, they're easy to control. Yeah. They squeeze nicely. So anybody with dexterity problems will find these very easy to work with. And you can just hold it like a pencil. And then I'm going to match up. This is where you find out if you're cutting out's okay. You're going to match that on there. And just give that a little push down. Let me just pop my lid back on my glue. So I've just wiped the end there. Now we've had another email from Betty. What a beautiful name. What a beautiful name. Uh, and Betty says... Last Christmas, she was in lockdown. We all were, yes. Yes. And she was supposed to be going to her son's, but she decided not to for the best, you know, the situation we're in. Uh, so she stayed at home 
and a daughter-in-law bought a Christmas dinner. Oh, oh, that was nice. See, and then with some little photographs of that in a memory book, you know, yes. these are all memories that we're going to take with us. It's quite exceptional. Uh, but this year she's going to her oldest grandson, so, oh, that'll be lovely. That'll be lovely. Thanks for emailing in, Betty. And take some pictures and pop them into a memory book. That'll be lovely. So I'm just going to do a quick cover for this book to show you another. Well, I'm going to... To fit a few techniques in okay. one here. We're just oh, I just want a Christmas it. dinner now, Betty. Can I can I come with you, Betty, to your grandson's? Mm. Betty's in Wigan, so it's not too far. Oh right. So I, I, could, I could eat a Christmas dinner now. So I'm gonna stamp the snow globe. Okay. So I'm gonna pop that one right in the middle where I'm happy with it. And I'm just gonna press that down and I'm gonna pick Now the up snow my... globe stamp. Yours is well used, isn't it? It's well loved. It's well, well loved. loved. Yes, well loved. Definitely, well used. De definitely well, used. well loved. <laughs> um, it's a great set, and we've got that for you here. A uh, wonderful set, actually. Snow globe, again, not just for Christmas. Lots of things you could put in there. Lots of things you can adapt it to as well. Um, but you've got those lovely creatures on there and the sentiments. And your snowflake, 636394 is your item number if you want to go for this. Lots of little worker stamps in there as well. £14.90. Five pence six three six three nine four. Well, I think I need to get a new ink pad. So let me just go in. This is the nice thing about the stamp press again. Yeah. So I can go and re-stamp that. But I'm going to be covering this. Okay. All right. I've used some of our mask it, Janice. Have you? Okay. So I've made myself a mask with the mask. Let's it. bring the details up for that. This is always a good addition to your craft stash to be able to mask off your stamp so you can do some really cool layering techniques. 9.99 you get 10 sheets. It's A4 in size. So 10 A4 sheet. 10 A4 sheets of mask it. Uh 976 596. No, 569. I don't know why I'm having trouble with my numbers. <laughs> 976 569 is your item number. 9 pounds and 99 pence. I think it's because there's lots of nines in there. But there you go. So pop those into your basket and they're really handy to use. Right, I'll just wipe that clean, so I've got that nice and clean to go away. So I'm going to do a quick cover just to show how we can be all right for time. Yeah, I want to show the page folds yet, we've got yes, to do we've those. Yes, we've got about 40 minutes left. Right, so I'm going to bring show. in a, my well-loved spray well box. Loved. <laughs> You've got a very well-loved spray box. A very well-loved spray, spray box, box but... I thought, well, it's better than spraying it all on the floor. It I don't think is. I don't think I'd be asked back, would I? <laughs> oh, so, you would. So I've I've stamped my snow globe on there and cut it out. And what I do is I've used Hazel's design of keeping the stamps all together. Yeah. So stamping it and look, I've got a, I've got a well used one here. I've used the sparkly on that one. So, but I thought let's have a new yeah. one. It's like a crystal ball. As it well. is because what you're going to do is when you've you've stamped it and cut it out, you're going to have this plastic film. But you don't need that if you've put your acrylic on this side because okay. you can stick it onto there. Now, here's the thing for the memory books. I've had an idea. It's a snow globe, but how about this? How about using it as a crystal ball and on one side Ooh. of your memory book, writing in it what you want to happen in the next month or so, what you see in the future to inspire you. And then on the other side of the page, in three months' time, write down exactly what happened. Yes, so it could, could be a crystal ball book. Yes, because set yourself goals. Yeah. Yes. So, let's go for a nice colour here. What are we going to go for? Oh, as we've got blue. Yes. Let's go for. Should we go blue grotto? Yeah. And this isn't a sparkly one, so this is okay to okay. to use. All right. So I'm just going to spray very lightly. Okay, and I'm just going to let that dry. Now, the details on your screen for seven sprays from Pearly Winks, absolutely fabulous to use. They really, really are. £22.97. Um, we're using the blue there, uh, Blue Grotto, it's called. Blue, blue Grotto, Grotto. aptly named. 588034 is your item number. Now, for those, you get seven, and they're going to last you a long time because we're only spraying the inks, aren't we? Yes, and it's just light spray. Mm. But the nice thing as well, you can spray them on your mat and paint with them, yes, like a can. paintbrush yeah. as well. So what I would normally do is to do all three covers, but I want to get through as many of the okay. little extra techniques as we can. Okay, so I've just 
going to glue a spine on this book that I've already stamped. Now, I haven't put my hinge in here yet, Janice. Okay. Okay. Why For, is that? Well, because I'm going to show you something else. Ooh. Okay. Oh, I'm, tr I'm trying to get as many in as I can. You had me at hinge, Dawn. I know. But I'm if there's trying something to get as... else you're going to show me. <laughs> I'm trying to get as many in as I can. So that is my outside cover. I'm just going to let that dry because that will stick then okay. on here. But let's look at this here. How about adding... You could, they could be charms, it oh, could be a stamps. Little string but plastic. Little Stamp. string plastic, yeah, yes. I love that. Yes. But again, you're just, so you need to make a little hole okay. to put this in. No good doing that when it's all attached because how do you. You can't get to it. Can't get to yeah. it. Okay. So this is how you're going to do it. So I've got a hole punch. Any hole punch will do. And if you don't have a fancy craft hole punch, I'm trying to find a big hole, just use a office hole punch. Yeah. That's going to work absolutely fine. I'm sure the kids have got one for yeah. school or whatever as well. If not, you could use like a pokey tool and then wiggle it around. You could. You could. So I'm just going to punch a hole. And as if by magic, I found myself some blue eyelets to go in it. Excellent. So I do try and think ahead. So I'm just going to push one of these through here. And what this is going to do is this is going to stop the hole um, expanding. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to fix my eyelets. Again, this is one of those things you have it for years. And bought how it and had it for years. Look? It does. But now we can thread these through. Okay, so isn't it nice to add some charms? Yes, you could tie a bow, but I think it's nicer, more professional. Now, you've designed these memory books, haven't you, Dawn? Mm -hmm. If I wanted to make one and sell, what would you say? If you're making it to sell, there's no problem at all. Excellent. Yes. Excellent. I like that. Of course, and don't put your own memories in there, because I don't know whether anyone would want to buy your memories. No, but the, the idea, could... I think, as crafters, we love to share. Yes. And the idea, I always, I've always said it, with the right tuition and instruction, anybody is able to do it. Absolutely. And I think this is just so true. Yep. So just position where you want them, hold them in place, turn it over, and then again, go in with a little bit of your red line tape to cut that off. And then I'm going to attach that to the back. Now, I have told you that the backing of this is an acid free. Right. But this isn't going to be a problem because you're then going to go in and add your spine. Right. So I'm going to peel the backing off and we're going to attach our spine as we did before which, as you know, was really easy to do. This is the six inch I'm working on here now. We do have this neutral pH adhesive available for you. Um, it is, now it says here, uh, reversible EVA adhesive. That's if you soak it in water. Reversible, what does that mean? So that's if soaking it in water. So if you have had a problem with your glue bottles mm -hmm. and you haven't been wiping your nibs, Ooh. and you're pulling it and you're feeling a resistance don't pull it okay, okay. because all you're going to do is break it right okay so what i would suggest you do is if you start to pull that off and i'm thinking that's not going to come that that's not going anywhere yeah all right screw off from this bottom bit here yeah so just take screw that off there And just put that in some water to soak. Ah. And eventually that will come free. Well, there you go. Now okay. that's really, really handy. If you want to get hold of the glue, £13.99, pence. the bottom of the screen, 225 mil you get in there. So it's a good amount, 358442. And if you want to go for the non clog <coughs> glue bottles, we've got those available for you. Um, and you can get those details at the side of your screen. 
13 pounds and 99 pence 603282 and there are some extra tops if you want to go for these at end of call that's when you go to check out your basket you will be offered your nibs only like that and then uh, you can add those to your basket if you want to. But if you want to go for the whole system that you can see just here, 603282 is your item number, £13.99. But they're invaluable. Love those. Got a pin in the end um, of each one. So it keeps your nibs nicely clog free. And you can see you've got a little uh, needle at the end there. Hopefully you can see that if I hold those together there. There you go. There you go. And that all fits in there. Perfect. So those are your details for your non-clog glues. Okay, so that is our piece all nicely done. That's lovely. And then you've got your hinge, which isn't interfered with at all. Like so that. that's just another way of adding some extra embellishments. Yeah, and what stamps have you used on the spine of that? Is that the... That's from the, the penguins, from the, penguins the snow globe. From the snow so, globe. Yeah, yes. love that. They yes. are pretty. But it doesn't have to be Christmas. You could use any of your pink frog stamps. That's the butterfly collection, yeah, yeah, butterfly wishes. Right, so, we're going to let Dawn reset whilst we give you a little uh, reminder of what we've got. Let's talk you through the 8 by 8 collection we've got. True blue true true white it's acid and lignum free which is perfect for your memory books very very important now in this kit you can make four of your memory books four memory books uh, two in the blue two in the blue and two in the white so two in the blue two in the white and the spine is incredible let's just open up the blue one to show you inside perfectly designed and you can then add little items to the pockets that are in there we are approaching 70 percent of the stock gone though of your eight by eight remember you can make four and if you're thinking well i need to watch the show again to make those four no we are including the instructions with each of your kits these instructions have been printed out so you don't need to online you don't need to download them or print them yourself they will be printed for you so you've got your instructions of how to make and create your memory book there you go don't want to show you those for too long you need to buy the kits to get them eight nine eight six seven eight is your item number that is for your eight by eight but very very busy now we've got your six by six you're more than welcome to go for these in addition to or separately um, if you want to really nice size this one great one for the kids to start making their memory books maybe be it's their memory books of their summer holidays memory book of uh, a party or a trip away it's always nice isn't it to encourage them to save their pictures save their tickets and then you can look back on that happy time that you had together that's what memories are all about 254 239 your item number it'll make four of the books for you two in the white and two in the blue again that perfect design in there it's a beautiful blue i really really like this and the density of the color is perfect and it's a tr it is a true blue isn't it isn't that perfect 254 239 your item number this will make four of your books two in the white two in the blue so again a great price at 18 pounds and 59 pence 254 239 is your item number start creating those memories now to pop into your books now we've got some extra a4 for you you don't necessarily have to use these for your memory books you can use them for any kind of projects really so you've got your blue and your white 20 sheets of each three four seven seven three uh, nine is your item number again these would be great for your matte and layering because if you've got your blue in the background and your white it just makes a perfect frame don't they um, great price and you're getting 20 of the white and 20 of the blue included so you might want to add those to your basket only 10 pounds and 99 pence even if you're not making the memory books they're great color card stock to get three four seven seven three nine is your item number now we've got some more products for you we've got the 3d glue gel now i've seen this being used lots and lots of times um, with many of our demonstrators it's fabulous stuff it really is and easy to use you get 80 mil in each tube 10 pounds and 98 pence great price for you there great for putting your flowers on your design your mixed media we've also got the scotch tape for you now this is the removable scotch tape. So this is great for positioning your dies as I go through die cutter. Um, it's great for just positioning your stencil. So hold a stencil down and you can just remove it very, very easily. 13 pounds and 99 pence for two. Top quality there, 999. 
217 is your item number. Now, we also have the photo glue available for you. We were talking about this earlier on. Really important to add the right glue to the right memories that you want to put in your memory books. And photos, well, they're precious. You want to keep them. You don't want them turning yellow. You don't want them being destroyed by the adhesive. This is going to be perfect for you. £11.97. And, and that gets you three of your tubes. And it does mean that you can start sticking your photos and your memories inside your memory book or your albums. We've got a newspaper clip in there. We've got a ticket. We've got some mulberry paper. We've got some vellum. And we also have a photograph there. Isn't that wonderful? And that's Dawn's grandparents and Dawn's mum. Isn't that lovely? There you go. Uh, so it's going to keep those nice and safe, acid and lignant free. And you get three tubes of your photo glue just to let you know you get three tubes 272177 is your item number uh, right let's head back to dawn for some more demonstrations dawn right i'm just finishing off coloring the base of the snow globe okay okay you the sin hazel do this many times i've just used the watercolor pencils and i've used the gray and the white and then i've just dragged the color through with my water brush okay so really simple just making the base so if I take the mask off that we created, okay, that's dry now. So I'm just going to stick that on there because I can use that again and again and again. So this time, rather than just stamping on, let's add a photograph. Aww. Okay. So these and are who my, are they? They're my two. Aww. Yes, they're my two. When they were a bit younger. So again, we, those memories. Yeah, and we've got permission to use that photograph. We haven't have. We yes. yes, we have we have so I'm going to go in with my EVA because that is acid and uh, neutral free so and this is a copy photograph so what I do with this and I've done the same with the Christmas album we have with the snow globes in Janice yes. this is how I put that together so just by I've just used a circle die so what I did was I just used two nesting dies. Unfortunately, I only had ones with stitches on them. <laughs> but uh, yes, if you've got them at home without stitches on, that's even better. So I've just stuck my photo on first. Yep. Okay, I've re-stamped the base. So that's all ready to go. And then I've die cut some silver mirror board there to go around the edge. So let's just stick that round. So just showing your snow globe doesn't necessarily have to have stamps in it. You can use it for your photographs. Now I could have used the photo glue on this, but because this is a copy, yeah. I'm quite happy to use the EVA. All right. I and thought then... that... When I picked this memory book, I actually thought that was your die that you stuck in there. That's amazing. Yeah. So that is just yeah. built up. But this is the process I went to building it up. That's why I wanted to share it. I love that. Because it's quite a nice way of using them, it isn't really it? A different is. way. Yeah, it really is. And some people might think, well, how do I do it? Have I got to get a craft knife and cut out the circle? So, and then just laying that over the top, you can see you've created something that would be a nice front cover yeah. for an album that Isn't you could that go. And again, don't just think snow globes Christmas. This could be all year round. Yeah, it could be. What you are know. the names? We've got a picture of them. This is Lauren and Callum. Oh, Lauren and Callum. They yes. look happy. They are. They are happy. This Where is are on, they? This was on a holiday in Scotland. Yeah, I thought Scotland. Yes. Was in the background. Yes. Oh, lovely. It was. Yes, on the Balmoral Estate, no Ooh. less. So very nice. The Balmoral <laughs> Estate. Yes. Okay. Yes. Well. So <laughs> many a family holiday had there. So you see, wow. this would be very nice on a cover. And then I could fill my pages like I've done in that one that you've got there. Yes. And how nice would that be to give us a gift to a grandparent at Christmas Certainly with the would. tickets in and Especially things like that? Especially a very special grandparent that might live on a very special estate. Well, no, they don't it, live there. Oh, no, OK. <laughs> oh, well, I was trying to go along with this. That's just where we go for holidays. <laughs> oh, right. oh, well, never mind. I drive through Sandringham sometimes. Do you? Yeah, oh. I'm, I'm not related, but, you know. <laughs> oh, it's nice. <laughs> Our producer drove through there last night. Right. Yes, uh, not through nice the grounds, you. though, just through the estate. Yes, yes. doesn't do anything naughty. <laughs> I don't know why I had to say that. Um, again, a lovely book. This is your 8x8 eight eight book, um, and we're just talking about the um, 
No, it's a six by six. Yeah, sorry, I need to get me inches right, don't I? Get me into... Don't want to get that wrong. Um, and we were showing the snow globe uh, kits there. So that's your snow globe. So we'll pop those details for that at the bottom. Don't forget, we also have the other stamp set available for you on the show. The ticket, uh, which I really like this one, actually. So you've got your ticket at the top. You've got your train there. Uh, they're also very popular at Christmas time trains, aren't they? You've got that lovely little scene there that you can put in your snow globe if you want to. And then I really like, if I just turn it that way, you've got the stars there. And you can have those coming down. Turn it that way, Janice. There you go. Coming down on the card, which is great. £14.95. pence. 17 stamps in total on that one. Now, Dawn, you've got about 20 minutes left. And you right. guys, 20 minutes left of this show. Any questions, email them in. It's studio at thecraftstore.com. We've still got time to get your pictures of your memory books in or your suggestions for memories or any memories you'd like to share with us. Studio at thecraftstore.com. Right, Dawn? Right, I wanted to share with you some different paper folds using the same size papers that you've got in your kit. Excellent. Because this is about, because I've got this extra time, this is about taking the memory books to another level. Yeah. Okay, for those of you who want to. So, we can quite easily do, is that in the middle there? That's nice. Pull out pages. So just a different fold, yes. but still being able to do journaling, photograph, yeah. photograph, photograph. So still lots of places for photograph. And then the other one is, that's the one that we normally do with the side pocket. Yeah. Well, I like that, the way you've done the butterflies on the outside. And also... Oh, I'm going to show you how to do that Thank as well, you. yes. And then another one is just the gate folds. Oh, beautiful. Okay, so another way of just sharing how you can use the same size yep. in both albums, different yep. pages. So let me show you, share with you the score lines. Perfect. Okay, so scoreboard, cardstock, here we go. Scores on Are the board. Are you ready? Scores now, on the board, now this isn't written down anywhere. Okay. I will share it over on the Pink Frog Inspirations Facebook page okay. and my Facebook page okay. later. And where can we find you? I'm Dawn's Inspirations. Okay. Okay, but if you get the kit, it's on top of the kit there. Excellent. So you'll be well away. So I put, I'm going to put down the measurements for both, but if not, grab yourself a piece of paper and a pen quickly. But don't go too far because we need you here. Now, I've lost my... Marbles? Well, I might have lost them by the end of the day in this heat, but no, my bone, my, my score tool. <laughs> I've got too many things out here because I need to show you, there's just so much to show. So let's have a look first at the gatefold. So you've got, this is the six, um, size six. Yep, six by six. Six by six. So in that, you've got your card stock that is 15 by 30. Okay, so for the six by six to do the gatefold style, you're going to score at seven and a half centimeters and 22 centimeters. Does it matter how thick the score is, you know, depending on the tool that you're using, or will it always be the same because of Not the Not really, depth of the... I think it's just the depth of the tool, yeah. the depth of the score, yes. And then, of course, you are going to Burnish, burnish. Yes, when I can find my burnish, burnish tool. Oh no. No, oh, yeah. we've got I've some... been lost without that, I wouldn't know. I? Where would I be? Where would I be? Now you will notice when you do this one that there is a slight overlap. And I've done that for a reason. Okay. And the reason I've done that is to keep all the pages the same size. Okay. So if you want to mix and match pages i.e. you've got your gate fold, yep. but you want to back it with the normal fold, yep. that you want to back with your pull-out, yep. you can. Okay. Okay, so that's why I've done it. Perfect. All right, so that's your gate fold. So let me just show you a gate fold in the 8x8 size. While we're here, okay. and why everyone's got their pencils, I hope. Yes. So gate fold in the... Um, it's all right, eight inch. <laughs> it's getting to me now, isn't it? <laughs> so we're going to score I'm just at... I'm looking at you thinking, eight, six, eight? <laughs> What's an inch between friends, eh, Dawn? We're going to what do... What do we know? Ten centimetres. Yes. <laughs> How much is eight inches? <laughs> and we're going to do 28, 29 and a half. Okay. Okay, so it's going to go right on the end of mine. 
and again just easily folded and there you go you've got your kit can really take is. you to another level now with the cardstock that you're getting the blue and the white in each of the kits yes it is there to make those memory books for memory books whether it be the 8x8 or the 6x6 but there's nothing stopping you from making two memory books and then using the other card to make bifolds and trifolds and different style stepper cards. Absolutely, you can use this cardstock yeah. wherever you like. But I will say, Janice, that these should come with a government health warning. Oh, why is that? Because they're very addictive. Are they? They are very. And I think out there you will agree with me, they are addictive. You make one and you want to make another one. And then another one. Yeah. They are very addictive well, because they're easy to make. Yeah, and that's why we've got the extra card stock, of yes. course, available for you on the show. And we're giving you the opportunity to multi buy. So if you want more than one kit, if you want to make eight memory books, maybe this is your Christmas gift. You know how professional they look once they've been made? Maybe there's birthday gifts you want to uh, put together. Maybe there's a wedding coming up for you. These are so professionally designed and so professionally made by yourselves, they're going to make great Christmas gifts, aren't they? So whether you're going for the 8x8 or the 6x6, you can multi-buy. So if you wanted to make eight, for example, you can do. But each kit will make four and you get the instructions as well. Mm. But don't, also thinking of Christmas and photographs, yes. how about a Christmas planner? For yourself or yes, somebody else. Yeah. How about putting little magnetic sheets inside and then giving a little project pack for somebody? You could. So you've got dies in there, you've got stamps, and then you've got the inspiration of what they need to make. It could be their first crafting journal. But what about Christmas recipes? Christmas recipes. Christmas recipes. There, there you go. We talk about memorabilia, but yeah. how about recipes? Garden you know, for seeds? You know, I've, my, my mother in law, we've lost her unfortunately, she used to make beautiful homemade soap. We've tried and we've tried, all of us, yes. to make it exactly the same, and we cannot. Well, talking about soup, we've got a great show coming up at 5 o'clock today. Um, and if you do like soup and you like to have something make it for you as you just walk away, tune in at 5 o'clock. Very excited about that one. Right, so now we're going to look at the fold back one. Yes. So on the 6 by 6 this time you're going to score at 14 and a half. Okay, and 23 and a half. But I will put all these measurements on the Facebook page, so don't panic right. about it. Okay, so again, just doing your, your burnishing, there is your fold back. Perfect. So, and you can obviously do that one way or the other way. So you can have them like I had that came out. So that's that on the six inch size. Excellent. So now let's do it on the eight inch size because I don't want to leave anybody out. Oh. So on the eight inch size we're going to go at 19 and a half. Yes. And we're going to go at 30 and a half. Now this is quite hard on here. Okay. You're going to have to go right to the end of your scoreboard. Okay. So I'm going to actually do mine like that and I'm going to do it there 11 there so I've go. just made myself a little mark did you see yes. I had that out there I make because that's 30 the yep. end is 30 made a little niche yep. so you could bring put that, that back in, in and scored that yeah. okay so really easy to do but you could really make this any width you want yeah I guess don't because it comes as a kit with the instructions, don't think that's how you have to do it. Yeah. Okay. So that's giving you some different ideas on the pages. Okay. But how about if we bring the stamps Shall in? Shall we? Let's do it. Let's do that. Because We've got 10 minutes left. Don't forget to check out your baskets. Um, this is the only Pink Frog Craft Show we've got today. The two hours we've got. No more tonight? No. So make sure you get what you want. Check out your basket, these great deals that we've got available for you today. Right, where should we start? Where should we start? Let, let's do, do the big stamp then as we're going to be short for time. So I've got the fold together one and I had that lap over. I'm keeping that lapped over. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to tuck it under here. I keep a little bit, couple of sheets of this repositionable on here because I've only got two magnets. Yes, that's a scotch tape, isn't it? Yes, because yeah. I've only got the two magnets. Yes. So I've got that on there. I was gonna do my I was gonna do my textures as well. Oh there's just too much Janice. It's far too much. 
So let me bring in the big butterfly just to show you a technique. Okay. So again, well loved. <laughs> like all my stamps. So I'm going to lay this right sort of towards the centre where I'm happy with it. All right. Close my press. Ooh. And I'm going to go in this time. I'm not going to go in with um, a permanent. I'm going to go in with a Distress Oxide ink. I'm going to just stick that there. Just hold that in place. Now, when you're doing this technique, don't panic if it doesn't all stamp at once. And also, this is where I would personally say do this with a press. Now, with the Christmas stamps that we've got on the show, just to take a look at these, you can see here you've got your deers and you've got your penguins. And they're quite a silhouette. So you would stamp these out in different colours uh, because it's not an outline stamp. But if you wanted to use these for a Christmas colouring book, then you can start to create pictures. And I guess the kids could paint the background to them or use different inks for the stamps because the stamps themselves, they're not outline, are they? They're more of a block colour. Yes, they're, yes. Yeah. So if you're thinking about doing a, a colouring book, you could draw in there and just have these stamps sort of a, around the outside. Um, yeah, you could use it with your memory books. You know where to use your stamps. They're fabulous stamps to get. Um, and they are separate, so we've got two sets for you. That's your festive snow globe, 22 stamps in total, £14.99. pence. And we've got your other set for the bottom of the screen, £14.95, 143407. I think Andy from Pink Frog Crafts loves using his stamps to make colouring books for the kids. Do you think so? Yes. Ah. So I've done this now, but of course I need to finish off this side. So I'm going to fold this back on itself. So just fold it back on itself. It's, I'm keeping my stamp in the exact same place. Just going to pop a bit of tape there, just hold that flat because it's flapping about a bit. It's all right. Okay, and then I'm going to go in again. So this technique is really good with a press, definitely. So again, pressing that down, and you'll find again it will not all stamp out to start with. Do not panic. Okay, you're going to always have, because the, the uh, weight of your card. Got you. But this side now is correct. Yes. So then you're going to fold it back again. Okay. So you're going to fold that one back again. Okay, popping that tape on. So we can finish off the image in here. So, and the oxides are perfect for this. You know, the other nice thing you can do with this, you've just seen Hazel doing it with it, is spritzing over. I was going to say, yeah, that would be lovely. You know, it's a really good one to do. And would you spritz that with water? Just with water. Because we're thinking about putting this into our memory book. Yes, just yes. a tiny bit of water. It will take the um, the true white and the true blue will take a little bit of water. Excellent. But I wouldn't go Too much. mad. Yeah. If you're going to go mad, use your watercolours. Yeah. And then quite easily there, that's still a little bit wet, you've got your fold over. Now that's lovely isn't Okay it? but it's very achievable and yes. very easy to do and you can quite easily do this and I'm trying to bring this in now with your texture stamps. I've oh, done the yeah. same here with this is that wood grain texture stamp that we've got here. I love and the I've, texture stamps. And I've so also done it with the brick wall here. Yeah, so don't that. just think it's got to be your um, images yeah you know yeah. it can be anything you like I mean I think an album like this with the texture stamps lends itself very nicely to a masculine yeah um, or somebody that likes mixed media grungy yes, style looks perfect. yeah they yes. don't want to go with the butterflies and the flowers but they want to go for a more yes. organic industrial look um, um, they would be absolutely perfect we do have a set of uh, is it a set of two 
There should be. This is set number two, but it's four stamps. Um, we'll show a picture yeah. of it. There you go. Um, I really like this. You get some great results from these texture stamps. Oh, they're lovely. And you can use them on repeat, so you can extend that brick wall if you want to. You can extend those uh, wood effects. 166955 is your item number, just £14.95. There are sets uh, one and three as well. They're on the website. Do we have set two? That is set two. That is set two. We have set three and four on the website. What about set number one? We have got one, two, and three on the website. Sorry, I just heard one and four, and I was thinking, well, where's the other? Um, but anyway, are you confused as I am? No, of course you're not. Of course you're not. Uh, but the, all the rest are on the website. Do go and check them out, because they're fabulous. Now, we've got just under five minutes left on the show. Fabulous kits, excellent prices as well. So your memory books, treasure your memories. But you do need to recall those memories. And sometimes we can sit there and think, what did we do last Christmas? I can't remember. What did I do last week? I can't remember what I did yesterday. I think I came to work. I don't know. One day blends into the next. But what's really important is that we keep those memories alive. And that we keep those memories to look back on, to reflect on as well. And we can do that on our coffee table, just sitting there. Um, have the memory book there, pick it up and just look at it. Maybe it's a party, maybe it's a holiday, maybe it's an occasion, maybe it's just all little pictures from when you were growing up and you've brought them all together, you've brought them out of the drawers. You've got a choice. You've got either the 8x8 eight eight memory book, your kit will make four, and you get the full instructions to make your 8x8 eight eight memory books. That's four, that's two in the blue and two in the white. 989678 is your item number. If you don't want to make memory books out of these, you can use them for something else if you want to, but it is as a kit with those full instructions to build and create and it's very very beautifully designed 25 pounds and 99 pence we also have the six by six available right dawn we have got about four minutes left right can we quickly show how to, how to add magnets yes. you can you can tell i've been happy crafting can't you yes because the it just looks a mess <laughs> it's wonderful though but there we go right i'm just making sure that marries up not quite i'm not happy with that i'm going to do it again so, I'm looking at the um, six inch album. Okay. So, I'm just cutting myself a cover. This is an extra cover. So, I'm cutting the piece. The cover for the six inch was 16 centimeters. Yes. So, I'm cutting a piece 16 centimeters by 15 centimeters. And that's okay. still out a little bit. Just to give a time check, how long have we got on the show? Just under three minutes, Dawn. Is that okay? Right, we'll be really, really quick then. Right. So, you got your extra scrap. Yep. We're going to create this. So, we're going to add magnets. Okay. So, it makes it a box closing. Excellent. Okay. So, scoreboard. So, we've got 16 by. 15 for the um the six inch one okay. so on the 15 centimeter size just score at five centimeters and ten centimeters okay. all right and then we just um burnish those burnish burnish as we burnish. do <laughs> This is super speedy crafting isn't it so let me lay that one down a minute and then you've got your outside or your cover here. I'm going to stick mine on the inside. Okay. Now you're going to need craft magnets for this. Okay. Um, I get my craft magnets from a little company that's just in the next village to where I live, actually. Oh, yes. So um, I get them from there and they're really good. You could also use magnetic sheets as well. Um, if um, you've got the two, no. It wouldn't be strong enough to go through the card. No, you're right. It Don't wouldn't be strong sheets. enough to go through the card. I, I sort of, yeah, it's tried, a good idea, but it just tried and tested, right. but yeah, okay. they're not strong enough. I have used strong magnets with flat washers to ah, save okay. doing two magnets. Got you. To be frugal. Good okay. idea. Okay. Two minutes left on the show. Right. Oh, Dawn. So let's oh, go. Oh, just over a minute, actually. Now, normally I would add two. I would add two on the large, but I think I could get away with one on here. So. I'm going to put just a little piece of tape on there 
and 50 rem seconds left. Remove. Make sure you check out your baskets, everybody, for all these fabulous kits and stamps and glues that we've got available for you oh, on the show. I might have to do a quick video, if not, on... Yes, um, yeah, if you don't get it finished. The magnet goes in place. The magnet goes in place. The extra magnet is there. I like to put another piece of tape just over that to hold that in place. 30 seconds, Dawn. Tape on there. Yep. Tiny little piece on there. 25 <laughs> seconds, Dawn. 20 seconds. Oh. Do you know what? It's been an absolute pleasure working with you, Dawn. Sticky on there. Fold that over. And we've got that magnet. And that magnet's stuck. Dawn. You are a star. Thank you so much for the two hours. It's been an absolute Thank pleasure. Thank you, guys, as well. Do check out your baskets. Big thanks to Dawn. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Wow, we took it to the wire there. Fairy Hugs is coming up next with our Scott and Julia Watts in the kitchen with Carrera after that. And then Clever Prince One Day Special starts at six. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on Flexibuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your Flexibuy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier. Hiya, I'm Hazel Eaton from Pink Frog. Pink Frog is an established company. You may have seen us in shows up and down the country. We have a wide range of designs and we're particularly known for our flower dyes and flower stamps. On our shows, I hope to bring you many hints and tips and techniques to inspire you, the crafter, at home. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, the Craft Store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences, as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence, based on the reviews from over 60,000 The Craft Store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, I'm Ali Reeve. I'm from the company Stamps Away. Stamps Away is a family-run company with my husband and I. We create all things crafty, especially with a passion for mixed media. So I hope you won't miss the shows with Stamps Away. Well, I tell you what, I certainly feel a lot cooler now, looking at all those lovely images of winter scenes uh, with the hot weather out there. Lovely to have your company. Four o'clock Sunday afternoon. Lovely to be with you in the Aircon studios. Is it too cool for you, lovely Julia, though? No, it's fine now. Oh, now? Yeah, it's fine now. Well, it's just right, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, just right. That's the thing right. with Aircon, isn't it? It's either too hot, too cold. 
I'm a bit like Goldilocks. <laughs> like it just, without the locks. Without the locks. I'm just Goldie. I'm just Goldie. Goldie lack lack of I tell you what, she started early. She's been like this all afternoon every morning since she's been there. <laughs> I've got a feeling this could be one of the longest hours of my life, everyone. Oh, Scott. Do you not reckon? Well if it is, we get a lot of demos in, won't we? <laughs> <laughs> it's lovely to be with you, though. And you, my it darling. It is. It is lovely to be with you. And uh, we, we've uh, we've got, and I know you're very busy. By the way, if you're wondering what demonstration Julia is going to do in this hour, so she. Because <laughs> uh, she has changed her mind three times, apparently, as well, when we were looking her through. But that's a lovely thing, because there's lots here. Because you can. You, you, you can, can, can't you? You can. can't. You can. You can. Just go as, with anything. As, as you go in along, you can think, ooh, let's see what happens if I use that instead. Yes. And yeah. so, yeah, yeah. I mean, in the last hour, I made such a mess, I got stamped all over the place. Yeah. Well, it's going to be brilliant. It's going to be brilliant. If you are watching and uh, you've not watched this before, or you've just started, or you've not actually come across fairy hugs uh, in the past as well, there's a definite theme about here. But yes. what what can we tell people about the, about the company themselves? Wait, about the ethos or yeah, how Yeah, so the fairy hugs is um, a small uh, company based in Miami Beach in Florida, mm. and the fairy hugs brand has only been in existence since September last year. Uh, first came to the craft store in October. Uh, so it's really a, a kind of embryo company, a really new company, uh, really. But um, already we've got something like 230, 240 designs in, wow. in the... the um, in the catalogue, wow. so lots and lots to go with. Yeah. Um, and uh, they they do produce top quality photopolymer stamps, really good quality stuff. And uh, the designs themselves are very intricate. You'll see when you, when you get to the animals, you can see the fur lines. You can see in the hanging snowflakes in the one day special, you can see some tiny tiny pin pricks in the actual stamp when you stamp it out. And you oh, you don't necessarily see it on the packaging, but you see it when we actually stamp it out. Yeah. But top quality and people are collecting them now right. um, obviously uh, also being as they're an American company you have to remember that not only does the one day special end at, si at six o'clock uh, but um, at the end of the day all the stock will disappear off the craft store website because tomorrow they will be packing it to oh, send it right, over that's here it, that's they it. are so quick at packing right Okay, well, listen, do grab it. If you haven't had chance yet uh, to be with Julia from the One Day Special, do make this out because it's the final, last uh, live hour, as you know. And, and they're, they're not released, are they? They're not released. These, these were launched uh, on, uh, in the, on the Fairy Hugs website on Friday. Wow. Uh, we launched them yesterday, and uh, currently, uh, this is the only place that you can get them in the UK. Um, yeah. So make sure you do not miss out on these. Grab it while you can. Now, of course, coming from the States, they are on extended delivery. So we're looking at the 23rd of July, which is not too long to, to wait. Oh, we are getting, honestly, it's flying through this year, isn't it? So just a few days, really, it is until the 23rd. Let's take you through the one-day special, because you have got some lovely savings on there. If you're a Freedom member, of course, then you're going to be really enjoying the benefits of this one. You've got a massive £16.30 special saving on this one. And actually, your first of two payments is... Is actually under £20. So if you are looking at these, it's a really good opportunity. £12 saving on this is your one-day special. If you're not a Freedom member as yet, uh, which takes it all the way down to £42.99. Your one-day special is going to give you 10 stamps in total. And just as Julia was saying there, they are just full of detail. And they're really they beautiful, this collection, They are really actually. beautiful stamps. I mean, obviously, we're leaning towards Christmas. This is actually the Fairy Hills Christmas in July release. Yeah. Um, and it's the first ever release of the Christmas for fairy hugs because obviously they of didn't course. do Christmas last year because uh, they were too new and uh, we've got the leaping reindeer and we've also got the poinsettia there and the poinsettia has beautiful cross hatch detail in it which I've not seen in a poinsettia before mm. very very usable you've got the pine cone branches which are great um, you need your foliage great little foliage stamps uh, yeah, your sentiment, have a fairy Christmas, <laughs> as you would have if that you had cute. fairies. This is Arabella. She's I love the, her ice uh, skating. I love ice that. Ice skating fairy, but of course she can skate along ice on the ground or she can actually just be skating through the clouds or wherever you wanted to skate. That's, that's the one that's got the tiny, tiny, tiny pinprick detail beautiful. in the centre of the snowflake. You can, oh, we can it, see the one there, can't we? Yeah, well, just right about there. on the packaging, but it is all over that circular area. Right. Um, so you've got the two sizes there 
And you've got the wooden sled next to oh, it. Oh, yeah, that is, that is beautiful. And that, you've got Jarda as well. And Jarda, the fairy, uh, you can see she's in a sitting position. So she has been designed to sit on the sled or actually sit on the leaping reindeer. Love but it. she can sit on anything. She can sit on the poinsettia. She can sit on top of the, um, the fireplace if she wanted to. She can sit on a branch. She can sit on whatever yeah, you want to. That's lovely, that, and depending on what colours you colour in her tights, she might necessarily she won't necessarily be a Christmas fairy. She could be no, that's true. an that's all true. year round fairy. Absolutely, they're, they're, they are beautiful. Uh, they're all gorgeous. But just actually going through, I love that. Just with the one stamp all the way around, that yeah. is really beautiful. That yeah, stands that's so out, quick it? and easy to do. We did that uh, last night, I think. Uh, and there she is. Oh, there she is. There, perched and ready, leaping through. Of course, mm -hmm. uh, be careful she doesn't hit on the uh, on the snowflakes hanging down there. But they are. They are lo I love it. And again, this because we're going to come across some of these other yes, elements later on. Yes. And this is the great thing. When, when I said about Judy, I wasn't sure what to go with. You know, joking aside, it, it is absolutely that because you go. Do you know everything pretty much works with everything, which yes. is which is which is yes. why it's so so lovely. I mean, lovely. and you'll also find it working with previous uh, fairy hugs releases as well. Right. Um, and and that's that's the great thing about it. It, uh, there we go. So, so that's the, the embossed in white. And that's don't they look beautiful really embossed in lovely. white? Absolutely beautiful. And we've got the sentiment these. on the show, and we've got the wreath builder, which is the foliage at the back. We've got that on the show. I will show more of these as we go through, uh, but I will let you know. 594217. Reminded there, of course, this is the final live show with these. Uh, 1935, if you're a Freedom member, is your first of your two payments, of course. And if you're not a Freedom member, well, I suppose the question is why not? Uh, because you could be with this, actually, and still be quids in on this one, because actually the Freedom member is 797, if you look at that. So if you you go for that with the fairy uh, Christmas stamp collection with your eight stamps on that one. Usual price is 54, special price is 42, but your freedom offer takes it down to 38.69, which actually makes your saving, including postage, of 8.25. So then, of course, you're also going to get all the benefits for that next month, and you can stop and start as you wish. So a perfect opportunity to become a freedom member, reap all the benefits of this offer, and much more, of course, as the month goes on. Even if you're just for a month. It still quids in to do it, isn't it? Actually, makes sense. Uh, let's give you a bit of a rundown. Um, we will come to them as the show goes on because, like I say, we don't know which ones Judy's going to be going with, and she, she'll go with inspiration. So we'll pick up and show you more detail. But here's some of the elements that you might be wanting to mix in with your one day special. And this is lovely. And I really love the stone fireplace that you've got here. This is gorgeous. You're also going to be getting the gorgeous, gorgeous decorating uh, tree in here, and you've got Lara, another one of our lovely fairy friends. But this is beautiful. I love this. this is, it's got you feel there'll be a real warm, cozy heat you do, from that as yes, well, don't you? Yeah, but you can also use the fireplace just at the top of it as a rooftop. Oh, of course, you yes, can take yes. away the roof and just use it as a little archway, and you can use the fairy hog stone wall with it and the fairy hogs wooden walkway or the stone walkway, so that make you walk through an arch if you like. That's pretty. That I love the little love heart right in the centre yeah, of the way top of the arch. Yeah, that's very clever, isn't, isn't it? Lovely? it? Yeah, and the decorating tree. Uh, I mean, obviously you can use the, the like I say the fire separately. The decorating tree has already got stars and a beady swag on it but you've got three separate jewel ornaments that you can hang off of it if you want to and the idea is that Lara is actually decorating that tree her, oh. her hands are actually um, reaching out and she could be holding the bauble to put on the tree and you can see she's got like a Santa hat on there and she's got like a fur around the bottom of her dress or Very a coat festive. or whatever so she is definitely the festive fairy yes, a yeah. amongst the collection is how I dress when I decorate Great our tree. I know. I heard the, that. You've seen the pickies? I have. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> quite an interesting sight watching me lean up to try and put that little star on the top, I can tell you. <laughs> uh, but there she is, there, decorating. And as you can see, she's got a little bauble there in her hand, all ready to decorate that with that tree. Uh, and there, I like this one with the fire there, roaring away. You've got the little love heart that's actually coloured in. Mm. Uh, mixed in, of course, with another one of the stamps yeah. that's, uh, that's coming up for you. And there it is, all three there together, that is beautiful with our decorating tree. And there she is in flight. Yes, well, that's, she can. If I, that's what I need to be able to do. If I could do that, it's so much mm -hmm. easier to be trying mm -hmm. to lift my little girl. You just girl. need to believe. Is that what it is? Yeah. I do. <laughs>
There you I go. I really, then. I generally do believe. This year, you'll be flying to the top of that tree. Oh, you wait, you wait. You wait to see that uh, press release come out that why Scott can't be at work because he's broken his leg trying to fly to the top of the Christmas tree. Right, <laughs> 21, <laughs> what a way to go. 21 pounds and 49 pence, 450-508. If you'd like to go for those stamps, and already I think you can get an, uh, an understanding of how they are great to sort of mix and match between them. Carrying that theme on then as well, which I absolutely love these. We've got a gorgeous bunnies. This is the Christmas tree we just noticed there in some of them as well with the uh, the beautiful wording on there, the Christmas tree word. And of course you've also got your holly stalks in here. But again, really, really lovely to mix in and match with these, Absolutely. aren't they? Absolutely. I mean, the, word, the, the bunnies are just going to be great throughout the year and they, they've got beautiful fur detail on them um, and when you stamp them out, they really, really do look very, very detailed. Yeah, yeah. The word tree uh, obviously is just for Christmas but you can make very quick and easy, simple batch make cards with that. Uh, it says it all and then obviously your holly stalks are your foliage mm, so you can use those yeah. you know on everything you can have p things sitting on that Lewis sword bats uh, hanging you know with oh. some of them you know you could <laughs> cut some of the branches off and make them as like bats so you know I love that. whatever <laughs> you see in them everybody's going to see something different of course yeah, absolutely. Uh, they are beautiful. Here it is, actually, with the uh, the word tree for the Christmas tree on there. But that looks so nice. And again, with all the holly uh, branches there being used around the outside, it's a lovely, lovely border that you can see on this one. And then here we are with them with that gorgeous setting, with their little bunnies then looking up and all being part of their cute little bunny family. And again, yeah. pretty much all the time for the bunnies, aren't they? You yeah, can, uh, you're absolutely. Fine time. Especially yeah. if you use your new wildlife images or anything you've got with your other stamps, again, be a perfect addition. 8568 double three only 20 pounds and 49 pence uh, for those particular ones got a few more sets I think and then we'll uh, we'll, we'll, we'll be uh, obviously with Julia to sort of see how we can bring all of these together for you staying with the um, wildlife here on this with the birds but also this is all part of your wreath builder so this is really nice you've got all your elements in here that you need for yeah, that yeah you have you? I mean obviously you can use them to build a wreath you can do a border you can just use one you can use elements for your foliage on your, your scenes if you want to it's a very versatile set that one and they're all good sizes they're not in, you know did 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 little stamps. no no really good sizes you've got the with love at christmas which is for me um my favorite sentiment stamp it's a, a statement obviously it's not going to fit necessarily uh, in some of your, your your smaller makes because it you know it's a good sentiment mm. but you can frame it with the poinsettias you can frame it with the reef builders you can also bring in the birds and have the birds on the re on the reef but the birds can sit on top of the the rooftops if you're using the fireplace as, as, a, as a roof there's lots of things that you can do with them and again the birds have that lovely detail within the yeah. stamps yeah no they, they really they are beautiful actually we're talking about the sort of the reef build on this but look at the design a lot of the mix of these is absolutely gorgeous mm -hmm. actually just adding the birds into them as well mm -hmm. just gives that whole Old nature, nature sort of feel yeah, about yeah, them, yeah, which works yeah. beautifully. But I love these. There we are. There's our skating, uh, fantastic fairy there coming through there. But again, with those lovely, um, the holly that's being used to build up. There's that sentiment. It is a big sentiment, isn't it? It's is a nice a statement sentiment. piece. It if really you did a, a larger card, that's still not going to get lost, is no, it? Really? No, no. You know, and if you're using your, your fancy dies, you could just have that sentiment in the middle. You don't have to do any more stamping if you don't yeah. want to. Just use that as your main piece. That really beautiful. That's that is stunning, isn't it? It's gorgeous, it? The, isn't the it? The wreath builder, all stamped in and embossed in white and then that birdie just sitting on the sentiment stunning it's really lovely yeah. honestly you are going to be spoiled for choice on which sets to go for if you can go for a couple of them i really would because as you can see the more you have the more you get to play with the more actually the set really comes to life yeah, it really uh, with works all of those, isn't yeah it? yeah um zero six seven zero four eight is your item code on here again you on the show for you stay all brand news for you 20 pounds and 99 pence but really lovely uh, to work with uh, right let's move on to the gorgeous rather than our creatures in the sky we've got the beautiful wildlife now uh, that's out there and i uh, these are beautiful i love the there's something about the deer was so peaceful and innocent yeah. about them isn't it Where, wherever you put them it feels like that's a very tranquil scene that are in yeah. it's gorgeous isn't it yeah so, so this is your fallen and doe um and again you've got the lovely uh, spotted detail on the on the deer um and you've got your meadow grass and your meadow grass can be kind of pointing upwards or pointing downwards so you can put them in two corners if you want to and then you've got your uh, possible sentiments uh, today is full of possible it's all, it always absolutely is. Um, what should we do today? Well, whatever's possible. Uh, yes. 
we've had a few months of not everything being possible, but that's changing, isn't it? So we will be. Well, no, it will. That. Not everything is possible, but you do what is possible. That's that's the kind of mentality I love in you. There, right there. <laughs> it is. It is possible. Julie's got. She's looking at me there with that. Sure. Um, but Judy mentioned use them from the top or from the bottom going up or dropping down. Here's a perfect example of that as well, actually being used uh, there. Really, really lovely. In fact, that's a what's the size again? You can see, yeah, it is. It's a big, it's a big old stamp actually yeah, on there. It's a really it? When good you think about it stamp. compared to the, it takes up a good size of the card. Yeah, I'll measure it when we come to you. Yeah, use okay, it. but it's uh, but it works really, really nicely. Uh, this particular one, uh, I love it actually with the wildlife in it. Look at that. Mm. Love at Christmas again. We've gone back with that, uh, which is. Which is yeah, so, so I mean, obviously, this set can be Christmas or not Christmas, however you want to use it. Absolutely stunning. Uh, Seven five three triple nine. Today is full of possible twenty three pounds and ninety nine pence for them. They are brilliant, absolutely brilliant. We've got a couple of other sets as well that you'll see that work really, really nicely with everything you've seen so far. Uh, have a look at our lovely our fairies we got here, which is fantastic. Set of four on these ones. We've got beautiful um, our fairies harmony, melody, viola, and we've got our musical dandelion. I think we're going to see quite a bit of the musical dandelion. For me, I love that. I think it's such a that whole idea of where fairies are born anyway, and that whole sort of nice magical feel, but with the notes coming out of mm. that is a really lovely I mean, obviously, touch. Obviously they're choir girls, um, but they don't necessarily have to be Christmas choir girls. Yeah, they could be for yes. any celebration. And, and the new dandelion, I think, is going to be your, one of your go-tos for, for any occasion. Really is. Uh, go for that one, 923831, uh, which is lovely. Oh, now another one. Uh, again, this does not have to be just for Christmas at all on this one. I love this one with a beautiful phoenix in it. Again, if you do love your details with sort of magical and mystery, then this is a perfect one for it. And even that beautiful foliage hook, I think, is gorgeous and you've got Zuli the dragon I mean absolutely magical so maybe I'll talk about mystery and magic these are perfect for your audition five seven six seven five eight if you'd like to go for those uh, and uh, to finish off with on these ones these are brilliant these ones it's the pine cone house well why not uh, you've also got the lamppost cane I mentioned that we'd seen in a couple of the other examples earlier on we've got squirrels and we've got our sentiment there a long way five five eight seven eight zero that's 20 24 pounds and 99 pence. Plenty of inspiration for you there. And again, I think the more that you are uh, uh, seeing each of those sets, probably the more your imagination is moving on to thinking, actually, if I was to work with that and work with that, that would look really nice and you're already being creative. That's what it's all about. All of those are there on the website for you to pop those into your basket. So, with all that inspiration, Julia, where, where are we going to start? Then? Well, well, I'll tell you in a minute. Um... <laughs> Right, Perfect. so I just want to me measure the meadow grass for you. Yeah. Oh, lovely. Uh, Thank so you. the meadow grass uh, measures uh, just over three and three quarter inches is wide, it? and uh, at its highest point, it is just shy of three and a half inches. Right. Okay. Brilliant. So it is a good size, like really you say. But size, if you want to extend it out, of course you can in, in, yeah. in any ways. But Easy. really nice, a nice size to work with. Yep. Love it. Right. Love it. So. This is the plan. So what I, what I made was, uh, and, and a lot of you have seen this already, this is my Miss P. Love's Boundless Journal. And I use this as my, uh, inspira uh, my kind of prompt. This is the first thing I made with all of my stamps. And it's got all most of the stamps in, not all of them, but mm -hmm. most of them. And it's my prompt for a lot of my demos. I mean, I've made that one, I've made that one here, I made that one. So, so, so that's what it is. And we're going to do something kind of loosely based on this. Okay. Okay, so nice. what we want to do is we've got these rooftops here, and these rooftops are the top of the uh, fireplace. Oh, yeah, oh, that's brilliant. So we're going to do some of those first, and this is just a distress oxide spray uh, background that I, t you know, I tend to have a lot of backgrounds lying around. And we're going to stamp in, da, 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 da. let's go for our pine cone again because it's a nice deep brown. Mm -hmm. And I'm using Versafine Clear. I don't know why I've just inked up the bottom of it, because I don't need the bottom. Just need the top. So this is going to go uh, over here. See, I had a bit of a wonky one, because that's what pa Paula's um, Miss P loves is. So, but we're going straight. And just give it a chance for the ink to settle in. There's our first one. 
I'll clean up that mess in a minute because I went and over inked. <laughs> It does work well as a roof, doesn't it? it I, does. know, I wouldn't have even thought about that before you mentioned it. Yeah, you see whatever you want to see in yeah. these stamps. You really do. Then we've got a lower one, like that. And then we'll have another one that's up a little bit higher. I'm making a right old mess here. I need a chimney sweep on there. When I think of rooftops, do you think of that certain film? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so we want a higher one. Oh, so yeah. One... Oh, did you mention that this morning, did we you? We did, yeah. So let's let's have this one up here a little bit. It doesn't matter if they overlap, because when you colour in, it kind of disguises it all. OK, so there's our rooftops. I like it, Let's that. just clean up this mess that I've made. I've got a piece of paper here, and I've still made a mess. How did I manage that? There we go. Right, OK. So I let's... think you're still one of the cleanest crafters we have on the show. Oh, I am really messy. It doesn't are. say a lot for everybody Everyone, else, does agreeing. it, if I'm one of the cleanest? I would say you're definitely <laughs> one of the cleanest. Right, let's put that out of the way. Right, let's go into my stamp press now, because we need to stamp the uh, Leaping Reindeer. Here's in front of me. It's getting to that point in the day where I have no idea what anything is. I have that every day, <laughs> and every time in that day as well for me. So that's... Uh, so there is a plan, and I use the acetate uh, to kind of help me with my plan. So obviously I've got my base going on here, so we've got our rooftops. Obviously I've put mine all on my acetate, a little bit wonky. Um, but the idea is that we're going to have the Leaping Reindeer up here, Love like it. that. And uh, we're going to have Jada, she's going to come in and she's going to be sitting on our reindeer. They're going oh, over the rooftops, okay? Then what we're going to do is bring in some of the birds and the birds are going to sit on the, the chimney pots. Oh. Okay. And then we're going to have a little bit of foliage coming down as well. Love that. Okay. That's the idea. I'm like looking at birds in pictures sitting there around the houses on the chimney, but we've got a lot of pigeons around our house oh, at the moment. Pigeons, oh, yes. Now, we do. No, it's the reason why there's no pigeon stamps, is because that most people the pests. Yes. <laughs> They're the noisiest birds going all around our place. They have big poo as well, don't oh. they? <laughs> I haven't studied them that closely, but yeah. Do you I not mean... ever look at your patio? Well, it's. Um, <laughs> I try not to look. I try not to look. Um, it's quite horrible. I keep shooing them off, though. Yeah, we want my pine cone again. So we go. We just go with brown on all of this. So he's highly detailed, and he's also got uh, these kind of little. Um, um, dots coming off of his antlers so that means that you could actually add your you know your secure stardust pen to it if you wanted to or a oh. bit of glitter um i tend to go for the stardust because he doesn't make mm. a mess so we might have to stamp him twice because he's a, he's a very he's a deep silhouette yes, if you, yeah, you know it's pretty solid but this is why the stamping platforms are excellent oh, definitely um, this is the Hampton Arts one, but I have got a press to impress that I've been using as well. Yeah, you wouldn't want to go back on that freehand, would you, to try and... No, <laughs> no. I mean, I used to, I was saying earlier, I used to be really scared of using silhouette stamps or not bother with them because, you know... To get the uh, impression. It was, yeah, it was mm. before Versify and Claire actually came out, so, so you were using inks that weren't as juicy, and you could never get something like that. No. You know, it no. was just an absolute nightmare. But absolutely stunning. So yeah, that's lovely. That. I am going to stamp Jada, but I've got one that I've stamped that I've actually cut out as well because what you'll see when I stamp her on there. Now where's my thing gone? Now is that you'll because she's got stripy tights. You'll lose her stripy tights, but I want to stamp her on there so that I can keep the curly bits and it will all be revealed. Oh when I actually... Um, so she's still wearing her tights? She's still when wearing her tights. you say she's tights. losing her tights, you're going to no, lose her tights. you won't see them. That's all right. I yeah. can be a bit drafty up there otherwise, <laughs> leaping through the, the chimney tops. No, she <laughs> hasn't kind of taken the clothes off as she's going up there. <laughs> can you imagine? Oh. It could probably land on the bird's head. A streaking... <laughs> I've got a streaking fairy. <laughs> Normal day at work, having this kind of conversation. That would be an entirely different stamp, wouldn't yeah. it? <laughs> Oh wow! Yeah, I think my I think my fairy's black that I've got cut out. I'm going to stamp her once more so that she's a bit darker. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But I do love all the lovely ornate. Uh, certainly, even with um, from both sides actually, from the fairy wings as well, and from the antlers, they've got a really lovely magical 
beautiful twist and yeah. turns at the moment, they? Yeah, so now you've lost that part of her, but if you actually stamp her and cut her out, and we, and we colour this one in, so what oh, I've done, when I've, when I've cut her out, so you've got these kind of curly bits there and just there. I haven't bothered with those, obviously, but when that goes on top, they're going to be below. Okay. Very nice. Yeah? Yeah, I like that. Yeah. So we want some birdies. Side saddle as well, she's gone. Side saddle, oh, yes, yeah. Other, yeah. I'll be holding on for dear life, me, but she's got she's very calm. Well, you see, reindeer are quite broad, aren't they? So, you know, it's going to be more comfortable for her to sit side saddle than You've it is it a through. straddle. Yeah. You've thought it through. I know. Of, I know. of course. <laughs> of course. Right, so we've got our little birdies. So our little birdies are going to sit on the roofs here. And I think we'll have... We just have the... No, he's a bit big, isn't he? The cardinal's a bit big because he's got that peak that cardinals have so i think we're gonna to have to go for these two birdies oh, yeah. here he's gonna go just there oh yes yeah yeah i love doing this building scenes let's take that off for a minute now having conversations in my ear now at the moment um regarding the difference of now actually riding a horse uh, or a reindeer and have you had any experience of Certainly one of those. Yes. Oh, the reindeer? No. no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's why you never have me on your phone to friends. Nice? <laughs> well, you spoke about them with such detail about how broad they are, they're soldiers. Well, they I thought, are, there's, you, there's first hand experience. Have you, right actually, there. have you actually been up to a reindeer and see how big they are? I've seen I've seen Rudolph. I've been to a certain Exactly. Yeah, he's a yes, Big old boy. They're big animals. They really are. I mean, this one looks quite slender. I think this one's been on a diet. <laughs> Lockdown. Been tricky for no, everybody. No, it's, it's either one way or the other, isn't it, Lou, up there? OK, so, so there's my scene. Now, I'm wondering if I might be able to just uh, uh, squeeze in the sentiment or well, not. Which one are you going for? The one that you haven't got. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but it fits. Who else have, have you been presented with on a one day special so far? Have, why are you going? Why are you going to swap? <laughs> have, no, no, have you have you been with Fiona today? No, I've been with um, Alex today, oh, and well, I was Alex with, is lovely. And, and I was that. with um, uh, Janice last night. Oh, who does? Right. <laughs> so, so you've saved. So basically, you've saved it all up for me. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, the, the, uh, all the cheekiness. No, the problem is at four o'clock I get I'm by the end of the afternoon I'm getting really crabby, so <laughs> you you get crabby me. Oh <laughs> Jan Janice is waving over there now sort of going, with a look of relief that she's not at the four o'clock show with you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I put in a request. I didn't we want to be with Janice oh. today. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what. Oh, I'd check under your car before you leave the studio today, <laughs> Julie. <laughs> I am telling I, fibs, people. I will, I will say that. Please don't email in and complain. No, please don't. <laughs> uh, and any complaints, of course, or to Adam at <laughs> yes. the Cross <Crossfield>. um, <laughs> um, But you know what? I'll take even crabby Julie any day of the week. Oh, that's I still love lovely. you, Scott. That's you're lovely, fab. Though. You're fab. Right. So we need to put. So you've done everything in brown, but she's going to be black when she goes on there because she's going to really stand out. But we want a little bit of foliage coming down, so I'm dithering here. Let's. So I tell you what, because we've got purple in the background, let's go for purple. Might be a big mistake, but let's see. Four o'clock hour is for making some mistakes, isn't it? Uh, well, I would say so. I would say so. If there was ever an hour. <laughs> but there's no such thing as a mistake, is there? No, there's a happy accident. Absolutely. And the lovely thing is that a lot of people are going for lots of the um, other... Um, Kits that we've got for you as well, the Stamps, other collections to go into uh, the one day, the one day special we've got. So whichever one you're going for, you know, have a good look around them on the website. Do check them out because a lot of these, as we've seen, there's a lot of sort of cross pollination between all of them, and actually they just look like they could all be together. In fact, it could be one massive, massive set. I think the lovely thing about what you've got here is you have those options because if we were to try and put them all in one big set, then it might be a bit tricky to sort of like break the price down for those. But you've got the options because. Every Everything would work. You, I think you could do a you could do a countdown on one of these. Could you? you could take one from the bottom and three from the top. Doesn't matter which ones yes. you collect. You will be able to create something magical with whatever you had at your disposal, whether it's two sets or three sets. So uh, if you are going for some of the other options as well to mix in with it, then you know have a good look, see what else 
could complement those ones that you have chosen and, and go for those because there's so much to choose from. All on the website, of course, if you are shopping ahead with us at the, um, the craftstore.com. Right, so you're just going to pop this onto a piece of black card. So just that, that's one of the wreath builders. Okay, on the top. That's that that has worked. I'm quite happy with that. I would add lots of glitter and I would do some colouring on as, as well. But you know, you don't have to if you don't want to, but as soon as you pop it onto some black card, it's yeah. gonna pop. Yeah. Just be careful because first fine clay do, does take a, a while to dry. So just be careful that you don't stick your fingers in it all. All right. Okay. And if you're gonna ink around the edges, probably wait to the next day or do it beforehand. Oh. So that beautiful, that. we're going to pop that down there for a second. I know it's not... Look, see? What did you just say? Dirty Mark. <sighs> Dirty Mark, but it's OK. Because who's, my... who's Mark, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> but my background has got purple in it, so you can't really see it. So that's that. I'll get away with that. <laughs> did he go side saddle? Mark? Mark doesn't go side saddle. <laughs> What are you on about? No, I'm just, just interested to know now. Who's Mark? I don't know. This is your secret, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put Jarja on the top. So I would probably colour her in. But if However, you're watching, send in any pickies and a little, uh, little write-up. Yeah, so... <laughs> <laughs> so, actually, I think she does pop quite nicely, just left in white, actually. Yes, so, it does. Yeah, so there we go. Nice. Oh, I love it. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, loads of those all coming together on that. That is gorgeous, that. Uh, sending a little holiday sparkle. Um, more demonstrations to come. Julia, thank you so much, Steve, for that. Uh, that is lovely. And just goes to show you, they do all the work for you. They, you should put them together, you decide where they're going to stand, and they will look fantastic. Uh, more examples of how you can work with these and uh, bring them all together. Have a look at this. Uh, one of my, they're all beautiful, aren't they? But one of my favourites of the sets, actually, is what we're going to show you now in a bit more detail. We did uh, touch on them briefly earlier on, but this is lovely. And I think it's the, um, the wonderful uh, musical dandelion that's included in this particular set. It's lovely because it's, the, I think this, this really does transcend. It's not just, of course, about festive of, of Christmas or magical or even, even necessarily even to do with fairies in this respect here. But I think this is so nice. And actually, to sort of give you an, an idea, I know it's been used a lot um, there's a theme if you've got see I like scripts on backing paper as well or you've got the notes but I love that just look at that there with some music uh, on behind it on the paper but then those beautiful notes going on to it and uh, you could even probably stamp a few of those that landed onto the actual line itself there and then you got your music's being created but it's so such a lovely lovely image on this one I think that uh, you know a lot of people I think will really enjoy working with it and actually when you start putting it with our three um, beautiful uh, fairies in there as well that you've got with melody uh, harmony and uh, viola that we are um, but again with that music is absolutely stunning what about the this one here for example that shows you um, with uh, just the three in their little frames individually absolutely gorgeous Really, really love it. And again, it's the detail in all these. There's something really very, very magical about all those. So again, if you haven't got these yet into your collection or anything else you've uh, popped into your basket, got time to do so. 923831. It's 2699. But I think you're going to find yourself using uh, certainly those stamps a lawful lot. They are beautiful. Uh, now, also, again, and I suppose we're sort of slightly leaving uh, in another world here, the sort of the, the festive feel a bit more directly. But there's something very magical magical about these as well. So I think you're going to really enjoy the phoenix. The foliage hook, I think, is inspirational. I think that is so, so nice. And you've got Zuli, our dragon. Um, and these are, I think, are, are absolutely fabulous. And they are 
magical, you know, just the whole fantasy world. And if that is something, again, where maybe some of your artwork takes you, um, your inspiration will lead you, I think you'll find that I don't know of anything that's sort of a of, of, of fantastical kind of, uh, of world that does not include a dragon. You know, it's absolutely uh, part and parcel, I think. Uh, that's... And, of course, uh, we'll be looking. I just love the staff there as well, which is absolutely beautiful. I have got a phoenix here to show you how it looks on the stamp, but then you sort of see that there when it's being worked on. I mean, isn't that absolutely gorgeous, which I think is, uh, is so, so, so nice indeed uh, when you see all of those. Uh, and the way that they do all work together is, uh, is fabulous. Um, I've also... Uh, I'll get you... I'll see if we can find you one with the staff in a second. I think we had some earlier on, but um, just that whole uh, look at that just in the simplicity of, of that works so so nice and then how about a dragon holding the magical staff there look at that absolutely beautiful uh, five seven six seven five eight really like those i think they're gorgeous creatures and that's 22 pounds and 99 pence the last set that we didn't see uh, close up uh, is going to be able to give you the uh, little pine cone house. I think, how cute is this? The little pine cone house, you've got the sentiments onto there as well. Uh, a little magic can take you a long way. Uh, then we've also got the, the staff, the actual kind of uh, the lamppost cane, uh, which has been used an awful lot, actually, on some of the other ones we've already seen, but works so, so nicely, really Really, really lovely. Um, all of these working together, um, I think you'll agree. They are studying uh, mixing it between the uh, pine cone, and we've also there got the star from the previous set that works together. Um, how how lovely are all of these? Uh, so twenty four ninety nine double five eight seven eight zero pine cone house lamppost uh, cane the squirrels. And a long way sentiment. Uh, double five eight seven eight zero. Now, we've got the Reef Builder, which is one of the busiest sets. Actually, loads and loads and loads of elements in here that will work really nicely. And you've got that rather large sentiment as well with Love at Christmas, which I think is uh, just a really lovely, good all rounder that you'll be able to use in there. But all those elements of the wreath in there you've got the lovely holly, you've got the beautiful leaves, you've even got that, uh, that gorgeous little extras behind it that just pop through that foliage. Then you've also got the three uh, lovely birds again, and we've seen how they will work, you know, in any setting. They look so, so nice. Only 20 pounds and 99 pence a lot of people are going for this one zero six seven zero four eight is your item code to go for those uh all the new seven day south had a chance of the i'm seeing them myself yet um but they've launched today 15 pounds saving on these so actually pretty much half price on this 14.99 and this is going to give you your 30 christmas cards so if you want to carry on with those this christmas card bundle lots of bright colors on there all ready to go as well you've actually got a choice these are your red and green that you can see here or you can go for red snowflakes uh, 628540 they will be there until next Sunday uh, 1499 did we say there's one more to come with those no, that's it, they said, that's it. That, uh, I've not seen all the seven days. They'll, they'll tease me with them later on. They'll, they'll drip them in for me to see. Uh, right, OK, make sure you fill your baskets and don't forget to get them checked out. And, uh, oh, I see pine cone. Yeah, we got, I thought we'd use the pine cone Lovely. house uh, in its entirety, because I don't think we've used it in its entirety uh, in this um, Wonder special. So, again, the idea here is to bring in Jada. She's going to sit on the roof. Because it's summer, actually, it's not Christmas. And oh. uh, so the chimney's not, not lit, the fire's not lit. So she's going to sit on the oh, chimney that's pot. Lucky. Okay. And then we're going to have one of the bunnies sitting down looking to see what she's up to. We're going to have um, Viola. She's going to be swinging in to see her. And she's going to also have one of the hanging snowflakes. Maybe is she going to just hover around? Hand. Is she going to stay socially distanced? She's or is she well, pop in? well, she's 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 that distance away, so oh, she's a right, good actually. meter away in, in, in proportion. So, so we're going to have some hanging snowflakes perhaps at the top as well, and we're going to shove one of these um, um, canes in the back, the, the cane lamppost. So, da, 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 lots of stamps everywhere. So let's get stamping. That's the plan, and I, I like always this. tend to do that. Give like myself that. a plan. But they do work. They, uh, 
I still but what I say, a lot of these could be as one big set, couldn't they? Because they really do work. I mean, um, obviously, I had the lot, so yes. you know, I've got the lot to work with, and I know lots of people do collect them, and um, and and so you've got the potential there to do lots with them. Yeah. So let's uh, do the um, the lamppost first. This is another distress. Um, oxide spray background and what color should we do this time oh let's let's do a bit of brown and a bit of black so we do this in black brown sorry brown dither 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 make your mind up goodness me <laughs> goodness me Julia get a grip come on Julia I know uh. what am I like I've got a bit of acetate stuck there they wouldn't do us any good <laughs> Now, this is the first time I've used this stamp, so I can see that the ink is actually pooling a little bit. And that's because it's got a little bit of manufacturing residue left over it. So just clean it, and then we'll stamp again. Right. So don't, need, don't panic. Obviously, once your stamps are seasoned, so they've been used a few times, they'll be absolutely fine. It doesn't happen on all of them. It's just a few. You can just tell. Though, can you? Yeah, I can yeah. just tell. That's why you want your stamping platform. You go yep. straight over. No straight harm over. done. No harm done. Jobs are good. Okay, so that's going back on there. Sort that out later, as per everything else. Then we're going to bring it in our pine cone house. But you have so those stamps you used earlier on. You have put those away back I in have. the in the packaging, haven't you? I have. That's what I mean about you're one of the uh, the, the cleanest and tidiest. Other people just chuck them at me. <laughs> Stick them on my head <laughs> for storage. I've been. <laughs> Those are the days when we, when we, were, we were even closer together, and uh, luckily one good thing that's come out of that is I don't find so many stamps on my head when I go home. Oh, yeah. nice. I, 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 it's a good surface area for storage, though. <laughs> <laughs> I miss I've, it. I've you, also... you want to have a magnetic sheet stapled to your head as well, and you'd be really painful, handy. But, I mean, I'm, taking, but um, <laughs> I'm quite happy them just sort of stuck on. That's fine. I miss I miss face planting on wall balls. I miss a bit of that as well. You've missed what? Face planting, you never see us on a happy hour with it. If I get oh, so honestly, some little, some yarn, some balls of, you know, if they're pulled up high, they just look so. You, if you've ever <laughs> just get your head straight in, it's lovely. <laughs> I've been down there for sometimes ten seconds. There's some nice wool out in the corridor. Actually. Oh, don't you tempt me, Joe. I've seen. I'm <laughs> behind it. So we've got we, we're pla we're stamping this over the. Um, the lamppost. You can see we did that twice and so this is lighter. So in order to make this look sensible what we need to do is just go a second time just to make sure that this ink is as dark as the first application uh, as the application on the uh, uh, lamppost. And obviously with the lamppost you can actually have you know color it in yellow so you've got the the glow of the um, candle that's in there. Yes. You could add some glossy accents to make it look like it's got glass around oh, yeah, it. Yeah yeah yeah. Uh, with this, I know that Bonnie's done uh, part of it. Um, uh, these areas here, she's put a white gel pen on, so it looks like there's snow on the edges of the pine cone. Mm. So, um, I mean, it hasn't disappeared into the back as much as I like, but I'm going to actually progress on to the next area. I think that these are also nice. So if you, you know that. Um, so I was just asked a question in my year. You know where fairies live, but you know fairies are toadstools. You know, uh, they you, live in pine cone pine houses. Cones. But I was just saying, you can make a quite magical little village up with you can. You know, because not all homes look the same. No, yeah. absolutely. The, the, some of them live in fairy condos uh, because there are, we do have some fairy condos as well. And we have fairy condo dwellers, which are teeny tiny fairies. Ah. Um, so, Jard is coming in here. I should have done that one before. It doesn't matter. Let's do this one first. Let's do this one in black. Nocturne. So you're distracting me. This is why I can't have an earpiece, because if I have an earpiece, I'd be absolutely doomed. Absolutely doomed. Why? Because you could... I'd, I would lose what I was... But, you know, I'd, I'd go off track all the time. My brain can't co process too many things, even though I'm a woman. I listen when you when you when you say a statement like that. I have no. I don't say anything. I keep very quiet. I let you continue on what you're saying. Fiona's well trained. You hasn't she? You are she <laughs> again. I can't hear you. Uh, <laughs> That's just a standard man thing. <laughs> oh, so now we moved on to all of mankind in that respect. So it's a general. I tell you what. Tune in again for another. Four. When are you back on at four o'clock again? <laughs> Uh, Wednesday. Wednesday. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes. 
So no, that'd be brilliant. That will be. Right, so Jar just sitting on there. Yes. And we have got the same thing here with the feet, but it's not as pronounced. So once you've coloured that in, you wouldn't actually lose the definition there. So you don't have to actually cut that one out if you don't want to. So let's have our uh, Viola flying in to see her. And while we're having her flying in to say hi, because she's perched, she's wait, waiting for her, you see. Yeah. And uh, we're going to have our little bunny that's coming in here as well. And I think we might have one of the teeny bunnies so that the proportions are right, because we can't have the big bunny in here because that oh. would look a bit silly. Oh, that's the wrong way. That's I'm pointing gonna... the wrong way. Is it? Just... I'm just going to find a few more examples to show after you finish there because... That's fine. It's a... Uh... Little bunny. It's, it's beautiful. They're absolutely got the R. Yeah. What you found? You found one? Oh, well, yeah, but I'm not going to... No, until I'm, after, okay, after you finish. Because I fine. think it's very, very popular, the, um, the actual uh, reef builder. So, um... The reef the builder? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll do the reef builder. They're, they're all, uh, I'll, I'll do something... I'll picking up some... all the little elements in there, I think. I think that's what people are liking as well with the... But, I mean, how, how many different sets have you got used in there? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, it's quite if, a few. I think if I actually everything. count them, I won't get this finished. <laughs> if what? If I actually count how many sets I've no, used, exactly. I won't get it finished. So we'd stamp in the, the rabbit, the bunny, in brown, and we're stamping... I think you've got four set. sets there being used, I think. Uh, currently five. Oh, five. Oh yeah, with the uh, with the uh, with the, the bunnies now. The, we, we got we got the the bunny, the two fairies. That's three. The pine cone house and the cane oh, lamp yes. thing. Let's go once more, so they're as dark as the others. It's so this this looks like it's taking ages, and it feels like it's taking ages. But it is is really good idea to kind of build things up and make sure that you've got a good depth of colour, because once you take it off of your stamp press, you've had it. You know, you're not going to get the, that depth of quality. You can't go in again. So that's that. Da, 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 da. I think that's all I need to do on my stamp press. I would certainly say that... What's the name of our fairy on the rooftop? Uh, Jada. Jada. Uh, she's definitely got all the power, isn't she, in that? If you look at that scene... She looks very snooty, doesn't she? Do you think? Oh, you're going to no, disagree with me. Looks, I think she, uh, I think it's a, it was. I think it was a fair election that she ended up sort of queen of the fairies, um, and I don't think she's lorded it over them. But I mean, the bunny rabbit looks like in awe. In awe, the other fairies happy to wait on. I mean, I don't know what goes on in the back rooms between you know the politics of fairy world, but I think that, that looks a pretty content little land. Where is my other acrylic block? There it is, right in front of me. You can't, Unless that's you not can't her house, them. and it's the other fairy's house, and she said, no, you're not going to come in until you, I well, don't know, well, cross not, my little fairy. Well, it's not even Jarda's house, it's Jarda's mum's house. Oh. Did you not know that? Oh, She's staying with her mum. It's turned into the plot of EastEnders now, I'll be confused. <laughs> with. I These, love it. Dairies are all about stories, yeah? You what, sorry? These are all about stories. So, so you build your story up when you're talking about them. So let's have this hanging snowflake so she's bringing this one in oh just there okay and i've done this one in blue and you should be able to see the lovely detail when i, I take this off yeah so i hold this up to our oh, camera one nice. and and uh babe oh, will be able lovely. to get into that dotted detail in the center so you can't see that in the packaging at all so don't think that you haven't no, stamped like... it very well. It's supposed to be like that. Oh, no, Jerry, no. Do the, the, you know the difference of that story now? It does feel... I mean, you talked about storytelling within it, but actually the fact that that now is there is that she's controlling that or bringing that or offering mm. that as well. Yeah. It does actually change the whole view of that card then. Yeah, just yeah. Just by putting that item into it, isn't yeah. it? It's, what a difference that one thing yeah, makes there. it's really cool, isn't oh, it? I love that. Yeah, so... Uh, Julie, thank you very much, Steve. It's beautiful. Have I finished? No, no, I don't know. I'm about to do a quick... I'm just going to quickly ask... I haven't finished yet. You've got seven minutes left, is what they've asked me to say, and then they said, stand back, Scott, stand back. <laughs> oh, I haven't quite finished yet. I've nearly finished, but not quite, because I'm getting nagged to use the wreath builder, so that's what I'm going to do. That's all right. No, you, you carry on. <laughs> I'm just taking a safe distance. <laughs> I just thought... Before that stamp comes towards my end. No, it won't, it won't, it won't. You know I love you. <laughs> so uh, we're going to use the wreath builds around down the bottom again, just like I, I did at the top of the previous product. Because so, so we've got some little foliage around here, so it doesn't look as bare. 
Um, so we're going to go with our shady lane again. Uh, I think we used purple last time actually. So this is just a really useful sprig and this is the one that uh, um, uh, the design team have used to uh, create uh, the foliage that the birds are sitting on. Oh yes. Uh, you know yep. when they're cascading down, uh, there's a couple of cards actually, there's a square card and a, a tall card that have um, foliage coming down and it just, it just gives, um, it makes a really good um, sort of pine branch if yes. you like. So it's not just for it's not just for wreaths. It's just for framing it as well. So yeah. immediately you've got some interest going yeah, on. Then on the top, I've, I, this is the last bit. This is the last bit. Honestly, <laughs> I know you're getting a little bit. Uh, a little bit. Go on, finish the sentence. Fed up of me. No. How <laughs> you know that's not true. <laughs> Right, so we've got this. These are the little tiny pine branches which are on the one day special. So we're just going to add a few of these around the top because these have got a, a bend to them, and uh, these uh, are great for um, a, a, on one of the sides of the one day special pack shot. There's a, the, the poinsettia card, and um, Bonnie's made a wreath. With oh this, yeah! Oh, that's uh, made out of that one, is it? Yeah, it's it's just one of those sta these stamps because there's two in the set, one going one way, one going the other, and she's made a wreath, and so that's really effective, and it just finishes it off on the top like that. So Let now we can a actually um, pop this. Can you actually bend? Is the stamp big enough to actually bend it around? You say, or is it, it already, already it's bent? It's already got a bend. Oh, it's got the bend in it. You've got yeah, a I bend see. to the right and a bend to the left. So this just goes on There we are. That's the one. Look, isn't that like, it is lovely, that. It is, isn't it? Yeah. So while really you're doing nice. your recap, I'll do my sticking. But obviously I'd colour that in. And there we go. Ah. Oh. Yeah, lo absolutely beautiful. I love that. It's a, it's a real bit of storytelling, isn't yeah. it? That is gorgeous. I love yeah. it. I do love that. Thank you very much for that one. Thank you. Uh, just on the Over one. To you. Thanks very much. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's on our first day again. I'm getting nervous. I'm going to pass the gauntlet over to Emma for later as well. She's going to carry on. Are you with Emma later? Well, I'm not sure. I'll be uh, in my cell <laughs> in five minutes. I might be sent home. <laughs> okay, special. <laughs> Uh, right, so the one that's it is there for you, absolutely fantastic. It is basically the core, and then from there you can expand with all of the other lovely sets that are available for you. Now, don't forget, you're getting ten stamps, and as you've seen, how Julie's been working with these, you know, just the one or the two of the little stamps, they build up, and you really do build up your lovely stories as you work through these. That gorgeous one, the, that little stamp there, just, I mean, just where is it? Over here. Um, this one here, for example, that you can see, we were just talking in regards in, you know, just building up that whole idea, just just wrapping those around and made a whole reef out of that one. Perfect again, just for adding that little bit of detail around the top of the, of the card that she'd been just working with there a second or so ago. So, you know, don't underestimate these beautiful stamps and actually how they will build up to that bigger picture. If you'd like to go for this one, if you're a Freedom member, it's a why not deal, because actually your freedom saving, including your pastage, is actually eight twenty five. Your freedom membership is only seven ninety seven. But don't forget you're going to get all the perks and the benefits as well to go with being a freedom member for that. And it is available on your Flexi as well if you would like to go for it on this particular offer, so you can spread the cost uh, on this one. So your item number is 594 217, £16.30 saving for a Freedom member. So that's two payments, just £19 and 35 pence. I'm oh, really looking at 594217. Absolutely phenomenal. Now, uh, really, really popular has been our fantastic reef builder on this one. It's the Love at Christmas and the Fancy Birds. It's the set that you can see down here, and it is absolutely gorgeous. Again, just what I was just talking about there with regards to the one day special, there's lots and lots of little elements that build together and that's, I think, where the magic is because no two reefs that you're working with would then absolutely be the same. But then you start adding the wildlife into here with the birds and they really do become beautiful, beautiful images that you'll be able to create. And the lovely font, really gorgeous, nice, clear sentiment as well. And a very important one as well, with love at Christmas. Just to show you a couple of these again that you can build up with because it's a really useful for stamp set, which I, I know that uh, I think that's the reason why lots of people have gone with it, because you can make them as busy, as full, 
or as stripped back and as simple as you would like to go with. But they do work. Look at that one again, with no other colour in there, but just works so, so beautifully in the white uh, with embossing. But again, with that lovely sentiment with Love at Christmas, uh, which will work. It is a larger sentiment as well so again that's not even going to get lost on a large card or a large project uh, that you have in your maybe it's even as a title with a book that's going through but they work so nicely again mixing it with the other sets uh, that's also available for you here but there's so so much in there oh just a little details there from the one day that's been put in there I think that's gorgeous uh zero six seven zero four eight twenty pounds and 99 pence only and that's going to be giving you the wreath builder the love at christmas and the fancy birds for you as well which is absolutely brilliant L loads are there for you uh, we are looking at dispatch from the 23rd of july so not too long to wait but don't forget these are coming from the states so there's lots and lots and lots uh, of others collections you'll find from them they are brilliant they really really are good um right i hope you've enjoyed that show and uh, what a lovely one day special it's been um it Julie. have you enjoyed working on this one i have Yes, I have. It is a beautiful, beautiful collection, yeah. um, and I will probably can still continue to work with it afterwards because yeah, sure. it's just stunning. I, I, th I think it's been where, so. When are you? When are you back in yourself? Is I'm it back Wednesday? in on Wednesday for the last two hours of the Sentimentally Yours One Day Special. Phil's oh. launching on Tuesday, right. and then I'm taking over for the Twelve and Four Show on oh, Wednesday. Right. Have you been? Have you been playing with that already? Oh yes, I'm all prepped for that. And you're all prepped and all ready to go for yes. that one. Uh, this was a safe journey back tonight. Thank you, and, thank you, everybody. Uh, uh, look forward to seeing you back when you're on, in, uh, with us on Wednesday. Yeah. Oh, and that. fairy hugs are back on the 10th of August. With 10th of two August. Two hours. Yes. Oh, for two hours. Oh, yes. lovely. Right. So make sure you're staying tuned for that one as well. In fact, then you can send some pictures in of what you've created with these. Possibly yes, please already. do. Please do. That would be lovely. That would be lovely. Uh, Always a pleasure. Thank you so much. Back at you. In fact, straight back at you as well. <laughs> uh, don't go anywhere, though, because we've got even more coming up on the other side of this. Yeah, and I'm really looking forward to this hour, because if you uh, like to blend and to whisk, then you'll be up for everything coming up here. Then we're going to go back to our clever uh, Prince Scribble Forest, and then back to happy hour. Hi, I'm Lucy from Sweet Poppy Stencils, the Craft Station Limited. We're a craft retailer and we specialise in stainless steel stencils. Our stencils are manufactured in metal. Uh, this allows us to have designs that are intricate. Um, we know customers like seeing um, the demonstrations. So make sure you tune in and don't miss the Sweet Poppy shows Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door and Crafts 2. My crafting journey's taken me through all different types of crafting, from stamping and die cutting to colouring and inking, and loads of different things. I've been working with Crafts 2 now for over three years, and they produce the John Next Door brand, distribute it, and make sure that everything is perfect in that. This allows me to work with the fantastic Crafts 2 tools and products, as well as some of their other amazing brands such as 2J Stamps, Press Cut, and the Craft Artist range of glues and consumables and inks. I really find that this partnership is extremely strong and helps me bring out the best of my products and all the other products within the Crafts 2 stable and the ones that I design. Hi, I'm Charmaine from Dolly Dimples and I've been crafting since I was a little girl and I have a massive passion for anything crafty related. Dolly Dimples is a fictional character in Dolly Dimples Town. There's uh, whimsical characters, fantasy characters, mythical characters. There's so much going on, so much happening in Dolly Town and it's a fun place to be in. Our products are all hand-drawn. That makes them quite unique because you've got that quirkiness about them. We have decoupage, backing papers. We have templates for 3D objects, stencils in the mix. We have dyes and lots of other things are coming to you soon. Make sure you tune in for the Dollar Dimple shows and have some fun.
you. I hope you are well and I hope you're keeping cool from the sunshine. Now, those of you that know me um, will know that I love healthy eating. It makes me feel good in myself and it makes me feel good about myself. I love my vegetables, I have an allotment. So I'm always looking for new ways of getting the very best out of those vegetables. And by that, I mean getting all of the vitamins and all of the nutrients all from those vegetables, but also with a lot of taste as well. And I want to do different things with them. Now we have got a fantastic show lined up. You can crush, you can mix, you can steam, you can blend. You can make soups, yes, hot soups. You can crush ice in here as well. And with the power that you're getting in this incredible blender, you will not believe the demonstrations that we're going to take you through. There is a non-stick element in here as well, which is going to please everybody for when you're cooking your meats and your fishes. You get that non-stick but also non-burning element to it. And we've also got some great price comparisons for you as well. We believe we've got the breast price that is available at the moment. And it's on flex by as well. But I'm not alone. I'm not alone here. I've got an expert guest with us. We've got the wonderful Drew. Good afternoon, Drew. Good afternoon. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm really well. How are you? Wonderful. Really good to be here. Yeah. Do you know something? I'm really excited about this show. I've been looking for a magical blender like this for quite some time. Now, I've seen all of the functions and I've seen all of the special elements that we're going to get with this. But you wait till you see it. But can you tell us a little bit about the company, first of all? Of course. Carrera is a German-Italian brand with the best of features of both of those. So we've got the German engineering, German design teamed with the Italian flair. It's absolutely beautiful and it works beautifully as well. Do you know what I like about this as well is the ease of use. Now we are moving into that world of digital, digital technology uh, but this is going to bring the digital technology but also the manual technology together because just with a twist you're ready to go. That's how easy this is to work. It does all the hard work for you. It's very, very intuitive. I would say you can throw your vegetables in here and with one twist you're ready to go. So really it's a throw, a twist and go. Oh, hello. Yeah. Just made that oh, up. That's Just good. made that up. That's what you get for healthy eating. Do your own research, of course. Uh, but this really is fantastic. We're going to take you through all the different functions. But in the meantime, let's take a closer look at your blender. German engineering and that Italian flair, this is going to look fabulous in your kitchen. And it's something you want to keep out as well because you're going to use this every single day. Whether it's something for breakfast, like a smoothie, for example, maybe it's really important to you to get the right ingredients inside your body without relying on anyone else because you've got special dietary requirements. This could be out for lunchtime. How about soup? Think about how much soup costs. It's around about a pound a tin of soup now. That is ridiculous. Now you can make your own soup. Of course, you can freeze soup as well. So you can make a whole heap of soup in here and freeze it for future servings. Um, with this deal, you are getting that fabulous machine. We're going to take you through the function of that in a moment's time. But you've also got your added extras as well. You can steam vegetables in here. Yes, you can. I think this is really cool. Uh, steaming vegetables for me just changes the taste completely. And for me, it 
keeps the nutrients in there, which is very, very important. Uh, you've also got your other tools in there to help you clean your uh, glass jar that you've got at the top. You've also got, yeah, I'm making that stand up. You've got your spatula as well. So if you are making a smoothie or you're making something else, you can actually scrape that around, which is going to give you that great uh, taste to get everything out. And then we have the tool which is just here. And I'm going to ask Drew what this is for. That's for um, beating down in yes. case everything's gone uh, a little bit thick and you need to get it right down to the bottom. It's also for lifting up the bain marie and the steaming tray. It's got a little hook just on yeah, it as well. Yeah, it's just at the bottom there, you can see that. So that's going to help you pick up that steaming tray, which of course is important when you're steaming your vegetables, it's going to be hot. So all of that is included. Now it's a terrific price, it really, really is. You're saving £150 today on that price. It's available on three payments. So £116.33 today means you're going to get this home. We'll take another payment in a month's time and another payment a month after that. Think how much money you're going to save because you will be making your own foods in this blender. Let's give you a price comparison now you can go to Selfridges it's going to cost you 500 pounds free delivery though so that's good isn't it uh, wayfair.co.uk I guess many of you use that for lots of different things uh, I bought something from them the other day but look at that 425 pounds and 33 pence it's free delivery so one would say that's pretty good isn't it and then yeah the go-to store for a lot of you amazon.co.uk uh, 395 pounds free delivery though I mean that is a great deal isn't it but if you buy from us today, the craft store, £349, plus your PMP, but if you're a Freedom member, no PMP to pay. Isn't that fantastic? And we'll split the cost. It's interest free. You don't need to set anything up. You just tick a box and that's it done. Oh my days. I can't wait to see this in action. I'm really, really excited about this. And it's all about power and performance when it comes to blenders. That's really important. Yes, you can go down to your local supermarket and buy a blender. But that's kind of all it's going to do if it actually does that at all. Um, now, this is going to be a staple in your kitchen because it has that power and it has that performance. So shall we put it through its steps? If you've got any questions, please do email in. I'd love to hear from you. And I'm sure Drew would as well. It is studio at thecraftstore.com. Unfortunately, I can't taste any of the food that Drew is going to cook for us due to the current restrictions. Uh, but never mind. I'm sure you'll get an essence of what's being created. Right, Drew, let's have a look at what we can get. Shall I go through its functions yes, first? Please. We'll go, yeah, we'll go let's straight into the there. Functions. Well, just first off, I think this is an absolutely beautiful piece. It's going to look incredible on the counter. It's going to look incredible being used as well. But it's a lovely digital display. And we've got five cooking features and the one feature that I absolutely adore about this. So to get started, we've got two soup functions. The first one gives you chunky coarse soup, broths, anything like that that you'd like, beautifully made. The second, if we can just move to there, is my favourite type of soup. It's the thin, silky soups. Beautiful for your first course, delicious for absolutely everything. Move it over. We've also got our Bain Marie set in. So if you want to cook gently, you want to melt chocolate, you want to make hollandaise sauces or anything like that, you've got the perfect tool for that as well. In the middle for the, uh, the manual, freestyle, you can do whatever you want. You can take this from 5,000 RPM to do avocados, to do all of those, all the way up to 20,000 RPMs. We've got the steam option. We've got the ice cream, sorbet and margarita option and my favourite out of all, it washes itself up as well. Wow, do you know what? You had me at margarita. <laughs> you really, really did. Isn't that easy? Now, there are so many complicated in different um, dials and things like that on other machines. How easy is that? And do you know why I love that so much? If you've got parents that you're looking after at the moment, or maybe your mum and dad can't get out as much as they used to, but you want them to eat healthy, something like this is going to be really, really easy for them to use. And I don't mean that in a disrespectful way. 
at all. Because you know what it's like as we get older, we want things to be more simple and easy to use. Let's face it, sometimes when we go out and buy a new microwave, it's too complicated to work. I just want the ones that just twist around to make it easy for me to choose my minutes and to choose the setting. So this has got all of that performance and power, but you've got that ease of use. It's a match made in heaven. It really, really is. So what are we putting in to blend first of all? Uh, first off, we're going to do a restaurant quality, my favourite soup out of all of them. It's a curried parsnip soup. You're probably thinking, curried parsnip on a day like this? Well, I've just been told by somebody who's very informed that the best thing to drink to cool you down is a, a delicious hot soup. It is, you know. Well, let's <laughs> face it, as Brits, we like to go to the seaside and the beach. We always had a cup of tea on the beach when we were younger with my mum because your temperature goes sky high, but then it comes down a little lower. Do your own research, of course, but English people, we do drink a lot of tea. It makes sense. It just makes perfect sense, doesn't it? So, to start with, I'm literally just putting in uh, 500 grams of best British parsnips. So in there you go. I'm only breaking them down. We're not chopping them into small pieces. I'll let the Carrera 655 do all of that. It's all about taking it easy, letting somebody else, or in this case, something else, do all the hard work for you. A uh, little bit of garlic, don't bother crushing that up either, straight into there it goes, and a stock cube into there as well. It's as simple as that, it's as easy as getting it and just walking away. Do you know what I like about it as well, leaving the skin on? And that's really important to a lot of people to get the right nutrients, for me it is. So I don't like peeling my veg, uh, because half the time after you've washed it, keep the skin on because you've got a lot of good nutrients in there, very, very important. And it takes so long, and then you've got, well, let's face it, you've got to get rid of the peel. And yes, you can put it into your composters, but also, you know, if you do put it in your bin, it goes into the landfill, which isn't that great, even though it's biodegradable. Uh, biodegradable. It's important to consume the whole of the vegetable, in my humble opinion, anyway. <laughs> right, well, with the soup and with the machine in general, nothing happens until you put the lid on. It's not going to spray all over the place. It's not even going to start without having that lid on. A key safety feature and one for peace of mind. So we're going to put this to the second setting. That's the thin soup setting. And um, that's it. You literally just walk away. It's as simple as that. It's as easy as that. Now, how long would we make that soup for? How long could we go away and do a bit of gardening or take the dog out for a walk or do some crafting? <laughs> Perfect. For, it, um, for the finer soup, it's going to take 30 minutes. Now, you can delay that. You can bring that back in. But 30 minutes, this isn't Is about a rush it? soup. This is about minutes. beautiful soup. Wow. Restaurant standard, I promise you. I can't you. believe that. 30 minutes. That is amazing. Again, going back to soup, when you go and buy soup in the supermarket, it's funny that, supermarket soup. <laughs> uh, it's exp Have you seen the price of soup? A pound for a tin. I mean, let's face it, in the winter, if, you're, if, you're, if you've got um, a tin of soup a day, you know, maybe that's your lunch, your staple lunch throughout the winter for two or three months or whatever it is. If it's two people in your household, that's going to be like £60 a month on soup. Now you can make your own. You can draw that money back, which is really, really important. Back to you, Drew. As you can see, it's underway. Thank you. And we see the countdown just here. 29 minutes and 26 degrees centigrade. So it's going to talk you through itself about how it's heating up, how long it's got left, what it's doing, giving you the perfect opportunity to get anything else ready, including yourself, for a perfect meal. I just think that is absolutely fantastic. You know, soups are great for starters. Soups are great for taking to work. They're great for staple diets as well. And also what's important is the fact that you put the ingredients in. Again, have a look at the tins of soup in your cupboard. Have a look at maybe how much salt's in there, how much sugar is in there. Maybe there's elements in there. Maybe you don't want garlic in your soup. You don't have to. Uh, maybe there's certain elements of herbs that you're not very good at digesting. Now you can make your own soup the way you want to make it and the way that your body can digest it properly. This is just one, just one of the things that you can make in this blender so perfectly well. Let's take a look at the functions in here. 
Right, so it's intuitive controls, you've seen that, with your automated program presets, which is perfect. 20,000 revs per minute. Do you know, do you know how fast that is? And that's going to give you smoother desserts and smoother smoothies. Uh, for me, easier to digest. You've got your heating uh, surface with two, uh, with a long life two non sorry, two layer non-stick coating. Oh, got there in the end. You've got your steamer mode, which I think is brilliant. I've not seen many uh, soup maker functions with steamer mode in there. And you also get the steamer insert as well. Uh, you can create your own recipes in manual mode, so you could be your own chef in your kitchen. Uh, you've got four stainless steel butterfly blades in there as well. So that's where you get that performance and the power. You've got automatic cleaning program. Thank you for that. And you've got your steamer insert, we've just said, your silicon scraper and your cleaning brush, all in included with that 15,000 watt powers. Wow. That is about two horsepower, isn't it? That's incredible. What an incredible deal. So happy to bring this to you today. And uh, yes, it is sort of a step away from our paper crafts and our soft crafts. But cooking is a craft, isn't it? It really, really is. And the more time we're spending at home, the more time we are finding ourselves cooking and trying to find new things to cook as well. But alongside that, we still want a craft. So this is going to be a great addition to your kitchen. 349 pounds. Let's remind you of the price comparisons that we've done for you. You can buy it elsewhere. And do you know what? They've all got free D, uh, free PMP. So Selfridges, 500 pounds. Go and help yourself there. Free delivery. Wayfair.co.uk, great site. 425 pounds and 33 pence. Free delivery. Go and help yourself. Uh, Amazon, 395 pounds with free delivery. Brilliant. But here at the craft store, £349. If you're a Freedom member, you're not paying any PMP. Your PMP on top of that, if you're not a Freedom member, is only £4.95. But you know what? You can spread the cost over three months. It's interest free. And it's very, very easy to set up. Your first payment today will get everything sent out to you. How exciting are your meals going to be? Now, we've looked at making soup, but of course, this can do so much more, can't it, Drew? It certainly can. Um, what it's doing here is it's just heating itself up, getting itself ready to start its um, course, start its blending. But what should we do next? What do you fancy? Hot weather? Oh, yeah, it's pretty hot outside. Well, I wish you could try some of this, but it's sadly you can't at oh, the moment. No. So let's do uh, some lovely, uh, lovely uh, smoothies. So Ooh, nice. over here we go. So just moving over here, beg your pardon. Now, can we just show, well, we, I, I, when I say show everyone at home, the actual vessel that you put everything in is made from glass, and that's really important, but it's lightweight as well, isn't it, Drew? Very lightweight. Yeah. For, what it, for what it is and what it does, it's Pyrex, it's solid, you can cook in it, you can do cold in it, so it has to be robust, but it's such a manageable, easy weight to use, and does that all with looking good at the same time as well. <laughs> and it's a good colour because that's going to, I mean, you know, we shouldn't really be snobs about what we have in our kitchen, but do you know what? We kind of are. Um, and this colour is going to go with any kitchen decor, isn't it? With that black and the silver. It's classic. It's a classic looking machine. And that's why you're going to have this out. Let's face it, don't put it away in the cupboard. You want to have it out morning, noon and night so that you can have your breakfast, you can have your lunch, you can prepare something for your evening dinner in this as well. It's going to do everything for you it really is amazing but yes smoothies oh very good smoothies are the second super food i think soup of course is the always the super food sorry so oh well done yes it, it had to be done it really <laughs> it had did, to be it did so your smoothies these are fantastic for breakfast you can add chia seeds nuts whatever you want to do I'm only peeling it roughly because all that pith in there, that adds to flavour as well. So straight in there as well. Um, a pineapple. Always delicious and especially now these are perfectly and beautifully ripe. So we're going to put those, we're going to put this in as well. Get that in there. Now the one thing that I always like is a cold smoothie. Warm, room temperature, never brilliant, never great. A little bit of ginger in there as well. I'm just going to go and get some ice from the fridge real quickly. Now ice, well the ice is really hard. Straight out of the freezer. 
So this is a great test, actually, because it is, it is frozen hard. Quite literally. Indeed. Straight in, there we go. Um, pop the lid on, and I'm going to take this to the max. We're going to go to full power with this one. So switch the machine on. One, two, three into the middle. So we're doing on the manual setting, and this is really clever because you get to choose how slow or fast you want it from 5,000 RPM up to 20,000 RPM. So we set that, we set, turn up the speed, I'm going to go all the way to 20,000, set, and the temperature. We can even cook with the manual setting, so it's completely up to you. But straight away, we're going to choose select that, and away we go. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> it's always the way, never work with uh, machines or children. <laughs> so... Or animals on live Or TV. animals, That's so we've been say. told. Wow, look at that go. And the ice as well. Just disappearing into that smoothie, making it cool and cold and nice and beautiful. And do you know what? We've got lots of envious eyes in the studio at the moment looking over at this smoothie. Look at that. So there we have it. <laughs> wow. That was really quick. <laughs> that was really quick. 30 seconds, perfectly done. Um, I'm going to show you how lovely, wonderful and smooth that is. All of the ice is completely broken down. There goes the other one just doing its thing with the soup there. Wow, and as you can see, that. that is perfectly done. Oh, wonderfully that's smooth. Delicious. I wish I could try it, Drew. Let me just... Uh, oh, help yourself. Go on, rub it in. That little bit of ginger you can taste just at the background there. Um, all of the flavours, the pineapple, the orange, the banana, but that little bit of ginger oh, really... beautiful. Now, ginger, there's another point. Ginger, mm. for me, I just think it, I have it all the time. It's really good for me, and hopefully it'll be good for you. Um, but in some blenders, I don't know whether you own a blender, maybe you've got one of the lower priced ones that you buy from the supermarket, and that's great if it suits your needs. But sometimes when you put ginger in there, because it's very stringy, when you then drink your smoothie, you start to get all of that stringiness from the ginger. You want something that's absolutely going to obliterate that. So that when you drink it, it's nice and smooth, and that's exactly what you've got here with the performance and that power up to 20,000 revs per a minute. I think I'm right in saying that that is more than a Formula One racing car. Wow. Yeah, that is amazing. That really is amazing. When you've got all of that power to go up to, remember, you don't have to use that all the time, but you've got that power to go up to. Now, I did say that this was lightweight. I want to show you that. Um, so I'm going to pick this up. When you first see this, because it's Pyrex and it's glass, you think, wow, that's going to be really heavy, isn't it? But it's not. You just pick that up with one hand. You know, I'm not, I'm not incredibly strong, but I'm just picking that. Uh, well, maybe I am. Um, I'm just holding that in one hand. It's really easy and I can move it about. It, I don't have to struggle by holding it. If you want to, you can, you know, give yourself a bit of support. But look at that. I know it's got nothing in there at the moment. So, yes, it's going to be heavier with something in there. But, you know, when you go to buy your suitcases, for example, for your holiday, you choose the lightest weight suitcase possible because, you know, you're going to put stuff in there. So you still want it to continue to be kind of lightweight. So although there's nothing in there at the moment, it is incredibly lightweight. But it's substantial and you feel that. The moment you touch this, the moment that you start to engage in it, you've got that beautiful design and then you can feel that power and the performance that's in there. And you also have the measurements on that Pyrex um, vessel as well which is really really important what a deal this is dividing the cost into three payments we are getting busy and i'm really happy about that because i want everybody to enjoy their food and we have to be spending more and more time at home and sometimes we're buying the same things every day so we're having the same meals at night because that's just the way the world is at the moment we go and get our go-to foods we bring them home we cook the same thing and we carry on but i think we're getting a little bit tired of that now and we want to change we want 
want to change. We want to eat healthier. We're being told that, but we want to do that for ourselves as well. It might be because of dietary requirements. Maybe there's something you're allergic to. So therefore, you can't just go and take something off the shelf and cook it because it makes you feel poorly. Um, you want to make it yourself. You don't want to put the salt in. You don't have to. You want to put more sugar in. You can do. You don't want to have the sugar in there. You don't have to. It's going to be entirely up to you. So that taste is going to be perfect every single time. And that taste could be of steamed vegetables. It could be of soups. It could be sauces. You could cook your pasta in this and make your sauce. Yeah, that whole meal. Now, here are your functions of your Carrera. So you've got your intuitive controls. And you've got that automatic program preset. It's brilliant. You just twist and go. It's fabulous, isn't it? 20,000, up to 20,000 RPM for smoother desserts and smoothlies. A Formula One car is 12,000 revs. Wow. So it's not just a little bit more. It's a lot more. Um, you've got the heating surface with two live, two layer non-stick coating, uh, which is great. So you're not going to be burning anything that's in there. And it's going to make it easier to clean because it cleans itself. Uh, you've got to create your own recipes in manual mode. So maybe there's extra ingredients you want to put in but it doesn't say that in the recipe, but it's your recipe, right? So you put what you want in. Uh, you've got your four stainless steel butterfly blades. That's really important because when they spin round, that's what's going to cut everything up for you and just totally obliterate everything. Uh, so that automatic cleaning program, what a gift that is. And it's 1,500 watt power. That's 1,500 watt power. So easy to use. And it is a joy to look at and have in your kitchen at all times. <coughs> Right. Now, I would like to mention to you, if your budget doesn't quite stretch to that, we do have a stick blender for you on the show. And this is also from Carrera, so you know you've got that performance, you've got that power as well. Now, this is an incredible price for your blender. It's £110, saving £50 on that initial £160. And this is, is it £110? 800 watts power, yeah. So that is... Um, is an incredible amount of power. And if I just lift this up and show you that at the top, that's where you've got your digital display to show you what your setting is. So you're fully informed at all times. So this particular deal includes your masher and your measuring beaker as well. So if you want to mash some of your vegetables, maybe you want to do a bit of... Um, uh, puree, for example, or maybe mash your potatoes, cream your potatoes with that. You've got that included. And then you've also got your measuring jug as well, which again, you don't have to go out and source because that's included in the deal. Three payments of £36 and £67. That is a tremendous deal. We'll be featuring this more later on tonight because we've got another show, I think, at nine o'clock tonight, 9 p.m. Uh, so those are your um, features of your blender. 800 watt power, so it's very, very powerful. Powerful. Um, handheld as well, so easy to hold, ergonomically designed. Five speed plus turbo boost, which is always important. Uh, digital dial with LEC, uh, LCD display, so you can see exactly what's going on at all times. Uh, you've got the RPM startup control for your clean mixing. Quality housing and stainless steel applications, very important. Ergonomically designed for that comfort grip, very important that as well, because you will be holding this when you're doing your blending. Removable stainless steel mixer base for easy cleansing, uh, cleaning. Can't get my words out today. It's because I want something to eat, that's why. And then you've got your durable, high quality stainless steel blades um, and your illuminated buttons. So, very, very easy to use. And a great price as well. Just 36 67 today and another payment in a month's time and another payment after that because you're splitting the cost over three payments. We'll be featuring this later on tonight with our Scott at nine o'clock. But let's get back to that blender because I think we've got that soup and uh, it looks quite blended to me. That's that soup's looking good, Drew. It's smelling fantastic oh, it as divine. well. Did you hear the um, the blades going whilst yes. you were just yeah. uh, giving us all the packs there? Brilliant. I can't believe how... I wish we'd have got a before and after shot, actually, of how this started. Because it was all solid, not... Well, you, you didn't really chop the vegetables. They not, went in whole. Took the ends off and yeah. that's about it, really. Don't it. peel it. And there we go. I can't, that is absolutely fantastic. You can see there all of the vegetables smoothly blended in. And that's take, that hasn't taken 30 minutes, that's taken less than 30 minutes. It's taken less than 30 minutes, but it's still got to get to that silky finish. Wow. This isn't just a quick soup that you knock up with um, leftovers. This is a beautiful way to cook. Mm. And all of the eating is in the eating, so it's beautifully smooth and tastes fantastic. Well, it smells delicious. 
It, it does. smells delicious. How long have we got left on that particular soup? This one here, 13 minutes. Wow. So we're using the heat function on this to cook the soup. We're not blending it and then putting it to a stove. We've got the heating element inside. And it's important to say that it is stainless steel, isn't it? Of course. Yeah. All of the inside and um, the metal works, all is um, super safe, stainless steel, extremely dense and tensile, so it can go through things like ice, nutmeg, cinnamon, all the way through. Um, but the, um, the non-stick plate on the bottom, that's also double layered as well. Yeah, and that's important, isn't it? it Especially with hot is. food. Yes, indeed. Stop all the sticking, stop the burning, which is incredibly yeah. important. So we make soup, we can crush ice, we can make smoothies. Um, could, could we actually, I did say that you could cook pasta in this. Um, if you're using your steamer, you could if you make your pasta yourself. You certainly can. You certainly can. It's got a great method in here where it can steam or be used like a bain marie. So it's just boiling away at the moment here. Take the lid off, straight in it goes. And there we are. And always press start again just to keep that bit um, just ticking over. So it's a bain marie, it's also a steam oven as well. Now you say steam oven, this is interesting, because I'm looking at that now, the water's boiling away, you've got the steamer element in there and the vegetables are steaming. But I can't see any steam coming out the top. It's got just enough vent in there just to let the pressure out. However, it keeps all of the steam in, all of the heat in wow. for quicker cooking. Wow. Do you know what? That is going to be quicker and less messy as well. You know what it's... I mean, you've probably had steamers at, at home and they can let out a lot of steam and therefore the rest of the kitchen just gets really wet and you've got to clean it all up. That's fantastic because that does reduce the time for cooking your vegetables and I think make them more healthier. Well, it depends on how you like them. I like my vegetables done really al dente, just yeah. very, very lightly. Yeah. However, if you've got guests over and they want it cooked all the way through, you can. You're in control. Yeah, and I think it's that's It's as fantastic. simple as that, really. Yeah. And the soup maker, that's still going on. Isn't that fabulous that we could just walk away from it? And when we go back, it's going to be super smooth soup to restaurant quality, which I think is brilliant. So all you have to do is... Supervise? Who said that? <laughs> Supervise. Oh, we're getting them all today, aren't we? <laughs> it's got to be done. It's got to be done. Um, but yeah, it's, it's such a great way and another functionality for your blender, which gives you that value for money, Drew. Indeed, indeed. It's another functionality for it. So we've got our hots, we've got our colds, we've got our um, steam and bain marie. But as I said earlier on, my favourite setting on this one is the one that me and a, a man's going to use the most and that's the wash up section so i'm just going to move over yeah, to yeah let's here. do that yeah multi-functioning multi machine function. for a multitasking oh well hang on multi-functioning machine for a, for a man uh multi-functioning machine for a multitasking lady no i didn't mean that i didn't mean that Let's have a look at it self-cleaning. So from, so from the smoothie, I've just rinsed it out, added some cold tap water to it. Turn the machine on and all the way down there to the wash setting and start. And that's it. Now this is... Now this is fantastic and I'll tell you the reason why. Many other machines claim to be able to wash the unit up after you finish. All they do is spin the blades round in dirty water. You spill that out and off you go again. This brings the water up above 83 degrees centigrade. Wow. That kills all the bacteria, any nasties that is going on, making it not just clean but beautifully and hygienically clean. So if you're a new mother, new dad, making the baby food is awesome as well. I think that is a very, very good point. And also, you know, when you're cleaning, uh, you might have, again, I'm just going on other blenders that I've previously owned in the past. And with some other of the, the you know, the, the 
I don't like to use the word cheaper, but the less expensive, oh, the cheaper variety. You know the ones you think, oh, I need a blender, and you're in the supermarket, and they've got it a great deal, and you just pick it up, you know, own brand and things like that. I'm sure they do the best they can at the price that they're giving you, but you have the plastic parts in there, and when you try and clean them, you'll always find dirt lurking in there that hasn't quite cleaned properly with this you've got your stainless steel parts to it you've also got that pyrex glass as well which is important that's not plastic um, but it's also lightweight to hold up i know there's nothing in there at the moment but it makes it easy to pick up and pop back into place something else that makes it incredibly easy and i love this you've got the button at the front yes you've got the digital display and everything's done for you in the inside computer but all you have to do is just twist that and it goes through the different settings and then you have the settings on there as well for your rpm and your temperature just like this so we've got four minutes left on this soup and the temperature at the moment oh is that the cleaning right we've got four minutes left on the cleaning don't get it mixed up your soup um, but there it goes again look at the speed look at that now that that is fantastic and all you have to do is just take that off and just swill it out at the end of it but it is important to get it clean. Now, it's important to get it clean because if you are sharing this as a family, there might be a vegan in your family. There might be somebody who is allergic to shellfish, but there's someone in the family that likes to eat meat and there's someone in the family that likes soup made with shellfish, for example. This is going to give you a chance to use it for that. And this is your choice, you know. As a vegan, you might say to me, I don't want to use anything that meat's been in. And I respect that absolutely, totally and, and wholly. I really, really do. But being able to clean it at such temperatures, hygienically clean it as well, um, that means it's safe and it's really important. I think these are uh, an absolute godsend. I really do, if I can use that terminology, because it means that you've got so many different functions here to cook so many different healthy recipes that are right for you, not what someone else is putting into a tin, it's what's right for you. Now, I do need to tell you that a quarter of the stock has gone. A quarter of the stock has gone. Eat healthier. Imagine all the way through summer doing those wonderful smoothies, then making and creating those delicious soups taking you into the autumn and the winter. Make your broths for the summer months as well. You know, just add some rice noodles to a really nice, healthy broth, and you've got a wonderful meal as well. So you're controlling your diet. You're controlling the input into your body. And we're being told that's really, really important. And it is. No hidden ingredients when you're making your own food. It's easy to use as well. Now, price comparisons. This is important because it's a considerable purchase, is it not? And I know you're savvy shoppers, so you'll be doing your own research and that's absolutely fine please go and have a look we've done some for you today selfridges 500 pounds free delivery that's a good deal free delivery 500 pounds though a little bit outside my budget wayfair.co.uk great store bought something from them the other day bought a mirror actually uh, 425 pounds and 33 pence free delivery great deal free delivery but again it's a little bit outside my you know it's just outside that budget so you don't buy it Amazon now they're a go-to aren't they surely they've got a great deal I might be a prime member so I'll have, I'll have free delivery with that but it's still 395 pounds it's still just beyond that budget that I've got set for the year here at the craft store, we've got a superb deal as we're introducing Carrera to you now. And we've got a price of £349. We're saving you £150. But you know what? We're also saving you lots of hassle as well because we will divide the cost of this into three payments. So today... If you're a Freedom member, there's no PMP to pay. It's just £116.33. Think about the money you're going to save on processed food that you normally go and buy. You will have your own food made for you at home. And then we'll take another payment in a month's time and another payment a month after that. It's really easy to set up. All you have to do is tick a box. Right. Your item number 182304. You can give us a call or head to the website and check out yourself. Now, just in the time that I was telling you all of that information, I think we've finished cleaning, haven't we, Drew? We have indeed. Wow. Yeah, it was perfect timing. Um, it cleans perfectly, hygienically every single time. You simply throw away the dirty water, give it a rinse, and the residual heat in the Pyrex will dry the unit as well. Wow. So the next time you come back to it,
you're coming back to a beautifully clean hygienic unit every single time do you know what i love that because that means not only will it be hygienic but it remains hygienic because sometimes if you go and get a dishcloth or a tablecloth for example what else have you dried with that yeah, you take that and then you dry out your blender on the inside. Well, what was the point in cleaning it? Now it's going to keep it nice and hygienic for you. Again, very, very important in anyone's lifestyle. It really is. Uh, OK, we need you to check out your baskets because we are getting busy. I don't want anyone missing out. So if it is in your basket, do check on out. So I don't want anyone else coming in and getting it for you. And if I can be as quick as this blender with the RPMs, I'm going to run upstairs and buy one now while you wash this. Right, uh, welcome back. If you have just joined us, where have you been? We've got a great show here for you. Um, craft is all through your life, whether you're paper crafting, whether you're sewing, mixed media, out in the garden, that's a craft, isn't it? Cooking is a craft. And if you're thinking, well, I'm not a very good cook, let's make you the best cook you can possibly be. We have got a four-in-one blender. This truly is amazing. You can steam with this. You can make sauces with this. You can blend your smoothies with this. You can create and make all kinds of different desirable foods whether you're making and crushing and obliterating those vegetables and fruits to bring together to make those sauces to make though that ice that crushed ice for your cocktails and to steam your vegetables as well and you can make soup in here so it's your hot and your cold and it's at a great price as well 182304 is your item number now you can head to the website to see all of the other items we've got for you on the show we have another show tonight at nine o'clock where we'll be featuring the stick blender from Carrera as well. Now, we've also got some other kitchen items on the show. We've got some cookie cutters on the show. We've got some cooling racks, very, very important. And we've also got uh, your deluxe donut bundle as well. So you can make those really nice uh, twist donuts yourself. Isn't it great we can make food yourself? It does taste differently. It really, really does. If you have any questions, please do email in. It's studio at thecraftstore.com. If this is exactly what you've been waiting for, please do check out your baskets. Let's get back to our expert guest. Let's get back to Drew. What are we doing, Drew? Right, well, the soup's just finished and it's going through its last little cycles just there. And I think that's it, it's done. But I want to come back to the steamed vegetables just really, really quickly. This has been perfectly done. It's a little bit more than I would like it to be um, steamed. So it's right in the middle just there. And it's again, it's as simple and as easy Wow. And so look at all of those colours. Excuse the fingers. It's only going to be me eating it later. But look at all of those delicious, beautiful I'm so colours. I'm jealous right now. Absolutely They say, they say eat, you know, a rainbow of colours. Um, and that really is. Look at the greens. There's no paleness in the carrots. They've kept their colour. Absolutely delicious. I just want to come over there and eat that. I really, really do. But I can't. But I want to. But I can't. But how easy is that? Just to get your vegetables, cut them to the lengths that you require, and then steam them for that healthier al dente. Or even just keep them going for a little bit longer. But you've got that wonderful taste with it as well. So you get to cook your vegetables how you want to cook them, minimalising the water that you use as well. Uh, right. We are heading back to that soup. We started making soup, but no ordinary soup. This is Silky soup, isn't it? Silky smooth soup. Silky it's the super soup. food. Love so it. I want to show you how how well it's uh, blended, how smooth and beautiful it is. It smells incredible. Oh, it really does. Look at that and, steam um, coming out as well to show you how hot that is. It's beautiful, isn't it? Look at all that steam coming out. 
You could serve it just like that. In fact, I'll probably just take a spoon to this later on. But I wonder if you could get a little bit closer so you can see this. Oh, look at that. That is perfectly smooth, beautifully done, perfectly cooked. It wow. smells incredible. My mouth's oh, so watering as it is. I wish jealous. you could come and try this because this is absolutely fantastic. That is an infusion of pleasure, is it not? It really is. And I know our Shana's looking at that, floor manager Shana, thinking, oh, oh that's right up my street. <laughs> yes. Oh, my goodness. That is divine. You can even use the residual heat in there and store it for seconds, thirds, or if you can get a fourth portion out of it as well, then wonderful, beautiful. Do you know what's nice about that as well is that it's, it's a good looking machine isn't it it's a good looking machine and you could just simply take that over and just pour it directly into the bowls at the table or something like that it really is a good looking um, machine and it's performance and it's power that's what's really important we know it's a considerable purchase but sometimes it's worth the investment it really really is I bought a coffee machine uh, a couple of months ago best thing I've ever bought but I bought one of the high range ones and yes it was a considerable purchase but I love getting up in the mornings now and having a coffee equally I like to eat food that I've cooked myself but sometimes you don't have the time uh, I wish I did have the time to make incredible soups now with a machine like this I can because I can put the vegetables in the vegetables that I like the vegetables that Jane likes the dietary requirements that we both have we go to the supermarket you buy a tin of soup you bring it back to the table there's always something that one of us doesn't like in there there's always something that upsets one of us well like, oh my tummy's a bit off today is yours yeah oh must have been that soup you don't want that. You want to be able to create your own soups and sauces as well for your pasta dishes, sauces for your steaks if you eat steaks, for example, sauces that you put over your fish as well. Also a lovely, lovely dish to serve up. So those sauces, whether it be you're making your soups, your sauces, your gravies at Christmas time in there as well. Oh my days. It really is going to give you the very, very best tasting food because you've got the hot temperature. You're in control of that. And you've also got those revs per minute, which means you can put the hardest nut in there like a nutmeg and you can disintegrate that into your soups. So that your digest, it's all about your digestion. So you can digest it equally. Obviously, do your own research when it comes to any kind of health um, implications or elements of food or anything like that. But for me, something like this to just get my vegetables, get my herbs, put them in there and then come back to that beautiful smelling and gorgeous tasting soups and sauces is worth everything. Right. Let's have a look at the features of your Carrera 4-in-1 blender. It's intuitive controls, you've seen that. You just twist them round, you let the computer inside do all the hard work for you, and you have those automated program presets. 20,000 revs per minute, that is more than a Formula 1 racing car. Uh, and that gives you smoother desserts and smoothies. Yeah, it's Think about the desserts that you can make in here as well. Uh, your heating surface with long life two layer non-stick coating, really important so you're not going to burn anything and it makes it easier to clean. Your steamer mode, you get the steamer insert as well and that's BPA free, so that's going to be right for you. Uh, create your own recipes in manual mode, so you might have a little master cook in your house i'll say it master chef um, you can start making your own recipes uh, four stainless steel butterfly blades that's where all the performance and the, uh, the power is your automatic cleaning program we've seen that how wonderful is that and you don't even need to get a towel and wipe it out afterwards the heat that stays in there after the self-clean just turn it upside down and it will just simply dry itself and then you've got your 1500 watts of pa -pa -pa power um, uh, it's an amazing deal. We're dividing the cost over three months. Treat yourself and treat your family to a healthier, better life, in my opinion. Uh, 182304 is your item number. Right, let's get back to Drew. What are we having a look at now, Drew? I've got to finish on, on my grand finale. So we've done the wet foods, steaming, smoothies, soups and everything. But 
that's not all. It also does dry foods as well. And with those super tense, uh, dense uh, stainless steel blades, we can go through anything even as tough as, oh, here it is, nutmeg. So this That's is a tough stone. Yes, it is. Yep. It, these are the these are the whole plenty in there. Very, very um, difficult to grind. If you've ever used one of those little ones there and yeah. taken a layer of skin off in? with anything. How many have you put in? Um, three, six. Lucky six. 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 Wow. Okay. You can do small amounts. You can do large amounts. You can do perfect for um, just a personal one or. You can go full out, feed the whole family, feed all the way down the street as well. And this... That's 20,000 RPM, grinding it down to a fine powder. Wow. If only we had slow motion TV. <laughs> wow. That's amazing. I, that, that has blown me away. And it's certainly <laughs> blown the nutmeg away. And how quick was that? How long would it be with you with one of those little graters? Great, 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 great. You certainly won't be able to do six at a time. That's incredible. That really is incredible. So there's all kinds of other things we can do with this in mind, you know, doing that to the nutmeg. Um, how about if you wanted to make like really fine sugar, like caster sugar, for example? Caster sugar, um, granulated sugar to um, powdered sugar, powdered sugar to caster, anything that you want to do wet or dry, the Carrera 655 is the tool for your kitchen. Um, it's perfect, absolutely great. How about something like, I love hummus. Hummus. I love hummus. So, I've always been a little bit shying away from making it because I'm, I'm not really sure how. So, I think it's convenient to buy, but again, it's expensive. But I do like it, so I like to overindulge, which can be quite expensive. <laughs> but it's also nice to serve tea guests when they come round. But again, it's that money element. We've all got to think about it at the moment. And the prices of certain foods are going up and up and up and up, aren't they? So um, would something like hummus be easy to make? Making hummus in here is very simple. Um, you literally pour in your chickpeas, a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of garlic as well. My partner likes to put um, lemon and coriander oh, into the yes. hummus as well. Yeah, a little bit of maybe some pepper, red pepper. Oh, roasted yeah. red pepper, yeah, now roasted... we're talking. Now we're talking. Yes, indeed. You could make your own sort of style hummus as well and add all different flavours in there. Anything that you want to do, you're in control. You tell your second chef, because this is what it is, really. Yes. It's a second chef in the kitchen that does exactly as you tell it to do. Tell it to do it and you've got the most beautiful, smooth and fine hummus. Or if you wanted to do salsas on the other end of the... You oh, can do all your salsas, salsas, just use the chunky setting. Oh, I love salsas. <laughs> oh, my days. Salsas, um, hummus, I'd have some olives in there. And do you know what I'd do? I'd get the pitted olives and I'd make some olive paste. So I'd put oh. lots of olives in there, green or black, add yep. a bit of garlic, pesto as pesto. well. Great, yeah. Yeah, you so you could make pesto. all of those additionals. Um, but what's great about it is, is you're in control of the ingredients that I'm putting there. Uh, think about it. Go and have, if you've got some hummus in your fridge, go and have a look. Go and have a look at all the ingredients that are in there. Maybe there's something that you didn't realise wasn't that good for you. Uh, maybe too much garlic is not great for you, but a little bit is okay. Now you can control that. Maybe you don't like any garlic in your sauces, so you flavour them other ways with a bit of salt, a bit of sugar, a bit of pepper. Um, uh, some herbs, for example. Put your fresh herbs in here. No need to buy those dry herbs anymore. We're getting out into the garden more and we're growing more. So maybe you've got your own vegetables that you're growing. How about this? Getting your carrots that you've grown yourself and then placing them in there and creating a soup that you've put together yourself. How amazing is that? It really is a delicious way to spend time, isn't it? Eating food that tastes good, but also makes you feel good. It's important to me. I know when I've eaten food that's not very good. Because I get a little bit, I get a little bit, bit grumpy and things like that. I'll admit it, I do. Um, and I get angry with myself because I know I've not eaten very well. But when I eat good, I 
feel good and that's really important and it's good for the brain power as well uh, so you'll probably notice when I've eaten well when I'm doing a show I can actually get my words out when I haven't eaten properly I trip over my words and I don't know what I'm saying good job I know what I'm doing now isn't it right we've got some price comparisons for you this is really important because it's a considerable purchase we understand that but this is something you're going to have for a very very long time in your kitchen in your family it might be in your kitchen and then you'll take it to another kitchen because you're moving house this is going to be with you for a long time so take that purchase and, and maybe carry it over for like five years and then it all starts to make sense right if you want to go and buy this from Selfridges it's a great brand it's a great store go and help yourself but it's 500 pounds free delivery that's all right. Uh, Wayfair.co.uk, great store. Uh, 425, 425 pounds and 33 pence. Don't know where they get the 33 pence from, but they've got it at that. Free delivery. Uh, Amazon is the go-to. Lots of us are members uh, of Amazon, aren't we? Free delivery, but it's 395 pounds. How about saving 50 pounds on that price? How about saving and going down to £349? That is an amazing deal. If you're a Freedom member, there's no PMP. Now, we'll divide the cost over three months, but there's no forms to fill in. We don't need to do any credit checks or anything like that. And we're not going to offer you a card with even more credit on. What this will do for you, you tick a box and we'll take one payment today and then we'll take another payment in a month's time and another payment after that. Right, Drew, I've got a challenge for you. Got a challenge? Yes. Okay. I'm going to give you a minute to do something. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Um, you're not allowed to taste anything, which is a shame, but I'm, uh, I'm going to do my own virgin margarita. Oh, margarita. Yes. Virgin yes, yeah. margarita. Well, I, I don't drink. Um, I don't know whether I drink. <laughs> so I'm just going to get this in there, but I'm using a lovely cordial. It's a ginger beer cordial, and I'm just going to do half and half. Now, we do need to make sure that nothing's fizzy that we put in the blender because of the speed. Is that right? No, not at all. You we can, can put fizzy put, things in. Put, this has got a slight sparkle wow. to it. Wow. It's the way that the jug is um, designed as well. Now, so, that is special. Yeah. Everything pulls in and down. It doesn't push up and out. We're not going to have a fountain right. of, pro of uh, food going everywhere. So straight on top. Now, I'm using ginger beer and ice. Okay. Use um, use tequila, use vodka. Oh, yeah, I'd be at tequila. <laughs> Do you drink responsibly, everybody? Absolutely, drink responsibly. <laughs> and this will just keep churning away, um, blitzing away, to give you the nicest ice-cold drinks in this weather that you could enjoy. Oh. It's... I just want to go and sit in the garden now and have a virgin margarita. <laughs> just going to get this. Now, we've got one minute left on the show. We do have another show tonight at nine o'clock. Maybe Scott will be drinking his virgin margaritas yes, then. He will. he will. He will. He's already got his eye on one. Cheeky devil. Um, but we are coming up to the end of the show, Drew. Is there anything you want to tell anyone in 40 seconds? 40 seconds. Uh, once you get this, this is going to be one of the best things you ever get for yourself. It's a treat for yourself. It's a gift for somebody else. But just enjoy it and have fun. Oh, do you know what? It's been an absolute pleasure, uh, Drew. Unfortunately, I won't be around at nine o'clock, but I will be watching from home. Thank you so much. It's been an absolute pleasure. Absolute Thank you. pleasure. Uh, and what great demonstrations there. Have you got yours yet? Make sure you get it into your basket, but also make sure you check out as well. And I know you're really, really going to enjoy this when you get it home. And who knows? Let's set up a Facebook group so we can swap and we can share recipes. Uh, right, don't go anywhere because we've got more coming up after the break. See you later, everyone. Right, we are launching a brand new one day special at six o'clock tonight and it's Clever Prince. How exciting. Pretty gets gritty. Happy hour after that. And then we're back to the one day special. Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. 
Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away, or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888, and join Freedom today. Hi everyone, I'm Phil Martin. I've been a paper crafter for well over 20 years now, and a designer for just over 10 years. Sentimentally Yours is my multi-award winning brand of clear stamps, rubber stamps. I've now also introduced lots of craft dies in there, designer papers. I have my mediums where we've introduced the Flawless Media brand into the Sentimentally Yours family. We aim to inspire you to be educational and to teach you how to get the most from the products that we're bringing to you. The Sentimentally Yours family has grown uh, to include my good friend Julia Watts and our new designer Trudy Howard. Hopefully we're all going to bring something different to the show so you're going to be enriched with lots of different ideas and inspiration. from Craft Yourself Silly and I'm really excited to be working with you guys here at the Craft Store. We've been here since the very beginning and hopefully we'll continue to bring you lots of new and exciting soft craft projects. We've got everything from things like our Fabazine which contains 12 different projects that you can do either in one go or split them up separately um, and that's a journey through all types of different soft crafting. And then we've got things that are really specific like our stitchery which is a journey through all kinds of embroidery as well. So make sure you join me and craft yourself silly here at the craft store. Hello everybody and a very warm welcome to another brand new one day special. Meet Blossom and Flossie and all of the friends and lovely creatures and characters that go with an amazing one day special where you have an option of either choosing Flossie or choosing Blossom or possibly going for the entire collection. A very good evening. Lovely to have your company on this very bright, sunny Sunday. And actually, I think we have got the perfect one-day special to match the weather, because if you're looking for bright, cheery, uh, certainly a happy disposition, as we all sometimes feel when the sunshine does come out to play, then this is absolutely the perfect compliment to the weather that we are seeing at the moment. And it really is bright, beautiful and fun. And... To tell you more about it and a little bit about the inspiration behind everything, we've got lovely Emma with us. Hello, Hello how are you? I'm all right. Um, I started making samples when it was raining, and I knew if I used bright colours, some would come out. This way. See, you, See? You, know, you know exactly. Yeah, it's I complete opposite to a rain dance. Yes. The sun drawing. Yes. That's what we like. That's it's the like, one. It's it, worked. Though it's out. It has worked. <laughs> but it, but we, we talked about this earlier on. It, this there is something about what you because you know it's like when when the sun comes out, doesn't matter where you're driving to, if it's driving mm -hmm. to work or it's whatever it is, and sometimes when that rain cloud comes down, but as soon as the sunshine comes out, you can't help but just have a smile on your face, you feel yeah. good. This collection, you can't help but look at it and put a smile on your face because yeah, there's a lovely innocence there is. and a brightness about it. There is. I called it the Scribble Forest because, just obviously the drawn things like that, but basically it's just forest, forest friends, summer, yep. spring. Yep. Um, I wanted it to be for everything. Even winter can go into. Oh, yeah, true, to be honest. At this time of year, that's why I want to bring it now, because it's lovely and sunny and happy. And it really is. It, you know, and, and like you say, with the creatures, the wildlife, the florals, the colours that you can use, you know, are, are absolutely beautiful. Let me just give you the details, because you are getting uh, an option. You have your option of basically uh, flossy, which I'm not sure is flossy on this side here. Flossy, uh, yeah, there's flossy yeah. on this side. Well, my hand is there. Uh, yeah, this is all flossy's set, and blossoms set is over here. So you can either go for whichever one you want on those. They are nine four seven eight six eight. That has eleven pounds saving on there. Whichever set you're going to go for, uh, which is absolutely brilliant. You're going to be getting thirty two stamps in blossom. I think there's thirty one in uh, flossy. Um, but it's lovely. Now. 
A lot of people have already, they, it always happens when there's a brand new one day special waiting. People are jumping ahead of us, of course, on the website and have already shown us where a lot of people are going. And that is, well, why not go for the entire collection because they are the yin and yang. They go together perfectly in what you are seeing here as well. But if you're going to go for the complete collection, you're not just going to be getting the 31 and the 34 stamps that you've seen uh, the, earlier on. But also now you're going to be getting... Uh, two die sets as well, which you're looking at there, plus three stencils, which is brilliant and phenomenal. Plus you get an extra stamp in there as well. Yeah, you get the wishing tree. You get the wishing tree, which is absolutely fantastic. We will show you all these uh, as we go through, of course, on the show. But we'll just give you the, the sort of the, uh, the, uh, the housekeeping on regarding what you can be getting. Now, basically, it's a why not deal, because the offer that you've got here, if you're a Freedom member, is phenomenal. You've got a £36 saving if you are a Freedom member, and that is on top of the savings that you are already going to be getting, which is incredible. So that takes it down to a, a, an option on your Freedom, uh, with your Flexi Buy of your first payment of just forty-four pounds and ninety-eight pence, and then just one more payment of exactly the same amount, and that is it. That's all interest-free, of course. You're doing that five nine six. 826 if you'd like to go for that. If you're not a Freedom member as yet, it's still one of those offers that you will be quitting if you go for this, because it is a why not offer with all of the savings that you are going to be getting. All of this, plus all of the perks, like your postage and packaging carrying on for the rest of the month, and all other offers that will be available for you that you can start and stop whenever you wish. So really is a why not offer offer to go for this. It's absolutely brilliant. Let's go through everything because there's, there's so much in there's here, isn't it, really? Now. I'm not going to ask you straight away if you've got a favourite, whether it's Blossom or, 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 or Flossy, but um, let's, as I, I'll show the, um, the actual images of the stamps yeah. that we've got here. Talk to us a little bit about, about what, what's, what's behind everything here. When I used to go to my grandma Brown's, my mum's mum, when I was a child, there was, she, lived, she lived in a big wild of wilderness place in the middle of Norway, right. this house. And there was a garden, which wasn't a secret, but in my head it was. And I couldn't uh. go beyond the fence because there was a hog. And I used to draw <laughs> stuff like this. Because there was a hog? A hog. Yep. Don't go over the fence because the hog will get you. I right. Didn't know what a hog was when no, I was little. But, but I love it. Anyway, I love it. So Flossie and Blossom were the fairies that lived in the secret garden. Oh, I where see. Where I thought nobody else knew about. And the wishing tree was a tree that was in there as well. Love so it. So basically, this is um, based on my secret garden. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. I love that. So I'd imagine that every single one of these stamps has been drawn with love as well, then, yes. when you think about it. Yes, I mean, they've things. changed since I was seven, but they're all kind of what was in my head. <laughs> oh, they're, they're, honestly. But what's I love about this, because the wildlife about them as well, and the flowers, yeah. and the absolutely colours. beautiful. Have you seen the I know. Colours? Look, so look cute. how cute. Oh, you can imagine those Fuzzy bits. Colours, just, just... I look like one with the heat. <laughs> <laughs> I remember those. Do you know what? I'm not going looking for caterpillars. You don't for see some, as many as you used to. I was to. about to say, I don't think you do. You don't. And then it was like a tigery kind of like stripey uh -huh. little And you effect. had your big, big, fat, fuzzy ones. Yeah. And then your long, thin, slimy ones. I know. know the song. I think I was in your secret garden, to be quite <laughs> honest there. Um, but they are beautiful. Look at the birds we've got in here and the flowers. I mean, these are, I love all this as well. Yeah. With I, I all thought... of that detail in there. Look at that. That's it. I mean, that's it, like your uh, Zen thingy majiggies ones. I and you colour them in, and you just have that one on a card, and you've got a pretty funky card for a teenager. Oh, absolutely. Or mix them in and make a big forest scene and put it on your wall. I, yes. Yeah. Oh, I love that. A little, a little bird told me. That's, uh, I'm not sure if I'm sure. I'm not, oh, there we are. Yeah. And this is, of course, this is our, uh, we've got our sunblast flower. That is great. That is, that's a lot of fun, isn't that, it? That's that one a feature. There. And you, if you layer the colours over the top, but you don't exactly need to be perfect when you stamp them back no, over. No, OK. Because the fluffier, the better you can yeah. make it. Yeah, I love that. So. And if you are going for the complete collection, which, by the way, 20% of the stock, already gone 20. Wow. That's six minutes in. 20% of the stock's fast. already gone in, so congratulations. It I is am beautiful. I'm so pleased people like it. Oh, well, it is. I'm always really nervous. Of course. Well, like you yeah. say, you put your heart and soul into mm -hmm. something like this, and again, for you, it conjures up a loads of memories, again, yeah. from being a child. Uh, but I, lo I love the wishing tree. That is, And just the, um, the little thistles in there. They, they're just, the, I sat on a thistle once. That's where <laughs> they've come from. And it's not pleasant that the spike <laughs> So do you... Spiky flowers is yeah. what I used to call them. I just, yeah, that would bring a tear. It did. Uh, <laughs>
<laughs> but at least you've at least you've taken that pain and used uh -huh. it to something positive. I think uh, they're which... really lovely though, but don't sit on them. Oh no! Oh, I'm not showing this one. Yeah, no, don't. This is clover. We've not shown yes. the clover set of the stamps. That uh, I don't think. Yeah, have we? We've not yeah. looked at that one. That one there makes beautiful corners. This. The. Oh, of course. Yeah, that yes. one there, your beautiful corners, or just stamp it and have it as a. Um, so instead of going around the corner, just stamp half of it. Right. And have it just make like a bushy type hedge. That's really that nice. That. That I like for. that. Uh, I like the fact as well, a bit of realism in there. The grass isn't always yes, greener. Yes, it's yeah. definitely not. Very, definitely very not. true. Very true. I love that. And I that. always tell the kids that as well. You do? Mm -hmm. yeah, always a ray of sunshine. So, uh... Yes, always. <laughs> well, no, it's true, isn't it? The grass isn't always greener. Aye. <laughs> No, it's what not. your own grass? <laughs> and what, exactly, exactly, exactly. Uh, now, let's have a quick look at the dies that come with the yes. set here. We've got them already punched out here so you can have a little uh, a butcher's hook. Uh, that's our, our dies to work with uh, and cutting these all through. So, again, these will, these will work beautifully with uh, any of the shapes you want to bring out there that yeah. go alongside, the don't work, they? I mean, standalone, the work, absolutely brilliant. The ones that look like leaves, they make fabulous leaves as well as flowers yeah. or little trees. Then you've obviously got the big flowers that you can build up. Um, you've got your dragonfly and your butterflies and basically anything that shapes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've been decorating them with the stamps oh, and they okay. make beautiful standalone cards and things. No, that's nice. They're really nice. Love that. Yeah, exactly. Look, a butterfly just out of some knife. You had some nice pretty paper that you've been working on. Oh, yes. You know, carry that out. It was lovely. Uh, we've also got for you the stencils to work with. Yes. Uh, now, these are, again, there's some so much in here as well. Look at these. So these are your stencils that have been uh, cutted out for you to give it an idea rather than looking at the stencils themselves, but you get yeah. more of an idea. But these are nice big images, aren't they, they again, are to work with? Really nice. I mean, you can draw around them and just have them drawn round, then you can paint them in. Right. Um, your pastes, your texture pastes, your crackle pastes. Oh, that's true. Anything. I mean, I'm going to put gel medium through and embossing powder over the top. Right. Um, then you've got your box frames, which they look like box frames. Yeah, I like them. And I like they them. just make funky. a funky background. Or oh, actually, you can make um, abstract type cards of for men. Of course, yeah, yeah, absolutely. So there are stencils uh, that you can see that will be working really, really nice with that, of course. And you did say that you got the extra tree, of course, uh, the tree yes. office in. So huge amounts in here that you're going to be looking at. So do take advantage of this one because you've got that brilliant saving on there, which is phenomenal. And again, uh, you, when you think about when you break and you're getting two sets, the stencils, you're going to be getting the uh, the dies with this, plus an extra stamp in there as well, plus an extra £36.90 pence off of that, uh, which is phenomenal. Let's just have a little look. I'll just put the stamp, uh, the uh, uh, the images of the stamps there because, as you would expect with something as magical as this, Huge amounts of samples to share with you. Yeah, so let, let's let's hundreds. go through. And that, that's great. There is loads here. Let's go straight in. This is the uh, tree of life. Um, everyone's journey. Uh, everybody's journey is different. Uh, is. But that that's tr that stamp alone, which is your bonus stamp that comes as part of that complete set. It's not in none of the uh, individuals. Um, so if you are going to get this, it's in the complete set. But that's a lovely stamp in itself, isn't it? it for a great, it a great feature. Is. But if you don't, if you stamp everything out and you want to build your flowers and things up and not cut the stems out if they're a bit fiddly, use the trunk of the tree as your stems. Oh, straight I see. away, and then just pop the flowers on the top. Oh, that's a lovely idea. Yeah, um, I see what you've done. Yeah, yeah, that's the, gorgeous. Take the stamp off the block and use the tree for texture in the background. Nice. Don't just see it as just a tree. Yeah, oh, yeah of course. It's so much yeah. more. No, I love that. I love that. Let's go there. And again, with some really nice big images that you can work with. Again, nice big feature stamp. I know there's loads mm -hmm. of stamps in this set. But... I mean, that can be your sun in the sky as well. Of course. That was another... So you don't have Good, to actually it? just... Uh, I mean, I'll show how to layer it up and make it look even fluffier than what it is. I'm also thinking two of those next to it, I've got a massive eye, uh, or two eyes with an owl, a big fluffy yes, owl with the have, big of eyes, two of have. those uh, going yes. together, which would, uh, would certainly fit into this set, it's really big and magical. These beautifully cut, there we go, so there's our dies of our butterflies uh, that have all been put through. Yes, and, and see the tree on the middle butterfly, that's, I think, I think it's the tree, it's definitely another stamp I've used oh, I see. to decorate them. And they just look fabulous, I mean your butterflies are... The dyes for the butterflies, they've just got so much score oh, to decorate yeah. them. Yeah, definitely. They're, they're, they're gorgeous. Look at these. Yeah. Now, and our, and our friends are coming into play. The, 
They are big, bright, and fun. Let me just show you one more that's been cut through because I want to show you some papers we've also got on and the show. And that one there has been turned that. into a fish as well. Charmaine has sent us a Charmaine Dolly Dimples. Ah. She's turned that flower into a fish, which <laughs> I'm totally stealing because it was my idea, not hers. Totally. Yeah. I believe you. Yeah. It's your next to me. Uh, <laughs> five, nine, six. <laughs> Eight, two, six. Uh, honestly, it's very, very busy already. Um, and again, if you want to extend the sunshine that you might have felt during the day, this is the perfect set to do that with. It is brilliant. Let's share with you some papers. And again, if we're talking about sunshine and brightness, you can't go wrong with this because uh, even if you were watching in black and white, the colour would come through on these. They're absolutely <laughs> fantastic. Here you're going to be getting your brilliant Clever Prince butterfly and bubbles you're getting two of your 12 different designs on this one seven and a half inch by eleven and a half inch on your paper pads um, and again I, I, I would imagine again much inspiration behind our images that we've got on the on the yeah, kits as well the, with these doing the papers is really it's uh, I love doing them they take us days weeks I absolutely love doing them and um, so many layers are put into them and I just absolutely love them. There's so many elements that you can fussy cut out or use oh, yeah. as your backgrounds. Um, there's pages there that you can stamp on a paper piece back in so you can use them as the fairies' dresses or the flowers. Oh, stamp I, on. I love these. I love these actually with a, with a, with a the different, different bowl. That one there for your leaves is That's just lovely, isn't fabulous. It? And I thought, yes, they're a little bit plainer than what I normally do, but stamp onto them with your stamps oh, and they're sure. just a total different effect. Yes. Then you've got oh, your brilliant. mushrooms as well. There we go, look. Yes. Oh, I love that. I love these colours. And that one that I love, that's a colour of my hair. That's... <laughs> it is. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah, but... absolutely love them. Oh, and one so... more there, look. Oh, there we go, look. There's a... <laughs> Turn into Same a fish. Colour. Um, no, I love them. Absolutely love these. 325728. They are a perfect addition to go with the one day special or the complete collection. £19.20. Brand new on the show for you today. 325728. Everything is available individually if you so wish. Uh, they're all there on the website for you, of course. So just go through those, have a little look. I, I guarantee as you scroll down on these, you're going to be smiling to yourself because there's an innocence about these, there's a brightness about these, there's a childlike innocence. Again, don't forget, that's where these are designs have come from, from Emma's childhood as well, where she had these ideas, these characters were there, just past the, what was it again, you didn't come past in the bush, what was it, a little, the, a hog, would you say it was? The hog, you couldn't go past the bottom fence because there was a hog over there that would eat you. Apparently. <laughs> oh, you just added it, I didn't know about the eating oh, bit. Oh, yeah. Second a, second a turn. Well, it was, it'll get you, but well, that's pretty much what I put it out there, it'll eat. Sleep well, kids, <laughs> sleep well. Yeah, well, um, a, hog's, a hog's just a pig now, I know that, but I didn't know when I was seven. No, no, I'm, I'm yeah. with tusks, are you going with tusks? I, d I don't even think there was one there. No. <laughs> I don't know. You I seem very. No, it's okay. It's, it's, we'll go with this. Uh, it's all there on, on all the W's dot the craft store dot com. Uh, have a little look. But look, we're surrounded by loads and loads of brightness. Let's see if we can start creating something and start. Uh, make sure you put these into your baskets as well. Like I say, already you're very, very busy. Um, but again, if you, I'm thinking. Working with little people on, on creating ideas. Yeah. You've either this is introduction into crafting or they've already shown an interest and definitely. you go, look, because there's an innocence about these then, which is yeah, lovely. It definitely is. I mean, that, to me, you can make for your grandma, you can make for a teenager. There's even elements for men in there because you can just do it leaves. Yeah. Um, I mean, the gardeners. It's simple. Lovely. Gardeners, if you want to make gifts for gardeners with your flower seeds and things like that. Oh, I, I do love that stuff so, there again with the flower. It's mm -hmm. got all the lovely sort of doodle areas. Absolutely. I mean, there's a frame there. I mean, thing is, with flowers now, you can't even take them into hospitals. No, so no, that's make true. Your own. That's true. Yeah, no, it's true. I mean, it's true. I've got flowers here. These have been building up with the dyes. It's just so many ideas. We're going to end up all over the place here again. And stuff like that. Oh, I love that. That's really nice. So these are all from the dyes that you're going to be yeah. getting with the complete collection. And to cre create your own kind of, uh, what's the word looking at, not brand of flower, breed yeah, of flower. Make your own. Just make your own flower. Yeah, make your own flowers. Yeah. Make... Thanks for, <laughs> th th you backed me up there. Thank you very much. You can see I was struggling for that I've word. Had, I've grown strawberries though. I mm. had to get that in there. I've actually got strawberries on my strawberry plant. Oh, have you? Yes. Are they quite big? They're, they're still a bit green, but... Oh. You got, you got them. They're there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right, what are, we doing? what are we doing? This is what I'm going to start off doing, a version of this. So to start off with, I'm going to show how I did the mushrooms. That one there, I've just put the texture cracker paste through and left, and I'm going to paint that one. But these ones, I've done it with um, embossing powder. So just taking the 
mushroom and some gel or you can use your ink pads I think what they're called the they say the things for your embossing powder. Don't ask me. I'm still trying no, to think I... of brand or brand of flower or whatever brand. it was the word I couldn't it's, it's think of. It's species, isn't it? The different species of. That's the word. Yeah, species. Yeah. That, thank you. Well, you've got it. You've got it. Sometimes helpful. All I'm doing is I'm using the heavy bodied words. I've gone. I could speak before. Gel. Yeah, heavy body gel. I'll tell you what, we're going to do well tonight, me and you, oh, aren't we? We'll bunch together before. again at 8 o'clock. Oh, fab. What's your name, Brian? Sarah, <laughs> There we go. We'll be all right. We'll be OK. <laughs> we'll be fine. So I'm using a sparkly embossing powder this time, and I'll just show quickly. I've already got them done, but I'll just show. Yeah, lovely. Because it never gets old, does it? Ever. No. No. Oh. Don't forget, everything is available individually as well. If the if the complete collection or well, the one that's special for you is you go, oh, I'm just gonna, you know, not quite sure when with the pennies, etc. But you really do like uh, the stencils, or you really do like the, a certain stamps, whatever. Go for them, go for them, get them on their own if you'd like to do that. It's no problems at all. Fourteen ninety seven, by the way, if you wanted to go for the stencils. That's the shape soup, the box frames, and the fab fungi, uh, and uh, six pounds saving on this. I mean, everything there is value right across the board for you as well, which is brilliant. And don't forget, if you look at those individually and you see that they have got savings on them individually, all of those savings that they, they don't get disregarded, they get carried over, and then on top of that, you're going to be getting extra savings if you are going for the complete uh, or the one day specials as well so there's lots and lots and lots of money off uh, in the show today so it's a really good time to go from that's why it's a one day special that you yeah, see I'm trying to add up all the savings if everything individual and I give up yeah can't yeah. do that it's a lot there's a lot it's, it's too a lot. lot for counting it is so that's that how I did and got the texture I love that obviously you've got some already done the paper pack but if you like the cloth and get messy then it's there so what I did was to get the shape down the side and going around, I'm just using this. It's a lovely big butterfly, mm. but I've left it blank so you can decorate it yourself. Because I know that there's so many butterflies out there already decorated. Do your own. Yeah. Stamp it on your papers, yeah. make it. If somebody likes a pink butterfly, do them a pink butterfly. So this is how I got the shape in the first place. It won't take long to show. And then I use this. One here, it's off pinwheel, the pinwheel stamp. Oh yeah, which and that is in with. I'm gonna. It's in with flossy. And then this one here, it's like a wiggly, a wiggly border. It's already got the. It's black and white. It's already got the stripes in for yeah. you, so you don't have to do it yourself. But obviously, I've done them in a squiggly way, so this match in perfectly with the scribble forest theme. Yeah, that's just fun. going all the way around. That is fun. And then all I did to finish was that. I'm going to cover the butterfly because what I did was on this paper here, I stamped the butterfly and was not that paper. It's a different paper. The first one I did was that paper. The next one is... You wouldn't believe I didn't put all this out, would you, just before? Uh, no. That one. Oh, yeah. oh yes. That's the yep. one I've stamped these ones out on. That's the one I did oh, the first right. one with. Uh, the papers, by the way, they are at the bottom of your screen for you. 325728, if you would like to add the papers on. They don't come as part of the one day or the complete collection. They are separate if you want to go for those. But they are lovely. They're brilliant. You always have fantastic papers, though. You always bring lovely papers. Oh, uh, I really love doing the papers. I mean, yeah. I love drawing the stamps and everything together, but when it comes to doing the papers, the finishing off, so it all brings it all together, I just love yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. No, so all uh... I did was to get this, was I brought the colours in and blended them with your brush and trimmed around the edges and ta-da! Oh, that's nice. That is lovely. Yeah, super quick. And then with your butterflies, I am going to stick them on over the top. So if you get any stamping into them, any dirty fingerprints, it really doesn't matter. No. No. Because we're going to cover them over with the papers. Oh. And this is when crafting becomes super, super easy because it's all done. Oh, do you know, I love the idea of just cutting around those, the outline of the actual shape of that from the butterflies mm -hmm. and then that repeated that you've got on there. Yeah. It's, it's completely, it takes a completely different feel it about it. It makes it? a completely different card yeah. to what. I mean, you can't walk, well, you can, you can but it's not going to be cheap. Walk into a shop and buy a card. I've even left the I-10 I was going to say feelers, that and I-10 aren't on that one. You got, we got the right word there. Yeah. Yeah. And then just trim off 
your extra bits. And they really, I've kept them quite easy again to cut out. And obviously with your flowers, you scribble flowers. There's no rules on cutting them out. Just go for no, it. No, no, no. It's quite easy. And then I, um, I'm using Flossy, but I think on this one we'll put Blossom on. So I've already got her coloured there. Oh. Oh, I can't decide now, though. How can I be organised one minute and not the next? Okay. So you're going to go with Flossy? I'll stamp Flossy, but I'll put Blossom on. I think, oh, are we, are we trying to, um, so Floss, Flossie's the bulb, there, that's Flossie. Flossie's there, the bulb. With the bulb. Um, Blossom's the eye shut. She's daydreaming. And she's carrying a little basket of hearts. Oh. And again, the really, really easy stamps to colour and cut. So if you, say you get stuck with a dress, or anything like that, just stamp it out and paint a piece it over and then put a different flower on. Yes, yeah, yeah. Um, you can buy watercolours and things that have already got the skin tones in, but if you haven't got that, then you mix your yellow ochre, a little bit pink, and brown and white together. Okay, until you get a skin nice tone. So it's super, super easy, super quick. I'd imagine these are great as well, these stamps for journaling. Yes, because it, the, the real nice sort of character feel and with with accessories that will go on, you know, a, a turn of a page. Mm -hmm. you well, know, we're allowed you... out again, so document all your trips out to the parks and things. Yeah, and yeah. There's going to be so many memories that people are going to want to keep, especially after the last however long we've been stuck in. Well, it's been a while yeah. since I've seen you, I think, isn't it? I don't know. Oh, it has been. I really don't know when it was. That was a while ago. Yeah. All um, sort of blurs into uh, to one it little does, bit, doesn't, doesn't it? it? When, you, when you start thinking. But... Oh. There she is there. And oh, what I've done look, with her is... Rosy I've, cheeks. She has. I've used watercolours and then I've scribbled over a pencil to give it my well, scribbly feel. <laughs> <laughs> but I have her. I can't decide which one to put on now. We'll decide Ooh, I when like I get this. there. Yeah. I'll pop it at one side and then the mushrooms. So I've got that one done in the gold and I like that, that one's I love waiting that one to be gold. painted. I might not actually I'm gonna die cut some flowers out of the pink paper and we'll use some flowers on it. That sounds like a plan doesn't it? Yes, oh, I was I'm glad you said <laughs> I was about to suggest the same. Were so, you? Yes I'm glad that we we're in agreement. Oh on, I'm missing on the that. plate though. Oh I'll I tell you what, we'll have a little, we'll, we'll have a little yeah, look. Have I will just give people find... an update and we will find Where's a point and get, and get you, yes, a, please, get you sorted as well. Please, uh, we'll, you what, sorry? A C, please. We're, I've got the B, I need a C. We're, can we sort a C plate out, please? <laughs> no, right, they're, they're, they're on it, they're on it, they're on it, they're on it. Uh, right, uh, whilst that is uh, happening as well, uh, as you, of course you would expect, most people are then choosing to go for the complete collection because to be quite honest with you i mean the both of the sets are absolutely fantastic they are beautiful um but you know they really do complement uh, each other when you go for this for the complete collection we'll give you um both of those lovely characters that you can see there and that is where you also get in your biggest saving of course now if your budget doesn't quite stretch to covering for all of that, then we have got options for that will go for them individually. So let's break it down. For the one day special, if you wanted to, we've got two options. You can have uh, Blossom or Flossy options. Uh, Flossy is the uh, bobbed hairdo. This is Blossom that we're looking at with this complete set. So there we actually go. Um, uh, then uh, you've got the, um, the chance, if you wanted to go for that set, that's got the uh, lovely... With Butterfly that was just being used there by Emma, that's all same, part of the same set with Blossom, for example. That's available, there's £11 saving, or whichever set you decide for the one-day special. That takes it down to £32.96. And so what I'll do is I'll just turn them around so you can have a little look of the stamp itself on the back. Um, and uh, gives you an idea, but they are really nice, nice uh, rubber that's working on these uh, to, to stamp up with nice and clean images of what you're going to get, but they are fantastic. So that is the Blossom set. We've also got the Flossy set, again, um, both on the same item code on here. Different accessories that work really lovely. I love that huge flower uh, that's in there with every flower needs rain to grow. Uh, very true, again, but they work beautifully individually, but... The 31 stamps that you'll get with Flossie, 
You can see why people are going for the complete collection because they really do, again, mirror up and work nicely with everything you're going to get with Blossom. But again, if price point is the, the issue, then £11 saving, £32.96. 947 868. Now, as part of the complete collection, we've also got a set of dies that are in there, but you can get them on their own if you so wish. If you wanted to, they're £34.98. That's actually for 15 dies in total that work really nicely with what you've already got in the sets with the stamps themselves, but on their own are great. Big, big, big fun florals that you can see there that will work really nicely. And you've also got the dragonfly and the butterflies that work so nicely. Uh, 879 862, which is lovely. Now, part of the complete collection, they're not actually, um, this next stamp's not available in Blossom, it's not available in Flossy, but it is available on its own. The only other way you can get it is part of the complete collection. And this is the beautiful, four stamps actually, but this is the A6 stamp of the Wishing Tree. And again, loads of different variables on how to use it that Emma was talking about earlier on. But a really big, wholesome stamp that, again, I'm sure you've already got loads of ideas in your mind of how or where you could use this collectively or singular to make a feature. 584-442, and it's only 10.99, and you're getting four stamps included in that. Uh, last but not least, we have the stencils that do come as part of the complete collection if you wanted to, but if you want them on your own, really like these. Lovely. Six pounds saving. Don't forget all these savings individually. They are carried over into the complete collection where you're going to be getting your maximum saving. But, again, £6 saving on these, so it's actually now from rather than 20 97 on the show for your one-day special. They're available for 14 97 So we've just been seeing the mushrooms being used in there. Really nice, of course. Big florals, which are lovely. 973442, and that'll give you three of your A5 stencils to work with. Loads of crazy, zany, lovely images on there that'll work. Now... If you like all them and you're thinking, mm, I do like them, but actually, I think I want to use them all, then that is where actually not only are you going to get most availability with regards to how you work with all these different elements, but that's where you get your biggest savings. Because all those individual savings are carried over, plus there's an additional saving. And actually, if you're a Freedom member, look at that, £36.90 on top of those other savings that we've just been through. 89.96, and that includes your delivery as well, uh, which is absolutely brilliant. Now, you can split the cost if you want, which means you can get all of that with all those savings for your first payment of just £44.98, pence, which is absolutely brilliant. 596826, and almost a quarter of the stock has already been allocated only half an hour into the launch of another brand new one day special and it is hand in hand if you are uh, enjoying the uh, the warmer weather that's happened this weekend and i think when you look at this you can really have that kind of if you've been out and you've experienced your garden and the, and the lovely flowers that are there you can really understand why this is all about that cheeriness it puts a smile on your face it's bright it's magical it's big and it's bold and it's available for you right now with a brilliant offer that's on your screen which is absolutely phenomenal uh, right uh, now then did we manage to find what yes. we were looking for we have, and I've die cut. The cut out beautiful. I've done that one and that one in the stripey paper. So I'm just going to build up the card super quick. This is my longest demo I've got. All the rest are super quick. I just wanted to show. I think this is, I think this is built up really quickly, to be so honest. It, it does build up really quick. I, to be fair, I don't see. You don't have to be quick when you're crafting, really, do you? It's all about the process. Unless you need a quick card. Then. Good luck. <laughs> While you're doing I that, get lost do, you want, do you want a question? A qu yeah. This is from Debs. Debs? Hi, Debs. Good evening, Debs. How are we? I hope you're well. Um, and thank you for getting in touch with the show as well. Debs is asking um, if she wanted to stamp these images onto a, a mug, what, what inks, what paints would you use? Is that. Um, you can get porcelain um, paints. What I do when I'm uh, stamping onto mugs and things like that, I'll use a stays on. Oh, right, but okay. But then I'll go over it with a porcelain. You can get um, markers. Oh, right, okay. That's the on porcelain. You put them in the oven once they're done for, like, 15 oh, minutes. Oh, right, right. But go back over, like, redraw kind of thing, and then colour them in, and then put them uh, in the and oven. And, oh, okay. Yeah. Unless, I mean, it, they're not dishwasher safe, but you can't wash them after right, that. Right, right. Oh, um, that's good, that's good. You can also get, like, ceramic um, glue. So if you want to do it on a rice paper and then cover it with that, oh, you can then I sort see. of rinse the cup yeah, and wash yeah, it out. yeah. 
So, oh, I tell you what, there's a, Deb's good question. Thank you very yeah, much indeed. There's loads uh, of different. And if anybody else has got a question for Emma while we are here, look, we are live. And uh, also, Emma's going to be back with me again at 8 o'clock tonight as well for our second live hour for the one day special. Uh, you can get in touch, studio at thecraftstore.com. Um, please do. Do you know what? Thinking about that, I'm going, yeah, there'll be some lovely images on here that you could put out. I mean, I just think, I love that. That, that on a mug. What a look, with a yeah. bright colour. What a you look down there. What a cheery work. There's a little pot, and I've used the papers onto it. It's got a little, um... Oh, I'll, I'll go and have a little look at that. Mm -hmm. That, with a nice bright colour on a mug, yeah. with, with a nice cup of coffee to start with in the morning. Plum pots. Oh, I don't have that much coffee. Oh, no, yeah, oh, but I'm you sorry, put right. on your plum pots, put it, put it on your clothes, T-shirts, everything. Honestly, if you've got a stamp, that day I've used the stamps, and then I've used the papers with... Oh, I even made the pot. With that. Do you oh. know what was on the other day? The um, Jasmineite. Oh, was it? So you can stamp on your Jasmineite. Oh, and do that's that. cute. That is cute. Yeah. That'd be great, like you say, for little for plant pots and mm -hmm. to brighten them up as well. I love that. That's lovely. Oh, I like that. You could have your full windowsill covered with them, um, grow your own little herbs in them and things. Ooh. Oh, you should see my garden. Just because you've got a strawberry on your strawberry plant Just now, I'm, and you've started, um, it's like yeah. gardeners, gardeners, well. I have a strawberry and a 90 million pots and one strawberry. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that is another version of that. I it's love that, It's all up because it's still wet. I love but that. That is so lovely. Same but different. That one and that one. I've decouped our arms up there and paper piece with a paper on that one, though. But that. Same but different. Yeah. Lovely, as our yep. uh, producer just said, Katie just said, lovely journal page, beautiful journal, journal page. page. Gorgeous journal page. Journal into our dresses, the ah, big spaces. Yes. Journal into the butterflies because they're quite big spaces. Even the mushroom, if you draw around the mushrooms, you can journal into them. And there's loads of space for different things. I, I like to make sure that you've got plenty of room so you can add your spin Well, I think things. that's what I noticed about your stamps as well, because mm -hmm. they do have lots of space, whether it be the butterflies, for example, yeah. the mushrooms you talked about, or, or um, either blossoms or Flossie's dresses. There is a lot of space in there, whether you're going to be adding your own papers onto that, for example, or mm -hmm. your own designs, uh, or you've got other stamps in there that are great for the sort of backgrounds that you think, oh, I can actually work that into it and create that. It's, it's, a, it's a lovely set for that, that you've got... Exactly. You, you've sort of created a world of characters and looks and plants and creatures but also on top of that huge amounts of space for you to do your own interpretation of that and not take anything away from it I really love that floor again for those but they look bright there's a, it reminds me of almost like a Willy Wonka kind that. of a world yeah, you know where you go lights in that in a little girl's bedroom honestly oh, it's lovely. never yes. ending yeah what really you can nice do with them never ending and once you've got an actual stamp in your hand yes they are oh, it's a stamp. You've got it forever, and you decorate so many different things with. Yeah. If you really wanted to, do a border around your whole oh, wall. Oh, that'd be nice. Yes. I mean, I've done mixed media walls in my son's room. Yeah. Oh, yeah, great idea. Just I like go that. for it. Go wild. If like it stays that, still yeah. long enough, paint it, stamp on it. I know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, the big pictures, like you say, the big stamp of the of the mushroom and all that. Put mm -hmm. your own pictures. In. Put a nice little picture of our director Marcus in there because he's a fun guy. He's a fun guy, isn't he? <laughs> Actually, that's Christopher. What they call a funky fun guy. Yeah. I, I get, it's, a fa it's a family event naming my stamps. So it really is. Oh. Uh, uh, by the way, I lied. He's not. He's not really a fun he's guy. He's not fun, is he not? Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to do this next. And this is one of the backing papers. And what I've done is I've cut down the size, and I'm going to mount it onto black cord. Straight away. Uh, we'll right put now. the papers up for you. Three, two, five, seven, two, eight. Get twenty-four sheets actually all included within that. And again, look at that. That that is bright and beautiful. I really do love those. I love the sort of two-tone of the the blues and the greens and the same with the reds as well that work in there. But they're really lovely. They're very eye-catching. Really striking. Again, if you're using lots of it or just small amounts in those, you know you really are going to benefit from them because they are they're, they're absolutely in a world of their own for those. Nineteen pound twenty. But like I say, that's for twenty. For those uh, that you're looking at, they're brand new on the show. Three two five seven two eight. Yeah, I do. I, I, I love your papers when they come through. They, they always feel like they've got something very magical. Your imagination is amazing for these. It's, it's lovely. It's, sometimes a little bit scary, <laughs> but most of the time it's quite nice. So I'm using the rose hip stamp. It's called rose hip because of that. But that is also a fish or an eyeball, whichever oh, yeah. way you want to go. So I'm using this. You've got the two butterfly wings. And that's how easy Emma get some ink on it. <laughs> there, that's how easy you can go over the uh, top of it. And you get both sides, so you don't have to turn one over, so they're both totally even. And also, oh, that's yeah. another thing, turn your work around and go over it to thicken it up. 
and you, uh, no oh. effort. You can lay them over the top of each other without thinking about it. And I'm going to have one coming up there. And that, for my kind of stamping, is good. Uh -huh. But a lot of people don't like stamping. See? Ink it, Emma. When you miss it. See? Yeah. And that is user error because I don't watch what I'm doing, ever. It's like walking as an effort. <laughs> Straight <laughs> line. <laughs> Honestly, I mean, people think I'm joking when I say, mm, the world of me own all the time. I'm thinking about new stamps. So, are, you, are you already working on another another set? I've then? got so many ideas. It's oh, brilliant. The best. That's uh, brilliant. I go out for walks and I see things and I think, oh. So that is your rose hip. Are you looking out for that hog? I'm not going anywhere near the hogs. They're wary of a bush. They might eat me. I am not. <laughs> uh, honestly, and they had um, their own water filter coming from the stream. It was a lovely big house they lived in. And um, the, it was a frog got caught in the water filter. A frog did? A frog did, but oh. the iron in the water or some whatever it was in the water used to turn my granddad's white hair green. <laughs> so he told me it was the frog. Wow. I turned his hair oh. green. And I actually believed him. That's how gullible I am. Yeah. Did he get the water sorted, though? Uh, well, no, it was, that's what it was. It came from the water filter and they removed the frog. I think it just took home there and just had to get out. <laughs> he just said there was a frog in the water filter and he just uh. had to help it out. <laughs> well, it turned his hair green. And again, colouring them in, super easy. It's like story time with Emma, isn't it, when I'm here? No, I love <laughs> it. There is a story behind it. everything that I do. Are we going to have more eight o'clock, more stories? I don't know. It depends yeah. on what we're talking about, what yeah, pops well, into yeah, my well, head. You never know, do you? Never do you know what I like about these as well? That, that hand-drawn feel about yeah. these. For, for, for colouring, I would have thought as well. When you, when you put these out, it, it does actually look like you have just... They you, are. The, 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 whoever's, whatever combination that the, uh, the crafter has done these in, it makes it look like it's their work. It does. Which That's is, exactly which is what nice. I wanted. It's not corporate. That's exactly what I wanted when I came to do them. I didn't want to look uniform. Everybody, there's uniform roses out there. Yeah. All over the place. Yeah, yeah. There's only Emma Rose. Yeah, no, that's exactly. exactly. <laughs> it just makes, it's not even Emma no, Rose. No, it's, it's really lovely. It's a little bit different, isn't it? Look like that. I love that. And again, don't worry about staying the lines, because if you don't want a fussy cut out, perfect, you don't have to with these no. anyway, but just go over the edge a little bit and you won't have that white ring. Well, I have them here already done, and I'll die cut again, because I'm going to use that one. Because you didn't see his die cut before, did you? Because it didn't have a C plate. So, no. super quick, I'll put it through. Do we have to get a plate, or did you find yours? Um, no, it's their dye machine. It's oh. gun as well. Honestly, leaving the house is an issue. <laughs> 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 Everything gets left behind. There's always something on my bench. Always. You said, it, you said it was like stepping off. Well, you know that feeling when you get uh, on holiday and either the plane door opens and you come out and you get their heats that you're not used to in the UK, for example. I know, although I know we have got people watching from other parts of Europe and, uh, and also from, uh, from the States as well. So a uh, very warm, literally for once from the UK, very warm welcome to you all. But uh, uh, Emma was saying when she'd, because uh, you, you're based, which, which town are you actually in? Just outside of Newcastle. Just I'm outside of Newcastle. County Durham, but if I walk up the hill, I'm classed as town and we so I'm a bit, a bit of both. I don't want to get to geographical politics. No, you know, I'm a bit of both. Politics. That's not... We're not we're having a nice, yeah. nice time, aren't we? Um, <laughs> but uh, she steps off. She said, when I stepped off the train, it was like that, you know, it felt like that 10 degrees hot. It felt like you was going on a holiday. So uh, that's Peterborough for you. Tourist oh. board, we call the next bit. Peterborough, always hot and sunny. <laughs> end of cut. Alive. And if I by the end, by, by 8 o'clock, I might just be a puddle. <laughs> <laughs> so what I've got is some tutu netting. I have my three flowers. I've done some in blue, one in pink, and another in blue. Oh, they're, there. Brilliant. they're brilliant. And the die cut, I don't know why there was a die cut in there now. I obviously had a plan, but I can't think of it. We'll use the butterfly instead. But, do you know what it is? I said I was that organised. This is why, because I can't remember what I've done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also thinking I could do, with those flower heads you got there, yeah. some like intergalactic kind of planetary uh you images really could. with those couldn't you you could for everybody i love them everybody and everything right and then all the sentiments this time are done in typed because a lot of the time they're handwritten with me but i've typed them this time but there you go you've got oh that's brilliant and Look that, that could be happy birthday 
um, I want that to be different. Sorry. I want it. Let's find something else. I'm also thinking planets. I'm also thinking a three-eyed oh, goggly alien. Could be. I don't know. I don't know where my mind's gone. You started this off with talking about your hogs down the I quite like bottom that. of I've, a garden. And... I'm not going to put that on. I'll get rid of that. I'm going to leave it as that. There. Nice and easy. I, I would have that. had a bit of lace, but I can't find it. But there you go. That That's... is supposed to be that. I love it. <laughs> oh, there we are with the lace. That is so nice. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. Thank you. Let me give everyone some, some housekeeping. Oh. Um, I hope you're having a, a lovely time and uh, thank you for joining uh, Emma and myself for this hour uh, with our brand new one day special. Uh, we have got your one day special where you've got your options to go for either Blossom or for Flossy. But everybody, everybody, quite rightly I think here because of where their savings are as well, is going for the complete collection which gives you both sets of everything that comes with Blossom and all her accessories. But Butterflies in there, gorgeous florals that you can see that work so, so nicely, that are magical really. And exactly the same for Flossy with all the different components that come in part of those. So you get both sets of the stamp sets, which is absolutely brilliant. I think that is... 30, was that 65 stamps or something like that? I believe it would be then. I think it was a 34 and a 31 stamp set. I'm, uh... Or a 31 and a 32, so there we are. 63 stamps in total. Plus, now if you go for the complete collection, you get all these fantastic dies. There's 15, <coughs> excuse me, in total there that we're looking at with your dragonflies, your butterflies, bought more foliage that works so, so nicely. Plus, you get an extra special stamp in there as well. It's four stamps, actually, uh, that you can see there, which is beautiful with our gorgeous tree and all the little thistles that you can be working with, which is fabulous. And not finished yet, you're also going to be getting three lots of your stencils, which is going to carry on the theme there with the mushrooms, uh, all of those, but you've got some brilliant backgrounds that you can work on there with lines and brick and shapes and triangles, gorgeous squares as well, and the frames that you can see. All of that is also included with that. And that, if you go for the complete collection, is all of the savings that you would find individually they're carried over, and then there's an additional saving on there as well. In that case, £36.90, so it's available right now for just two payments of £44.98. You're going to get a huge amount. It is a massive, massive collection, actually, when you think about all those elements. 596826. Let's have a quick look at some more of the images that we've not had yet chance to see, um, how some of these will come across. Well, let's go straight in. Just look at this. I mean, this is colour, colour, colour. Look at that. Look at that. You're going to have so, honestly, so, so much fun bringing all these elements in, popping them in there. Look at that. It's, the word's bursting with colour, isn't it? It's absolutely bursting with colour with these that you can see. I think they are absolutely beautiful. Or you can strip it right the way back, um, if you wished, and sort of see this kind of style, which is, again, I love that. With a die cut, with a with a black shadow behind, go through with that. It's the other side of the coin, isn't it? What I do with the colour. Yeah. That is your pastels. That is that in a frame for your art deco. You yeah. know how when um, pale pink and grey is sort of in yeah, the pale blues. Yeah, yeah. That in a frame would go absolutely beautiful. That is really lovely. Whereas that. I mean, I'd have my whole house neon pink. Yeah. Classy people <laughs> have the grey and the. Look at that! I love that. Jules has done that one as well. That is really nice. Art, uh, Really simple, and I do, I do love these with the black background. Linda's done that one for us. Um, find colour and everything. Yeah. Uh, and, and again, and I think these do work. You've got some other examples there. We've got that black background and those shapes and those uh, uh, and the looks of them is is, is absolutely mm -hmm. phenomenal. Let me just show a couple more here. Look at this completely different feel. Denise has done that one as well. Look at that. And that's your die cuts just covered in embossing powder. And just <laughs> use the smaller flowers inside the big flowers to give it a little bit different feel. Oh, let me show you this one as well. Sorry, so many good, so many so good samples many. here. I've got such a good design Look at team. that, Linda's done that one. That Look is beautiful, that. isn't it? Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely beautiful. So, complete collection. That's where you're really going to maximise everything you could do with all these. Five, nine, six, eight, two, six. Uh, the other thing we mentioned about is, as you've seen, um, Emma's been doing some work with the lovely papers as well, working with those. And with, they work beautifully with a complete collection if you want to go for. If you see of these, this will give you two lots of 12, so 24 uh, pages uh, that you're going to be looking at in total of these. Seven and a half by 11 and a half of these ones on your paper pads. Uh, but they are beautiful. Just have a quick look. I'll just fold some of these down. Um, 
But look, look at these. I mean, these are bright, beautiful and colourful. Whether you are doing your fussy uh, cutting um, or you're just working with them as well to sort of fill in because you get a lot of nice spaces in these designs on the stamps. If you want to fill those with some beautiful papers uh, that will work with it, I really do like these stripes. I know that they are they've got a sort of a lovely air of simplicity, but they're really striking uh, with the colours. I love the, uh, the reds, uh, but the blues going into the sort of the greens and the yellows again. Look at that. Really, really nice. Um, again, big florals, the big mushrooms again, we've sort of seen how they'll work really nicely with the stencils uh, that are also available to go with. And the paper, actually, one of the papers uh, that Emma has just been working on was this one, for example, that's in there. So, gorgeous, gorgeous colours. If you're going for the complete collection, my advice would be add your paper pack into that order as well. £19 and 20 pence, 325728. Let me just show you here um, that this is this is yes. lovely and and there is this is why I think this would be great in, in a child's bedroom yep. to work with because but I'll I know, have that on my dressing table with makeup brushes in. I'm just going to just show you because uh, uh, all around it's a big big floor on the top there, lovely big button. Uh, as I just rotate that round so you can see, we've got the gorgeous tree that you get if you're going for the complete collections. So you've got the tree in there. Uh, we've also got uh, there's uh, Flossie. Uh, with all the lovely, you've got the little uh, quotes on there. All that works around. Looks really nice with the Hessian. Um, uh, beautiful. There, of course, are lovely florals and uh, there's blossom. But inside here, if we just open this up, take the lid out, then inside here, very magically, a little secret component. I think that's great. I want to make it sure should I don't, come out easy unless it's on I, don't want, I didn't want to or... tear it or anything. Oh, it won't tear. Look at this. It's all good. Oh. Is this scroll? A beautiful scroll. Now, isn't that better than a birthday card? <laughs> that is a yes. <laughs> Look at all of that in there. I mean, it, I like you talking about, you know, create your borders for your mm -hmm. bedrooms with these. Because mm -hmm. that, I mean, that is absolutely fantastic. And you can and see it is. there I've used the flowers and gone over the top. I'm actually going to show that now, now I've frightened everybody with... Oh, oh okay, stuff. so which, which one are we talking about? The... Um, back along a little bit, that one there, this sunburst flower. Between the two? Yeah, I've used um, the red and the orange there on that one. It looks even fluffier. The oh, it does. So I don't see. just use your black inks. Bring out your colours to stamp with. Yeah, and it there. Gives it we're totally looking at that feel. right now. But they look great actually together like that. Mm. There we go. The sun bursting through. I'm going to turn the other side as well because we've got some lovely effects on the time with the uh, with the lovely mushrooms and the butterfly, the dragonfly. Oh, what we got at the end of it? Oh, a little butterfly at the very end of this. Um, there we go. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous and colourful? So you know, just some great inspiration, great ideas. How you can create a world. Uh, a beautiful world here with these like, really lovely big stencils that will work with that. It's, on it's... fabric around the bottom of the dress. Oh, that yeah. around the bottom of the dress. You don't even have to add the fairies if it's for a grown up, just use the flowers. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's, I would have the fairies. No, I'm it's... walking around with a bag with monsters on, so. <laughs> I would definitely have the fairies. I. I love it, I love it, I love it. Let me roll that back up there. So, is that what we're going to look at now then, printing on that um, then with that? Should we have a little look? Um, no, I'm going to show on one of the wiggle tags, but I'm going to show how to build them up so they're more fluffy. Okay. Super quick. Super quick and easy, I keep saying that, but this is really easy. <laughs> so, I'm using an orange just on the doodle lip. It's a tulip, but it's a doodle lip. You can blame the mother for that one. And then, because obviously when you're stamping, sometimes you've got to use your platforms and things like that to go back over the top. But if you've got a clear block, I mean, that there is nice. You can sort of spray that with water if you've got your water reactive and it'll bleed out and things. But go back over with a darker colour and then slightly offset it so you're trying to get it uneven. Just ever so slightly. And straight away it's even fluffier. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. And then you add your stem on again, the darker green. And go back in, and you've got your stem on. And I love that. I just, I love how easy it is. Yeah. Where's the sun one? Sunburst. So again, we can go with the yellow. I've used loads of yellow on it, I've <laughs> stained it yellow. <laughs> it's just, it's some, I'm growing sunflowers as well. <laughs> I do like a sunflower. I try it anyway. And again, because I'm using a smaller, the one the wiggle tags, I'm going to go in like that. So it's yellow, it's lovely, it's pretty. Going with the orange. But I haven't gone right into the middle. And again, different part of it. Not perfect. And some more. But that, that's why I think this is also a nice set for people that and then, like a bit of 
messy craft to an extent where they're not about them being exact and also mm -hmm. I'm thinking for younger people if you want to have a go at doing this as right. well because it's not about oh you've got to be precise we've got to be this it's no. more just have fun and relax with it enjoy it mm -hmm. as well. Right, this isn't messy this is just you stamping over the top yeah. this one yeah, so I mean I it's that. something for everybody like I start I always seem to start off with something complicated and I always wish that I'd started off a show showing just how easy things are right. but I always do it. I don't know why I do it I think I'll do that longest one first but <laughs> Do um, something easy to start with at eight. Yeah, yeah yes. How about that? Come back at eight o'clock when I'm not nervous anymore. <laughs> You're not nervous. I'm always nervous. No, what are you nervous about? Just... You're brilliant. There's nothing to be nervous <laughs> about. You are. Okay, I'll take that. Yeah, do. do. <laughs> I'll have that. Absolutely. And again, you get all these little bushy flowers in. Like that. And I'm using the biggest stamp block I can find. So these as well. These are... So say you wanted to put your tree on like that in the corners and they you could be like little, they could be um like little uh sponges oh. that you find underwater like they could under, be. by the uh, you know with they're cold, really what they called anemones and anemones and then i hope i've got no anemones i've oh, no, my daughter said i have <laughs> you've got loads of anemones him yeah I've got <laughs> loads. <laughs> so i've stamped it out onto shrink plastic right i'll not show you that because you can guarantee i'll slip but I just want to show how the difference is, because I've, I've already done them, I'll, but I have to show because I love shrink plastic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not colouring it either because it you can guarantee. Oh, I'm going to get my teal. Chase it. Yeah, look, look, look. it's like a little... And it's just the cutest thing ever. Stuck to me that reminds me of a scene, I think, in uh, Willy Wonka as well. Was it Mike TV that shrunk down? Yes! And then stamp that on top. And then you've got it like that. But That's I've done the, them ones in it as well. Oh, and I've yeah. just coloured them in with alcohol oh, pens. key rings. They would be brilliant little key rings. But I would have that one coloured and add them on. Like that. So just pretend that's coloured. I've left the alcohol inks at home. That's why I didn't colour it. Truth. And then there you go. And you've got your oh. little tag. And that can go on the front of a card if you put it on top of black. How lovely. And sit oh, yeah, we go Super with the black simple. behind there you it. Are. So just like that, you've got your big flowers behind. Please pretend that one's coloured in. There you go. Oh, I love How that. How cute's that? Are, that is brilliant. Nice. Like you say, quick, I easy. I hope you have your card to match. You have your card, your tag to match, your gift bag to match. Everything? Yeah. Well, that's uh, the great thing about things like this. Well, yeah, yeah show, show yeah. on this one. Show this, on this one, I've been making storage for all this, every collection I've got. I've had to tape it up because I had an accident. <laughs> you had a, what, what, what? The thing oh, top of it. Oh, yeah, but oh. that's basically it. How far you can take it. So there's your tag there. Pop it and decorate the background as well. And that's oh, how far. Was, and yeah. there was no effort to that at all, really. I just stamped the tree, used a bit of blue. This bit here, I've used... I think that was the corner, and added a little bit of flowers, and basically it was just dotting and dabbing. Dotting the, and dabbing. Dotting and dabbing the colouring. That sounds like me dancing. <laughs> You're just uh, dotting and dabbing. Uh, no, but I love it. So I then, think these are actually pretty. Go on, show that one as well. The clock. And that that's is just nice. the stamping and adding some white flecks. Is that, but that's your paper as well, isn't it? Is that no, the paper? that's isn't the that stamps. Oh, is it? Mm -hmm. oh, I thought that was one of the... Uh... No, that is just, it's inks. So it'll oh, be your lovely. distress inks, and then what it's be, uh, Linda's done is she's used, stamped them with white embossing powder, these ones, and then she's, all she's done is stamped them out in um, colour and then flecked white, white pen. You couldn't get more simple and easy than that. No, that's really nice. And, and uh, we talked about uh, the uh, our idea of journey as well. If you were doing like little tags or little postcard sizes yeah, to pop in. ATCs. Look at these, your ATCs. I think these mm -hmm. are absolutely perfect for your ATCs to work on. Look at these. Um, everyone's journey is different. Again, I really do like that one. Again, you've got that chance, uh, which is absolutely beautiful. But great ideas to work with. So, if you've enjoyed the hour, make sure you've got that complete collection into your basket. Um, if you have enjoyed it and you want more inspiration on how you can work with this and you've got it already, make sure you come and join Emma and myself back here at 8 o'clock tonight uh, for even more ways of working. And you'll be watching it from the beginning because Emma's going to start with an easy demo. An remember? easy one. An come easy back demo. when... In fact, you should just all ignore us at six o'clock <laughs> and just get what you want <laughs> we'll, and then we'll come back. We'll walk up now, aren't we? 
Then I'm warmed up and ready to go. I need to show we, the tree. We've got to go now, but isn't no, so, no I've got oh there it is. We've got to we've got we go. We will show that first thing. See you very soon. <laughs> You'll never see the tree unless you tune back in at 8 o'clock. Uh, we've got the Pretty Gets Gritty Happy Hour coming up next for you. Then we'll be back with us with our Clever Prince and also back in the kitchen. Can't wait. I'm Catherine and I'm the guest presenter for Zuri Designs. Zuri Designs are based in America and they bring to us their exceptional quality silicon moulds. Zuri Design moulds are used in all areas of crafting, not just for your clays and your resins, but also their food grade silicon as well, so used for your cake decorating designs. Zuri excel on the detail in their moulds and the designs range from animals through to fantasy and much further beyond. If you watch the Zuri shows I will share with you lots of hints and tips. I will show you how to use different mediums ranging from your clays and your resins through to things like even your hot glue. So make sure you don't miss the Zuri shows. Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan. I've been working with Heartfelt Creations for about nine years now. They are crafters, so they know what you crafters want, and they listen to us crafters too. One of the products that really make Heartfelt unique are their flower shaping molds, where you can make easy, quick, three-dimensional flowers, which are absolutely stunning. Hi, I'm Gina Barrett from Gina B. Silkworks. We're a family company specializing in traditional crafts for the modern maker. Most of our products involve textiles and age-old techniques, from button making, lace making, weaving, and other forms of passementry. Mark and I work hard designing the kits and developing innovative tools to make all of these traditional crafts more accessible to the modern user. I'm looking forward to being able to take time and demonstrate some of these techniques and share new ideas. I hope you'll be able to tune in to the Gina B. Silkworks shows. Good evening to you. You are in for a treat. For the next hour, we have discounted prices, but only for this hour on all of these wonderful items from Pretty Gets Gritty. It is a happy hour, and I'm very happy because we've got Lynette with us as well. Yeah, I'm not alone. Hello. Hello. <laughs> How are you? That was so delayed, wasn't it? It was, but yeah. you know what? It was well worth it. I was it off when... in a world of my own. I'm it was sorry. well worth Hi. it when it happened. It was well worth it when it happened. Yeah. Now, uh, the happy hour is only for this hour, as we said before. So if you do see something, you need to check out your basket to get it at that discounted price. And if you want to get there before we get there, why don't you head to the website and start popping items into your basket right now? Uh, right, we've got lots and lots of goodies for you. Um, and... It's all on your happy hour deal. Well, it's happy for us, but I don't think it's happy for our director, do you, Lynette? Oh, you know, he doesn't have his work cut out with me. <laughs> Oh dear, listen, it is great to have your company. 
I tell you what, we will take you through all the different items we've got available for you. But if you've got anything you want to share with us, maybe some inspirations and creations from other Pretty Gets Gritty shows, then we would love to see them. I'm sure you'd love to see them as well. Annette. Absolutely. And yeah. nothing I love more than seeing yeah. Pretty Gets Gritty being made by other people. Oh, yes, that's what we love. Right. Let's start at the beginning for your happy hour deals. Now, artist trading cards. I'd not really heard of these before I came to the craft store. But it's very interesting, isn't it? And it kind of opens up a whole world of changing, exchanging, giving out information, but also different designs as well on the different cards. It does. They are super usable. As you say, you know, there's so many ways that you can use them. But they're like creating mini art pieces. Yes. So if you're wanting to get into mixed media and you're a little bit hesitant, you're a little bit scared about it, these are a great way to start. So you can throw all your mediums at them because they are MDF. Yes. They will hold it all. You can experiment, you can play, and it's not such a big area that it overfaces you. Do you know what? I think that's a really, really good idea because there are lots of different um, techniques that we like to try. With our texture paste, we like to get uh, a little bit rusty oh, sometimes, yes. or love a bit of pretend rust. Uh, but you can try that out before you put it on your larger projects. So that's a really, really good idea. Now, if you've got stamps at home as well, Lynette, if you were to gesso the MDF, you could stamp. You know, some people have stamps with name made by so you could actually put that on the back and that's kind of an artist trading card to trade with one another isn't exactly. it exactly and there's lots of artist trading groups around i mean mm. pretty gets gritty has one yes and you know you go in every month you get set a theme you get to trade with other people and it is just a really lovely social way of exchanging art and then you get ideas from other people as well when you're receiving their artwork and you're like oh well i kind of done that or you know i think that's a it's great really, idea really good now, it's a great price as well, 9 dollars saving £7.98 just for this hour, though. Just for this hour. Now, you can multi-buy, you can multi-buy, but having said that, when it's gone, it's gone. So if you are multi-buying at the moment, just think about all the people that are trying to get hold of it as well. Uh, 9 dollars but you help yourself. You've got your love hearts there, you've got your circles, and you've got your rectangles as well. Always get confused with squares and rectangles. I don't know why, I always have to think about it for a moment. Yeah, no, I'm exactly the same. And what's an oblong? An oblong's one with rounded edges is that right well i don't know i'd call that an oblong yeah actually i'd call it an oblong yeah. let's call it an oblong oh it's been so long since i was at school i've got no <laughs> idea anymore it's more of a rectangle than an oblong or is it more of an oblong than a square um, but we've got great shapes for you and you're getting three sheets and on an each sheet one two three four five six seven eight 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Um, there's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's quite a few. There's quite a few for you. Uh, 042813 is your item number. Don't miss out on that. And, of course, when you've taken them out of your MDF, you could actually then use them as a template. Absolutely. Because you'll have the heart shapes left in, the squares, oh, sorry, the rectangles and the uh, circles. The, one of the, my favourite things to do is yeah. to actually use the surrounds, the waist. So even further down the counter with the grab sheets, do not throw your waste MDF away. Use it as a blank canvas. Yeah, it's a really, really good idea. Right, can't wait to see what you do with those. Let's move on because I know we haven't got much time oh. at all because the clock's gone. No way. Oh, I wanted to talk about how to put this in the garden, oh. rust it up. Oh, sold out. Sorry, guys. Oh, we need to move on then. I can't, I can't show you that anymore. Right, let's go from clocks to Cogs. Gears. Oh, we're limited stock on the car. Cogs. Limited stock. On the gears. <laughs> on the gears, not the cogs. <laughs> That's right, the gears. The gears, Janice, the gears. Uh, right, let's get into gear with this one. As we are limited stock, the next few people that get this into their baskets and check on out will, um, will just have what a wonderful um, collection. Oh, they're gone. The cogs are gone. No. The cogs are, oh, I wanted to, I wanted to wax lyrical about cogs all night long. Quick run. <laughs> oh, right, okay. Um, there is, there is a great sample underneath. Can we just show this? Yes. Because, um, did you make this? I did. Net? Oh, I wow. did make this. Have you seen this rusty old thing here? I know, it's like just been picked up in a junkyard somewhere and brought home. Look at that, it's the MDF. This it is amazing. What have you used on here? So I've that? actually used Gritty Vintage Paste yes. and they will be coming next month. Oh, yes. I'm very so, excited yeah, about this. Loads of marble texture paste, sand yep. texture paste, Gritty Vintage Paste. I just think that's amazing. Absolutely 
amazing. But we need to move on, so yes. I need to put that back underneath the counter. Now, I need to show you the compass, but we need to go in another direction now. Yeah. Uh, because everyone's navigated their way to the checkout and that has gone. Oh my goodness, who's selling out of everything? Right. Oh, these are happy hour prices. When they're gone, they're gone. Oh okay, so we've now. had one, two, three sellouts. So we've still got the artist trading cards. Just, just. Okay, they're going quick. Right, let's go to the next one. Let's get to the trellises. Um, Right, half the stock have gone of your trellises. What happens if we sell out of everything, Lynette? What are we going to do? Um, dance, sing. That could be tell a go. That could be. That could be. Oh, I don't know about the jokes. Blake is coming back on for an extended <laughs> hour. <laughs> oh my days! We could have a performance from our lovely floor manager, Sharna. Oh, right, yes. we're half the stock. Over half the stock gone. Fifteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. You're saving seven pounds. This is another um, fabulous deal because you're getting three trellises, different sizes. Let me just lean over and pick the different sizes up for you. So. So you're getting three of the trellises. They're almost like the like the brick Spanish grates yes. that you get. Yeah, yeah they are. love those. So you've got three of those. Uh, the smallest is 14 by 20 centimetres. And the largest is 21 by 30. And then you're getting three of the flower um, well, what the flower collections, because you can pop all of those out, but when you do pop them out, <laughs> please keep your waist. Yes. Um, because you can do a lot with that as well. And then you have got another, if I can just take those away very, very carefully. Very carefully. There you go. You've got a selection of watering cans and pots and birdhouses and ferns. Wow. Now, let me show you a sample of these made up. Carefully pop those back as well. Let's have a look at that one. Now, who's that in that picture? That is my mum when she was a bridesmaid for her uh, elder sister. Oh, yeah. that's lovely. Oh, that is amazing. Thanks for sharing that with us. And here's another lovely sample as well on the larger trellis with your butterflies on. How gorgeous is that? That really is divine. Very, very busy. Very, very busy. Wild and free. That's what we are. Um, eight minutes into the show. And how much of the stock has gone? 80% of the stock of this has gone. We've had three sellouts already. We need to move on. 80% of the stock gone. Um, I, I am a bit worried. My producer's a bit worried. Are you a bit worried, Lynette? Yeah, just a tad. Just a tad. Are just you worried, Sharna? Yeah, we're all worried. We're all worried because um, I don't know what we're going to do. Uh, we need to put some wheels in motion, but uh, let's let's carry on. Let's carry on. I'm sure we'll have some great demonstrations. Okay, uh, right. Next up for you, we have got a whole selection of um, MDF shapes. So, oh, is it grey board? No, it's MDF. It is MDF. It is yeah. MDF. So, you moth be joking. Oh. Yep, it's actually moth. Um, you've got your bugs. Don't let us bug you by telling you how busy we are. You've then got your lovely word, itch. So be your own hero. Be your own hero. Uh, what's that one? Collect beautiful moments. Oh. Then you've got your wings. I love these wings. What is it about, about wings? Very, very usable, aren't they? Wings. Love you them. can just throw them at anything. They're amazing. I don't know what it is about wings, but those wings in particular. Um, they're like a, an angel wing or a wing on Pegasus, yes. aren't they? Absolutely fantastic. Um, or if you know any Hells Angels, those are the kinds of wings they use as well. Not that Hells Angels have wings on them, but my brother was a Hells Angel. Uh, not so much of the hell. He was more of an angel, but he was a hell's angel. Uh, cherish, there you go. Uh, you've got more wings there for you. Um, and then you've got some butterflies in there. You've got some more of the bugs in there as well. £9.91. pence. Uh, 91 pence, what am I on about? £9.99, you're getting 21 pieces in total. Um, and that's amazing. Lynette, these are great, aren't they, for just embellishing other projects that really do make a difference. Exactly. They're little, they're either, you know, your stand out pieces or finishing pieces. They're your little added extras. So when you've thrown your texture paste on and, you know, all your little additions to create your background and your bases, then you want something that just stands out a little bit. A word or a wing or a little bug yeah. can just finish the piece off completely. Now, let me show you this sample here. Isn't that lovely? If you're going for the artist trading cards that we had at the start of the show yeah. that are very, very busy, now look what it looks like with that wing on there, with some ink, just building that up. And that is the artist... I don't know why I'm hiding that, just in case anyone's phone number was on that. Is that by Betsy? Betsy Nelson? It is. Aww. 
Betsy, that is lovely, and that is a beautiful name. Love the name, Betsy. Um, so, if you want to get a hold of this, we're very, very busy again. 069801 is your item number 21 pieces for your grab pack, and they're all made of MDF as well. Right, well, I think we've got down the counter a lot quicker than I thought we well, would. Yeah. Um, now, these stamps, Lynette, this, this is, one, it's a great price, and two, these are amazing designs. The artwork that you're seeing there are the stamps that you're getting. In fact, if you just stay there one moment, just to show you, let me just turn that one around. There you go, there you go. So you can see all the artwork that you're seeing now, they are the stamps. Fascinating designs. Did you do all of these, Lynette? I did, I did. So uh, that was the first collection I brought when I came back. Wow. Yeah. Oh, I remember when we launched these. I yeah. mean, look at that honeycomb one. Oh, do you know what? Detail these are some of my favourite, favourite stamps. Yeah, doesn't surprise me. They They're are lovely. very usable. They really are for, for building up your backgrounds, putting really obscure patterns in there. Just having a card and then putting a sentiment on with these backgrounds are going to look amazing. They really are. You've got your wings in there as well. So that's that true pretty gets gritty style. Uh, let me show you some samples of what you can do with your stamps. I just think these are fabulous. Now, it's a pick and mix. You choose any two. Um, oh, do you know what? It's really difficult to decide. How about multi buying? Yeah, you can because you're saving £12 on that price if you pick and mix. So, if you want to multi buy, for example, if you did multi buy, hang on, if you multi buy, if you get four, that's the price that it would normally be for two. Yeah, wow, yeah, that Absolutely. is an, that's an incredible deal. I won't get one free, basically. Yeah, it is. It certainly is. Um, these are brilliant for your mixed media projects. They're great for your journaling, for your cards. Let's turn that the right way around. There you go. It makes it makes it interesting to start building your backgrounds when you've got stamps like this. Don't you agree, Lynette? It does. And do you know what? They are great for men and ladies' cards. Yeah, they are. As well. Yeah, as you're well right. As well as just having a play and mess about in your journal experiment. And yeah. They give a really good... Um, interesting backgrounds. So you've got a, quite a lot of background stamps there that I mean, you, look can, at, you can use. They'll cover a good area. Yeah, I mean, look at the detail in the wings there. You're getting everything included that you're seeing on that particular board. Uh, the detail is wonderful. Remember the honeycomb that we saw? Take a look at that. Imagine the different designs that you can put together. Even if you had that on a card, just like that, and then put a sentiment just on the side. Maybe you've got some washi tape That's all you need, isn't it? That'd a be a bit of a colour wash. Yeah, perfect. Love that one. Simplistic but brilliant. Now, are you going to tell me that's your thumbprint? Or I'm, your I'm not confirming nor denying. Oh, everybody. Just don't, don't <laughs> downsize it and leave it at the scene of a crime. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny? Now, another one of my favourites, actually, just to show you in its raw form, is this one. Really like this one. There's something about that crackle look. Yeah, that's that's one you picked up. You were studying before, yeah, before we came I was. on. Yeah, I was looking at that. Let me just pick up the actual one with the colour on it, just there. Now, when you add colour, it looks totally different. It does. Again, you know, you can use it as a background stamp, or mm. you could just use it as that image. Put a sentiment on it. A happy birthday. It's a great mail card. Do you know what I'm Quite thinking with simple. that as well? You could get some colour on there. You could actually draw a shape. So you could draw a circle. So the circle would be in full colour, but the rest of it in that grayscale, black and white, yeah. that would look pretty cool. It would. And it would look like you've doodled inside the circle, but you haven't. You've used the stamp to get the initial print. That would yeah. be a great idea. Oh, I love that. You can see you can start to get inspired instantly. Pick and mix, everyone. A happy hour deal. The price is going back up. It's a half-price deal. It's a fabulous deal. It really is. 057141. This is how you pick and mix. Head to the website. And you can see all of the five-star reviews that you've got on there. So, uh, let's see. I don't, know, I don't know which two I'd have. I think I'd go for my favourite. I'd go for Cracked Up. I'd definitely go for Cracked Up. I really like the spot, the difference. I think that's, yeah, I want that cracked up. Thank you. <laughs> uh, use your wings. I like that one. I might, I, yeah. Oh, I like Word Up as well. Oh, I like all, do you know what? I like all of them. Um, for, that, for that price, I might start multi-buying. That is a fabulous price, but it's a price that we have for 43 minutes and 40 seconds and, or 45 seconds and counting. It's a happy hour deal. When the clock hits 8 o'clock, that's it. The prices are gone. And I'm just looking at the counter. 
Wow, there is a huge space now on that counter. We, look at that. Yeah. Sold out, sold out, sold out, sold out, sold out, sold out. Uh, something else I think we're going to be very, very busy for is the bowl of MDF. Now, we've got a whole host of different shapes in here, Lynette. We have. So this is um, what we call a mix-up box. Yes. So you've got all sorts of bits and pieces in there from past Pretty Gets Gritty ranges, current Pretty Gets Gritty ranges. We're and limited stock. Are we um, limited stock? Li limited wow. already? Oh, my goodness. I've, yeah. only I've only just got it out. Are we limited so great, stock? I mean, just you can just pull out one piece and build a composition around yeah. that one piece. Look at you know, that. or you, you can just find all sorts of little bits. Yeah, I don't want to throw a spanner in the works, but oh, uh, oh limited stock means there's only a few left. Nine ninety nine. You don't get the bowl. Oh, sold out. Right, I'm going to put that away. Sorry about that. Oh. <sighs> Right, one more thing to show you before we get to Lynette and some demonstration. Uh, these have been really busy. If you love the crackle effect, but you don't want to have to go through all of the process to achieve that, these are perfect. Tell us about these, Lynette. Yeah, so these are a one-step crackle. Oh, and they my goodness. Are absolute, the colours are beautiful. They're also translucent, so you could layer them over. Say you, you used your um, cracked-up stamp. You could then layer these colours over, marble them on the top. You would still be able to see the stamp underneath. Wow. These really are amazing. Yeah. If you take a look here, you might need to get a little closer to see the crackle effect. If I just... There you go. You can see the crackle just there at the top. Uh, that's all you need to do. And you were saying, as you've done here, you can actually scribble with these. You could write with these. Exactly. Uh, you can see it at the bottom there. Uh, do you know what it's like? It's almost like... A t you know when um, tiles crack yeah not just crack, like is it the glaze on a tile that yeah. cracks but they can be really expensive because they're very very trendy it's almost like that effect isn't it it is oh my days 12.97 and you choose any three no wonder we're busy uh, right can we go through the colors because we have got a stock update now i do have them written on the back of the cards producer ross would you like to go across there or would you like me to read them out on the cards i'm gonna say there is one color missing already and that is dandelion okay dandelion's yes. missing i'll go through the colors on the cards and then when we get to dandelion i won't mention it and if i do mention it just tell me it's not yeah it's gone, it's uh, gone. so bark do we still have bark 40% of the bark has gone. What about the rouge? We do have rouge, but 30% of the stock has gone of the rouge. The grass, how much of the grass have we got left? 60% of the grass has gone. Don't let it grow under your feet. Get it into your basket. Check on out. Uh, what about the mauve? 70% has gone of the mauve. Cider. We're all right with cider at the moment. I've got to have a glass of cider when I get home oh, after this show. Oh, no. uh, Mauve has now gone. Mauve has gone and sold out. Right, what about pickle? Are we going to get in a pickle? Uh, where's the mauve? Is that the mauve? No, no that's the it. mauve. Right, that one's gone. Third of the stock of the pickle has gone. Don't get into a pickle. Get it in your basket and check on out. What about honey? 60% has gone of the honey. What about the coral? Because that's a nice colour. Coral. 60% of the coral has gone. What about the sea foam? Sea foam has sold out. So where is the sea foam? The where bottom. is the sea? This one? Next one. No, this one? Yep. That's gone and sold out. Right, that's gone. What about, is it key? K, key, key. Which one? K-E. Ice. Ice. There Sorry, you it's go. my it's not... writing. <laughs> no, no, it's yep. not. I don't, know. I don't have a glass of ice. Ice has gone and sold out. Right, gone, sold out. My goodness. What about banana? Have a banana. I've had a couple today. <laughs> have you had a couple I of bananas have. today? I have. Um, sold out. Bananas gone and sold out. Right. What about... I do apologise about this. Right. There. Uh, right. What about... It is like a game show. Atlantic. <laughs> What's your name and where are you from? Top, middle or Atlantic bottom. has sold out. Where's that? Bottom. bottom. That's gone and sold out. Right. OK. Um, fudge. Half the stock of the fudge is gone. What about pinked? 80% of the stock has gone. What about the khaki or khaki? <laughs> khaki has sold out. Sorry, where's your car keys? They've gone. Uh, right, what about slick? 80% gone. What about the violet? 60% has gone. What about cerise? Limited stock on the cerise. What about lipstick? 
70% gone dandelion. That's the one we haven't got. Uh, we don't have dandelion. Thank you very much nope. for reminding me. It's I don't okay. know why I didn't remember myself. Um, turquoise. Turquoise has sold out. There, right. I'm taking... Oh, gosh. We've sold out of the grass as well. That's gone. Okay. Right. Okay. I'm going to move these around just to show you how many we have got left. Oh, my days. The best place to go and see what we've got left in stock is the website. If you click on something and it says out of stock, then it's out of stock. Lynette, what have you done to us? I, I don't know. I'm, I'm my gas is flabbered. It right. Really we've only got 10 options left. We did have 20. So half of all the colours have gone. I need to lie down, go and grab me a drink. Shall we have some demos? I think we should. My goodness, what a busy start to the show. Lynette, well done. Um, and thanks for bringing such wonderful items at great discounted prices. I know, it's, uh, it's my little present to the viewers. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. Right, what are we going to have a look at first? Right, so I have already made up. You see me, you know, every time I demo, I build a piece. So we'll just run through very, very yep. quickly what I have done. So obviously, I've used gel medium to stick because I use gel medium for everything. Once okay. it sticks, it sticks. Brilliant. So we've used bits out of the mix-up box, um, but mainly it's bits and pieces from the trellis. So we've stuck it all with gel medium, and then I added in um, sand texture paste. So just with a little stipply brush, just added a little bit here and there, because it could look a little flat, because it's yes. MDF, it's a very um, smooth surface. So like we added that. a little bit of sand texture paste and then we added in the marble paste and that is super chunky and beautiful. Love so that. we have lovely clumps of the marble. So we've got lots of beautiful texture on there. And then when it's all dry, white gesso, okay. a lot of it. Excellent. Or you could black gesso. Yeah, you can. You can. Black gesso. It depends or white what gesso. finish that you're going for. But for this, I wanted to use the explosion powders. The explosion powders are on the website, okay. but they're not in the happy hour. Do I need to protect myself in any shape or form because they are exploding powders? Well, you know. Do I need to kaboom. do I need to get my hard hat on? No, I think I think you'll be fine. Okay. I'm so, alright without a hard hat. I am going to, I mean you see me all the time. I sprinkle out my explosion powders and I spritz it and they go boom. Yeah. The colour explodes. Yeah. So it looks like we've just got a little bit of pale pink okay. there. But what we're going to do is we're going to create a paste. So I've got transparent gesso. And I'm okay. going to add that down. And depending on what sort of shade we're going for, and just, which did I use then? Was it unicorn? Okay. Yeah. So the, the, when you mix unicorn together, you get a very, very pale sort of lilac. But even Ooh. while you're mixing, you can see that you're getting your stripe. You've got a navy blue in there. You've got a cerise. Yeah, but when you mix it all together completely, you do get a lovely, lovely lilac colour. So I want it a little bit stronger than that. So I'll just add in a little bit more. You can Ooh, see yeah, look at that, that really pinky yeah. colour, the, the, you know, the blue coming through. It's a work of art in itself, isn't it? It is. It? it is really, really pretty. It's lovely to use. I bet if you so, got some card and just popped it on top of that, that would make a really nice little mop-up. Oh, it would. It would. So what I'm going to do is, because we've created this paint, I'm just going to go on and we're going to get it all over. So transparent gesso. Now, 80% of the trellis sheets have gone. You get three. You get three different sizes. You get some flowers as well. It's a great deal. It really is. So you get the three different sizes. Uh, you do get lots. You also get three different sizes of your flowers, beautiful flowers. They look like alliums and, and tulips. Beautiful. Um, and then you get your extra sheets because you've got your watering cans, your birdhouse, which Lynette has gotten on her design. Uh -huh. You've got some fern on there and some little trousers as well that is an amazing deal at 15.99 saving seven pounds but a third of the stock did we say 80 percent of the stock has gone oh i need to catch up i need to catch up with myself wow okay lynette busy 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 yeah so the transparent gesso um obviously you can use it to protect your journal pages or you know if you've if you want to protect between layers when you are journaling okay it's brilliant for that it is exactly the same as using white gesso or black gesso in the fact that it is a primer it's going to prime your base but you can see here 
can you see that we are still getting the breaks of colour. We're getting different colours coming through from the explosion powders. Wow. So this creates sort of like a, a, a translucent paint. Okay, and when you say translucent, because lots of people new to crafting, yeah. new to paint, new to the terminology we use, or maybe they, they did something like that at school, but they've kind of forgot now. Yeah. Um, what do we mean by translucent? So it's, it's, you can see through it partially. Yeah. So what you put behind it will show through. Okay. It, you know, a little bit. So I've used the unicorn here and I just want to take it just almost on a slant and because I've used the trans transparent gesso, I was going to say translucent gesso, <laughs> the transparent gesso, it is really super quick drying. Can so, you get translucent gesso? Yeah, well transparent is, it's, yeah. I'm just, I'm just trying to think, because translucent, you can sort of see through it. And transparent. And transparent, you can completely see through it. Ah. So I'm I just... I've got some on the show, actually. I'm going to use the Venus Explosion Powder and do exactly the same. Mm. We'll get our uh, transparent gesso. And you can see we get this gorgeous pop of pink. But again, you can see you get your stronger pinks. We've got the navy blue through there as well. Do you know what that reminds me of? Raspberry Ripple ice cream. Oh, you know, when you used to mix yeah. it up. Absolutely. Oh, raspberry Ripple ice cream. That were my favourite. That's so, just, it's just brought it back to me there. So oh, yum, yum. I'm just going to take this over the bottom half. I'll add some colour. Obviously, if you're at home, you would take a lot more time. But I do quite like the, uh, the very rustic yeah. look. The perfectly messy. Yeah, we like that. Yeah. So we're just going to add this all over and then we will add a little bit of shading. How are we doing for time? Time-wise, we are nearly halfway through the show. This is God a happy hour me. and that means all the prices are happy hour deals, which means the prices are going back up in 31 minutes and 30 seconds, 29 seconds, 28 seconds. But now I do need to tell you that the trellis has sold out. Oh gosh. The trellis has gone and sold out. Congratulations everyone that's got that. It's not a competition, of course, but it almost feels like it because we're just selling out of everything. My counter is going to be very, very bare in a moment's time. But we are using the gesso, and we have that yes. on the show. So we could bring the details up for that. We do. Um, it's a pick and mix, choose any two. Just to let you know how it works here in shopping TV land, when we sell out of something, we can't still have the details on the screen. But because Lynette is still continuing to demonstrate with the mediums that we've got on the show, we can continue with this demonstration but put something else on the screen. That's how it works. If you've ever wondered why when we sell out of something we can't continue with the demonstration our hands are tied by all kinds of legalities so that's why we have to do what we do but luckily we can continue with this because we've got the great mediums that Lynette has brought to the show so it's fantastic news yeah so all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to dry this off as I say it is quite quick drying yeah and we it will be a matter of fact so you're almost making a translucent sort of chalk paint Whereas if you mixed it with gel medium, you'd get more of a varnish. Got you. But again, the gel medium dries completely clear. But this will give more of a chalky finish. It's a conundrum sometimes, isn't it, with finishes and different mediums. But the best thing to do, Lynette, would you say, is just have a go. Absolutely. Have a practice, see what works with you. And that's why a happy hour deal, that's why when we've got pick and mixes for you as well, and you get to choose any two with the gesso, it just gives you that base layer to start experimenting with. Right, so all I'm going to do now is I'm going to dry brush with the white gesso. Just to pick out, so I'm just going to have to clean my brush off. So we've gone from transparent gesso onto the white gesso. And we're going to dry brush over the top just to pick out all this lovely detail. So you saw me almost stippling before, but what I'm going to do is just going to lift this slightly and I'm going to start almost pulling it down like a stripe without too much. That was far too much. And it's going to pick up on all of your texture. So you could quite easily do this with, you know, um, 
a metallic or even the black gesso you could water well not water but you could add the white gesso and the black gesso together and you could create a gray so that looks really cool over the pink and the lilac that we've created there so what you do is just gently gently just keep pulling your white gesso over and look at the detail that's coming up from your texture paste i'll tell you how busy we are we just went a little quiet then which some of you at home would be glad about, um, only because we were just having to rearrange the set and take some of the set dressing onto the counter because we are running out of everything. Oh it's my been goodness, so busy. I know. I could, I could see you all um, just. Uh very big around there, behind Janice. you. Yeah, uh, so we've had to bring some of the mediums forward because we don't have much left um, on the counter. But what we have got left are amazing deals. They really, really are. Uh, and I love this technique that you're doing. It's with, really yeah. simple. So I'm just going to try that off again, and okay. then I'm going to add in a couple of, they've probably sold out, the um, crackled crackle. enamel. Oh, can't wait to see these, yeah. So, uh, and now. then we will just leave it to the side, and hopefully we'll get time at the end of the show to come back in, yes. and we'll just see how that crackle has Let's progressed. Let's have a look at the colours we have got left. Um, should we head to the website? Right. We have had a couple that have bounced back, the oh. ones that have sold out. So, to let you know what we've got... Let's go to the website. That's where we are. So we've got pickle, bark, rouge, ice, slick. We've got cider, lipstick, violet, coral, fudge. We've got Atlantic and we've got pinked. So those are the ones we've got left. And when you see them, it's fastest fingers first, really. Um, the only... The only ones that we have really good stock of is cider and bark. The rest are incredibly busy but it is your one stop for your crackle and they're going to look amazing we're going to see how they work yeah so i've got i've got the mauve and i have got the cerise but obviously the other colors do exactly the same thing yeah they've got this super cool like precision nib so say you had a mixed media paste say this wasn't um you couldn't see through this behind it didn't have it you could fill that area yeah you know very precisely you could write your name or anything but what i love doing is just adding what's this it's there there we go oh doesn't want to come out that's because i've blocked my nib we'll give it a bit of a poke and then it will come out beautifully there always works after a poke always works there you so, go all you do then is just sort of create. Now, would you say once you've put that on, Lynette, you need to keep it flat because you don't want it to run, or does it kind of set instantly? It, it, it's not, although it is more liquid than the other crackles yeah. that I produce, yeah. um, it's still not, I still could lift it. Yeah. And it wouldn't, it wouldn't really go anywhere. So it's going to be great, like you say, for getting those precision bits that you want. Like it could be, the, how about like cavachons? Exactly. At the centre of cavachons. Cavachons. Cavachon, anyone? Cavachons. So I'm just literally adding a little bit here and there. And when do we start to see, because I'm very impatient, when do we start to see the crackle? So the crackle can happen um, on your, obviously, the thinnest parts, the thinner the crackle, the finer the the thinner you apply the crackle, yeah. the finer your cracks are going to be. The thicker you apply it, the bigger your crack the bigger, will be. The bigger the crack will be. Okay. So, but it can ha start happening anywhere from five minutes and, and be done within yeah. half an hour. Can you force dry it? No. No. Right. So we need to leave it. We need to be patient. We need to walk away. But the, the results truly are amazing and you can see here how Lynette is using it so just going for the bits that she wants to use it for but also if you wanted to sign your name uh, you could do that I mean that would be so cool on an MDF plaque and then you write your name or you could write you know love or I love you or something else divorce I mean yeah. you could put divorce why not happy I like divorce. that one yeah um, because the cracks are starting to, to appear. appear. You might as well put a happy divorce with something that's going to crack. Exactly. And that would be as much as much uh, crackle as I would apply. Yes. But let me just have a little look. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but there is some very, very slight 
cracking happening on oh, this very, let's have a look. Jimmy, very Jimmy's finest. coming a bit closer. The very, very... i just give it a wiggle. Can we pick that up or not? Oh. Maybe not. Hopefully by the end, yes, this thicker area will have started to crackle. Perfect, so. perfect. Well, my goodness, what a busy show we are having. Shall we have a quick recap of what we've got left on the show? Um, uh, which I don't think will take long. We have got your MDF um, artist trading cards. Now, we call them artist trading cards, but as Lynette said, you could start to practice and try out your different unique styles on here. So they could be mini little pieces of art. You've got your rectangles, you've got your circles. There's nothing stopping you from actually popping them together like that, maybe having the circle just off to one side, sticking them together with a bit of gel medium, gestoing over them, and then adding your effects to that. That would look pretty cool. So you've got your love heart, You've also got your rectangles and you've got your circles. Um, your rectangles, you've got one, two, three, four, you've got eight of those. You've got three, six, nine, twelve of your circles and your love hearts, three, six, nine, twelve of those as well. Uh, so that is an incredible deal down to 9.99 uh, but it is only till the end of the hour we have got 22 and a half minutes left 22 and a half minutes left I have to keep putting things under the counter because we're selling out of stuff right now we have got some mediums for you they're not in the happy hour deals but they're still a deal in themselves so Let's start off with your gesso. This is a pick and mix and you choose any two. So you've got your black gesso, your white gesso and your transparent gesso. You choose, you decide. 150 mil in each one from Pretty Gets Gritty. 12 pounds and 98 pence, great price. Choose any two, choose any two. So that's your gessos. Next up, you've got your texture paste um, and we've got various texture paste for you. I don't know if, any of these are open, I'm not going to open them. Um, now you've got your sand texture paste, you've got your thick texture paste, and you've got your resist texture paste, you've got your marble texture paste, and your white texture paste. So you can choose any two, any two of these uh, if you want to go for them. What's the marble texture paste? So that is extra chunky. Ooh. It's, um, it's, it's got actual chunks of marble in it. Has so it? It gives really, really good. So this this area here, if I to bring this piece back in. Yeah. So you see this really, really lumpy area here? That is the marble texture paste. Wow. So, you, yeah, that's it there. It's just pick up on the... I can see. The great effect, though, isn't it? It is. It's beautiful. Love that. You can use that through your text through your stencils, you can also if use it just randomly. Wide enough, if you've got yeah. a wide enough area, if you've got a really yeah. open stencil, open stencil, absolutely pop, pop it through your stencils. I tell you what, it'd be but nice I'd if you got like a little pump just, pot and added it to it yeah. and then got that rusty effect. Wouldn't that be amazing? I just usually get my finger in there and just give it a swipe. Pop around it around, and, yeah. yeah. 12 pounds and 98 pence 380673 is your item number uh, you choose you decide it's a great price for any two uh, next up next up again we've got another great price for your gel mediums you get both of these i love gel mediums i was introduced to gel mediums now i use gel mediums to stick anything yes uh, it works wonders Brilliant I had mending school shoes. Yeah, I had a little rabbit, a bunny rabbit in the garden, a stone rabbit, and its ear fell off. So I used some glue, and then its ear fell off again, and then I used some other glue, and then its ear fell off again. And I used gel medium, and do you know what? It's been there ever since, won't move. Just stays right there. It's not a real rabbit, it's a stone rabbit. Not a stoned rabbit, a stone rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> 13 pounds and 98 pence, 024888, just to save any confusion. Uh, sorry to offend anybody there. Uh, so that's your... Um your gel medium. Right, let's move on because we've got some more items for you. This is also proven popular as well. It's a great little set of MDF. You've got your quotes, your wings and your things. Um, the wings are beautiful. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, and they're a good thickness to them. Um, all laser cut as well, so precision. Those wings also include your butterflies. Butterflies are beautiful. Do you know they only they only live for a couple of days, a week at the most. I know, it's a shame, Sad, isn't, isn't it? it? And I'm so dad, beautiful. We had one in the house this morning and Pops went to try and catch it. I'm like, Dad, don't touch it. Oh, no, don't touch it. No, because you take the powder off their wings. Yeah. Uh, you've got, there you've got Cherish. 
we need to cherish our insects. Yes. We've got more wings in there as well. Uh, not all insects, though. Some aren't supposed to be cherished. Uh, some are supposed to, you just run away from them as fast as you can. Uh, you've got your butterflies in there as well. Uh, oh, that's nice. So that will be an insert from one of the wings. Oh, yes, yes. So you, you get little you, bonus bits. So bonus bits in there as well. We love a, we love a bonus bit. Mm -hmm. um, and then you've got your bugs as well. Like a little bug. It's like a little wetter bug or a beetle. Or... It could be a nutcracker. It looks like a nutcracker at the top, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does sort of look like a nutcracker. I wouldn't like that. You yeah, wouldn't want to put your nuts, nuts in no. that, though, would you? You certainly Definitely wouldn't. not. You wouldn't want the beetle cracking your nuts. Nine pounds and 99 pence. You don't know where it's been. 069801 is your item number. Saving three pounds on that deal. As wonderful that is. Um, and then that leads us to the stamps. Oh, my word. This is such a great value for money only until the top of the hour you choose any two it's a half price deal if you want to go for four that's the price you normally be paying for two that's right isn't yeah. it wow oh my days and these are really really interesting they really are uh, you can see the different styles as we're running through them everything that you see there on the front apart from the color of course is what's in the stamp so you can have a peruse you can have a look and you can choose the stamp that you want. But they make excellent backgrounds. They make excellent little suggestive points and parts to your designs that you're making and creating. And you could, when you stamp out, is that the right way round? Probably that way round. There you go. Um, you could actually stamp and then cut out. For example, this one, the wings have been stamped and cut out. You can see they're just elevating slightly. But great stamps for building your backgrounds, doing your mixed media projects, doing something a little bit different doing something a little bit different and just giving you that inspiration. Absolutely incredible deal. But you do need to be quick to get the ones you want because we're busy on these as well. 057141 is your item number. Now, your website is the best place to go for for your crackle enamels. Um, these are absolutely fantastic. They really, really are. You're getting three for $12.97. Treat yourself. Just that little bit on a card. It might be the center of a flower. When you put the enamel, um, enamel on, uh, it will crack. So you'll leave it for uh, a wee bit of time and it'll start to crack. It looks so effective. So that's going to be great for the center for your flowers, for your flower petals, for your trees, for your grass, anything that you want to look a little bit different. For the center of your cabochons, if you want. We have pinked fudge coral violet lipstick cider slick rouge bark pickle left for you we have sold out of all the other colors but they are fabulous colors to have left for you so you choose any three for me if i was going to choose three i would go for the pinked because i really like that i'd go for the pickle and then i'd either go for the bark or the coral Mine would be slick cider and coral. Slick cider yeah. and coral. There you go. But which three are your three? Pop them in your basket and check on out. Uh, right. Let's get back to Lynette. Have we to make a card? Shall we? Yeah. Let's do it. I think so. Let's do it. So this is what we are going to be aiming for. So this sort of... Uh, so very random but colourful, like mixed media style sort of card. That's similar. Very easy to achieve. That's similar to the card I picked up when I was over there and I clocked that. I thought, oh, yeah. I like this one. Yeah, yeah, I like this. So I'm going to show you how easy that is to achieve. So we'll just pop that out of the way. So I've got a sheet of our Dolly Dimples mixed media card yeah. because it is my go-to. Yeah, it's fabulous, Absolutely isn't it? love it. And we're going to start just by building a background so I'm not even going to put it on a block I'm just going to add my distressed oxide and randomly stamp it. Is this one of the stamps in the um, pick and mix? It is. It is. It's it the is. honeycomb one isn't it? Yes and yeah. because I've got other ink still on there there's a bit of green turquoise it's going to add to the effect. Now so that I've one just... is called meshed up. Yes meshed up I do love it so what I do is just keep stamping until I think there's nothing left on the stamp so we've got a very random edgy sort of areas going on okay so let's swap out for another stamp and what I'm looking choose? for spot on 
spot on. Spot on. And I'm going to do like the same one. again yep. with the same colour. Okay. Now you're not you I can't see an acrylic block or anything no, there. No, I'm just there. using my hand because I want that really raw, organic sort of look. Yeah. I don't want anything too precious. And we're just going to layer or add colour where we've got open areas. And again, I'm not re-inking that many times. So we're just, I want a little bit more spottage up there. So I'll just keep applying and keep adding. And I think we'll go for that area there. So now I'm going to swap to another stamp and another colour. Let me just pop that out of the way or else I'll probably just head straight back to it. And I'm going to go for Janice's favourite. Which one's that? The Cracked Up. Ooh. So I'm taking, it's probably Peacock Feathers Distress Oxide. And again, I'm just inking a little area. And I'm just very, very lightly adding here and there. I don't want to eclipse too much of the yellow. So I've used the cracked up and again I'm going to swap to another stamp and I think I'm going to go for puddled up. So all we're doing at the minute is just playing around with colour, applying it and not being very perfect about it. But it is going to give an amazing effect. Right, so I'm happy with that and we will swap out again so we'll get a bit of pink coming through here. So now I'm going to use one of my other favourites. So I think meshed up and hashed up like are that. probably, and I'm, I might actually, because I want to get the full effect of this, I'm going to actually pop it onto. Now I've been quiet again, block. Lynette, you may oh, have noticed. Okay. Because we've had some more sellouts. Oh. We're just trying to work out what we've got left. Oh my days, the enamel has just gone crazy. The enamel has just gone crazy. So we do have some left for you. If this is the first time you've seen it, it's absolutely amazing. You will love working with this. It's going to give a whole new dimension. If you think glossy accents and then you add crackle to it, you've got something quite extraordinary. This is your enamel glaze that cracks as it dries it's absolutely fantastic so the colors we've got left are your pickle your bark your rouge your slick your cider your coral your fudge and your lipstick sounds like a party doesn't it these are amazing you choose any three choose any three for 12 pounds and 97 pence that is an incredible deal it really is now coral has gone that's just sold out uh, sea foam is back in the race. We've had some of the sea foam bounce back in, so we'll get that back for you. Um, but you can see just how busy. This was full. Um, the website is the best place to go, and that will keep you up to date with what we've got. But you know what? Treat yourself. It's a happy hour deal. You might as well. The price of those will be going back up at the top of the hour. Sorry to interrupt you, uh, Lynette. So what you're doing no, is absolutely, absolutely amazing. Absolutely fine. So I just used the hashed up. And I love the sketchy feel of that. Oh, I love that. And what I'm going to add on to now is the word up. Okay. So we are just creating layers. Who sang word up? Was it Cameo? Word yes, up. It was. That's the word. And he and he had an interesting costume, didn't he? Very interesting. It's a very interesting cod piece. <laughs> Those right. are the days. Back in the day. Back in the day. Right, so now we've got this. Okay. Right, and it's it's lovely. It's random. Yeah. It's how I like it to be, but I want it even more Okay, so what random. are you going to do? So I'm going to spritz it with water. Ooh. Because, of course, it's distressed oxide. Yeah. So what we've got down there is going to start moving because it's water reactive. We're going to almost make it into a watercolour. Okay. So if you don't have distressed oxide and you want to get this effect yeah you could use any sprays or watercolors that you've got all okay. you would do is just lay a little bit out on your mat yeah. and put your stamp into your watercolor or your spray yeah and do exactly the same thing and then still spritz afterwards you can spritz afterwards yeah. but all I'm going to do now is just let some of this water roll around I like this so it's it's just dispersing 
the perfect colour blocks that we've got. It's just filling the spaces. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you add as much water as you want and let it do its thing and then pop it out of the way to dry. Okay. So I've absolutely got one that I made earlier. So let me just dry this mat off ever so, ever so slightly. And that is after letting it do its thing. And you can see it's gone quite blurry, but it's still come back to having yeah. that chalky finish because we've used the distress oxide. This so. would be a great technique to do outside at the moment because it's so hot. It'd dry next to no time, wouldn't yes. it? Yes. Apparently yes. they're cracking eggs on the pavement and cooking wow. them. That's, that's how hot it is. That is crazy. That is crazy. Right, so now I want to use... Where's it gone? We've used you. Pop out of my way. I want to add some black in. Okay. And the tiny stamps on the Unity of Flight are perfect for this. So we've got the watercolour effect, we've blurred the edges, yep. but now we want to bring back a little bit of focus. And which set is this from? It's the one with the wings. Yeah, so this is Unity of Flight. Unity of Flight. Yeah. Because there are two sets in your stamp sets that have wings in them. Yes. And the again, these are all drawn used. by you, aren't they, Lynette? They are. They are yeah. all... You're very talented, all. you know that. Oh, thank you. So I am just, again, second, third, fourth generation stamp. Yeah. However long it takes for the ink to go off the pad. So I've used the large numbers. Yeah. Now I'm going to come on with... The smaller. Do you know numbers. what's nice about doing this as well? You're making a unique background. Yeah. No one else is going to have it. It's never ever going to look the same, even if you try to recreate it. Yeah. It's not because wherever your hand falls is completely different every time. Yeah. So now I'm switching to the little bubbles. I adore the little bubbles Do you? on the Use Your Wings okay. stamp. So it's just really cute. Now, we are coming up to the end of our happy hour deal. Let's see how much time we've got on the clock. Let's have a look. Shall I get out of the way? Six minutes and 46 seconds now. We've had so many sellouts. I don't want you to miss out. So we've only got three and a half minutes left on the live show. I will take you back to Lynette in a moment's time. But I want you to get your deals. These deals will end at 8 o'clock tonight. So if you want to treat yourself to those stamps, they're half price. They're fabulous. It's what Lynette is using. They are amazing. If you want to go for your MDF bits. They're there, they're available for you at the moment and they are at an incredible price. You've got your mediums. The mediums, they're not in the happy hour prices but they're still sensational prices. And we have the enameled cracked glaze or the get cracked enamel. Um, and we've only got one, two, three, four. We've only got eight colours left, have we? Or has that changed? S which one's sold out? Wh which two have sold out? We've got pickle, bark, rouge, cider, fudge. So sea foam has gone and lipstick has gone. Wow. That was full when we began. That was full when we began. Um, but now you've only got those left. Brilliant. So there you go. Uh, right, £12.97. That's for your get cracked enamel. A nice bit of advertising there for you as well. Right, let's head back to Lynette. Right, so all I'm going to do now, I've swapped for another one that is dry because I want to do a little bit of heat embossing now. Okay. So I want to bring, now we've, we've got all this lovely colour going on, I want to bring some more white back into it. Okay. So I've just stamped up with my um, white stamp pad the um, bubble hopper. Yeah, this, I like, this is, this is cute and different. Yeah, again, it's, you can use it mixed media style like I do, or it's good for men's cards, yeah. boys' cards. So Anyone that likes bugs. Yeah. Do you like bugs? Um, I'm not too bothered about bugs. You know, my my problems lie with um, frogs and oh. toads. And yeah, and tanks. Toads. Oh, toads. Yeah, no, I haven't oh, got a problem quite, with. I got a problem with tanks. <laughs> yeah. Frogs and tanks. <laughs> No, bridge, bridges and frogs, if we're getting specific. Bridge, oh, don't bridges. get me started on bridges. I'm with you. Yeah. I'm with you on bridges. Terrified of them. Yeah, it's not... Uh, bridges are not, not my thing at all. I'm exactly the same. So we are just adding this white stamping in. Again, very randomly. How are we doing for time? Time-wise... One minute. One minute, right. We're probably just going to get 
this heat embossed. Do you know what? I wondered why I couldn't see it as you were stamping it. <laughs> no, yeah, it's, it's, it's white on there. I say it's, it's not going to be really, really bright, but if I bring this card in, yeah. you can just see if I tip it, you get that lovely oh, yeah. um, glassy sort of effect. Love that. I tell you what, with it's your, just with that your hidden interest. With your um, get crackled enamel on there as well. Oh mm. my word, that would be amazing. We are running out of time. I do apologise to everyone if you were looking forward to seeing the rest of the demonstrations. But when we have a busy show like this, we've just got to go with the flow. So, oh, yeah. Lynette, thank you so much for no, coming thank in. Thank you. What a busy show. I know. My days. Uh, well, you won't have much left to take home with you. Let's put it that way. No. Nope. That's, uh, yeah, a bit lighter. When are we going to see you again? You've got five tomorrow seconds. Morning. Excellent. I Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock tomorrow morning. Thanks, Lynette. No, thank you. Stay where you are, everyone. More coming up. Right, Emma and Scott are up next. We're heading back to the one-day special with Clever Prince in the kitchen with Carrera. My word, that is a fabulous blender. And then we're back with the one-day special later on. Have a good evening, everyone. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door and Crafts 2. My crafting journey's taken me through all different types of crafting, from stamping and die cutting to colouring and inking, and loads of different things. I've been working with Crafts 2 now for over three years, and they produce the John Next Door brand, distribute it, and make sure that everything is perfect in that. This allows me to work with the fantastic Crafts 2 tools and products, as well as some of their other amazing brands such as 2J Stamps, Press Cut, and the Craft Artist range of glues and consumables and inks. I really find that this partnership is extremely strong and helps me bring out the best of my products and all the other products within the Crafts 2 stable and the ones that I design. I'm Ali Reeve, I'm from the company Stamps Away. Stamps Away is a family run company with my husband and I. We create all things crafty, especially with a passion for mixed media. So I hope you won't miss the shows with Stamps Away. Hiya, I'm Hazel Eaton from Pink Frog. Pink Frog is an established company. You may have seen us in shows up and down the country. We have a wide range of designs and we're particularly known for our flower dyes and flower stamps. On our shows, I hope to bring you many hints and tips and techniques to inspire you, the crafter, at home. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, the craft store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences, as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence, based on the reviews from over 60,000 the craft store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. So here we are, 8 o'clock, live for our second of our brilliant hours of one day special where you are looking at bright, beautiful, gorgeous work from Clever Prince here where the artist is right next to me who's going to take us through this hour and share inspiration behind it and hopefully while you're looking at these if you missed the very first show um, then you understand that for this for me is a brilliant opportunity to get huge amounts of stamps if you went for a complete collection 
with stencils and with dyes and extra stamps in there as well, which will allow you to create a world which could be all sorts, which I certainly know will be bright and colourful. Uh, we had a lovely first hour. Uh, you can always catch it on, uh, on Rewind if you wanted to. But I mean, Emma is here to take us through with this. I didn't realise we were live. I was still shouting across the studio. You were having a lovely time. Oh. It's all right. Hi, again. It's, it's, all, it's, it's all all right. It's all okay. Um, listen, it is, it's lovely to be with you a second hour. Thank you Love the much. first hour with us. Thank and you. we had a little glimpse into your world uh, where you're know, from a young girl yes, and ideas of characters. <laughs> yeah, well, which is great, isn't it? Because from that, yeah. we've, we've, we've got this beautiful collection of characters and creatures and, and wildlife yeah, as well. All sorts going to come out over the next <laughs> days. It's, um, this is from the Secret Garden, which wasn't a secret, but I thought it was, yeah. from my grandma's house when I was a oh, child. Oh, lovely. Um, I used to go off on my own and I would talk away to an imaginary people <laughs> and the fairies, this is what I imagined they looked like. Yeah. Um, there was a wishing tree, I used to call it the wishing oh, tree, it was a yeah, magic yeah, tree yeah. and obviously there's a book as well. Yeah, oh yeah. I love that story. Um, all different things. Yeah. It just sort of all comes together. I mean, I've always been a bit of a loner. I was as a child as well. I, I was always happy to be on my own with my okay, imagination. Okay. Give us pens and paper, and that was it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's I like was. My little girl, actually. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, honestly, that's. Uh, yeah. I was and I was. I used to line the teddies up and things and teach them <laughs> art and. <laughs> Uh -huh. it, uh, it is brilliant. It is lovely, and it, and it does transcend into what you're looking at now, mm -hmm. uh, where we have got uh, all of these lovely, uh, gorgeous creations for you. Let me just give you the breakdown of the housekeeping, if you like. Uh, you've got two options on your one-day special. They're both under the same item code, uh, 947868. And basically, you can have the choice of which set you go. Set over here, or the set over here. Oh, it was all right. It was all right. You okay, Emma? Uh, it wasn't me. That's all right. We're okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's out of shot, out of mind. It's okay. Um, uh, we've got Blossom is our very first of our sets that you can look at here. And there is Blossom there. Very angelic, very beautiful, very serene, uh, with some lovely sentiments that go with these. But also in uh, Blossom's set, there are 32 stamps. But you've got some gorgeous florals, some we were looking at in the first hour. So these are lovely to work with. They've got a really lovely hand-drawn feel, so a very lovely natural feel. When you, if you're working with journaling, for example, not just for cards, uh, but just for journaling and creating these characters, this whimsical world of of course, that you can see with loads and loads of little elements that build up beautifully, uh, which is gorgeous. That's your first option if you want to go for Blossom. Uh, if you want to go for the second option, it's lovely Flossy. And Flossy, recognise Flossy, she's got the bobbed hairdo, um, which is which is absolutely gorgeous. Eyes wide open here, but again, with beautiful wings and really lovely, nice open drawing spaces on these. So again, if you wanted to add your own inspiration, your own pattern, your own sort of uh, look on those dresses and the outfits, and you can do but again really lovely big stamps to work on in here that go gorgeous when they're colored but again a very natural feel but again not just in the floral because you're saying it could be like a little fish we've got a character's here it could yes. be well, i would say that it could be like a three-eyed monster if you wanted to use it, it for, for space anything. i mean halloween you've got your oh, yeah. monsters yes your, the One monsters are eye eyeball plants yeah. and things like that yeah. but i mean that's another way my imagination can go yeah but i mean it was a rose hip type flower i thought yes. well, i'll bring it a little bit modern a bit more funky and then you sort of incorporated with everything else. You'd have a pretty, funky, yeah. um, clean and simple, or go totally wild. Yeah, they, they're, honestly, there is something mm -hmm. in there for every. There it's is. how you interpret it, I think, is what's, uh, what's great about the work you get from, from Emma here. Now, basically, that's your one-day special. Uh, you can go for whichever one of those you want to. Whichever one you choose, you've got an £11 saving. That brings your price down to £32.96 if you want to go for those. Brilliant opportunity. Now... If you wanted to, and this is what we, the trends that we spotted in the first hour, is everyone loves these both sets so much that they've gone for the complete collection, which is you get both Blossom and Flossy stamp sets as well, plus you're also going to get these gorgeous dies, 15 dies in total, that really are fantastic. And when we show you some, some of the uh, samples, you're going to notice we've got butterfly cutouts, we've got the dragonfly, we've got the beautiful looks that you can see, which are absolutely stunning. Plus, on top of that, we're going to be giving you the stencils, three sets of the stencils again, that are absolutely fantastic to work with for your backgrounds to create this and carry on and continue this world that these characters are creating with the mushrooms in there, more florals, 
walls again, some beautiful images. Plus, on top of that, something that's not in either the set, basically, or Blossom or of Flossie, is its own stamp, a lovely stamp, four stamps, actually, which is the wishing tree that you can see, which is really, really lovely. So you've got everyone's journey is different, plus you've got the two different sets of the thistles, then you've got that beautiful, gorgeous tree in there as well. Now, all of that combines, because all of those uh, um, uh, elements are available individually, they all have different savings on it. So what's happened is with the complete collection, all of those goes in, all those savings are also carried over, plus on top of that, you're going to be getting an extra saving. So, £26.90 pence to be precise, or if you're a Freedom member, how about that? You're saving £36.90, and it's delivered for that price as well, which is fantastic. And you can also split that over two payments of just £44.98. pence. Five nine six. 826 is, I think, um, the item code that you'll need. And that's where uh, a lot of the stock was going to start with on the complete. Let's share with you uh, some, some gorgeous work, some that I didn't get around to showing in the first hour, but there are loads of samples. Um, but what I love about this is that you can build up, even if you use the same stamp, let's say one of the florals, yeah. The way that you colour it, the way that you change mm -hmm. it, means it looks like a completely different flower it, by the time you finish. It, be, it really, really does. Um, scene building. That's kind of way I want to go with it. You yeah. build it up as little or as big as you want. And I mean, this plaque here is going to live on my shed. Oh, is it? it on the is. shed? I, I love it. I'm going to varnish it and put it there on the shed. Is. Yeah, it does. It all hangs up there. It's going to be perfect, that. I love it. But those flowers on the right-hand side, for example, of uh, Blossom yep. that we can see there. But I love those again because you can change the colouring completely, you the can. look of them as well. Just changing the colour of them changes the complete way that the look yeah um, as well as using your the sketchy flowers behind and yes. then just if you don't like fussy cutting just add a couple of extra um of the die cuts and things at the front and it can make something look from being quite plain and simple to uh, Wow. Yeah, no, so, it's a big, a big yeah. difference. In fact, they are sizable. We're going to look at these uh, these stamps uh, these in a second. Uh, you, you, I love this for your, for your little uh, ATC oh, cards ATCs. as well. Look at these. I'm going to do some ATCs tomorrow, so that's an ATC wiggle tag. Yeah. I've decided that's what it is. They, look at that. I yeah. mean, that is beautiful. And all I used for that was I used a pink and a red, and I used the pink in the middle and just went around the edges of the oh, stamp. Yep. And I yep. didn't use the stamp platform or anything because it doesn't even matter if you go slightly off. It just makes the flower look fuller. Oh, they are, they are, I really do love these. Again, gorgeous with the butterfly, mm -hmm. but so, so perfect. They are, they are beautiful. And let's just show you a couple, because they are, they've got some here that I just want to show. It was nice in contrast uh, with regards to, they don't have to be just in the big bright no. colours, although they really lend themselves to that. Um, for here, for example, we saw them just, the, shape, the shapes worked out beautifully, didn't they? It did. Um, looking at that. So different, many different styles in one collection. It's yeah. a little bit... Seeing what the design team do with it as well. Do you know when something's yours and you get a bit tunnel vision? Oh, yeah, it's good to have an outside eye on something. You see it? everybody else what comes back with it blows my mind because it's just so different. Yeah. And the way that they use them. And that is different. And then we're going to go to the pastels and see total just that one of that. It's is, like it's total flip of total, the coin, isn't it? Isn't it? Yes. It's this is Linda uh, that's, that's done this. We're getting a very different feel. Uh, with regards to to those, and in fact, just to carry that on, uh, Denise had a similar kind of feel with the pastels. Look at this. Um, so you've got that, which will work really nicely, and then in complete contrast, full on bright, vivid mm -hmm. uh, richness in there. And they're they're, they're all um, absolutely beautiful, but all again, very very different. So you can go from very serene. Very relaxed, very yeah. soothing, calming, peaceful, to vibrant, yeah. zingy, powerful, popping colours. Which I think uh, takes it to everybody's personality, really, doesn't it? Yeah, it does, it? absolutely. From... We all have days up with one of them, won't we, oh, or yeah. something? So, uh, yeah, really lovely. So, there you go. Complete collection, 596826. Uh, I really recommend big savings. Now, the other thing you may want to pop into your basket, uh, and this is uh, individual, it's not with any of the sets uh, themselves, but some beautiful papers that Emma's designed for her. You're going to be getting 24 four sheets in total. Um, I'll tell you what I'm going to do is, is that there's, a, there's, there's a lot on here and some of them I didn't get a chance to show in the first hour, uh, in a bit more sort of close up. So let me just bring uh, a few of the different ones in. And a lot of these are getting, these are great. A lot of these are going to tie in beautifully with um, the, um, the stamps that you're going to be getting if you go for the complete collection. But I'll just hold them here and take some down. But works so, so nicely. I love this again with your white space. If you want to carry on, want to put some extra stamping onto there, you've got plenty of space to do so. But again, as you can see, you're really picking 
picking out ex a lot of the stamps that are there available and also with the dies and also uh, if you wanted to be working um, uh, um, the stencils, you know, but again, lots of, there's one of the designs that's very much has got this wiggle that you can see here. That's one of the, uh, one of the stamps as well that was shown in the last hour, which is beautiful. Uh, I love this, gorgeous. Again, we're saying for journaling, absolutely brilliant. So some of them are full on colour, some of them a bit, little bit more minimalist in those. Again, lots of nice spaces, use of the colours. Again, a replay then of some of the, um, some of the stamps that you'll see, but look at these. Loads and loads and loads of colours. So if you want to work with papers to go with what you've got on top of these with your dies, for example, lovely combination. Three two five seven two eight nineteen pounds and twenty pence for all of those twenty four sheets. Uh, the website, of course, the craft store dot com is the place to visit. Uh, where you get, if you wanted to, you can go for a lot of these all individually. So the uh, the dies are there individually, the stencils are there, you've got the stamps, actually, yeah, we've got even the, uh, the beautiful wishing tree is there on its own. But the best value, best place to get them, the complete collection. Uh, that's where you're going to get uh, most. And actually, it's not just about best price or best savings, is it, Emma? I think the, the thing about no. that, if you go for the complete collection, is you, you then get the full world at your fingertips you to really work with. You really do. And then if you look at what you've already got in your stash from other brands, it doesn't just have to be made, and see how much it works in yeah. and extends yeah, 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 everything yeah. else you've got. Because yeah. sometimes we have something that we think, oh, that would be nice, but I've used it a few times. Add this into it. Yeah do a different background and it completely changes the way mm. something else looks. Yeah, no, absolutely fantastic, beautiful. Now, we left you with a bit of a cliffhanger the tree. at the end of the first hour because uh, it wasn't plans, but um, <laughs> hey, we just ran out a few seconds. Uh, you just printed out for us the, uh, the wishing tree. And you said, there it is, there it is. The we, had to, we had to leave. <laughs> so we said you could see it at the beginning of the hour uh, this year, which was uh, this hour, uh, <laughs> this year. <laughs> I tell you, that's how this year's felt, though, Emma. I was going to do something this year. <laughs> had a little moment. Where are we? Where are we? <laughs> Um, see, I've had the medication. I'm all right now. I'm good. Um, so, yeah, I love this. This is gorgeous. Big stamp, though, isn't it? It's a lovely, lovely big stamp. And like I say, you don't just have to use it as a tree. That can be a bush, so just bring it in the corner, make mm. an arch with it. Use this. If you do this in green, then you can just sort of add the flowers on top of it. And you've got your bouquet of flowers big there, bouquet. ready. That's yeah. a great idea, that. Whatever it is. So what I've done is I've stamped it out once in a darker green. I'm going over with a lighter green. And it doesn't, you don't even have to stamp it on perfect either. It's honestly, it's foolproof. If I can do it, anybody can. Oh, I think Trust that's... me. Very and, modest, very modest. <laughs> and just over the top ish. It's definitely not straight. <laughs> <laughs> but how much fuller it looks. Yeah. It looks more like you're looking through a tree, doesn't yes. it? You've got your shade and everything there done. And then in the packs, you get all these like little grasses and things in the packs, in the stamps, Emma. And what I'm going to do is <sighs> fluff. Where's that come from? Ooh. Just building up. And then you've got all your little grasses. Actually, if you're doing a property at home, turn it over and stamp it. And build it up. But then I quite like it when it's patchy. Because you look at you look at, if you look at grass out your window, it's not all just one colour unless it's oh, the right. Queen's yeah, grass. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Queen the Queen's grass is The Queen's grass, yeah. Her grass will all be one colour. Is she all painted? Yeah, probably. <laughs> I've seen a video where somebody was spray painting the dead plant. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. It was like a twig and then a spray painting a green. I thought, isn't that a good <laughs> idea? I'll paint all my strawberries red. <laughs> and just tell everybody they can't eat them. <laughs> I'm going over with another colour green, a, a little bit darker. But this is again, get all your distress inks out, um, whatever ink pads you've got. I use the Versa, Versa Craft when I'm here because if you heat set it onto fabric, it's waterproof. Right, well, okay. But it's also water reactive when you're doing this oh, kind of thing lovely. with it. Look at that. Well, straight away you've got that name out of the clover set. So I don't know where I'm getting that one from. <laughs> is this you doing a simple demonstration, by the way, again? In the beginning this of the is hour? simple. I haven't yeah, done. that's what I thought. Yeah, because yeah, you stuck to your word then, haven't you? I really have. Yeah. <laughs> Miracles do happen. So yeah. again, a little bit green on the bottom, but I'm going to go with purple, with it being your clover type. Oh yeah, I yeah. Don't like the other prickly things. Bit of bit of heather. Heather, that's the one. 
which are apparently putting heather near your front doorstep if you're selling your house is meant to be quite nice is it annoying and, and baked bread and, and newcastle outside. front street there used to, used to be women that used to try and sell you sprigs of heather oh yeah a bit of lucky heather mm. and there I, was I had a, a girl for once called heather she dumped me she was so lucky well, she, uh, well, well, she was probably lucky you know, she got off like this. She done well, actually. Yeah, that's why she got. That's why. She, ah, that's why it's called Lucky Heather. Mm. Lucky Heather, unlucky Scotty. Uh, no, well. or Lucky Heather. Unlucky Heather should have got lost. You, lucky you, because you got Fiona. That's true. Sit well saved. Thank you. Yeah. See, it's the case. Was watching. Well done. Well done. I owe you one for that one. <laughs> lucky Fifi. Exactly. <laughs> no, lucky you for having Fiona. Yes, lucky. Oh, so lucky me. <laughs> So this one here is just another bit of plant. I don't know, it can be whatever it is. Any people out there that know anything about gardening, apart from dro uh, growing one strawberry, let us know what I've drawn. Is it your first year growing the strawberry plant? Yeah. Okay. Oh, so, I've got... Yeah, but how many are you supposed to get on your first yield? Oh, I've got quite... I've got about four different plant pots full of them. Have you? Oh, yeah. Um, it's all right. Different... Maybe a strawberry... Is it an eaten mess? I, I don't know. I haven't got it. I mean, I'll make a eaten mess. And it, I'm not. Do, do you know what I need a mess? You know, yeah. you know the meringue stuff. Yeah, and the, meringue and oh, cream and strawberries. I'll Ooh. give it to me, ma'am. She can do that. That's so good. That's one. Of the, if that's not the best dessert ever. I don't know what mm. is. And if you can challenge my, I feel really small behind this card. If you, I feel like I've, Chad. I'm just like, no. Do you know what it is? I've built it Where's up. Wally? I actually said that whoever's presenting is going to need to step up. I know. Ladder. I think they've done that deliberately. Uh, we'll get our lucky Scott off. Um, if you've got a better dessert than an eaten mess, let us know. There is because it's apparently it's official from a gallery, and they, whatever they say is true. Uh, it's true. There isn't a better dessert than an eaten mess, especially made with your strawberries yeah i'm not bringing it in studio at i'll let you know if it was nice com. but they are oh, using, i love this yeah see i'm using the stencil now, now i'm also thinking that looked like it could be you know like the big firework display when fireworks were going off yes, as well like for black. november fire, yes do it on black and use your yeah. oh, see. firework display with those with sort colors of 5th of november as well that fifth of november fifth of november yeah i was seeing the rain remember yeah okay. and you don't even have to add it in fully because it's it. But then... By the way, there's a lot you... of people watching in the States. We've got a lot of people that... Oh, got, hi! A lot of people there. So I don't know if they had the 5th of November for a, for a, for a celebration. The 5th of July. The, 4th of July? 4th of July. Well, yeah. you, your celebrations carry on that long, do they? Yeah. yeah <laughs> well done. That's, that's proper. Of July. That is, yeah, the 4th. That was recently, wasn't it? It is July, isn't it? It is. It is. Yeah. Yeah. So what I'm doing is I've worked on a bigger bit of paper and I'm cutting it back, and it, all them rough edges are gone. I love this. This is a lovely, cutting it lovely straight one. down. I am going to go in with my fluffy caterpillar because he's oh, just... Oh, yeah, we've not used a caterpillar. Bad. Cedric, are we calling him Cedric? You can call him whatever you want. Oh. Cedric the caterpillar, so we need him. Crawling along there. <laughs> Isn't he lovely? I'm going to go over him again. Make him stand oh, there. Oh, Cedric. He's got a friend as well. Isn't he lovely? I think he's dead cute. And it's just... I just had to add a bunny. I like this. I like that. There was lo there used to be loads and loads of caterpillars. And then yeah, I am... Did. Yeah, not now. Mm. Then I am going to go in. I'm going to use Blossom. Cause it I must be around because we see a lot of butterflies. Which, there must be, but I think they just hide. They're probably scared stiff of me off when I was a child and collected them. <laughs> They've all moved. <laughs> so again... I'm going to start again. I think that's my new word. Blossom. This one's blossom. I stamped out flossy last time, but we'll do blossom. And then, I mean, you can chop our wings off as well. She can just be a little girl walking through the warrior, the warrest. The warrest. The warrest. I've... What was in that coffee you had? <laughs> <laughs> the forest. Yes, you could, couldn't you? Yeah, just be, be a, yeah, a, a little girl on her own. Yeah. And then again, if you want it all to blend in properly and you've got your distress oxidizing, so that pink there, I can just use the ink pad. I mean, obviously you've got pink watercolours and things, but I'm just thinking to bring it all in together. And then, that's super forgiving as well, the watercolour. These, because it's sort of, no matter what you do, you can't really get it wrong, because if you do have patches where it's lighter and darker, it looks like it's supposed to be like that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So just going in. But as we were saying earlier, well, you were saying it in the first hour as well. I'm about that whole idea that you leave a lot of nice 
open space. You left mm. open space on the butterfly. You left open space actually on her dress. Yeah. So that you do have a lot of chance to personalise this. If you want to go quite busy with a pattern or maybe you're using um, uh, other images you might have from your stencils uh, to create a pattern there, you, you, get, you get a lot of chance to be personal with really the do. images on there. You really Certainly do. butterflies, as you were talking about in the first hour. Yeah, but wait, everything, everything on it, it's, it's take it as far as you want it to yeah. go, really, isn't it? It's whatever your style is. And not just that, like you see, you can go as clean as simple, so if getting messy isn't what you like to do when splashing colour around, use your alcohol inks and your pencils. Whatever makes you happy is mm. the way to go when you're crafting. Yeah. So it may, that is nowhere near even. But if you take, now this is, if you take, which one does she want? Something like this. It will draw the eye away. Like from around there, you see, it's not even. I can't watercolour. Don't enjoy it, but I want to get some colour down sort of thing. Or it's your first time and you want it to be forgiven. I think this is it as well. A lot of people don't like to try the unknown. Right. But the, well, but the, what the thing I've heard when, you know, whenever we have guests on like yourself, when a lot of people talk about, you know, what, any set that they're going to get for the first time mm -hmm. is get them out and have a, have a play. Most just to important sort of see. Thing. Stamp them out, see what you've got. See what works with what, see if you only partly stamp something, mm -hmm. what do you get that's different, like you say, without the wings, for example, here with Blossom or whatever, but, um, yeah, it's, um... Okay. I mean, cut it out the easiest way. Once you get rid of that bit there, how different it looks. Yeah, that's, see, you know what, really you've got messy. my kind of shape for cutting out. Is, uh -huh. is, if you don't like doing all the fussy cutting, mm -hmm. this is really lovely, aren't they, for that? Yeah, and I do, I really, really try hard when I'm drawing anything to keep it as simple as I yeah. possibly can. Because that way, people who have been crafting for years, I'll cut our wings off, actually, straight round. And if you move the paper instead of the scissors, I know it's a bit boring seeing this cut out, but I just want to show, that. Yeah, once it's out, cut that's out, that looks totally different again. So yeah. just stamp off the edges, colour off the edges. Once you've trimmed like, it down, lovely, that. and it's super easy to do. Super that's easy. That's your floral dress you've got yes. there So then, I've got her in blue here. I'm going to put her there, but I'm going to die cut a couple of the butterflies. And then we're going to decorate them up as well. So I've got the little one and the bigger one. This shape of butterfly is, I think, I. I've obviously seen it in a book, there must be a butterfly that looks similar to that, the shape of it, because I seem to draw a lot of butterflies with that weird shape. Oh, do they? Okay. Uh, because there's, all the butterflies seem to just have normal butterfly wings. <laughs> and I've seen it somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> obviously You're I've not seen making it, it up, I, I believe no, you. No, <laughs> the way I might be. I believe you. I might have seen it in my dreams. <laughs> but it's just a different type of butterfly, isn't it? It's... Oh, what's going on with that? <laughs> Didn't want to leave, did it? <laughs> It's took me thingy with it as well. She's gone through. That was stuck. <laughs> Must be static. So again, there's your butterflies. And I just want to show how the stamps can sort of be used to build your butterfly up as well. So you don't even have to worry too much about how they turn out. No. You can have them as plain as you want. Stamp on the paper, uh, stamp, uh, die cut the papers out and then stamp over the top of them as well. Well, there. And then I'm going to take the wishing tree and where's me bit of tissue gone? Oh, there. So I'll get the green off because I don't want to go brownie coloured and then purple. Just a little bit on. And all I want to do is oh, stamp and turn it round. Oh, just the same. And again. And again. And then once you go in with this. So bring it oh, all yeah. in, bring the eye all in yep. to the middle. Trust as it works. Let it dry though in between, you haven't, you've got longer than I have. Exactly. Up the middle with a bit dark, because the middle of your butterflies always. <laughs> See how it's coming together? Ah, uh, lovely. Simple, but lovely and effective. And then, get your white pen and sort of... 
got to wipe in that way, are they? Wipe in that way, can you see it or not? Yeah, it's come through. The white's coming through. Now it's it's starting to work now, isn't it? Yeah. I'm just adding it in. But, but again, just using that just gives it the lovely shape. tree, but just as a different way then of bringing that pattern in. And then bring her in. And then again, mount on to black straight away, or even yeah. before that, if you just go around the edges with it again you'll see how it all comes in then all you really need to do is a sentiment fairy wishes and butterfly kisses and you've built up a full scene and, a card, and you've got a birthday card straight away Absolutely. and it doesn't take long once you get in the swing of it no no not at all definitely no. not uh, that lovely, that lovely demonstration straight away. Yeah. Nice, love it, love it. Thank me. you very much indeed. <laughs> uh, allow me just to do some uh, to, to give let people love an update, and uh, we'll come straight back to him. Of course, I want to tell you thirty percent. Don't forget, this is only our second live hour of the one day special of the complete collection. Uh, thirty percent of the stock has now been allocated, um, and it's huge amounts in here as we talked about. So you're going to get set one and set two. So you're going to be getting um, flossy, bland blossom. Uh, both of those, uh, which is incredible. Now, if you just want to go for this, which is the actual one-day special official, uh, then you can have the choice of which one of those you want to go for. They're all in the same item code, 947868. Now, if you're going to go for that regular, that's £11 saving on that, which is a huge amount to be saving there. That takes it down to 32.96. That will give you 30, 63 stamps, I believe that will be. I think it's a 32 and a 31 uh, in either one you're going for. So 63 stamps in total that you'll be walking away with there. And again, as you can see, they work in harmony, really. They're, they're, if you can go for both with a complete, great. But if, if uh, finances won't allow, but you still want to have some fun with those, choose which ones you want to go for, then please do. Uh, now, if you go for the complete collection, one thing you'll be getting are the dies. Now, the dies are also available individually, and we've still got stock of those, if you'd like to. Fifteen dies in total, and you can see, again, just by cutting out that one butterfly again, adding in some of the prints on the inside of that, adding that onto uh, anything, it will work as a nice addition. So if you're going to go for the individuals in the one-day special or with the complete, they are beautiful. Uh, they're new on the show, 34 98, that's 879862. Um, one of the, uh, the stamps you've just been seeing, it's not available in either of the uh, One Day Special. It is only available in the complete collection or on its own, as we're about to show you now, but it's only 1099. I say it is the Wishing Tree stamp. Actually, there's four, <laughs> excuse me, four stamps in total, because um, you've got those lovely thistles, which is what was used uh, at the bottom of the dress that you've just been seeing. Um, 1099. 584-442. Love that. Um, now, we've also got the stencils. Um, I, didn't, I don't think I showed you them actually um, stenciled out, did I? So I'll just very quickly show you. Um, because we've actually got three sets in this one. You've got the uh, soup, you've got the box frames, and you've also got the fab fungi. Uh, these are our box frames uh, that you can see, which is really lovely. Very quirky and fun. Fits in beautifully. Uh, then, of course, we've got our um, box, uh, our uh, shape soup, uh, which is lovely. And then my favourite is that uh, these, are, of course, these really lovely pieces. Again, could be fireworks. You've got your... Um, well, you've got your, your mushrooms there. That could be a little castle in the background uh, with, with those as well. And then, of course, you've got the really big, beautiful dome one. Perfect for putting little creatures on top of, um, or possibly little caterpillars in front of. Uh, £14.97, £6 saving on those, uh, 973442. Now, of course, as you can see here, that's got a £6 saving on the um, stencils, for example. Now, that £6 saving will be carried over, as would all the other components if you were to go for the complete collection. And on top of that, a further saving of 26.90 or Freedom members 36 pounds 90, bringing your price down to 89.96. That includes your postage and your packaging. And if you want to split the cost, two payments. How about that? Your first payment for all of that is just 44 pounds and 98 pence. Okay, that is where. 30% of the stock has gone where people have seen the value in all those savings. 596826. Don't forget, the papers are on the website as well if you would like to add the papers in. Uh, right. Yes. So, lots of numbers and, and figure crunching there. Yeah, so, I sort apologies. of zone out with that bit until I hear Flexi and I go, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> I, love, I love Flexi. We all love a Flexi. We'll love so, a flexi. This is my Scribble Forest journal. It's going to be exclusively ooh, nice. just for. So I'll show some. This is a stamp. 
I used it last hour to do the, and I've in book pages, and then just go oh, on nice. to just show all the Look different. So it's just building it up. Do what makes you feel happy. So in this one, I'm going to use this page here, and all that was was I think it was Lynette's. Oh, the the, the, the the, uh, the sprinkly stuff. Yeah. Uh -huh. The spring Explosions. <laughs> yeah, that's where we are. Words. There we are. We so, got there. But if you haven't got explosions, just what I can show is, because that's blue, is really easy, this. Just to get a little bit colour down. It gets rid of the white page. <sighs> it's white, what have I done with it, sort of thing. You don't ever get that white page blocked, do you? No, I just slap something on it. <laughs> I'm fine. And then... You've got a little bit of colour going on without it being... It's white's gone now, you can go on top of that, no problem. Like that. And then I'm using this, you know, the... Oh, the one from the corner, the corner Yeah, section. the corner one, and it is out of... Is it Blossom? No, Blossom's the girl. Oh, no, yes, it's on Flossie. No, and Flossie's... Yeah. The for them, yeah. That's... The, what's that one, isn't it? Yeah, it's Clover. 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 Clover, sorry. One. So what I'm going to do is straight away, because we're talking about journaling, so this here can make yourself a journaling square pretty easy. So straight away, we'll put the square in, and then... That's pretty, that's a pretty... It's lovely, isn't stack, it? Isn't it? Uh, it needs to be something for everybody, so add it in. And apart from anything else, you've got your journaling square, that's your week, what I need to do, so on uh, yeah. all your bullet journal and things like that. So that's a built up there. And then what I've done is out of the papers you get these, you get loads of them. Different oh, yeah, ones. Yeah, so I was showing that one at the top of the hour, that one. And actually, I fussy yeah. cut it out. I'm gonna leave that because that really doesn't bother us that if you don't want to fussy cut out into shapes, leave it on because we can cover it with something if it if it bothers you to see it sort of thing. If you're good with a craft knife, I've got a fussy cut and take it out. Yeah. A little bit of glue, and then I'm going to have it just coming over there a smidge. And then these ones here, I'll stamp it out. Actually, you can't really tell because you've actually got the white yeah. on the page anyway. You, you, you don't really recognise that that's part of that same cut, to be honest. So then I'm going to take another white bit of paper and I'm going to. Oh, where's it gone? Scott, are you moving things? Yeah, you don't know it, but Honestly. I am. Leave things alone. Yeah, this one. Oh, you found it. Yeah. God hidden it well there. No, you're not very good at that game. Ah, oh, I've put the ink pad on the wrong way up as well. I've got an inky lid. Right, where's the ink pad got? We'll use this one. <laughs> I give it, honestly. I'm never ever saying I'm organised again. The more organised I am, the more things I lose. Now, I'm just going to show how this one stamps out. And again, if you don't want to colour it all in, isn't that lovely? Oh, yeah, I do I like love this. that. And it can be either be a leafy bush or it's a pretty flower. Yeah, I know, I like that. Yeah. I like that. It's absolutely lovely. And what I I've mean, that been would, doing... If you were to print out or to stamp out quite a few of those... Oh, uh, you know, that lovely. I mean, that's uh, to colour in again would be a... You can make a really lovely big picture just with that one stamp, you couldn't really you, really? Could. So all I've been using is the pens, like the fine liners and things. Just to colour it. I've had such a lovely time. I've coloured so many of these in. Mm. Just getting carried away and lost in it. Okay. You've lost us. I'll see you all in the morning. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, you've lost me because I, I, I could quite happily sit and watch it. It's one of them, isn't it? Just yeah. For, a lot of people like do this. like to sit. I like uh, watching just sitting colouring in, but it doesn't make very good telly. Yeah, I'll stop because I will <laughs> get lost in it. <laughs> I'll stop. But again, if you don't want to colour it in, just on a background, so to just spray your colour, yeah, and brilliant like that, and then just adding. Yeah, because you've got the nice patterns already on there, haven't you? Yeah, so. your flashes of white, and it's going to bring it out. Keep it still, Anna. I think my hands are too big. <laughs> <laughs> I want, I want people to be able to see it, but I think keep thinking no, I'm in the way. No, you see nice, yeah, yeah, you can see well, yeah, yeah, no problems. Because if I look up, I can't see what I'm doing to the base first. <laughs> no, you, you stay as you are. That's yeah, all working I well. I know what I mean, anyway. Again, just adding in the white. Yeah. See how much that pops as well. Yeah, yeah. It does, you do not have to be an expert to do any of it. And where are the ones I've actually coloured in at? 
Oh, see that one? I put her head in the flower, the die cut. <laughs> oh, I <see>. <laughs> <laughs> I just found it. So I've got that one cut out as well. And then we'll use this one because I like that. I'm going to pop that one in down there. Uh, yep, it's all building up nicely. And you've also got this one in a smaller size as well. So on the same stamp, you've got a smaller one. Oh, yeah, right. Yep. Oh, that one there. And, that one there. and this one is super, the, super easy to cut out as well. I'm going to have that one there. And then I am going to add... Where are we going now? Where are we going? I don't know. See, I was going to add a girl, but now I'm thinking, should I add a mushroom from the papers? Oh, well, yeah, go with the papers. Go We're with not, the papers. Uh, yeah. Nice to see the papers in there. Uh, Think I'm at home, wouldn't you? All the... So this one here. And again, they're really easy to cut out. They are the classic, the classic kind of, you know... Fairy tale, you can imagine mm. in the woods in the forest. Again, uh, especially the older storybooks. Yes. Oh, um, yeah, Hansel absolutely. and Gretel and um, what was the other? Red Riding Hood. Oh, yeah. Well, there, add that one in there. And then you can do your bullet journaling. Remember to add your white highlights into the, everything. Why, well, yeah, why is it the, the white? Wait, there was something about just like the white or black. Um, that do make a difference to just... It's, they just it, all look more alive for it. Colours are zingier with the black background does, to them. It does. Just adding the black makes everything pop and adding the white adds in pretendy shade. So you know how all these fabulous artists yeah. do. And they'll go and you just sort of start at this end and then you pull the colour out and it lightens up. White pen. <laughs> <laughs> white pen. But then add <laughs> you... Um, that's another pen I can write with. We'll do it in purple. Add your stars and then sort of do your bullet journal into it. Something, I was going to say dentist, but that's not fun, is it? Park. Don't, no, don't put the dentist in. Park with kids. Get <laughs> ice cream. And immediately you've got a much better looking diary. Oh, right, then, yeah, that's <laughs> that true. Kind yes, of, thing. of course. Yeah, because you've got that lovely space of frame around it. But then if it's just for you, just add in. You've got a little bird. Where's the little bird? Ah, oh, what's the birdie in? The little birdie is in a little bird told me stamp set. Ah, oh. and it is the one with. I don't know where mine is. I've buried it, Scott. Blossom. It's in the blossom set. In blossom. Oh yes, it yes. is. Yeah, little bird told Lovely me with make bird. a wish, happy birthday. Yeah. Uh, yes, that's yeah, the one. Yeah, that one. In fact, so here, I've got. Uh, it might be worth if I just. Should I just show? Um, show I get that back off? These, if you're going to go for the um, complete, uh, then these are the stamps that you'll be getting uh, with them. So we've not, we've not talked through them in, in great detail, uh, but you've obviously got Flossie here with uh, Magic Is and Everyone, Fairy Wishes and Butterfly Kisses was one of the sentiments used earlier on. We've got Kisses Separate and Always Smile, it's catching. That's very true, it's nice. Mm -hmm. um, Find colour in everything. Make your life uh, a work of art. Happiness is found within. So be happy. Uh, so you've got your main two characters uh, there, but then you're also going to be getting uh, Doodle Lip. Is that your mum came up with that name? Yeah, Doodle Lip. Uh -huh. I says, what should I call these? She says, that's a Doodle Lip. <laughs> doodle Lip. And I says, it is. <laughs> well, it's, it's made it. Uh, our doodle lip has got be kind, be creative, be brave for you. Uh, the lovely floors. We've got little caterpillars in there. Lovely those floors as well. We've got pinwheel. which has got the lovely big open butterfly that's in there. We've got some other little lovely great little doodle shapes as well that are just picking in some leaves. Well, it'll all help build up the whole of your background, which is great. Uh, you've got the rose hip, which has got I love this stamp as well, which we've used a lot. Uh, which is the one that's uh, could be could be a night Halloween. It could be a fish. It could be tomorrow. Planets. I'll do it as a fish and I'll show Do everybody. Oh, well, you show it as a fish tomorrow, you can see it. Um, but you've also got uh, Follow Your Dreams and Thank You. A Little Bird Told Me, which is what we were talking about here. And there's a little birdie down there with Make a Wish, Happy Birthday. You've also got like the um, like the doodle flower, I like to think if it has, which is the ones that are lovely to colour in. Yeah. Uh, absolutely beautiful. And you're getting so many stamps in here, it's brilliant. Sunburst Flower, one of my faves on that. That is gorgeous. And we well, showed this in the very beginning of this hour. That um, one there is there. just lovely. That's just great, the isn't backgrounds. It? It's, I mean, it... It looks like a pom-pom, but it's, um, yeah. what are they called, the big bushy flowers? 
It's uh, a big bushy. Uh, that, that, no, I it, don't know what they are, but they're lovely. I see them in people's gardens. Do you mean, they, oh, I don't uh, know. It's a lovely big bushy flower. Mm, someone let me know. So, yeah, tell us what the flowers Email are. Email in. I think it's a joke. Well, put your side geranium? of your tree there and then do those flowers, and you've got a bushy. Dahlia. Dahlia we might be hearing. Are. That might be from someone from the tech room. <laughs> Thank you, tech room. Um, and then the one that you're going to get, and you can only get this either individually or part of a complete collection. It's not in either of the sets separately. Uh, but that is, uh, everyone's journey is different and are lovely with the thistles. And uh, again, you can see really good size um, mm. on the on the stamp on the wishing tree, which is absolutely beautiful. Um, oh, one last one. I'm not even shown that. Tree of Life, which is the one that was used in the framing. Uh, that you've just been seeing there that Emma was using to do that for the journal. Uh, plus, you've also got the grasses and greener, two of life, and then that beautiful, gorgeous, like, it, that sort of span there of all the lines going through with that. It's absolutely beautiful in clover. Uh, so, yeah, there they are. There we, you've seen all of the stamps up close. And if you're going to go for the complete collection, uh, you're going to be getting all of them. Goggles back on. Back over to you. Yeah. I've, to, I've stamped that stamp out, which is with pinwheel. That's the name of that oh, stamp pinwheel, set. Yeah. Pinwheel, and I'm just leaving it like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the words, and I'm going to use different. There it is, a different ink pad, and all the different words. Because Charmaine Dolly Dimple said you must have been feeling deep when you wrote these. <laughs> I said, well, "What's me deepest day of the year?" <laughs> 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 Normally I'm a, a puddle. So I had streaks. I took it off, and then. Just using all the different words, I'm going to build up a page or a card. Oh, I see, yeah. Watch your fingers because I've just stuck mine in the ink. Um, then we have, what's this one say? Smile, it always smile, it's catching. It's true that. It really is. It's very hard to not smile at so they're smiling mm. at you. In the masks. It, oh, oh the, yeah. I've now taken the walk down the street going, hello, morning, hello. Yeah. Everybody, because nobody can see what you're doing behind your mask. It's true. Oh, they all think I'm this crazy person. Just. We've all been happy to go around. But have you noticed, like, uh, yeah, you don't necessarily feel you have to make the uh -huh. effort. So tomorrow, as they say, with. Was it Freedom Day they're calling it? Uh, so whether, whether people will be wearing the mask or not, you know, we're leaving it up to, to us and, uh, and all that, which is, which is fine. But um, some of us have to tell our face, because some of us have been happy to go around, not having to. Make an effort until oh. someone still tries to take your photograph, and I still smile behind the mask. You do, you like that, and you're still there smiling away. Going, I don't you know can why tell I'm bothering. You your eyes, though. Okay, you're smiling you in your smile. eyes. That's what you it is. You can tell by your eyes when you smile. It's true. But if you Although, don't think you stamp it... right, just stick a one over the top of it. Cheat. Or oh, cheating. But then, as I was still smiling behind my mask, the policeman said, "Can you remove it for the ID parade, please?" <laughs> so um, <laughs> take those tights off your head. <laughs> uh, Where have you been, I'd, Robin? I would like to. I'd like to credit my director, Marcus, with fifty percent of that joke, which he claimed as well. Um, <laughs> have you and uh, Marcus been out robbing together? Oh, um, see? I couldn't possibly say. Right, I'm going to show but, uh, that. Because I was in the car. You were in the. Car. You were the getaway. Yeah, I was getaway. Well, it's a bike actually. <laughs> Pedaling away. Getting my bike the plan out. didn't quite go. Oh dear. Right, so ah, I did it there and I've done it there where I haven't inked the stamp properly because I'm too busy talking. And what I want to do is show you how to fix it. What did you do? What, what's happened? What went? What uh, there, see where I haven't quite oh, caught I see. it? I see. All you do I is... thought that was part of it, that whole kind of, you know, no. not quite perfect kind of. Oh, you're going over it completely. I'm just going to stick a sentiment you over don't it care. like I did there. There's always a fix. Always, always, always. <laughs> And then, just because it looks really boring and plain now, doesn't it? it give us a second for the water to work. I think I've picked every single paintbrush up. That's not going to work. Have they got water in them? I have got water in them. Oh, they? I can see it. Oh, they? That one's worked. And all I want to do is... I want it to look arty. Arty splodge. As if I'm... Oh! <laughs> And flex them just in the orange and then dry it off. I'm not done yet, don't panic. I'm not leaving it like that. No one's no one's said anything. 
I just went quiet. No. <laughs> hey, I did that earlier on. I think it was Julia that I was on the show with, and uh, Julia showed. She showed, well, you, did you see that bit? And she'd done something and, and sort of uh, um, uh, finished. Her. She said, "Oh, there we go." She, oh, there was a there was a snowflake. She put a snowflake at the top of these fairies uh -huh. that were holding. And I said, "Oh, that, that looks lovely. That's great. That it's, uh, it's great." She went, "I'm not finished yet." I went, "Oh." So, but the gallery thought that it would be finished. It looked, it looked that good finished. So. Well, that's good. That's good. I've, I've been told once the presenter says, that's lovely. Stop. Because yeah. I just keep adding <laughs> and adding. Right. So there is that. And what I have done is I've already got one cut out of that paper. Now, this, oh, if it's I on like a that card, paper, yeah. that is going to... So pretend this is a card, because you, whatever you do in your cards, you do in your art journal. And whatever you do in your art journal, you can do on your cards is that oh. and i think that the yeah, clean oh, like and that. simple clean and simple yeah nice, i like that pretty oh, i've moved it I, this doesn't happen at home i've got pictures to prove it i like <laughs> that i like that that is lovely isn't it lovely yeah and i nice mean use... that bit is fast yeah i forgot me granny's birthday Ta -da. sorted sorted uh, thank you very much indeed. Thank, thank you very you. much indeed. Uh, right, we are over 30% of the complete collection. Uh, there's huge in this bundle, huge amounts in there, and there's something for everybody. You know, you'll be getting over 30 stamps, um, which actually, it was got 33, 37 stamps actually, if you include the wishing tree uh, and the thistles that are all part of that, plus the 32 that you're going to be getting Blossom, plus the 31 you're going to be getting with Frosty as well. So, loads and loads and loads of stamps. You are getting your three different sets of your stencils, you're going to be getting your 15 of your dies uh, that go with it. So, something for everybody, but most importantly, savings. And the savings are there, and they are huge because everything has got individually, they've got their savings on it, they are carried over. Then you're also going to be getting your savings if you are a Freedom member. Look at that, with your percentage you get off as a Freedom member, £36.90, which works out the equivalent of actually getting the dice for nothing. When oh, you think about good. that, when you think, yeah, from a Freedom member. So for everyone that's a Freedom member, here's the benefits. All the time you're a Freedom member, you're getting 10% off of this. It's e it's equivalent of, as we talked about, you know, getting those dice for nothing here. It's delivered for your door directly, which is absolutely phenomenal. And all of that that you're going to be getting with those savings make a big, big difference. Plus, you're also going to continue for the rest of that month, then with uh, your free post and packaging and all the other bonuses and all the other offers that come up on the show. And you can stop and start where you want. Now, if you aren't interested in doing this, um, I tell you what, rather than me say it, how about have a little look at this, because this is a why not deal. Have you heard of freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away, or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888, and join Freedom today. So absolutely, you know, it's one of those it will pay for itself in notes if you're a Freedom member, and many, 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 many people are. So uh, yes, if you are a Freedom member, enjoy and reap the rewards uh, on tonight's show. Right, uh, time is going. We've only got about nine minutes. I uh, think I can do this. Eight quick. minutes. Eight minutes. Eight minutes. So right. stop me talking. Over to you. About eight minutes. Loads of time. I'm, I've got a heart plaque, and I got it from here. So uh, people who shop here regularly might have it. And it's an MDF heart plaque. And what I want to do is I'm going to start inking. I've gessoed it first, inking some colour round, just so it all ties in. And then I'm just going to use the stamps to decorate it. And the dragonfly die. Oh, I've yeah. already cut it out there because I didn't know how long we would have at the end. But that is that. And then these stamps, you know, the fluffy flowers I was telling you about? Oh, yes. Yeah. It's the fluffy ones. Oh, I like these. And then, because I've done them in pink, I'm going to stick with a pink. No, I'm going to do purple. I'm going to go wild rather than find it. Um, any idea where I put it? No? Um, it will go indigo. 
No, I won't. I'll go with pink. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> It's quite, it's quite hard work. Did I you think. notice how helpful I was then? Yeah. yeah. Super helpful. Stayed out of that way. Right, so what I'll do is I'll do a few in the lighter pink and then I'll go in with the darker. I've got, do you know what it is, Scott? I have everything in little packets, all organised, thinking, right, I'll demo everything. It shows a bit of everything. And so far, I've used two of them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just making it's, it up again. Is your, is your craft room, is it? A mess, yes. <laughs> I was going to go, say, I was going to say, is it quite tidy? Have you got like everything no. in the storage? No. Is it all just it on all, display? But you've seen here, what, I've, our, I was playing? Yeah. And I've literally demolished everything. But I've I got bet if, all I over my hands. I bet if, um, let's, so everything that is on your desk as it is, yeah, it's, yeah. All, it's all just laid out. Yeah. You say it looks a mess. I bet if I'd gone in there and removed something, you'd know, know. that so it would move, I yeah. would know. Not, I know by the way, the I'm not trying to cover being... myself for trespassing. <laughs> I wasn't going to set, not, not setting this up as a kind of social experiment. It's all right, I've got the guard parrot. You wouldn't get through the door. Well, with the parrot? Yeah. No, oh, actually, I forgot you. Yeah. Yeah, you would not get through the door for that wild creature. <laughs> Yep. So is the is box the, if anybody comes up the path? Is it just in your craft room or is it you know He's just where everyone's Does he have to freedom be? with the whole house? No, normally he's just in the sitting room, but if he gets out the sitting room then he's got freedom in the house until he decides he's going back in. Um I bet he holds remote control. What's his name? Kermit. Kermit. Kermit the Parrot. The parrot. <laughs> it's cause he croaks. Does he talk? Yep. And he started swearing. Oh, does he say naughty words? Yes. Oh well. Where'd you, know, you get that from? I have no idea. No, so they just tried really hard to make them swear. <laughs> <laughs> this is so funny. Anyway, so I've used the purple and the pink, and then I've stamped out three of the doodle lips. Now, they, I'm not even fussed when it goes over there, because I'll just put that one in the background. So I'm not precious about it at all, and I am going to use foam pads to build them up. If I can get them off. Actually, I'll just glue them. <laughs> I'm going to go in. I'm keeping it quite plain, quite simple. Yeah, I do like that uh, that stamp, the little the little fluffy ball ones. It's, it's it's so nice, and you can just imagine um, it can be stars that, under the yeah. sea things. Uh, yeah, like yeah, I was you thinking said. of like, the sponge under the sea, what they are, and the oh, en enemas. An 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 anemone. Anemone. <laughs> anemone. Anemone. Not anemone. That's something completely different. You anemone. don't want one of them. <laughs> It's an anemone. You know, when you start thinking, it sounded like the same word, but very different experience, I would imagine. Moving on. Is that <laughs> one of the words your parrot says? Hmm? <laughs> I've missed that part. Anyone? <laughs> I just got an image. <laughs> of the parrot, by the way, nothing else. It was the Move on, the move on, Emma. Save me on this one, please. So I've cut out the little birdie. Now he is a little bit fiddly, but he's worth it. Oh, I love the little he's birdie. just so cute. And I've done him with blue and pink. And I'm going to put him there. Isn't that dead cute? I like that. That and is very cute. This is going to be a thank you plaque for whoever you want to say thank you to. <laughs> thank you to my mum and dad for putting up with me <laughs> for all these years. Thank you, mum, for naming one of the uh, stamp sets. Yeah, thank you, mum, for all the bags you make me. I do want the dragonfly in. Oh, and oh yeah, we, we haven't had the dragonfly mm -hmm. or anything yet. Right. But you have got more live shows tomorrow, of course. Oh, yes, come back. I've got n so many ideas. Now, I was looking for a glittery... Is that... Grape Crush Glitter. You've got about three minutes. That's all right, I can do that. Yeah. I and never doubted. I was just literally... Gonna match just... In. I was just going to do little bits. I stamp with the... You can stamp with your glue as long as you wash your stamp straight after. But because we've only got three minutes. But we, we, we can use all three minutes for you to do the, uh, the demoing. I want to show some more stuff. You don't, we've got loads yeah, of samples we can show as well. Done yeah, yeah, so yeah. Much. Well, you, um, you, while you finish off, I'll find a few that we've not seen yet. Yeah, please. And then, see, I haven't covered it all with glue because of time. But once it's dry, lift the leaves up. And I'm going to be wearing, you'll see, it's glittery tomorrow as so well. Pop that on. And well, there's your bit. That is Isn't nice. that lovely? Hang on, I'll move that. That's nice. Isn't to that lovely? And oh. but also, if you didn't want to do any of the backgrounds, just put one of your papers in the background and obviously cover it off around the edges. 
it is yeah the only limit really is your imagination and i know we'll all say that but it's really true 100 percent true Oh, oh, how long have I got left, Scott? Oh, we've got just under two minutes. There's loads here I've not seen there's yet. There's so many, isn't there? There's yeah, box I'm just frames. trying to sort out some that we've not seen. I mean, you can even add more flowers onto this this one. Wow. Let's see. I did, I, did, I uh, never ending. Once I get any stamp set made, I stamp out loads of them and I cut loads of the dies out and then I just colour it. And this is what I end up with. <laughs> well, let, let, we've got about a minute and a half. Morning. Have you, uh, you show some more stuff? I'll just show just, just a couple of there to finish yes. off because you, you, you've got huge amounts here um, in the um, complete collection. Uh, but I was going to whip through them because we are down to the last uh, minute or so. Uh, but you, uh, you'll get an understanding and you're going to recognise when you see these, you'll just recognise all the elements that we've been talking about, about how different they look in each one of these, uh, which is absolutely beautiful, vibrant. Look, I mean, beautiful. The way it's cutting out on that uh, earlier on, we're talking about just using the butterfly's mm. edges and cutting out is gorgeous. Look at that. That is absolutely stunning. Really, really pretty. That's just on music paper. You can buy Jules has all done that. That is paper. gorgeous. Love that. And uh, a lovely framed piece here to finish off with as well, Isn't which is gorgeous. stunning. Um, thank you so much. Thank you so much. For thank being you to this. the design team. Uh, I love them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, eight o'clock tomorrow morning. Yes. You're ready and raring to go again. I'll be here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with more, I mean, different, different demos we're looking different at. Different demos. I've got um, the wiggle tags. I've got so many demos. It's, yeah. I just, oh, it's going to be a lovely, a I lovely... I want to show them all now. <laughs> hold it. Always hold yeah, something breathe. back. Always hold something back breathe, for that, which is absolutely lovely. But uh, have a good sleep tonight yeah, in, 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 uh, in the hotel. And, uh, and we'll see you again tomorrow morning. Certainly. Nice, I'll see everybody in the morning if they're up. Oh, <laughs> Monday morning there will be. I'll see you for breakfast. Oh, Brett, there we go. It's on. It's on. <laughs> uh, right. Thank you so much, Steve. Well done. Congratulations if you got that. Uh, for more inspiration, using that kit tomorrow, of course. Don't forget, as of eight with Emma. Don't go anywhere. We're in the kitchen after this. Yeah, very excited about this. I'm with Drew next in the kitchen with Carrera. So that's coming up for us. So watch for lots of inspiration there. Uh, then we're back with Clever Prince. And then John next door is going to be on as well. So get yourself a brew. See you in a sec. Hi, I'm Lucy from Sweet Poppy Stencils, the Craft Station Limited. We're a craft retailer and we specialise in stainless steel stencils. Our stencils are manufactured in metal. Uh, but this allows us to have designs that are intricate. And we know customers like seeing um, the demonstrations. So make sure you tune in and don't miss the Sweet Poppy shows Hi, I'm Abs from Holland Create. I've been crafting for over 10 years now and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers, colors, textures, and creating depth and dimension. Holland Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world, bringing different designs and products in different styles. We proud ourselves of high quality photopolymer clear stamp sets, dyes, stencils, washi tapes and acrylic blocks, all in different sizes and formats. I hope to bring you inspiration and different ways of using your craft products. Make sure you don't miss the Holland Create shows. I'm Barbara and I'm Julie and together we're Scarlet Rose Crafts. We're a family run business and our aim is to bring new and innovative new products to the crafting industry. We've both been involved in crafting industry for many years and we're continuing to move forward with our new company now. The Easy Mat Plate is our flagship product uh, followed by our innovative Easy Shim product. Our range includes diamond trail plates, ultra-sized dies, cards and sticky sheets. We're constantly developing new and unusual products, so watch this space. On our shows, we hope to inspire you with our products so that you can carry on crafting, because our motto is, because we can. Uh, 
very good evening, everybody. Lovely to be with you. I'm really excited about this hour because um, I'm very much into it. I was watching Janice with the show earlier on as well. And uh, Janice is an inspiration anyway because she's fantastic and always trying to do the right thing health-wise and uh, with foods and tips and, and hints and things like that. And um, certainly, so Fiona and myself are always uh, trying to sort out. But we always come up with the excuse, well, we don't really have a lot of time to make our own. We don't have a lot of time to prep. We haven't got a lot of time to, to do all of that. And then to look over things and to watch them as they prepare like soups, like to be able to make... We, sp we spend loads of things on dips and all that, which if I could make our own, would be a lot better. So I'm hoping we got the answer to my dreams on this one as well. And, and I don't mean Drew, but you're a lovely man, I'm sure. Thank you very uh, much. <laughs> <laughs> is that the nicest intro ever? It's that just, the best. just seems to have happened. It made me feel at home. Well, that's good, that's good. <laughs> I'm, I'm very happy about it. That's all right. Uh, lo lovely to meet you, Drew. It's lovely really to meet, to meet you, you as well. Um, and uh, I'm re I was going to say, I watched the hour earlier on that you had yep. with Janice. And one of the things that, uh, that she said straight away, and I knew it, and I was watching the show, and when she said it, it was like that, just to, things, we want things to look good in the kitchen, because most of our yeah. things are out on display most of the time now anyway. So even before we get to what this can do, this looks great, and it's one of those, if you want to start, you've got the right kettle, you've got the right toaster, you want all the, this looks great. If you're going to be spending a lot of thousands of pounds on a nice kitchen, this is the perfect appliance, even before it's done anything. With this name, tell us a little bit about the name as well, because it's got good pedigree, isn't it's it? It's got wonderful pedigree, a great thoroughbred. Um, Carrera is named from the 1960s, from the cross Pan America race, from one side of Mexico to the other. Wow. Where our car, the Porsche Carrera, came in again, and first place again <laughs> and again, several years running. Yeah. So, to mark how great the company is we've moved on to a whole load of products yeah well i can I, and, and it is there and there are there are certain words i know you're talking about as well because i was looking at the details and was going for you know when you start to about twenty thousand rpms yep. etc you know th this i know what's one of the demonstrations you did earlier on as well i think it was with the cinnamon the nutmeg. The nutmeg, sorry, yes. the nutmeg and i was like that is jaw dropping but uh, it absolutely backs up what they, it's all about, you know, those powers and performance that you say, isn't it? It says it all for them. Yeah. It shows what it does. It's, it's a beautiful piece. And I will say, we also do kettles. Oh, right, we there also we go. do toasters as well. <laughs> Keep watching out. We'll have those on soon, hopefully. Uh, yes, but yeah. we do the whole thing, and yes, it does look fantastic in the kitchen. Just stood there. So, well, I can't wait to get going. Yeah, no, absolutely. I tell you what, then um, we've got some footage for you where we'll show you the footage. Um, and uh, what's with an open mind? We know this is a considered purchase, but we'll talk about that. We'll deal with all that later on because you're getting uh, the greatest offer, one of the fantastic offers that's available for this. Let's just look at the, the nuts and bolts of what this lovely machine could do for you. Have a little look at this. I wonder how many people at home are going, oh, it's, oh, it's Steve, oh, okay, does that as, oh, it does that as well. Um, wow, so it's it's not just a, like, for example, like you might see some appliances look at it and you go, oh, I know what that, that's a soup maker. Um, not, not correct, is it? It does do that, but that's just one of the assets. Let's go through this, because you know, when, you, when, when I was watching that, uh, uh, regarding that, you know, all, all of this, you know, when you start thinking, it's the complete package, really, for, for everything we talked about from steaming, chopping, cooking, blending, mixing, and for hot and cold. <laughs> it's, um, it certainly is. It's the, it's the great thing to use. It eliminates several other tools from the kitchen. And why have those messing up the cupboards when you can have this on the side? Yeah. Looking great. Yeah. Just ready to go. 
Talk to us a little bit about what we're going to be getting in the whole package then with regards to it says on here, you know, you've got the steamer, the stirrer and the cleaning brush. That's that's all in there. Um, and I suppose, yeah, it's just great to have all those accessories and not go, oh, I want to do that, but I've got to go and buy that separate to go with it. It's, it's all taken care of in this in this package. Everything is involved with the package. You get absolutely everything. Um, high quality stir and perspex, uh, Pyrex, sorry, high quality Pyrex jar. Um, the, uh, the the cleaning tools, the scraper, the, the um, steaming net, you get the whole lot. Five cooking functions, and my favourite function at the end is always the washing up. It <laughs> does all the washing up, and it dries itself, ready to be used for the next time. I tell you what, that sounds better than my <laughs> kids. <laughs> So this suits everybody from a large family to the, the single guy or girl at home yep. who just wants to have good food, and especially the busy kitchen, the full family. When you haven't got a yep. spare pair of hands, there is waiting for you. And, and, and that's something you do notice because it is, it's, I mean, it's, it's going to take a lot. There's, it's a big volume, isn't it? The actual jug itself there that's taken there. You're not just like, this is not meal for one. Not just you a meal You can do a one. nice meal on that for everybody. Well, I'm going to do a, a sauce here. It's uh, a litre and a half of sauce, so it's great for doing a whole family. It, mix it with bolognese, mix it with absolutely anything. But you can also do soups up to 1,600 millilitres of soup. <laughs> That's great. If you're on your own, you can batch cook that, yes. freeze it down, get yeah. it out whenever you yeah. want. Or, big family, everybody gets started, everybody gets started. I think, I mean, that's a really important part. We are going to see, uh, see this uh, being put into put it through its paces. But there was a thing, because everyone's on about nowadays, you know, with regards to food wastage. You know, where you make a certain amount, etc. then there's a bit of that and you, and you get rid of all. We're always on the go, running around. So like you say, batch making, do that, freeze it. Then, of course, you just bring it out. Or if other people just cook it all up, it's done. Bring it back out uh, from the freezer if you wanted to. But to be able to do it on that kind of volume yeah. uh, it is brilliant, isn't it, really? It's Hands-free. Hands-free. <laughs> Everything else is, why not the cooking? You're exactly, right. Exactly, exactly. You, right. just, you just set it off, you tell it what to do. And away you walk. Right, right. So it's really that simple. So what have we got in there now? We've got our tomatoes are in there. We've got some tin tomatoes. This is a really, really cheap, simple um, passata sauce. So some tomatoes, some oregano, some basil, some garlic, and a stock cube just for go. Right. Now, you saw earlier on, I was doing the smooth and silky soup. Which was rather super. Yeah. Oh, nice. Sorry. Nice. Sorry, had to. No, you're allowed. This, this time we're <laughs> going to change the selection. We're going we're gonna to do the sauce, but a bit chunky this time. So it's different. You control oh, okay. how you like it. Oh, that's great. That's brilliant, actually. See, this, yeah. this is my partner's favourite recipe. So this is all down to her, all, all right? right? okay. If it goes wrong, it's down to her as well. <laughs> so we simply set for the soups. The first two is the thin one. Uh, da -da -da. And the first one's the thin one, sorry, the second one's the um, coarse one, and away we go. Oh, that, that's... That's it. <laughs> right. That's it. You're looking for more drama, this... Oh, well, oh, just a little bit, I was thinking of something, <laughs> but yeah, but I suppose it just needs to do the job, doesn't well, it, Well, yeah, really? that's it. It's now simmering, it's heating itself Oh, that's itself what it's doing, up. it's heating up now, okay. So it's starting to cook all of the ingredients, cook the flavours throughout, so you get everything in there, the impact of being... Of all of those lovely fresh ingredients. Oh, so uh, all right. I, I, so the how this program is going to take how long for that? This to... one's going to take thirty minutes. Right. Again. I, no. Well, we'll see the end of that as it goes on. But what I love about that is, uh, so what? I've, so I'm going to make myself some nice pasta sauce. Let's say for this. That's it. Um, get the get the get the recipe book out. But basically, go. I've opened. So the most difficult challenge thing that I've done in the kitchen so far to date, if I'd made this, was open some tin of tomatoes. I've poured them in some already sorted herbs and uh, everything. I, I've poured a bit of flavouring in. Done all that, and then I've put the lid on, and then I've changed the dial, and then I'm going to walk away. This is my kind of cooking. This is definitely my kind of cooking. I'm loving that. So, um, do you need some time to prep for, for the next uh, demonstration? Or what? No, we can move straight overwards. Oh, I tell you what, then, I'll just give some details on okay. that then, Drew, and then we'll, we'll come straight over. So, let's just look at the details on this, because there's a lot more to come. And it is worth pointing out, if you want to see some ideas about the uh, super smooth soup as well from the first hour, check that one out. It's Beyond uh, Rewind. It's, it was a five o'clock show uh, with Drew and with uh, Janice early on today. So, details on this one. One eight two. 
0304. There's a massive £150 saving. And the great news about that is it is you can be spreading this over three interest-free Payments, £116.33 each. Now, this is a considered purchase, as we always talk about with things like this. Let's be, we have to be respectable. But it is a purchase that is going to absolutely revolutionise the way if you've always sort of slaved over the stove doing things and dedicated time. Or have you ever said the same as what I've, be, oh, I've said before? I know Fiona said it. If we just had the time to do it, I'd love to make more home homemade um, meals with soups, etc., we haven't got the time. This takes the time to do it for you. Look, there's more details we can share with you. There's all, everything on the rundown on a full page that we can share so you can see exactly what we're talking about with regards to your savings and, um, and what the offer that we've got for you. Um, so the full page, let's have a little look at this and this will give you all the details so you can go compare and have a little look exactly um, what this offer is all about. Because if it looks good on the kitchen, if it tastes good with the food that you produce from it, it's also got to be good for us in our in our pockets and with our wallets. So I'll come on to that. Let's just go through the details exactly what you were looking at with regards to the whole of this brilliant Carrera. When we talk about the 800 watt of power, you know, we'll, we'll come on to that in, um, in a second as well when we, we, we go through. That's a blender and all of those that you are going to be talking about. That's coming up a little bit later on in this hour. So we're just teasing you with that one, to be honest with you. With the Carrera itself, which is the blender uh, that we're about to bring to you with the automatic cooking um, uh, function that's in there. As we talked about this, the controls, well, again, we're going to see more of those being demonstrated, but nice, simple and easy. We talked about already this whole idea, 20,000 RPMs as well, which means that is powerful, really powerful uh, for your ice uh, for um, early on. We were seeing some of the spices being chopped through as well. The heating that you can see here, this heating surface, long life, two layer non-stick coating on there. So this is one of those that's going to last for you, which is absolutely brilliant. We talked about the steamer as well. Uh, all the details, we'll talk about that that's in there as well. Uh, the whole, you can create your own recipes as well. If you want a certain flavour or a certain ingredient that's really either for dietary requirements or just your own personal taste, you can do that. You've got the butterfly blades, you're getting four stainless steel. That If you can see that in slow motion, they will chop. They are doing a great job. Very easy. We're going to come on to the cleaning because you don't have to do the washing up of this it will do it and that is really important certainly if you're starting to do baby foods and blenders for things like that where hygiene is really important you're also going to be getting the steamer insert the silicon scraper and the cleaning brush is all there and that power 1500 watt power is phenomenal really good deal on this one 182304 so let's see how all those then work their way into the demonstration, but bear those in mind because they're really important. That's why it puts this where it is actually at, uh, at the sort of the top in people's wanting, wanting list. Uh, One Drew, list. go on then. Yeah, let's talk us through those because there's lots of facts and figures in there, but in real terms when we see what it... What does we, all that mean? Well, yeah, we want to do a good okay. job for us, don't we? You wanted to do the good job. You wanted to do the best job. So you go to the best materials. All inside, we don't use nylon cogs or gears or anything like that. Everything is steel. It's made properly. It's made to last and it's made to have the torque to get through things like nutmeg earlier. Yeah, yeah, that was great. Hard um, ice straight from the freezer. I'm going to do some frozen fruits in a bit. So it does your, um, your, your hard stuff. It does the soft stuff as well. It also does wet foods, steaming, but it also does dry foods as well. So you can right. use it like a grinder. Oh, okay. Oh, right. Okay. Okay. We've got all of these um, these different settings. Nothing works with the six five five unless the lid's on. Right. It's a safety feature you would expect. Yeah. It's it's what we do. So you've got all of your soups. The first two we've been through those already. The the third one along is a bain marie. So if you want to cook things softly, gently, melt chocolate, do beautiful sauces, oh, this see. is the one as well. Oh, I see. Lovely. And the manual one. Now you control the temperature, the, the speed of the blades, you control the time. Okay. But I was going to mention about doing the dry foods. We've got just some granulated sugar here. Oh, okay, yeah. um, I'm not a baker, my other half is a baker, but I have a very sweet tea, so I'm often diving in and using up all the sugars for different things. So <laughs> if you want to turn granulated sugar into caster sugar, it's oh. really simple. We just take it to the middle. We set 30 seconds, set 30 seconds, we set the speed up 
to 20,000 RPM. Oh. That's faster than a Formula One car. Oh, wow. And we don't want to cook anything, so we're going to take the temperature off, set that, and we just press go. Oh, look now, at that. 30 seconds <laughs> is enough to take your granulated sugar to cast the sugar. That's brilliant. That, that is like the best snow globe I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. Five, four, two, one. And there we go. I am prepped for baking. <laughs> prepped for baking, cake mixing, absolutely everything there. But if you want to take it even Look how further, how fine that is! It's beautiful, beautiful, smooth, no lumps in there whatsoever. You could put that straight through a sieve and get nothing back from it. That's what I've been told, anyway. Right, right. So, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> so once more, and it's very simple. It remembers. Um, all of the settings. So back to do, back to the middle. To manual, yeah. Oh, it's, oh, great. That's really good. It's, it really is so simple and easy to use. You can't really go wrong with no, it. No, no. I think that's enough this yeah, time. No. <laughs> That's enough for this that is, time. Uh, that's great, though, because I, I know that we um, we have to do a lot of. Uh, Cake baking because uh, our, 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 little, our little girl was uh, just liked a little bit of baking in there as well. So that means we do have to have one jar of normal sugar and another one again of the caster sugar, all those other sugars in there. So just have one lot and then just make your own as it goes through, basically, and your, and, and your way to go for it, which That's is the perfect. One. We know about the washing up, the washing up's very, very easy. Oh, yeah, just show us that. And I'll, yeah. give some, I'll give some details. Oopsie, a bit fast. Rinse it out. A small amount of water just straight in there. That's okay. So hot just, or cold, just cold. Just cold water, cold water straight from the tap. A little drop of your favourite washing up liquid. Pop the lid on. And away we go. Set it to the wash, um, the wash setting. Let's move that to the side. Which is the far one on the right. Oh yeah, okay. And, uh, oh, sorry, beg pardon. And away we go. <laughs> As I said earlier... Look at the bubbles on <laughs> <laughs> This isn't like all of the other machines. This is actually washing the unit up. It's not just swilling blades around in dirty water. It's actually heating the water up above 83 degrees centigrade. Ooh, wow, wow. That kills all the germs, all the bacteria, anything nasty. So if you're doing things like baby food. Oh, it's gonna, well, yes, exactly. Food for friends and family, vegetarians, anybody with uh, allergies. This is not just clean, it's absolutely yeah. hygienically clean yeah. every single time you want to use it. It's just a perfect piece yeah. in the kitchen. That is, that is really good. Well, look, let me th thank you so far on this one, Drew. It's absolutely brilliant. That's still cleaning away, which you wouldn't have to be doing. So if you had entertained, you've basically had them round. You've opened a, ca you've opened a can of tomatoes. You've put in that, you've left that cooking. You've served it up, and then you put a little bit of water in and a little bit of the, uh, you know, the bubbles, and let it wash itself. Um, and you can spend all the time entertaining. OK, let's, let's deal with this, because... There may be some people saying, look, the finances on this one, um, it's like anything, isn't it? I, I, I think that if you're going to be paying for someone that wants to do a job, it's going to do the job the best it possibly can, and it's going to last. And we heard the mechanics of this. But let's have a little look, because this is a brand that is known globally, of course, we know this. So, for example, if, if I'm, I'm just thinking, let's look at this, Selfridges. I mean, they're a, they're a company, they're a business, they're a brand uh, that not I know of, and it certainly is one of those, you go, they do stock good stuff. You know, we're talking about that. So if you can, you get free delivery with them. It's going to cost you £500. This is as it stands right now. If you went into Selfridges and wanted to buy the same products there, you get free delivery. That's £500 from Selfridges. Uh, brilliant, brilliant, lovely shop, beautiful place. But there we are. Wayfair.co.uk. Now, again, I've actually bought stuff from Wayfair myself, uh, and I know they're a good business. I trust them. I like the reviews and everything. Free delivery again, brilliant. £425.33. So, 
a better deal, better deal than Selfridges, but, you know, might still be a little bit out of your price range. So Amazon, yep, I'm one of those as well that has that. I always look for the free delivery, but I could get it for £395 from Amazon. And again, we know that we, uh, we know them very, very well indeed. Us, look at where we are. We are £349. That is by far the best offer that's on there, where you look at those three. Plus, OK, £495. You're not getting your free delivery on that one, but... Firstly, it's available in three flexi buys, £116.33. That's interest three, so you haven't got to spend £500 all at once, or 425 or 395 So you can get it on flexi, plus... If you are a Freedom member, and if you got in the last hour with a Why Not deal, you haven't got to pay for your postage and packaging anyway, so you are also getting free delivery and by far the best offer that is on there. So if you are interested in doing your steaming, your cooking, your sauces, if you do have those dietary requirements, if you are looking to actually spend more time out of the kitchen doing other things but still eat healthily, uh, with the ingredients of your choice that you are working with and you want to batch work your ingredients to make your sauces, to make your soups, to bring that price down so you're not having to go and buy food out if you are commuting with work, etc. every day. Take your very own, all of that, for that offer and on a flexi right now. You could have all of that at home working with you for just £116.33 of your first of three payments. 182304. Um, Drew, I am absolutely hook, line and sinker on, on this. I, I think it's absolutely brilliant. And what I'm also impressed of, because sometimes I think people... It looks like the more gadgets it has on the front, the more complicated or... Yeah high tech something looks, the higher the price it can be. I like actually the fact that you can do the job well and there's a simplicity about yeah, that. So it's, not, it's not all just bells and whistles. It it does itself. It's it's I think that's great. You can't you couldn't have summed it up any better than, than <laughs> how we did. It is it's pure, it's simple, it's straightforward, which is perfect for me to use then. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm with you on that. I can see the steam coming out of the top there. There's a is that from its cleaning still? Is it's, that... it's, it's, it's it's just finishing its cleaning set. Um there that it's done now actually, I think. Yeah. The steam there, it's actually boiled the water. That's it's gone hot, above. Isn't it? It's yeah. hot and that means it's clean. We literally just empty it out. Rinse. Because... And uh, leave it on the side, and the residual heat in the Pyrex That's gonna dry will dry the oh, itself say. as well. <laughs> that is brilliant. That is <laughs> brilliant. I love that. So, right, so we've done the washing up. Uh, what's next? <laughs> How about a bit of steaming? Yeah, oh, yes. No, this would be, yeah, looking forward yeah. to this, actually, yeah. So we've got our soups, our casseroles, we've got our smoothies, we've got our dry stuff, and now it's a steam oven as well. You get the steam cage, we just simply drop it in, the lid closes, start again, and away we go. It couldn't be any easier than that. <laughs> I'm loving this. This could, isn't it? Yeah. Straightforward and simple. So you just put it onto the, steams, the steam setting. You set your own time again to what you want to do. Set your own time again. Do, is there, there the instructions that come with it? Does it give you a kind of a guide um, or it, anything like that? It certainly does. Right. We've also got that online as well, oh, so brilliant. it's always at your fingertips. Okay. Um, one quick read through the instructions, and you'll have this absolutely mastered. It, it, it does sound absolutely brilliant, doesn't it, for the steaming? And of course, we know that the goodies you're going to be get, so the goodies stays in the food. Yeah. And so all, all the sort of the, uh, the, the the perks and the tips as well from doing that with it. And you don't have to pay because you do get the uh, the steamer section that is all included in there. So uh, you get all the goodness from uh, from all of those as well without the hassle of going to buy anything extra. It all fits in perfectly, and uh, they're all just e easy to wash as well, I suppose, aren't they? Just give them a rinse through and you rinse through. You put it into the dishwasher if you want, or leave it in while it's doing the um, cycle. Cool.
Uh, honestly, so, so yep. simple. And the other thing, by the way, about these is that that's pretty sturdy, isn't it, actually? Everything, everything that Carrera does is all about design, power and performance. Yeah, no, that is really, really good. Lovely. Thank you very much. Thank you. Are you still you demonstrating something else on that little section? Going to finish with this one. You want to see that yeah, that's stick great. blender, I believe. Yes. Um, I'll just give the final details to this Please, and we're going to come straight up. back to that. Thank you, Drew. Uh, absolutely brilliant. So, um, okay, just having a little look again. Should we have remind ourselves? We've got the, the video. If you're just tuning in um, and you just sat down, maybe you've just finished doing the washing up. Uh, maybe you've just had a bit of a stressful time because you come out from the garden. It was all part of the, you know, the, the heat that's been out there as well. And you, you wanted to sort of thinking, I should actually get myself. I was going to make a nice sort of dinner for tomorrow or make some sauces for some pasta or anything. But I can't bother to stand at the stove right now. You could have been doing it actually in the last 20 minutes or so, as we are making at the moment, and it could be doing it for you while you're watching this, for example. But to see exactly what this can do, we've got a little bit of footage for you. Have a look at this. <laughs> Anybody else after the hot day just start looking down and thought, I wish I had one of those in the kitchen right now because I could definitely make one of those nice smoothies, those nice cold. I think we're working with some frozen. Have you got some, have you got some frozen fruit coming up? We certainly have. Yeah, we've got that coming up. We've got that coming up as well. So, uh, yeah, how about, how about fantastic? Have a little look at that one and, uh, and have a little thing where you want to pop that into your basket. Um, we're working our way down because, uh, as we know, that um, they've got uh, a lot of fantastic gadgets for you uh, which will do a job really, really well. And this, the stick blender, uh, this looks phenomenal and powerful now also you're going to be getting your mashing attachment that comes with this as well and you've also got the measuring beaker all of those uh, are all going to be uh, part of this kit so it's not just not just the actual um, uh, stick blender itself but those accessories plus a 50 pound saving also and you can do this on your three flexes so in fact you're first to get this and by the way I've just been holding this this is a powerful powerful kitchen tool I promise you uh, that that is not like a normal um, stick blender that I've ever held before I can tell you that I've seen uh, and you can get this home right now for 36 pounds and 67 pence that's a phenomenal offer uh, that could be delivered uh, but basically if you're a freedom member all there and if you're not yet a freedom member it's really really simple because we've got a lovely little bit of footage that you'll have a little look of because i do think the benefits of being a freedom member really pay for themselves when you've got items like this have a quick look at this have you heard of freedom did you know that as a freedom member you could be making savings on every order you place for just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom Members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with the craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. It's benefits, 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 really. You're looking at, you can really make the most of those if you are Freedom members. So, yeah, I would seriously consider that. Getting your free P&P, &P, of course, then, uh, if you go for these with those savings are phenomenal. So, let's have a little look now. The stick blender with everything else, the masher attachment and the measuring beaker that's all there. Let's see how we can work with it. I, I, honestly, Drew, when I, when I just held that, you know, because we, we've got one that we've had in, we've got one in our kitchen, you know, sort of there nowhere near not even half of that not not uncomfortably heavy that that was one of those you felt like i had a powerful tool it was in my hand i was working <laughs> with and i could take on any anything <laughs> it's a phenomenal tool you're right yeah 
Yeah, it's but how how is this is this working the same with license simplicity with regards to the same as what we got earlier on? Exactly. The same design team, the same engineering goes into the stick blender as it goes into the six five five blender, as in everything that they do. Well, it's that's just, all it's about <laughs> it's scary, it keeps going off because that's the source that you made earlier yeah, on, still isn't doing it? Its thing. That's brilliant. Still doing its, it's thing. Still doing its stuff, right, yes. So the uh, stick blender is a phenomenal piece. It is heavy, but it's designed to sit straight at the bottom. It's got five speed settings, all done on the digital display. Two, three, four, five. And you've got the six, which is the turbo as well. <laughs> I, <laughs> I love it. You've got high dense steel blades, so, uh, stainless steel, of course. These are designed to bring ingredients in. So if you're cooking on the stove, if you're using hot liquids, this isn't going to splash away. This is going to stay exactly where it should be. Oh, look at that. Drawing everything in, creating the whirlpool wow. effect without splashing any ingredients, without absolutely everything. That. So it's simple quick and easy and my favorite it's always about the washing up with me <laughs> that comes off and straight into the dishwasher it goes oh it's dishwasher yeah perfect dishwasher is friendly you'll also get with this the replacement for this which is the potato masher that's just on the house with the with um uh, the craft tv today you get that gives you the best baby food, the best mashed potato you could ever enjoy. And just like how it fits on, it's really, really simple. Everything is just a turn and a click. Well wow. built, easily, um, easy to use, very visual. You even got yourself a lovely timer display on there as well. Uh, tell you what, it's, I, let's go through a list of the features that we can, uh, that it comes with as well, so it gives you a little idea, because we, we had a, a quick sneaky, sneaky glimpse earlier on, didn't we? Look, 800 watt power for this, phenomenal, five speeds, plus you got that turbo boost. Well, that's amazing, when we saw that in the water then, you could actually see that whirlpool of, appear with it. I mean, that was, that's real power straight there, without that splashing everywhere. You got the digital dial at the top of the LCD um, uh, display, really nice and simple and clear as well. Um, your RPM starts and control for clean. Perfect for that as well. Love that. Uh, really nice quality housing. It does look solid with that stainless steel application for the blade. Uh, and again, even though it's got that weight behind it and that power behind it, it's very comfortable still to hold because you've got the ergonomic comfort grip as well. So that's all there. Removable stainless steel mixer as well. So you can do that and whack it into the um, uh, dishwasher if you wanted to. Uh, again, the blades, durable and high quality stainless steel and all lights up. If you've got a low lit kitchen, <laughs> you've got your illuminated buttons as well, even the it's going to shine up really nicely for you. Um, there are so many features on this, though, Drew, as well. There's a huge amount of this, you know, that, but I can't get over that one with the water to see that almost like vortex. It calls. pulls it all in. Yeah. yeah pulls it brilliant. all in. I wanted to show you the um, potato masher oh, yeah, cool. yeah, or please. the ricer, as it's called. Here it is. It's again, it's a beautiful piece. It's completely dishwasher safe and very easy to use, just the same as the grind head. You just turn and lock. Now, this is slightly different. They have a gearing mechanism in here, so it actually starts off slowly before it builds up speed, and it keeps it at a certain speed, a slow speed, which has the torque to go through things, cook things, to make sure that they're beautiful and silky smooth throughout the whole thing. And right at the end, again, it's dishwasher safe, of wow. course. That, that is a solid, isn't it? That's a solid bit of kit for doing that. That's, it's, it's one of those, again, if you want to, if, may, maybe if, you, if, you, if you're thinking about, you know, how to get the best results as well, I suppose, again, a lot of it is, is the tools to do the job, isn't it? You know, is what a bad, is it a bad workman always blame their tools? Uh, then this is your chance to make sure you never blame them and you're complimenting and just reap the rewards of them as well. Uh, great saving on this. I mean, absolutely phenomenal when you think about this. A £50 reduction in the price that you're seeing from us right now. It is available on Flexi. So just 36 
67 uh, for your first of your three payments for this dishwasher proof. You know, solid, great engineering on this. I mean, it's a real kit. Plus, not only are you going to be getting the, um, uh, the masher uh, attachment, also going to be getting the measuring beacon with it as well. So you can keep, you've got the lid on there as well to um, keep it everything nice and fresh. Uh, 226095. All of your instructions to go with that, but absolutely brilliant. Now, spreading the cost, of course, is really important because you might be thinking, well, I've looked at those, but I don't want to pay the whole thing all at once, which is great. And that's what Flexi is all about. Because if you think about it, and I will say this, you know, there was something in my mind thinking, would I want to, would I want to spend uh, some, some money on a, on a blend? I don't know whether I need one. I don't know if I'm not sure about that. But if one of those things, if I thought on a whim, if I was at a supermarket, I saw a cheap version of the thing, You'd probably go with that, but it's not going to be the same experience. It's not going to do the sort of durability or the lasting that, uh, you know, that you're going to be getting for this kind of thing. And then is it they say you buy cheap, buy twice or something like that is what you hear. Things like this, the engineering side, are, are built to do the performance over a long time and get best results. So think about this. 36.67 on your Flexi buy. Um, How do you get out of the Flexi? Here's how you do it. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on Flexibuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your Flexibuy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier. So, why are we thinking about that then, the Flexi? Think about that regarding to uh, the stick blend, of course. Also thinking regarding the, uh, the big blend that we've got for you here, which is absolutely phenomenal. And just spreading the cost interest-free um, can make a big, big difference, can't you? And honestly, if you just sat down now this evening with us, firstly, lovely to have your company. Very warm welcome to you. It's a warm day, so it has to be a warm welcome. Um, but, uh, but we've got something here which could absolutely, and, uh, without, without any kind of, you know, uh, joking aside or anything like that, could revolutionise the way that you prepare your meals. You know, um, if it's um, prepare for, for when we can start entertaining again, the way that we eat, what we eat, how we eat, when we eat, the time it could actually save us because we're not necessarily having to do all of the chopping, and let's be honest, you know, it's the preparation half the time for, for a lot of those dishes, and no one likes to sort of sit there just chopping onions and chopping the carrots and then chopping the fresh vegetables that you want to put in, and then you've got to get them right down. Then you've got to do the separate blending on top of that, heat it to the right consistency, and the, the, all of that that goes with it. This does it with you. It's, it's basically like having a, a, a professional chef hold you by the hand and say, look, trust me, you buy the ingredients, you give them to me, and we will create a tasty, nourishing, uh, healthy meal. Or I've also seen cocktails made with it, so you could go the other way. So it's entirely up to you, which will work beautifully for you. Uh, th this, this is, this is a, uh, honestly, it's a fantastic, fantastic kit. It certainly is. Yeah. Um, you can wax lyrical on about it for absolutely <laughs> ages. Uh, it's beautiful looking, it functions well, functions easy, functions simple and um, just does a great all-round yeah. job whether it's uh, just yourself in the kitchen or if you're cooking for the whole tribe. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. And, and, and I think there is that and I suppose it would help to become more adventurous because I suppose there's lots of recipes out there when it sort of says, you know, blend or do this and do that and you think, oh, it just sounds like that. But just get yeah. your timings on it. And I've noticed when you were, uh, I know you just put a whole tin of chopped tomatoes in there, but I mean, if it was like vegetable soup, for example, how, how much time do I have to do the chopping and preparation before they go in? Because it's minimal. Yeah, that's absolutely what, minimal. That's what, that's what I was hoping for. Peel it, break it in and throw it in. That's all right. you have to do. Right. I just take off the ends. Yeah, I don't I don't bother peeling all the nutrients, all the goodness is inside all of the food and tons of it's in the skin. Yeah, um, just wash it nice and clean. Just get it in there. Get some stock of your favorite. And away you go. Yeah. 
No, it, it really is. It's fantastic. Right, I, I love this. Don't forget, you're getting extras with this as well. You're getting the steamer, you're getting the cleaner, you're getting all the other bits and pieces that go with that as part of the package. You've got instructions. There is online as well, so that will help you if there's certain things you're looking for regarding to how long do I steam the carrots for, how long do I do this. It's all there for you, easy, that you better find online as well as within the manual that goes as part of this kit. Um, is, what, what can you share with us now, Look, then? I just want to finish off with the, um, the steamed veg. That's oh, yes. all done. You get the special tool for lifting that out nice and simple and all of the flavor all of the color is still in there oh, still look. good I'm gonna be eating this later so excuse the fingers <laughs> but everything is there and it's beautiful you take the first bite with your eyes and in my in my opinion that is absolutely yeah. fantastic that, that, look, that was great that's that really nice and again healthy all in there, it's all done, all steamed for you in one unit. And don't forget, no, not a load of washing up afterwards anyway, because that just put it on there, put it on the wash cycle, and it does it all for you, ready to put whatever you own there. I know you mentioned baby food and things like that, but I would have thought, you know, for for anything like that, you know, if you are doing lots of uh, blending of foods for children, for babies, you know, for <laughs> what, for whatever the reason, I suppose things like that because. Let's face it, you know, when I remember doing baby food for, for our kids, you know, the youngsters like, oh, this, that's a bit of a pain trying to do it all boring. Like, this done and dusted, isn't it? It's done it's, and dusted. It certainly is. Ready to go. The, the hardest part is you've got to use your imagination to what you're going to have next. Right, right. Well, <laughs> I can see bananas now, fruit, so what is going to be going in our next? We're going to do a lovely smoothie now. Oh. And uh, I want to show you how well this actually works. So a couple of bananas, orange in there, some pineapple, but I'm going to get some frozen summer fruits on the go. It's oh, been a beautiful nice. day for it. Oh, yeah, loving this. I would love to have been in the garden with a few virgin margaritas, of course. <laughs> and um, we've got some... Uh, Beautiful strawberries, some melon, a little bit of everything going on in there. And um, pineapple, of course. Now, the thing with a great blender is taking the ingredients that are at the top, putting them to the bottom, and, of course, the stuff that's at the bottom, bringing it up to the top yeah, as well. Yeah. So the whole pineapple is edible. You can eat the skin if you want. I'm not really a fan. So... We just chop that off as quickly as possible. In we go, big pieces. Wow. No need for getting it all down there. Wow. And straight in we are. Um, I like my smoothies cold, so straight from the freezer, I'm going to get some ice out as well. Oh, yeah. There we go. Excuse fingers, but I there do. we are. I, I'm a big fan of smoothies. Yes. It's a great way to start the day. Yeah. It's a fantastic way to um, get proteins and vitamins in. If you've got kids that are a little bit like my Roman and definitely like Scarlett, who absolutely detest eating their vegetables, yeah. oh, right. what I do is I sneak a few bits in there, some sprigs of broccoli, some baby oh. spinach, anything like that. So we're going to go back to our manual setting. Okay. We've got it 30 seconds. I think that should be enough for a good smoothie. Uh, 20,000 again. The temperature's off, and all we do is press start. You stamp it down, make sure that everything gets to the places it should be. Oh, look at that. And even those hard... Go. That looks great. Perfect. That was solid. That's pineapple, <laughs> fresh pineapple cut in there, ice cubes, frozen fruit that went in there, and that blade has just those four blades. Is it four? Isn't it? It's the four, four blades. blades. Just went. Let's see this pour out there because this pulverized absolutely everything. No pips, no strains, no, no seedy bits. It just beautifully mixed. Perfectly done every single time. Done. And of course, with the Pyrex, that's going to hold the cold in almost as well as it holds the heat in. Of course, of course. That looks absolutely brilliant. Oh, look, he's going to go for that one now. How's that? 
Oh, that's delicious. <laughs> that is fantastic. It's one of my best, I think, that one is. It's a shame you can't join in. I know, it really, I know, it really is as well. Uh, that really is. Very mm. many do I get given a cooking show. Uh, <laughs> when I do, I can't test it. It's lovely. Um, I just have the smell of the aroma, which is beautiful. Honestly, look, um, what can I say regarding these? Because ultimately, it's your choice. I'm a big believer in fate. You're watching the programme right now. It's come across there. Having a think about this. And, and just think of the... I just go to the benefits of what you can do with this. And there are certain things that I... This is me personally speaking. There are certain things that you... I can easily go... Do you know what? It's, it might cost me a little bit of money on that, so I'll just let it go. And I will suffer going through doing what I've done in many ways, whatever that might be. It might be a power tool, might be something that I might use for the garden or anything like that. Um, or it might be around the kitchen. And um, it's that thing of, have you ever heard those things where you've said before, do you know what? I've, changed, I've got this now. I can't, I can't imagine not having this. I can't imagine cooking the old way since I've had this. I can't imagine going back to eating how it was. I'm not saying how you eat is bad. I'm not making a judgment on that. I'm just saying how can this improve this for you? What will this do with your times that it will give you? Maybe to spend more time with the children, for example, because you're not having to be at the stove. How will it improve, possibly, or change what they are eating and how they are eating those? Um, what would it do again with more being more adventurous, quite possibly, with different meals that you might be trying uh, to work with that? So, absolutely. But let's look at the price points, because... As you know, this is a brand that is absolutely steeped in over 60 years, basically, of, of great technology, and we know a bit about the background regarding this, about quality from all of this. So, if you wanted to, you can get this in Selfridges. It's going to cost you £500. You will get free delivery. And again, they are a company and a store and organisation that associate themselves with quality brands, don't they? Wayfair, you can get it there. £425.33. You're probably being shrewd and also chesting these prices out yourself online as I speak to you. And that's absolutely fine, and I think you'll notice that that's exactly what they are. If you're checking this out on Amazon while you're watching us on the TV as well, and you're going through this on your iPad, on the computer, you'll put this in at the moment for that, that, that um, number 655, the Carrera, you'll see a price come up there with free delivery, uh, if you remember on that one, at £395. Now, all of those, we will be by a good £50 at £349. If you're a Freedom member, you too would also get um, free delivery from us, but also, interest-free, you could get this home right now for £116.33. And within a few days, you could be doing that smoothie. You could be making that sauce. You could be working different ways and making your soups uh, going through. It's all there for you. Have a little look at those price points, check them, <coughs> and, and then come back and then pop this in your basket, and who knows what it would do. In fact, I think we've got time for one more smoothie, and then, and then our, okay. sauce, our sauce is coming on as well, isn't it? That's just doing its final spins, I think. So that's been cooking all the that's time? That's been cooking all the time. Um, I'm actually going to do a sorbet oh, this time. Yes. I've got some ingredients left over. So I'm going to do a bit of a sorbet. Oh, how lovely. Some frozen strawberries in there, a little bit of water, some of that ice in sugar that I cut, uh, that I um, made earlier on. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I've got a piece of ginger in there just to Ooh. spice it all up a little bit. Now there's a certain, there's a, a special setting for this as well. It's the second to the end one. We use it, it's the same one as you make the margaritas, the virgin cocktails. Oh. And again, you just press start. Now what it's doing is it's gonna turn itself over and keep churning those ones out. <laughs> So we have all of the very, very best. It's a bit thicker than the normal um, smoothies. Yes, always, yeah, yeah. But I love the safety fact as well, because you've got the spatula that can't go so far can't, down and everything. Can't get anywhere near it, even on down low. That's really good, that's really good, isn't it? Yeah, because it stops it at the top, so it's measured, and so you can really make sure you're spinning it around, but you're not getting anywhere near those four stainless steel blades. And there we go. That looks good, that. <laughs> that looks good. There, there we are. It's a bit lumpier than normal. Um, need a little bit more in there, but can you see that in there? Look at that. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to have that.
For my dessert, straight after we've had the soup. And, uh, <laughs> and your steamed vegetables. And the steamed vegetables as well. You're going to have to for breakfast day. tomorrow morning, won't you? On the set. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That is great. Um, and and the sauce was pretty much there as well, wasn't the it? The sauce is there. It's all done. Do you want to have a look at our sauce, Miss Producer, or should we have a little... Uh... Oh, yeah, that's... that's uh, is it there to... Are we OK to pour and have a little look at the sauce? Shall we? Yeah, go on. Let's have a little look the at this. The anticipation. Yeah. So... Oh, the steam coming off there the as well. This is the steam coming off there. Now, this is a chunky sauce or a beautiful uh, soup as well. Add yourself some delicious pasta, uh, bacon lardons if you're a meatitarian. You've got absolutely everything there. That does. That is a warm bowl of goodness, isn't that is, it? That, that does look good. That looks a lovely consistency as well. And it's all hot, heated, cooked and done. Oh. Was that, I remember, was that the chunkier one or the smoother that's one? That's the chunky that's one. That's the chunky one that's as well. That's the chunky one, yeah. yeah. Yeah, really nice. So, and I like that, that you can actually, if you are, I know because some, if you're making it for younger people, I'm not saying all younger people like that, but some of them, so, for example, um, if I'm doing something for uh, my little girl, she's very different about bits, bits in food. Ah. Compared, so it has to be like, you know, it's the, the, the absolutely, so, so, for example, orange juice, when I say fresh orange juice, don't do the fresh orange juice with bits. Just You just have to get the smooth stuff, you know, so it's like that. So the lovely thing is, if you had to then make a sauce, and it had for the children as well, if you need them to be extra smooth, you can do the smooth version. If you, as the adult, uh, prefer it to be a little bit more rustic and a little bit more chunkier, then you can do exactly the same ingredients, and you could do a slightly different version so you've got one that the adults will enjoy as well as what the children enjoy. So I think that's what's really lovely about that. If you are just, again, thinking about this, have a little look and just wonder, how many of these things you're about to see can you do already? How many would you like to do if you actually had one of these to help you do it? Have a little look. What do you reckon? What do you reckon? Uh, I think if you if you can go for one of these, I think what's so lovely about this, it, it's it's got that simplicity. There's the the top there again. What well, as I was mentioning, just to see it in some details, when you put these through, you can't put that anywhere past it. So it will stop, but that makes sure that it still gets right near to the bottom, but doesn't get in the way of the blade. So the safety reason of this, you know, just everything about this is it feels solid it feels quality it's going to last me uh, i want to get that and also uh, we talked about that you know that's a really good size jug that you're working with and that is sorry that's pyrex in there and that is really easy to really uh easy to hold easy to work with absolutely brilliant flexi buy is there for you and i think if you think of it for me think of flexi buy is there for purchases like this you know one of those things you go well i might not be able to sort of just go for it straight away you can now one eight two three zero four Enjoy it. Enjoy the benefits of that one. Oh, the other thing we got there, we got the stick blender again. Uh, just in case you missed it earlier on, um, I think it's really worth seeing because the power within this is absolutely phenomenal. When you see when you see the details of what you can actually do with it, it is absolutely fantastic. And that is for the stick blender. So I think we got the details we could bring up on the on the on the full screen for you. It will show you all the benefits of what what you can actually get within here, uh, and it is huge amounts. And again, a really powerful 800 watt that you're looking at five speeds that you've got in there with a turbo boost as part of that as well you've got the lcd display which is nice and simple and easy to understand you've got the startup control 
very, very, it's, it's absolutely easy to work, which is perfect for you. Uh, stainless steel applications, lovely grip on there as well, so nice and safe to work with. Removable as well for the mixer base, so you can easily pop that into the dishwasher for yourself. High quality all the way through, and nice illuminated buttons to work with. Plus, you're also going to be getting the jug, and also to work with the masher as well. So, let's see this again in full glory. Um, we've just got a minute or so, then, to have a look at the stick blender again for this, then, Drew. Okay, well, just cut straight to it. The power, the pure power of this. It starts off slowly, it brings everything in together, giving you just the best without splashing, without um, splashing, without burning. But you can see, you can see that. I mean, well, that, that really is drawing it in, isn't it? You it know. certainly is. Sucks everything to the bottom, so all of the flavour can be blended throughout, missing is, nothing. Yeah, that is great. So you, that's why you're going to get a really solid, you know, fantastic mix all the way through of everything coming through on that. Uh, Fifty pounds off. Uh, 110 pounds it's there for you right now, uh, you know, which is absolutely brilliant. It is on your three flexi buys as well. 36 pounds and 67 pounds. Uh, pence, which is, I think, phenomenal for what you've got here. It's going to be brilliant. You're not just getting the blender, of course. You get the masher attachment. That's in there. You get the measuring beaker with lid. That's all in there. And again, all your instructions, nice and clear to work with. Double two six zero nine five. If you want to go for that, if you can. Go for both, you know, because uh, it might be something that you just need when you're off somewhere and doing it. Maybe, I don't know, just away for the weekend, the caravan, or something you want just nice and easy to work with. But this is doing everything on that, you know, so it'll do your blending, do your cooking, do the lot. Uh, that, if you just want to get that, get that mashed potato just right. Uh, you're there for it as well. Um, right then, so how, for, for, if anyone's thinking on this, Drew, at the moment, what, what, what would sort of advice be on regards to this? <laughs> You can grab a bargain right now <laughs> yeah. with those leading department stores that we already sell with. You're looking at £500 easily. Yeah. Yeah. This price just here is incredible. Your viewers, they're getting the best deal yeah, yeah. possible. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Uh, That's absolutely. here and abroad. Right. We're leading the way. Yeah, <laughs> it certainly, <laughs> certainly are. It, it's, uh, it's, uh, it is fantastic. And I, I think what I'm most impressed about is the ease of how it all works, the ease of being able to actually um, work with it. Um, it's one of those, I mean, both both uh, that we've got on the show tonight, whether it's to be the stick blender or the actual blender itself, uh, there with all the actual um, applications with the steamer, etc. Whatever you go for, you're going to get something that is gonna, it's built to do the job. Built to do the job. Um, good luck. Look around, look around and find it. But again, you just heard it from Drew. That is one of the finest offers you're going to see for this. Drew, it's been a real pleasure uh, working with you in this hour. I've, I've really enjoyed it. Um, do you know when you're, when you're back with us again as at the moment? As soon as possible. Soon as I po hope <laughs> it's been an absolute pleasure working with yourself oh, and Janice earlier on as oh, well. Oh, lovely. It made me feel really homely. Well, listen. Uh, it's Thank a, you. <laughs> let's hope next time you're more than welcome and next time we can, uh, we can share a smoothie together. Which, uh, that which would be, be wonderful, won't well, it? <laughs> <laughs> that would be lovely. It would be lovely. Uh, thank you so much for your time with us. It's been a real pleasure, pleasure to you. have you in the studio with us as well. Uh, I really hope that you've enjoyed that. You, you know, uh, have a little look around. It's there for you. You can pop it into your basket, do some research and check it out with us online as well. But uh, what could that do? Who knows? Uh, thank you for your company. Don't go anywhere. More after this. Well, I think I need to go and have a little look at what I've got in my cupboards. Uh, right then, Clever Prince, uh, we've got that coming up for you. Then John's going to be here with you later on. And then we've also got a bit of sewing for you. So what an evening still to come. Good evening. Hi everyone, I'm Phil Martin. I've been a paper crafter for well over 20 years now and a designer for just over 10 years. Sentimentally Yours is my multi-award winning brand of clear stamps, rubber stamps. I've now also introduced lots of craft dies in there, designer papers. I have my mediums where we've introduced the Flawless Media brand into the Sentimentally Yours family. We aim to inspire you to be educational and to teach you how to get the most from the products that we're bringing to you. The Sentimentally Yours family has grown uh, to include my good friend Julia Watts and our new designer Trudy Howard. 
hopefully we're all going to bring something different to the show, so you're going to be enriched with lots of different ideas and inspiration. You know you can watch the craft store 24 hours a day seven days a week using the craft store app on your amazon fire stick for free just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications your amazon fire stick accesses the amazon app store to add new applications by downloading the craft store app you'll be able to access your favorite craft channel on your tv anytime you want to watch here's how to do it turn on your tv and connect your amazon fire stick if this is your first time using the device Follow the on-screen instructions to connect it to the internet and log into your Amazon account. Once set up, you'll need to open the search bar. To do this, simply use your remote circular directional dial to scroll to the search icon and select it. Now simply type the craft store into the search bar and this will take you to the craft store app. All you need to do now is select download and remember it's free. Once this is added to your Fire Stick, you can move the app for easy access. Press and hold your home button on any app and then select the apps from the menu that appears. Scroll to the Craft Store app and then press the button with the three horizontal lines on your remote and select Move to Front. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. So here we are, 8 o'clock, live for our second of our brilliant hours of one day special where you are looking at bright, beautiful, gorgeous work from Clever Prince here where the artist is right next to me who's going to take us through this hour and share inspiration behind it and hopefully while you're looking at these if you missed the very first show um, then you understand that for this for me is a brilliant opportunity to get huge amounts of stamps if you went for a complete collection with stencils and with dies and extra stamps in there as well which will allow you to create a world which could be all sorts which I'd certainly know will be bright and colourful. Uh, we had a lovely first hour. Uh, you can always catch it on uh, on Rewind if you wanted to. But I mean, Emmett is here. Take us through with this. Didn't realise we were live. I was still shouting across the street. You were having a lovely time. Oh, it's all right. Hi again. It's, it's all it's it's all all right. It's all okay. Um, listen, it's it's lovely to be with you. A second hour. Thank you. Love the first hour with us, Thank and you. we had a little glimpse into your world uh, where you're from a young girl yes, and ideas of characters. <laughs> yeah, well, which is great, isn't it? Because from that yeah. we've 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 got this beautiful collection of characters and creatures and, and wildlife yeah, as well. all sorts going to come out over the next <laughs> days. It's, um, this is from the secret garden, which wasn't a secret, but I thought it was, yeah. from my grandma's house when I was a oh, child. Oh, lovely. Um, I used to go off on my own and I would talk away to my imaginary people <laughs> and the fairies. This is what I imagined they looked like. Yeah. Um, there was a wishing tree. I used to call it the wishing oh, tree. It was a yeah, magic yeah, tree. Yeah. And obviously there's a book as well. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. I love that story. Um, all different things. Yeah. It just sort of all comes together. I mean, I've always been a bit of a loner. I was as a child as well. I, I was always happy to be on my own with my okay, imagination. Okay, okay. Give us pens and paper and that was it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's hours. Like my little girl, actually. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, honestly, that's... Yeah. Hours and hours. I used to line the teddies up and things and teach them <laughs> art and... <laughs> Uh -huh. it, uh, it is brilliant. It is lovely, and it and it does transcend into what you're looking at now, mm -hmm. uh, where we have got uh, all of these lovely, uh, gorgeous creations for you. Let me just give you the breakdown of the housekeeping, if you like. Uh, you've got two options on your one day special. They're both under the same item code uh, nine four seven eight six eight, and basically you can have the choice of which set you go set over here or the set over here. Uh, it was alright. It was alright. You okay, man? It wasn't me. That's all right. We're okay. <laughs> <laughs> so out of shot, out of mind. It's okay. Um, <laughs> uh, we've got Blossom is our very first of our sets that you can look at here. And there is Blossom there, very angelic, very beautiful, very serene, uh, with some lovely sentiments that go with these. But also in uh, Blossom's set, there are 32 stamps. But you've got some gorgeous florals, some we were looking at in the first hour. So these are lovely to work with. They've got a really lovely hand-drawn feel, so a very lovely natural feel. When you, if you're working with journaling, for example, not just for cards, uh, but just for journaling and creating these characters, this whimsical world of 
course, that you can see with loads and loads of little elements that build up beautifully, uh, which is gorgeous. That's your first option if you want to go for Blossom. Uh, if you want to go for the second option, it's lovely Flossie. And Flossie, recognise Flossie, she's got the bobbed hairdo, um, which, is, which is absolutely gorgeous. Eyes wide open here, but again, with beautiful wings and really lovely, nice open drawing spaces on these. So again, if you wanted to add your own inspiration, your own pattern, your own sort of uh, look on those dresses and the outfits, and you can do, but again, really lovely big stamps to work on in here that are gorgeous when they're coloured, but again, a very natural feel. But again, not just in the flora, because you were saying it could be like a little fish, we've got a character's ear, it could yes. be, we, I was saying it could be like a three-eyed monster if you wanted to use it, it for, could, for space. Anything. I mean, Halloween, you've got your oh, yeah. monsters, yes. your, the monster's eye eyeball, plants, yeah. and things like that, yeah. but I mean, that's another way my imagination can go. Yeah. But I mean, it was a rose hip type flower, I thought, yes. well, I'll bring it a little bit modern, a bit more funky, and then you sort of incorporated with everything else. You'd have a pretty, funky, yeah. um, clean and simple, or go totally wild. Yeah, they, they're, honestly, there is something mm. in there for every. There it's is. how you interpret it, I think, is what's uh, what's great about the work you get from, from Emma here. Now, basically, that's your one-day special. Uh, you can go for whichever one of those you want to. Whichever one you choose, you've got an £11 saving. That brings your price down to £32.96 if you want to go for those. Brilliant opportunity. Now, if you wanted to, and this is what we the trends that we spotted in the first hours, everyone loves these both sets so much that they've gone for the complete collection, which is you get both Blossom and Flossy stamp sets as well. Plus, you're also going to get these gorgeous dies, 15 dies in total, that really are fantastic. And when we show you some, some of the uh, samples, you're going to notice we've got butterfly cutouts, we've got the dragonfly, we've got the beautiful looks that you can see, which are absolutely stunning. Plus, on top of that, we're going to be giving you the stencils, three sets of the stencils again, that are absolutely fantastic to work with for your backgrounds to create this and carry on and continue this world that these characters are creating with the mushrooms in there, more florals, again some beautiful images plus on top of that something that's not in either the set basically of blossom or of flossy is its own stamp a lovely stamp four stamps actually which is the wishing tree that you can see which is really really lovely so you've got everyone's journey is different plus you've got the two different sets of the thistles then you've got that beautiful gorgeous tree in there as well now all of that combined 